The wife I married is the queen of ghosts, the son I gave birth to is the lord of thunder and darkness, even various ghosts accompany me on my left and right, just because a strange game invaded reality shortly after. Countless humans are facing an unprecedented doomsday crisis, but those players who have early access to the game, obtain self-protection ability after signing a contract with a ghost, and my contracted ghost wife is the successor ghost king, continuously multiplying ghost offspring by combining, ability to obtain countless contracts with ghosts and monsters, now I not only have the S-class sword demon who is proficient in swordsmanship, and the SS level thunder and darkness lord who controls darkness and lightning, even more, there is an S-class soul-eating crow ghost that can devour souls, but I found a clue to an ancient tomb while doing a task before, so today I plan to go there and find out what's going on. At this moment, I am accompanied by a crowd of ghosts, came to the foot of a mountain to search for the location of an ancient tomb. After surveying the surroundings, I noticed that the giant rock on the side of the mountain was covered in grass, and there are also tiny gaps between the boulders and the mountains. I am delighted to see this. This is the entrance to the tomb. So, I commanded the sword demon to split the stone. As the stone was shattered, a hole appeared before my eyes. At the same time, the game system sounds. Ding. Congratulations to the player for triggering the hidden instance, General's Tomb. After the player clears the instance, the instance will be permanently unlocked. But the player acts as the trigger and someone who goes through the instance will receive world system announcements and generous rewards. I was pleasantly surprised to hear that. Since there is such a good thing, then I won't be polite. Wait for me to enter the tomb. Suddenly, oil lamps lit up on the stone walls of the passage. At this moment, I looked around with a vigilant expression. Command Xiaoliming and Jiangwion to walk in front, one on the left and one on the right. At the same time, I also took out the reggae gun, ready for battle at any time. At this moment, the ground suddenly began to shake. Suddenly, a dry hand with sharp nails appeared from underground. Immediately, one by one, the mummified corpses dressed in soldier uniforms bounced out. My reincarnation ghost eye has detected a wave of information. Name Zombie Soldier. Qualification D. Level 1-5. Vampire. Ability. Zombie soldiers can absorb biological blood, enhance strength and recover from injuries. Seeing this, I quickly ordered Xiao Lei Ming and Sword Ghost to take care of them. At this moment, Xiao Lei is manipulating terrifying lightning. Chopped towards the zombie soldier. The powerful electric shock turned them into charcoal directly. The sword demon wields the ghost killing sword and strikes with a single sword. The zombie soldier was instantly cut in half. And next to me, the soul-eating crow's eyes lit up. Suddenly, the fallen zombie soldier opened its mouth wide and sucked in. Suddenly, their souls were sucked out by the soul-eating crow demon. This is the soul-devouring ability of the soul-eating crow demon. Can devour the souls of enemies to enhance strength. I followed with a happy face. They are picking up ghost crystals behind their buttocks. After eliminating all the zombie soldiers, I have also collected around a hundred ghost crystals. When we reach the end of the aisle, discover there is an underground passage there. I guess this tomb is layered. Now we should be on top. I waved my hand and led the ghosts to the next floor. And the ghostly and gloomy atmosphere on this level is clearly more intense than the one above. We are about to continue delving deeper. Suddenly, the sound of heavy horse hooves rang out. Ten zombies riding skeletal horses emerged from the cave ahead. They were still holding a sharp spear in their hands. At this time, the reincarnation ghost I appears in formation. Name, Elite, Zombie Cavalry. Qualification C. Type, Physical. Level 7. Ghost Gun Kill Ability. Zombie Cavalry charges towards the enemy. Use the long spear in your hand to attack the enemy and inflict a significant amount of damage. I haven't had a chance to take a good look yet. Ten zombies suddenly raised their spears and roared, launched a charge towards me and others. Seeing this, I slapped the soul-eating crow demon on the butt and said, Soul-devouring crow demon, it's up to you now. Use soul raven's cry. With the command given, the soul-eating raven demon opens its mouth and emits a soul-piercing scream. An invisible mysterious force surged towards the zombie cavalry. In an instant, their souls felt as if they were being fiercely struck by a hammer. Continuous miserable screams came out of the mouth. The body fell directly from the back of the skeletal horse. Seeing the scene, I couldn't help but take a deep breath. You should know that these are all ghost templates of elites. It was unexpectedly able to render it powerless with just one move. I have to say, this soul-based attack is really powerful against physical-type ghosts. The soul-eating crow demon at this moment is extremely excited. It opens its mouth and suddenly sucks. Suddenly, the body of the zombie cavalry, emerging transparent souls, swallowed directly by the soul-eating crow demon. The zombie cavalry instantly loses its life breath, disperse into black mist, only leaving behind ghost crystals that emit faint light. At the same time, the game system sound rang out. Ding. 
Congratulations on your Soul Raven Ghost. By absorbing souls through the ability of soul devouring, the level has successfully been upgraded to level 9. I heard that a hint of joy appeared on my face. After picking up the 10 elite ghost crystals on the ground, took out 4 pieces and handed them to his son, Xiao Lei Ming. As his absorption was completed, his level also reached level 9. I personally consumed the remaining ghost crystal. My experience bar has greatly increased. It looks like I will soon reach level 9 myself. And with the death of the zombie cavalry, a tunnel suddenly appeared on the platform ground. I guess it should be the passage leading to the negative second floor. Now, both of my ghost strengths have greatly increased and I am full of confidence. He waved his hand directly and said to his own ghosts and monsters, I'll cover for you, if it goes as I expected. Below should be the location of the boss, when we arrived at the negative second level of the tomb. In the middle of a huge octagonal platform, there is a coffin, and above, black mist shrouds, ghostly aura entwines. Not simple at first glance. At this moment, I arrived not far from the coffin, waiting for the boss to appear. Embarrassingly, several minutes passed and the coffin remained completely still. I am speechless when I see this. Picked up a stone from the ground and threw it away. Hello, hello, hello. Can you have some professional ethics? As soon as the words fell, the coffin finally had a reaction. The next second, the coffin board was directly knocked out. A zombie wearing silver armor and wielding a large knife walked out of the coffin, roaring at me. At this moment, my reincarnation ghost I appeared information. Name zombie warlord boss. Qualification B. Level 8. Ability Ghost Blade Slash. The zombie general infuses ghostly aura into the big sword, deliver a powerful blow, inflicting significant damage to the enemy. I frowned upon seeing this. This guy doesn't seem to be the final boss, but it seems that this hidden copy has something. But it suits my taste. After all, the greater the difficulty, the greater the reward. At this moment, the zombie general saw that I actually ignored him and immediately let out a roar of anger. He rushed towards us with a big knife in his hand. The soul-eating crow demon uses the soul duckling's cry to control it. Xiao Leiming is preparing to use the judgment gun. I immediately shouted at the two ghosts. Soul-devouring crow demon can control and output damage. And Xiao Leiming can do both group attacks and single target attacks. Two ghosts combined together is a boss fighting machine. As for the sword demon, there is simply no chance for him to make a move. Can only temporarily be my bodyguard. At this moment, the soul-eating crow demon opens its mouth emitting a harsh duck call. An invisible force surged towards the zombie general boss. Suddenly, he felt that his soul had been severely wounded. Clutching the head with both hands, let out a scream of agony. At the same time, Shaolay seemed to be possessed by the god of thunder. Countless green thunders condensed into a lightning spear in his hand. As the spear of the little thunder Pluto flies away for judgment, the body of the zombie general boss was directly pierced. Zombie general boss who has not yet recovered from soul trauma. Chest is once again heavily injured. Just as he was about to stand up and fight back, suddenly, the sound of a bell rang out. The head of the zombie general boss lost consciousness for zero. Five seconds instantly. I saw myself shaking the ghost bell while holding the ghost restraining object. A few seconds. The sword demon seizes the opportunity to appear behind the zombie general boss. As he flashed a dazzling black sword light, the head of the zombie general fell directly from its neck. The body turned into black gas, dispersing and leaving behind a piece of ghost crystal. Seeing the situation, I directly picked up the ghost crystal and swallowed it in one gulp. My level has also reached level 9. At the same time, after the zombie general's death, a white hole slowly appeared under his coffin. And this should be the place to go to the third floor negative boss. At this time, my group and I went down to the negative third floor. When I saw the scene here, my pupils suddenly contracted. Only a huge platform was seen in the air. A stone coffin is hanging high with eight thick chains. A strand of moonlight shines on the stone coffin above my head, to know that moonlight belongs to the Een. The stone coffin is constantly nurtured by Een energy throughout the year. The things inside here are definitely extraordinary in strength. Just as I was contemplating, the chains on the stone coffin suddenly shook. The thick chains suddenly cracked. The heavy stone coffin fell from the sky. As the dust settles, a terrifying wave of fear swept in from all directions. Then a massive figure appeared before everyone's eyes. This monster is three meters tall, wearing a tough black and gold armor. A massive sword is held in the strong arm. At this moment, my reincarnation ghost I appeared information. Name Zombie King General, Elite Boss. Qualification B. Type, Physical. Ability 1, Giant Sword. The Zombie King General condenses ghostly aura within the giant sword. Cause massive damage to the enemy with a devastating sword strike. Ability 2, Summon Ghost Soldiers. The Zombie King General can summon numerous zombie soldiers to battle on the battlefield. 
My pupils suddenly contracted upon seeing this. The things in this ancient tomb are indeed extraordinary. The final boss turned out to be an elite boss, but this time it may be a bit tricky. Last time, when fighting the Thunderbird, the humanoid boss with a ghostly elite head, easily taken down by Xiao Lei Ming's restraint. And this elite boss is not that simple. I saw a strong fighting spirit flash in my eyes. At the same time, the reggae gun quietly appeared in my hands. Since that's the case, then we have no choice but to fight. Sun Lei Ming, the lord of the underworld, directly releases the underworld domain. The tomb instantly turned into a space filled with black mist. Countless black mists transformed into evil spirits entwined around General Zombie King, absorbing its attributes and feeding them back to Xiao Lei Ming. And the Zombie King felt his power being drained, instantly roaring in anger, rushing towards Xia Lei Ming with the huge sword in hand. Seeing this, I didn't hesitate and directly shook the ghost repelling bell. A moment of absent mindedness suddenly flashed through the Zombie King's mind, but quickly came to his senses. The current ghost bell's effect on elite bosses is too weak. After all, this thing is only a C level ghost. Then I shouted loudly at the soul eating crow demon, quickly control it for me. Then everyone focus on attacking its head. The soul eating crow demon immediately opens its mouth upon hearing, issuing a soulful scream at the charging zombie king, a terrifying mysterious invisible force, rushing towards the zombie king general. General zombie king's footsteps suddenly paused. Feel like my soul has been struck by a heavy hammer. Couldn't help but let out a painful scream. At this moment, countless green thunderbolts suddenly surged out of Xiao Lei's body. In an instant, a blue lightning spear condensed in the hand. The ability of the judgment spear is activated. As he fiercely shot the thunderous spear from his hand, a loud thunderclap suddenly resounded. A crack appeared on the helmet of the zombie king. His massive body was repeatedly pushed back by the terrifying impact. The zombie king hadn't even had time to react. The figure of the sword demon has already appeared in front of him. As the sword demon activates the skill, the ghost sword slash is thrust out with one sword. The crack on the helmet of the zombie king general has once again widened. Xiao Lei Ming and sword demon's ultimate moves were unable to break through his defense. I have to say, this guy is really afraid of death. With such a stiff helmet. Seeing the situation, I held the a ghostly thunder ghost gun. Infused the entire body's blue lightning into the tip of the thunder reggae gun. In an instant, lightning and thunder intertwined, and the muzzle emitted terrifying lightning. At this moment, I feel as if possessed by the god of thunder. Quickly swoop towards the zombie king general. Use the ability of the thunder gun directly, thunder gun kill. With a thunderous sound, the reggae spear pierced into the crack of the zombie king's helmet. The sound of a helmet falling off can be heard in the next second. But just at this moment, the zombie king finally recovered from the impact of the soul-eating crow demon's attack. He let out a loud roar. A strong ghostly aura surged from the body. Looks like it's time to unleash a big move. Seeing this, I hurriedly shouted at the soul-eating crow ghost. Silly. What are you still standing there foolishly for? Shouted at me again. But the soul eating crow ghost, upon hearing this, looked at me with a face full of grievances and caught incessantly. At the same time, a message appeared on my soul contract with the crow demon. Currently, the cooldown time for the soul raven's soul cry is 50 seconds. Can be used again after waiting for 50 seconds. Drop the ball at this time. I immediately cursed silently in my heart. And at this time, black ghost holes kept emerging around the zombie king. With the sound of roaring coming from the ghost cave, a group of ghost soldiers, each with a wrinkled body and holding a large knife, crawled out from the ghost cave one by one. This is the ability of the zombie king general boss. Summon the ghost soldiers, Tong Xiao. I reincarnate and the ghost I appears with a message. Name underworld ghost soldier, summon ghost. Qualification C. Type, physical. Ability, vampire blade. The ghost soldier uses a vampire sword to attack enemies. Injuring the enemy will absorb the enemy's blood. I breathed a sigh of relief when I saw this information. Fortunately, they are just some ordinary level ghosts. My son, Lei Ming Gui Jun, is not afraid of anything except team fights. A lightning strike can directly give you a chaotic killing. Is this not a ghost crystal given for free? At this moment, General Zombie King roared angrily. Wielding a large sword, he unleashed a fierce attack. Launched a charge towards us. I'll leave these fried fish to you. I shouted at the mighty army of ghost soldiers. Xiao Lei nodded slightly, and a powerful surge of blue lightning suddenly emanated from his body. Supported by the power of lightning, his body slowly floated in the air from the ground, and there are constantly black ghosts entering Xiao Lei's body. And this is the attribute of the underworld domain absorbing the zombie king and ghost soldiers. Feedback to Xia Lei Ming's body, as he fully unleashes the power of lightning. Countless blue lightning strikes hit the charging ghost soldiers. I only heard a series of miserable screams. The ghost soldier was directly struck by lightning and turned into charcoal, dissipating in the air. 
Only leaving behind ghost crystals, the majority of the ghost soldiers summoned by General Zombie King were killed. There are still some remnants of defeated soldiers. Let me and the sword demon slaughter directly. There is only the Zombie King left on the platform. Standing in place, looking completely confused. Seems to be saying, I finally managed to come up with a big move after much effort. Did you guys handle the summoned minions like this? Don't I have any face? At this moment, the Zombie King General felt extremely frustrated. The eyes flicker with astonishing anger, roaring in anger. A shocking ghostly aura surged from the body again. The Zombie King swung his giant sword and smashed it down towards the ground. As a loud roar sounded, the terrifying force directly blasted open a huge deep pit in the ground, and a powerful energy suddenly rushes towards us at a high speed along the ground. And this is another powerful move of General Zombie King, Giant Sword Slash. The huge ghost energy condensed and wrapped around the giant sword, emitting a terrifying slash that can cut rivers and break mountains. It has tremendous power. Everyone, quickly get away. This is the boss's giant sword slashing skill. Lin Haoren already knew about the boss's abilities and was prepared. Seeing the movements of the zombie king general, he knew whether he was going to defecate or urinate, immediately shouting loudly to his own monsters. At the same time, he quickly rolled and crawled to the side, avoiding the terrifying slash of the zombie king general. Quack quack quack. The soul-eating crow ghost was so scared that its soul almost flew out, flapping its wings desperately and flying into the sky. Xiao Laming and the sword ghost were the fastest, instantly rushing out of the attack range of the zombie king general. Boom 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 boom. The terrifying energy directly blasted the surrounding stone slabs, causing stone fragments to fly and creating a terrifying pit. Lin Haoren dodged the splashing stone slabs in a somewhat embarrassed manner, but the stone fragments were too dense, and he inevitably suffered some attacks. Let's attack together. Attack the exposed half of the boss's face with all our strength. Lin Haoren abruptly stopped, his body surrounded by dense ghost energy, shouting loudly to his own monsters, yes. Father Emperor. Xiao Leiming growled lowly, his whole body shimmering with astonishing blue lightning. Then, he once again condensed a judgment spear in his hand, big guy. Look at my spear. Xiao Leiming held the lightning spear and shouted childishly, immediately aiming it fiercely at the exposed eyes of the zombie king general. Whoosh whoosh. Crackle. With a sound of breaking through the air accompanied by thunder, the judgment spear shot towards the zombie king general like a bolt of lightning. However, the zombie king general had already been wary after suffering a loss before. Roar. It roared, holding the giant sword in front of its face. Boom boom boom. The raging lightning spear collided with the zombie king general's giant sword, emitting a terrifying roar. The heavy sword actually dented, emitting a scorching temperature and a crackling sound. It can be seen that after Xiao Leiming activated the underworld domain and absorbed the terrifying attributes from the boss, the attributes of the zombie king general boss were continuously decreasing, while Xiao Leiming's attributes were constantly increasing. Roar! The zombie king general boss was shaken by this terrifying power, feeling numbness in its tiger's mouth, unable to help but take a step back, showing a look of shock and anger. It felt that the power within its body was getting weaker and weaker, which made it feel a sense of impatience. At this moment, the attack of the sword ghost had also arrived. The sword ghost held a sharp sword infused with ghost energy and fiercely slashed at the zombie king general's giant sword. Ghost sword slash. Clang. The powerful force of the sword demon clashed with the giant sword of the zombie king general boss, creating a piercing sound of metal collision. Sparks flew, and the zombie king general's sword was deflected by the sword demon's immense power, revealing his left face and iris without a helmet. Crackling. At this moment, Lin Haoren, surrounded by lightning, suddenly appeared in front of the zombie king general. Holding the thunder ghost gun, the gun had condensed astonishing lightning power. He leaped up, wielding the terrifying thunder ghost gun towards the eyes of the zombie king general. Die. Thunder ghost kill. Lin Haoren jumped high in the air, his face turning red, radiating a terrifying killing intent. With a roar, the thunder ghost gun in his hand, empowered by horrifying lightning, fiercely pierced the eyes of the zombie king general boss. This move, thunder ghost kill, was Lin Haoren infusing most of his lightning power into the thunder ghost gun, with an incomparable destructive power. It directly pierced through the eye sockets of the zombie king general, with the entire gun head entering the boss's head. Boom boom boom. 
The horrifying green lightning tore through the Zombie King General Boss's head. Roar! The Zombie King General Boss let out a painful and miserable scream, with black blood continuously flowing from his eye sockets. His appearance was extremely tragic. Lin Haoran quickly withdrew the Thunder Ghost Gun and stepped aside, looking solemnly at his own covered eyes. In the midst of the Zombie King General's furious roar, sweat streamed down Lin Haoran's forehead. He was panting heavily, as the Thunder Ghost kill almost depleted his lightning power and physical strength. But fortunately, he seized the opportunity and hit the Zombie King General boss's eye sockets. He should be dead now, right? Lin Haoran nervously said, looking at the Zombie King General boss, who was already kneeling on the ground with weak breath. P.S. Thank you, dear viewers, for your gifts. New book seeks updates and five-star reviews. Chapter 54 System Announcement World Boiling Rich Rewards However, Lin Haoran fought for a moment and still, just in case, shouted at Xiao Laming, Xiao Laming. Give this guy another shot. The dying zombie king general boss heard this and directly took his last breath, looking at Lin Haoran with deep resentment, and then farted directly. Boom. The huge body of the zombie king general fell heavily to the cold ground, raising countless dust. Even in death, the eyes of the zombie king general boss were fixed on Lin Haoran, as if cursing him for not having a butt to give birth to a child. Damn it. I'm an elite boss, don't I have any face? And you want to shoot me again? You're even more heartless than arsenic. Just then, a horse system prompt sounded in Lin Haoran's ear. Ding. Congratulations on clearing the hidden instance general's tomb. This instance is now officially open to the players in Newbie Village No. 4. Ding. Congratulations to the player for obtaining a chance to make a system-wide announcement. Would the player like to reveal their nickname Ding? Congratulations to the player for clearing the instance for the first time General's Tomb and obtaining the first victory reward A-Grade Ghost Creature Ghost Giant Sword. A-Grade Ghost Creature Evil Ghost Armor. Several consecutive system prompts made Lin Haoran grin from ear to ear. Hidden Nickname Lin Haoran directly chose to hide his nickname. Being Loki is his nature, silently making a fortune. Ding! Just then, in the sky of the apocalyptic and mysterious online game, a deafening voice resounded, causing a commotion among all the players. Ding! Congratulations to player for discovering and clearing the hidden instance general's tomb in Newbie Village No. 4. This instance is now officially open to the players in Newbie Village No. 4. Players can enter alone or in a team, and will receive generous rewards upon completion. Congratulations to the player for obtaining the World Reward Ghost Extermination Prestige 100 points. S-Grade Ghost Creature Ghost Slayer Sword. Ghost Treasure Innate Sword Embryo. Ding. Congratulations to player for discovering and clearing the hidden instance general's tomb in Newbie Village No. 4. This instance is now officially open to the players in Newbie Village No. 4. Three consecutive thunderous voices suddenly resounded in the void of all the players, leaving everyone dumbfounded. Jealousy, envy, shock, and various complex emotions arose in the hearts of many. The world chat channel was completely boiling. It's me, Fei Yang Yang holy shit. Who is this big shot again, actually rewarding an S-class ghost item, this is really amazing. The must-die lick dog what's an S-class ghost item. The most precious thing is still the ghost treasure, this kid struck it rich. Yen Wang brother. If you see this, please message me privately. I am the guild leader of the Yen Wang Palace Guild. I welcome you to join my guild and can give you the position of hallmaster with a monthly salary of 100,000. Just give me this reward. Dami I Dami I holy shit. A surprise from a rich big shot, the big shot on the leaderboard, 6666, this kid really hit the jackpot, reaching the top in one step. Shui Beishi Anxia I'm laughing so hard. Just a small wealthy second generation, what's so impressive about you? Brother, give me this reward and I'll transfer 200,000 to you immediately. Emperor 250,000. Miyamoto Musashi 260,000. Little days, IFCK your sister damn. This kid really struck it rich, this game is so easy to make money in, selling equipment for hundreds of thousands, they're all idiots. 
One eight cm man, I'm dying of laughter. It's just a game, really a bunch of spendthrifts, no hope for them. The chat channel exploded with a group of big shots on the leaderboard, all looking for Lin Howren, wanting to spend money to buy Lin Howren's system rewards. If it were the previous life, Lin Howren would definitely sell without a second thought. With a few hundred thousand, he could make a down payment on a house in a third or fourth tier city in the real world. Lin Howren would definitely sell, but in this life, even if they offered a billion, Lin Howren wouldn't sell. After the apocalyptic and mysterious online game merged with reality, money. Even a dog would shake its head at it, not worth more than a hard bun. So they were destined to be disappointed, and Lin Howren didn't even know about it. At this moment, Lin Howren was happily picking up the ghost crystals on the ground. These were the ghost crystals of the ghost soldiers summoned by the zombie king general's nonsense. There were about 100 of them, all of which were collected in the system backpack. Then Lin Howren picked up the fist-sized ghost crystal dropped by the boss, and the boss didn't drop anything else, but it seemed that the system gave its heavy sword and armor as special rewards to Lin Howren. When Lin Howren finished picking up the zombie king general's ghost crystals, he heard the sound of the system prompt in his ear ding. You have passed the instance, and now you will be teleported out of the instance. Shua! Before Lin Howren could react, he suddenly felt his vision go black, and in an instant, Lin Howren's figure had already appeared on the flat ground outside the instance. At this time, the entrance to the general's tomb had turned into a spiral shaped light cluster, with a few big characters written on it General's Nest Instance. Chapter 55 A level ghost creature ghost giant sword and evil ghost armor This means that everyone can enter this instance, but Lin Howren feels that besides himself, no one else can solo this instance. The final elite boss, the zombie king general, is heavily armored and difficult to break through. Even if you team up, the zombie king general still has the ability to summon ghost soldiers and a powerful single target sword attack. It's truly insane. But there is someone even more insane than the zombie king general boss, someone who can solo clear the instance, and that is Lin Howren himself. Lin Howren glanced at the time and realized it was already late, past 9 o'clock in the evening. Damn it. After I'm done, I need to log off quickly and eat, otherwise my body will be drained. Lin Howren cursed inwardly and quickly logged off. In the real world, inside a rented room, gurgle gurgle chirp chirp. Lin Howren took off his gaming helmet and his stomach growled like a chicken. It seemed that he was extremely hungry, and he also felt a wave of weakness. He was really starving. Lin Howren got out of bed, drank a large glass of water, put on his clothes, and went out to a restaurant. He ordered a beef stew with radish, a fried one-night stand, fish sauce, dish, shredded pork with green peppers, and a black bone chicken soup. He was a rich person after all, and he couldn't let his body suffer. Soon, the dishes arrived. Lin Howren was already starving to death and immediately started devouring the food. At that moment, at a neighboring table in the restaurant, a few young people in their twenties were discussing excitedly. Hey hey hey! I heard someone offered 300,000 yuan to buy in-game items. Is that true it's true? It was that guy who stepped on dog poop and got a system announcement today. Damn, this guy is really lucky! If it were me, I would sell it immediately, buy a luxury car, and attract a bunch of girls. Wow. This game is really amazing. If we can get a top-tier item, we could become millionaires in minutes. Yeah. That's one of the reasons why this game is so popular, it can make money. Now the gaming helmets are being sold for 60,000 yuan each. It's outrageous. Let's eat quickly. Let's level up in the game. I'm already level 4, what about you guys I'm also level 4, about to reach level 5, he he Lin Howren heard the conversation from the neighboring table and his mouth twitched slightly. Are you guys talking about the guy who stepped on dog poop that seems to be me? Lin Howren couldn't help but roll his eyes and ignored them, focusing on his meal. A person who loves to eat, a soul of eating. I love eating, after a satisfying meal, I feel so refreshed. After finishing his meal, Lin Howren went straight back to his rented room, took a shower, and it was already 11 o'clock. Lin Howren lay down and went to sleep. A quiet night passed, Lin Howren woke up early in the morning, finished breakfast, and couldn't wait to put on his gaming helmet and enter the game. He still hadn't checked the rewards he obtained yesterday. He was impatient. 
In the game, Lin Haoran's figure quietly appeared not far from the entrance of the instance. The entrance was crowded with people, all of whom were players who wanted to enter and clear the instance. However, Lin Haoran just smiled lightly, knowing that with the current strength of the players, going in would be seeking death. Lin Haoran ignored them and instead checked the rewards in the system backpack. There were four items a giant sword, armor, a ghostly sword, and the most precious ghost treasure. First, there was the giant sword. It was bronze in color, 2 meters long, 40 centimeters wide, and 5 centimeters thick. It was extremely heavy, too heavy for an ordinary person to lift, let alone swing. Lin Haoran used the ability of the reincarnation ghost eye to obtain its information, name ghost giant sword, type A level ghost item, affect a bronze giant sword with astonishing destructive power, capable of unleashing a powerful sword strike with the might to break rivers and mountains. Giant Sword Strike infuses a large amount of ghost energy into the sword to unleash a terrifying slashing attack that deals massive damage. Ghost Item Information The weapon of the Grand General, countless souls have perished under this sword, nurtured by ghost energy and transformed into a ghost item. Lin Haoran's eyes lit up. It was a good sword, and it even had the Giant Sword Strike skill from the Zombie King Grand General boss. He had witnessed the terrifying power of this skill before, and it was definitely very formidable. Lin Haoran continued to look down. The second item was an armor. This was the first time Lin Haoran had seen a ghost item of the armor type in this life. The armor was completely black, with an evil ghost pattern on the chest, exuding a domineering and handsome aura. Name evil ghost armor, type A level ghost item, affect an evil ghost armor with astonishing defense, capable of protecting the wearer from damage and releasing the skill evil ghost roar. Evil Ghost Roar condense an evil ghost shadow and emit a loud roar that deals damage to enemies and causes them to enter a state of ringing in the ears. Ghost item information and evil armor forged by an evil blacksmith using human bones and iron blocks, filled with lingering resentment and brewing ghost energy, transformed into a ghost item. Lin Haoran couldn't help but brighten up. This armor wasn't the one worn by the Zombie King Grand General, but it was much cooler and came with a control skill. Lin Haoran was very satisfied and immediately equipped the evil ghost armor on himself. With black hair, wearing black armor, and wielding the thunder ghost spear, paired with Lin Haoran's deep eyes, he looked just like a protagonist from a novel. Many players were attracted by Lin Haoran's cool appearance and couldn't help but look at him. Damn. What's up with this guy's equipment it's so cool. So handsome. I wonder if he has a girlfriend. So badass. Brother, are you selling this equipment? I'll pay 1,000 yuan, I also want to show off. You can tell at a glance that it's fake. Are you stupid? It definitely doesn't have any attributes, it's just for looks. I just don't know where to buy it. I want to buy a set to show off too. The players looked at the equipment on Lin Haoran and discussed it among themselves. Lin Haoran glanced at them, then left without looking back, finding a place where there was no one. P.S. A new book set sale, the cute and silly author is online seeking 5-star reviews. Thank you, esteemed readers O, oh, greater than over equal to nabble less than over equal to O. Oh. Chapter 56 S-Class Ghost Item Ghost Spirit Sword, Precious Ghost Treasure, Innate Sword Embryo Lin Haoran arrived at a small grove and released the sword ghost to protect him. Then, Lin Haoran set his sights on the remaining two important items a sword and a glowing jade stone in the shape of a sword. They were none other than the S-Class Ghost Item Ghost Spirit Sword, and the Ghost Treasure Innate Sword Embryo. Just the names alone made Lin Haoran excited. An S-Class Ghost Item. In the previous life, he wouldn't even dare to think about it. But now, only a few days after the server opened, he obtained an S-Class Ghost Item. This was something that the previous Lin Haoran couldn't believe. Lin Haoran took out the Ghost Spirit Sword from his backpack. Buzz. The ghost spirit sword emitted a sword hum, immediately attracting the attention of the sword ghost beside him. Although the sword ghost's face was shrouded in black mist, making its expression unclear, Lin Haoran knew that it was staring intently at the ghost spirit sword in his hand. The ghost spirit sword was composed of black and white colors, both righteous and evil. It was surrounded by ghostly aura, but also had a hint of agility. The sword was one. Six meters long and about four fingers wide, a relatively slender and nimble ghost sword. 
Lin Haoran's left eye, the reincarnation ghost eye, trembled slightly, and a piece of information appeared in his mind, named Ghost Spirit Sword, type S class ghost item, effect the ghost spirit sword is quick and agile, allowing the user to attack faster. It can also release the skill Ghost Spirit Thrust. Ghost Spirit Thrust infuse ghostly aura into the sword, turning it into a spear-like weapon that can be thrust at the enemy with extreme speed, as fast as a flash of light, causing terrifying damage. Ghost item information Formerly the sword of a female swordsman, trapped by love, she cut her own throat and the sword was nurtured by ghostly aura, transforming into a ghost item. Lin Haoran's eyes lit up. It was indeed a good ghost sword that could increase the user's attack speed. This was truly rare. In a battle between experts, speed often determined victory or defeat. Moreover, it had an even more powerful skill. It was excellent. Satisfied, Lin Haoran nodded and then turned his gaze to the last remaining item, the one he had been looking forward to the most the ghost treasure, innate sword embryo. Lin Haoran held a piece of jade stone in the shape of an ancient sword. It emitted a faint glow that made people unable to resist being captivated by it. In an instant, the information about the innate sword embryo appeared in Lin Haoran's mind through his reincarnation ghost eye, name innate sword embryo, ghost treasure, type special ghost treasure, effect can only be used by sword-wielding ghost monsters. It can enhance the talent and abilities of ghost monsters. The stronger the swordsmanship, the greater the effect. It can even undergo a rebirth, forming the body of an innate ghost sword immortal. Ghost item information A ghost treasure nurtured by heaven and earth, possessing mysterious and powerful strength. Wow! Lin Haoran couldn't help but gasp when he saw the information about this ghost treasure. It almost made the earth warm up. Excitement flashed in Lin Haoran's eyes as he glanced at the sword ghost beside him. Muttering to himself, he said, this is simply a ghost treasure tailor-made for the sword ghost. If the sword ghost uses this innate sword embryo ghost treasure, its talent might even break through to the SS class. My strength will definitely increase significantly. Lin Haoran couldn't help but secretly feel excited. You're really lucky. To have encountered such a good and great master like me. I've been good to you. Lin Haoran laughed and scolded the sword ghost standing beside him like a wooden statue, taking out the innate sword embryo ghost treasure and handing it to the sword ghost, saying, Sword ghost. This is for you. After you consume it, you can undergo a complete transformation. Completely reborn. Lin Haoran said solemnly to the sword ghost. The sword ghost was the first ghost he obtained from completing a ghost collection task. Originally, it was only a B-grade qualified ghost, but it seemed that this guy had good luck. First, the red-clothed female ghost gave it a ghost embryo, which raised its qualification to S-grade, barely keeping up with his pace. However, since acquiring little Lei Ming, the sword ghost's role clearly couldn't keep up with his pace. In terms of group attacks, little Lei Ming and the soul-eating crow ghost directly overwhelmed the sword ghost. In terms of single-target attacks, little Lei Ming's judgment spear was definitely the strongest. So now, the sword ghost could only deal with small monsters, and its combat effectiveness was limited. But now. With this innate sword embryo ghost treasure, Lin Haoran felt that the sword ghost would definitely undergo earth-shaking changes. This was Lin Haoran's intuition. The sword ghost's eyes, covered by black energy, flashed a hint of brilliance as it stared closely at the innate sword embryo in Lin Haoran's hand. A strong desire rose in its heart, as if every cell in its body was eager to consume it. The sword ghost's pair of phoenix eyes, covered by black energy, looked quietly at Lin Haoran, with a hint of tenderness in its eyes. It reached out its slender hand and took the innate sword embryo ghost treasure from Lin Haoran's hand, then swallowed it in one gulp. Gurgle. The sword ghost closed its eyes tightly, slowly feeling the changes in its body, while Lin Haoran also nervously watched the sword ghost. He was filled with curiosity, anticipation, and a hint of pride. This was a ghost he had personally nurtured starting from a B-grade qualified ghost. Lin Haoran had strong feelings for the sword ghost. Buzz. At this moment, a dazzling light suddenly appeared on the sword ghost's body, emitting a clear sword sound. Schwa schwa schwa. Fine sword chi appeared around the sword ghost, cutting the surrounding leaves into thin strands. Lin Haoran quickly moved several meters away from the sword ghost, otherwise it would be embarrassing if his virgin robe was killed by his own ghost. As the sword chi grew stronger, the light on the sword ghost's body became more dazzling. 
Ghost energy boiled, sword chi soared, and the sword ghost's body underwent earth-shaking changes. Just as Lin Haoren was staring at the glowing sword ghost, a system prompt suddenly sounded in his ear ding. Congratulations to the player's contracted ghost the sword ghost has consumed the innate sword embryo ghost treasure and successfully obtained the innate ghost sword immortal physique. Congratulations to the player's contracted ghost the sword ghost has undergone a transformation and become an SS grade qualified ghost sword immortal. Ding! The attributes of your contracted ghost, the ghost sword immortal, have changed. Please check it yourself. A series of system prompt sounds directly left Lin Haoren completely dumbfounded. Standing there with a confused expression, he blurted out a national curse word what the FCK. Is this the rhythm of taking off? Lin Haoren muttered to himself in shock. P.S. Thank you to my family for the gifts. Thank you to the amazing brother who loves to eat sausages for the certification gift. It's too valuable, and I feel a bit embarrassed. I can only add an extra chapter for you guys. Thank you, my family. Intersection underscore intersection, intersection underscore intersection. Ghost sword immortal, oh buzz. The white light on the sword ghost slowly dissipated, and the ghost energy and sword energy also dissipated in the air. A figure slowly appeared in front of Lin Haoren. This. Woman. Woman. When Lin Haoren saw the appearance of the sword ghost at this time, he was dumbfounded on the spot, with an incredulous look in his eyes. Because standing in front of Lin Haoren at this time was a female ghost. The female ghost was draped in a light veil like white dress, with a black long skirt on the lower body. A layer of faint blue smoke enveloped her, faintly discernible, surrounded by sword energy and ethereal ghost energy. Her smooth black hair cascaded down to her waist, her skin as white as snow, with a graceful figure. Her pair of phoenix eyes flickered with astonishing sword intent, cold and indifferent, making it impossible to look directly at her. Borrowing water to bloom is a wonder, water sinking into bones and jade becoming flesh. The sword ghost is actually a female ghost. This is ridiculous. Gurgle. Lin Haoren looked at the woman in front of him and couldn't help but swallow a mouthful of saliva, muttering to himself. He had always assumed that the sword ghost was a male ghost, it was his subconscious belief. However, the face of the sword ghost had always been shrouded in black energy and she had never spoken, so it was indeed difficult to know her gender. It seemed that no one else had said that she was male, it was just his subconscious assumption. And Lin Haoren never expected that the appearance of the sword ghost would be so stunning. Although her appearance was still a bit different from his wife's, the sword ghost carried an otherworldly and cold aura, a charm of a high and cold lady, completely different from the style of a sweet and queen-like ghost empress. Lin Haoran was momentarily mesmerized by the sword ghost in front of him, standing foolishly in place. The sword ghost. No, it should be called the ghost sword immortal. The ghost sword immortal glanced at Lin Haoran with her phoenix eyes, and when she saw Lin Haoran staring at her foolishly, a strange feeling of joy flashed through her heart. It was a strange feeling, as if she really liked being looked at by Lin Haoran like this. The ghost sword immortal didn't understand what this feeling was, but she didn't dislike it. She couldn't help but slightly open her thin lips and speak for the first time. If you keep staring, I'll gouge your eyes out. The voice of the ghost sword immortal was very pleasant, full of the aura of a mature woman. Ah. Uh. Lin Haoren couldn't help but awkwardly smile and said to the ghost sword immortal, I was just too surprised. I always thought you were a man. Oh. So you can speak, I thought you were mute. Then Lin Haoren looked at the ghost sword immortal with a surprised expression. The ghost sword immortal glanced at Lin Haoren and said lightly, I just didn't want to speak before, it doesn't mean I can't speak. All right. If you like. Lin Haoren helplessly shrugged his shoulders, and then his left eye, the reincarnated ghost eye, obtained the information panel of the ghost sword immortal at this moment named ghost sword immortal aptitude SS type ghost immortal level 9 contract equal contract loyalty 100 abilities innate ghost sword immortal body ghost creatures with this physique have unparalleled swordsmanship comprehension, greatly enhancing the power of sword skills. Sword control technique the ghost sword immortal can mentally manipulate the sword, decapitating someone from thousands of miles away. The higher the level, the greater the distance, speed, and attack power, which is related to the level of the Ghost Sword. Heavenly Execution Sword Formation The Ghost Sword Immortal's ultimate move requires the use of four Ghost Swords. 
The more ghost swords and the higher their level, the stronger the power of the heavenly execution sword formation. Anyone who enters the formation will die without exception, possessing unparalleled destructive power. Ghost information originally a highly skilled B-grade ghost with exceptional swordsmanship, it transformed into an extremely rare ghost immortal after being refined by the innate sword embryo of the ghost treasure, possessing immense potential. Description A ghost among swordsmen, commonly known as the ghost sword immortal. With a single sword, it can reach thousands of miles, decapitating its enemies. With two swords, it can control all sword techniques in the world. Hiss. Lin Haoren took a cold breath when he saw the information panel of the ghost sword immortal. The temperature in the surrounding air dropped by several degrees. Powerful. Too damn powerful. Abnormal. It's damn abnormal. This is completely different from the previous sword ghost, they are two completely different levels of ghosts. Well deserved as the ghost sword immortal. Absolutely deserving, it's a well deserved reputation. I've never heard of this kind of ghost immortal in my two lifetimes. I didn't expect there to be this type of ghost, truly eye opening. Perhaps it existed in the previous life, but I didn't have the qualifications to know. Lin Haoren speculated in shock in his heart. After all, in the previous life, the highest aptitude of the ghosts he encountered was only A grade, let alone these even more secretive ghosts. This world is still too mysterious. There are still many unknown things. I must maintain a sense of awe in my heart. Lin Haoren silently reminded himself in his heart, then looked at the three major abilities of the ghost sword, one more powerful than the other. Lin Haoren couldn't help but get excited. The first one was the passive ability, the innate ghost sword immortal body, which increases comprehension and the power of sword moves. The second one was the legendary sword control technique. This is simply too cool does it mean that the ghost sword immortal can fly with the sword? Even carry me. This is so cool, right? Lin Haoren couldn't help but get excited, and there was one last skill, the ghost sword immortal's ultimate move, the heavenly execution sword formation. The more ghost swords and the higher their level, the greater the power. In the future, if I collect thousands or even tens of thousands of S-grade ghost swords, who can survive under the heavenly execution sword formation of the ghost sword immortal? Even if a true immortal comes, they will have to perish in the formation. Lin Haoren was filled with longing for the future. What are you thinking? So disgusting. The ghost sword immortal saw Lin Haoren's intoxicated appearance and couldn't help but frown, speaking up. Ah. Uh. Lin Haoren snapped back to reality, feeling slightly embarrassed. Then, with a serious expression, he said to the ghost sword immortal, I've been thinking. About you. Would you like to form a soul contract with me? The ghost sword immortal did not hesitate at all upon hearing this, and directly activated a soul formation, appearing in front of Lin Haoren. She stared at him with her phoenix-like eyes and said, sign. Although the ghost sword immortal's tone was somewhat cold, Lin Haoren could still sense a slight tremor in her voice, accompanied by a hint of excitement. Lin Haoren smiled faintly, without exposing her, and immediately signed the soul contract with the ghost sword immortal. Ding! The contract between the player and the ghost sword immortal has been modified and changed to a master-servant soul contract. The player is the master, and the ghost sword immortal is the servant. At this moment, the system's hoarse voice suddenly sounded in Lin Haoren's ears. Lin Haoren's pupils suddenly contracted, looking at the ghost sword immortal with astonishment, unable to help but say, why is it a master-servant soul contract? What I mean is an equal soul contract. He never expected that the ghost sword immortal would actually sign a master-servant soul contract with him. This meant that the ghost sword immortal entrusted everything to him. If his soul died, she would also dissipate and die completely. I like it. The ghost sword immortal glanced at Lin Haoren and casually said a sentence before falling silent, causing Lin Haoren's mouth to twitch slightly as he looked at her speechlessly. However, he felt a slight touch in his heart, knowing that the ghost sword immortal truly trusted him. Otherwise, she wouldn't have signed a master servant soul contract with him. But before this, her loyalty to him had already reached its maximum value, and coupled with the great opportunity he had given her, it was normal for her to be completely devoted to him. These two ghost swords are for you. Lin Haoren took out an A-grade ghost giant sword and an S-grade ghost spirit sword from the system backpack and handed them to the ghost sword immortal. 
Both the Sword Immortal Art and the Immortal Slaying Sword Formation required swords, and the Immortal Slaying Sword Formation required at least four ancient ghost swords. Currently, he only had the Ghost Killing Sword, the Ghost Giant Sword, and the Ghost Spirit Sword, a total of three swords. He still needed one more Ghost Sword to use the Ghost Sword Immortal's most powerful Immortal Slaying Sword Formation. Go to the official forum and post a thread to buy a ghost sword tonight. Any ghost sword above C grade will do. Lin Haoran thought to himself. When the ghost sword immortal saw the two ghost swords handed over by Lin Haoran, her eyes lit up. She reached out her white and pure jade hand and took the two swords, a hint of joy flashing in her eyes. Her love for swords had not changed at all. Lin Haoran couldn't help but smile. Then, Lin Haoran took out the ghost crystals obtained in the instance, around 100 level 6 ghost crystals, as well as an elite boss zombie king general's ghost crystal. Now, both his ghost monsters and his own level were already at level 9. His wife, the Empress of Ghosts, had even reached level 10. After thinking for a moment, Lin Haoran decided to level up himself first, stabilizing his position as the first on the leaderboard. In two more days, he would reach one week and receive a mysterious reward. Lin Haoran directly consumed the Zombie King General's Ghost Crystal. Ding! Congratulations, your level has increased, reaching level 10. Ding! As you are the first player to reach level 10, a hidden task has been triggered the Hidden Ghost King. Please ask the player to go to the Village Chief in the Beginner's Village to receive this quest. Completing the quest will reward you generously. A series of system prompt sounds immediately left Lin Haoran dumbfounded. I actually triggered a hidden quest. And there's this kind of good show. A bright smile appeared on Lin Haoran's face. It was so satisfying to get a hidden quest for free. Lin Haoran then glanced at the system backpack. There was almost nothing left, but in the corner, there was a tattered parchment. Lin Haoran's heart stirred slightly. It seemed to be the privilege he obtained when he first entered the game, the sheepskin parchment gifted by the system. It had been so long that Lin Haoran almost forgot about it. Lin Haoran took out the parchment and checked its information panel, named Tattered Parchment, Effect Ignited, and it will take you to a place where there is a powerful ghost. But be careful, there is a strong monster there. Don't get eaten. Lin Haoran's heart stirred slightly. A powerful ghost. How strong could it be? Just as Lin Haoran was about to ignite it, urgent voices came from nearby. Hurry to the mountain rock slope. The Yenwang Temple Guild is going to fight that one-eyed giant boss again. Let's go and see the excitement. Last time, the Yenwang Temple Guild members were sent back to the beginner's village by this boss. It's really satisfying. Yeah. I just don't know if they will suffer the same fate this time and get wiped out again. He he. I heard that the Yenwang Temple Guild is sending hundreds of people this time, and the guild leader Yen Wang himself is personally participating. I heard he has a high-level ghost. They are well prepared this time, and they will definitely defeat the boss. Damn. That's going to be a good show. Let's go and see the excitement. If we can't sleep, we can still take advantage of the situation. The boss will definitely drop some good items. Don't think too much. The Yen Wang Temple Guild is very domineering. They even bully us solo players. If you provoke them, you will definitely be killed until you quit the game. A group of players walked in disgust on the side, causing Lin Haoran, who was in the small forest, to stir slightly in his heart. The one-eyed giant boss. Wasn't that the one he saw on the forum last time? Interesting. I love bosses the most. A faint smile appeared on Lin Haoran's lips, showing a curious expression. And it just so happens that I can see if this Yen Wang is the Yen Wang from the previous life. If that's the case, then it's interesting. Lin Haoran had a faint smile on his face as he put away the sheepskin parchment and followed behind these people, heading towards the direction of the boss. Lin Haoran walked onto the road and casually opened the world rankings. Ghost Aptitude Rankings, NO1 SSS Level Ghost Emperor, Contractor Hidden Nickname. NO2 SS Level Ghost Sword Immortal, Contractor Hidden Nickname. NO3 SS Level Thunder Abyss Ghost Lord, Contractor Hidden Nickname. NO4 S Level Soul Eating Crow Ghost, Contractor Hidden Nickname. 
NO5S Level Tengu Ghost, Contractor Miyamoto Musashi. NO6S Level Evil Bone Ghost Dragon, Contractor Indian San. NO7S Level Daoist Ghost, Contractor Emperor. NO8S Level Green Giant Ghost, Contractor American Emperor. NO9S Level Ox Head Ghost, Contractor Yen Wang. Ghost Object Rankings, NO1S Level Ghost Spirit Sword Holder. Hidden Nickname, NO2A Level Thunder Ghost Gun Holder. Hidden Nickname, NO3A Level Thunder Ghost Bead Holder. Hidden Nickname, NO4A Level Ghost Giant Sword Holder. Hidden Nickname, NO5A Level Evil Ghost Armor Holder. Hidden Nickname, NO6A Level Ghost Suppressing Talisman Holder. Yan Wang. In the level rankings, Lin Haoren is far ahead, at level 10, while the highest behind him is level 7. In the aptitude rankings, his four ghosts occupy the top four spots, and in the object rankings, he occupies the top five spots. He truly dominates the rankings. But other players do not believe that this is the same person because it is too terrifying, too abnormal. Lin Haoren's mouth slightly curls up, a glimmer of light flashes in his eyes, and he murmurs to himself when the apocalyptic mysterious online game merges with reality, I will be invincible. Li Shui. Just you wait. Treasure your last moments. Number 4 Newbie Village, Rocky Slope. As the name suggests, the rocky slope is full of rocky hills. At the entrance of a huge cave, many players have gathered, numbering no less than 500. These players are members of the Yen Wang Palace Guild. Not far away, the surrounding slopes are also densely packed with players, some here to watch the excitement, others with other intentions. At this moment, in front of the huge cave, a man about one. 8 meters tall, muscular and obviously fit, with sharp eyes that look fierce, is the guild leader of the Yen Wang Palace Yen Wang. He is the fifth ranked player in the server's level rankings. He is also the contractor of the Ghost Aptitude Rankings Ox Head Ghost, definitely a high-end player in the game, which is related to his financial ability. Guild Leader Everything is ready. Should we summon the one-eyed giant boss now? Beside Yen Wang, a bald man respectfully asks. Yen Wang glanced at the densely packed players nearby and said calmly to the bald man tell them. If anyone dares to not follow the rules and try to take advantage, our Yen Wang Temple Guild will spare no expense to kill them until they quit the game. Yen Wang was determined to defeat this one-eyed giant boss, firstly to restore their reputation after being wiped out by the group last time, secondly to level up with the ghost crystal dropped by the boss, and thirdly to obtain the ghost items dropped by the boss to increase their own strength. Three birds with one stone. There were many casual players, and it would be very troublesome if they all rushed in when the boss was almost defeated. It was necessary to warn these pests, as Yen Wang was certain that many of them were hoping to take advantage. Yes. Guild leader. The bald man nodded at Yen Wang, then walked to the back of the team, his eyes flashing with a hint of fierceness. He shouted loudly at the surrounding casual players, listen to me. This one-eyed giant boss has already been reserved by our Yen Wang Temple Guild. This boss will die tonight. If any of you dare to steal the boss and cause trouble, our guild leader said, spare no expense. Kill them until they quit the game. After saying this, the bald man turned and left, seemingly not caring about these casual players. The surrounding casual players heard this and dared not speak out in anger, but they were still discussing among themselves this Yen Wang Temple Guild is so arrogant. Damn, it's just a few coins, what's the big deal exactly? They're really overbearing, not only occupying the leveling area, but also monopolizing the boss. This is everyone's game, not just the game of Yen Wang Temple. Hey! Brother, calm down. It's just a game, let it go. Even if they take it, what's the harm although it's just a game? It's still annoying. Damn, so what if they have money this world? Money really makes a difference. Forget it. Let's just watch the show. Some of the surrounding players were very angry and cursed at the Yen Wang Temple Guild, but their voices were not loud. Obviously, they were just venting, and they wouldn't dare to provoke the Yen Wang Temple Guild. More players were just here to join in the fun. In their hearts, it was just a game, and there was no need to make a fuss. What the crowd didn't see was a person wearing black armor quietly approaching. A pair of pitch black eyes calmly looked at Yen Wang in front of the huge cave. 
the corners of their mouth slightly curved, revealing a sinister smile. They muttered to themselves, what a coincidence. So it really is you. Yen Wan Lord. That's right, this Yen Wang was the powerful lord from the previous life, who controlled a large gathering place. In the real world, he was a prince of the underworld, ruthless and extremely ambitious. He couldn't tolerate anyone being stronger than him. Lin Haoren speculated that the reason he wanted to kill this boss was to quickly level up with the boss's ghost crystal and surpass himself. Although they had no interaction in the previous life, Lin Haoren knew about his character. In the previous life, I had no power and could only be submissive. But in this life, Lin Haoren's eyes flashed with a sharp and unparalleled light as he slowly spoke, I want to be unrivaled. No one can stop me, even if you are the real King Yin Luo. At this moment, all the members of the Yen Wang Temple Guild had summoned their own ghosts and monsters. In an instant, various strange and bizarre ghosts appeared in front of the huge cave. There were skeleton ghosts wielding large cleavers, kunj ghosts holding basketballs, hanging ghosts, and three-headed ghosts with three brains. These strange ghosts all had qualifications above D-level, and there were also more than ten with C-level qualifications, with levels ranging from four to five. The lineup was indeed impressive. But the most eye-catching were the two ghosts beside King Yen Luo. One was two. Five meters tall, with a human body and a bull's head, strong muscles, and a black axe in hand, emitting ghostly energy. It should be a ghostly object. This was the bull-headed ghost on the ghost and monster qualification ranking list, and its qualification had reached S level. It was previously A level, but it seemed to have some opportunity to improve to S level. The other ghost had an evil ghost appearance, with a human head and a snake body, and long arms with sharp claws, resembling a snake demon. This was also King Yenlua's contracted ghost, a ghost with a level qualification the snake demon ghost. Both of these ghosts had reached level 6. Damn! Is this the bull-headed ghost with S-level qualification on the qualification ranking list? Yes. And King Yen Luo also has a second ghost, also a snake demon on the ranking list. It's great to have money to play games. You can buy whatever you want. The ghosts of the members of the Yen Wang Temple Guild are all outstanding. These hundreds of people are all elites, with high levels. It seems that the Yen Wang Temple Guild is determined to get this boss. No wonder they warned us. Now we can enjoy the show. Hopefully, they'll be sent back to the newbie village by the boss again. You're thinking too much. They are determined to succeed this time. Let's wait and see. The surrounding casual players saw the ghosts summoned by King Yen Luo and immediately exclaimed in envy and jealousy. Their hearts were filled with envy and hatred. At this moment, a gleam of light flashed in King Yen Luo's eyes as he said to his subordinates, Go. Lure the boss out. Yes. Guild leader. The subordinates immediately led their ghosts and entered the huge cave. After a while, a furious roar suddenly came from the cave. The subordinate was scared and ran out, and from the cave, a giant one-eyed giant boss holding a huge wolf tooth club walked out, still holding a ghost in its hand. It was the ghost of the Yen Wang Temple Guild member who went in to lure the monster. Roar! The one-eyed giant let out a loud roar, and a powerful wave of air swept away the members of the Yen Wang Temple Guild, causing a gust of wind and a foul smell. It was the breath of the one-eyed giant. Crack! The one-eyed giant directly put the monster he was holding in his hand into his mouth and swallowed it in one bite. His mouth was filled with dark, bloody liquid, which was terrifying. Meanwhile, Lin Haoran, hidden among the players, immediately obtained information about this one-eyed giant through the reincarnation ghost I name one-eyed giant elite BOSS quality B type physical level 8 abilities giant strength the one-eyed giant possesses immense strength. Wolf Fong Club Strike the one-eyed giant uses a huge wolf fong club to smash the ground, causing shockwave damage to nearby enemies and a chance to stun them. Ghost Information The one-eyed giant is a member of the one-eyed giant clan. After death, its grudge remains, and its ghostly aura brews, transforming into a powerful one-eyed giant elite boss. It is cruel by nature, devouring both humans and ghosts, and possesses terrifying power. Weakness the eye. Description here it comes. Can you withstand the love of the Wolf Fong Club? Lin Haoren narrowed his eyes slightly. 
This one eye giant turned out to be an elite boss with decent quality and a group attack and control skill. No wonder the members of the Yen Wang Hall Guild were wiped out before. Let's see if the Yen Wang Hall has any trump cards this time. Lin Haoren's mouth curled up slightly, revealing a sinister smile. At this moment, on the battlefield, the battle was about to begin. All members, attack! Death once, reimbursement of 500 yuan. Kill them! Yen Wang looked at this one eyed giant boss, slowly drew his long sword from his waist, and angrily shouted at all the guild members. Kill! The members of the Yen Wang Hall Guild were instantly energized, commanding their own monsters to launch an attack on the one eyed giant boss. Boom! 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 Hon! 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 Hundreds of monsters rushed forward, attacking the one eyed giant boss. Roar! The one eyed giant boss, holding a huge wolf fawn club, let out a loud roar from its ferocious mouth. With a single swing of the massive club, it killed more than a dozen monsters, smashing them into pieces. The black blood splattered all over the ground, creating a gruesome scene. Roar! The one eyed giant boss was unusually excited, continuously waving the wolf fawn club, sweeping through the Yen Wang Hall's monsters. Each strike of the club took the lives of several monsters, as if they were as fragile as cow dung. However, many monsters had already climbed onto the one eyed giant boss, madly biting and attacking with claws and knives, causing considerable damage to the one eyed giant. The most terrifying was the sneak attack from Yen Wang's bull headed ghost, who gave the one eyed giant boss a blow to the waist. The one eyed giant boss immediately screamed in pain, a hint of anger flashing in its eye. Roar! The one eyed giant boss roared angrily, swinging his wolf tooth club fiercely towards the bull headed demon. The bull headed demon quickly dodged, boom. The ground was instantly smashed into a huge deep pit, with debris flying everywhere. The bull headed demon was also injured by these stones, leaving a trail of blood on its abdomen. Protect my bull headed demon. When Yen Wang saw the scene, he was shocked and immediately shouted at everyone. Quick, quick, protect the guild leader's monsters. We can die, but the guild leader must not die. Kill them. Everyone quickly shouted, sending their own monsters to stop the one-eyed giant boss. Boom, boom, boom. Although these monsters were low level, their large numbers still posed a great obstacle to the one-eyed giant boss. The injuries on the one-eyed giant boss became more and more, revealing black and smelly blood. Roar! The one-eyed giant boss roared, emitting a terrifying ghostly aura. The ink-black ghostly aura suddenly entangled the huge wolf tooth club, revealing several shadows of Kaido Sensei. Quick, get away! The boss is about to use a powerful move. When Yen Wang saw this scene, he immediately shouted loudly at everyone. The bull headed demon reacted the fastest and immediately retreated. But it was too late for the other monsters to retreat. The one eyed giant boss tightly gripped the wolf tooth club, emitting a strong ghostly aura and fiercely smashed it towards the ground. Boom, boom, boom. The ground instantly exploded, and a powerful force surged on the ground. In an instant, all the nearby monsters were shaken by this powerful force, as if experiencing an earthquake. Ah! Awu. Within the range of this shock, these monsters immediately let out a miserable cry and were instantly killed, falling to the ground one after another. There was not a single monster standing near the one-eyed giant boss. They were all killed. It was so terrifying. It shocked everyone. Half of the monsters from the Yen Wang Palace Guild were instantly killed. This was definitely a heavy blow to the Yen Wang Palace Guild. The loss was severe. Once the monsters died, they couldn't be resurrected. These people would need to contract new monsters. Damn. This boss is so powerful. One move killed over 100 monsters from the Yen Wang Palace Guild. 6666. Ah, so satisfying. Boss, keep it up and destroy the Yen Wang Palace. This boss's skills are too terrifying and it's an AOE skill, it's outrageous. Well, that's why it's called a boss. The Yen Wang Palace Guild is probably going to suffer again this time, ha huh? He he he. Brother, you're overthinking it. 
I received a message that the king of hell has a powerful ghost that can challenge the boss. Just wait and see, it's about to be revealed. There's still a trump card. Then I have to take a good look and see what it is. The surrounding players looked shocked as they witnessed the powerful strike of the one-eyed giant ghost boss. Excited discussions broke out immediately. This battle was like an epic blockbuster, incredibly satisfying to watch. Lin Haoren had a faint smile on his face and muttered to himself, it's almost my turn to go on stage. On the battlefield, the king of hell glared angrily at the one-eyed giant ghost boss, his face filled with murderous intent. This guy had killed nearly half of his guild's members, causing heavy losses. He deserved to die. I was planning to save one more chance. He deserves to die. Wasting one of my chances. The king of hell gritted his teeth and said fiercely, then took out a talisman from the system backpack. It emitted a yellow light. The king of hell immediately threw the talisman at the one-eyed giant ghost boss. Buzz. The yellow talisman stuck directly to the one-eyed giant ghost boss, instantly glowing brightly in yellow. The giant ghost boss's body became immobile, and its strong and firm muscles seemed to become soft and dull, losing their luster. A hint of fear flashed in the giant ghost boss's eyes, not understanding what had happened to its body. Attack! The boss has been immobilized, and its defense has been lowered. Kill it! The king of hell shouted loudly at everyone with a gloomy expression. Bullhead ghost. Snake spirit ghost, kill it for me. The remaining members of the King of Hell Guild, who were originally demoralized, saw the scene and immediately became as if they had taken a stimulant. They shouted loudly charge. Kill this one-eyed dead ghost. Damn. You're not so tough, huh, I'll just kill you directly. Our guild leader is so powerful, we have such powerful ghosts. It's like a boss-killing artifact. This boss. Our King of Hell Guild will take it down and witness the rise of our guild. King of Hell Guild is the strongest. King of Hell Guild is the number one guild in the world. The remaining ghosts of the King of Hell Guild rushed forward and launched an attack on the one-eyed giant ghost boss. The one with the highest damage was the bullhead ghost wielding a large axe. Roar. The bullhead ghost roared, its eyes turning red. It swung the ghost axe in its hands fiercely at the body of the one-eyed giant ghost boss. Splurt! Suddenly, black blood splattered like flowing water, staining the ground. The one-eyed giant boss is seriously injured, and other players' monsters are also causing a lot of damage to the one-eyed giant boss. The one-eyed giant boss is almost done for, with a hint of unwillingness in its huge eye. It never expected to die at the hands of a group of ants. It's simply insulting. The people from the Yen Wang and Yen Wang Palace Guilds have a bright smile on their faces. Finally, they have defeated this boss. Whoosh! Just then, a crisp and pleasant sound suddenly rang in everyone's ears. A flash of sword light suddenly appeared in their eyes. Roar! Immediately, the one-eyed giant boss let out a deafening scream, and a sword, like a flowing light, pierced through its eye, coming out from the back of its head. The one-eyed giant boss trembled all over, then fell heavily into a pool of blood. Boom! Dust and debris were scattered everywhere. All of this happened too suddenly, and the people present didn't have time to react. Just then, a system notification sound suddenly rang out in the sky of this area ding. Congratulations to player 4 killing the elite one-eyed giant ghost boss and obtaining rewards ghost extermination reputation 100 points, A grade ghost ghost eye. This voice was not a world announcement, but a regional announcement that only players near this area could hear. Everyone present widened their eyes, showing a hint of shock. The only thought in their minds was, damn. Someone stole the boss. The angriest person on the scene was Yen Wang. At this moment, Yen Wang's eyes were bloodshot, like an enraged lion, filled with a shocking killing intent. He turned around and let out a furious roar, who? Who the hell dares to steal my Yen Wang Palace's boss? Yen Wang's eyes glared at the surrounding solo players like red lanterns. Then, he immediately shouted loudly at the guild members, surround these people for me. If they don't hand over the system rewards today, none of you are allowed to leave. Immediately call all the guild members over. I want to see who the hell is so bold as to steal something from me, Yen Wang. Yes. 
Guild leader. The people from the Yenwang Palace Guild were also very angry. They immediately ordered the monsters to surround the players nearby. They knew that the person who stole the boss must be among these people. The solo players suddenly became panicked and let out exclamations. No need to look. It was me who killed it. Just then, a man wearing black demon armor walked out of the crowd. His face couldn't be seen clearly because he had set his privacy mode. There was also a beautiful woman accompanying him, with a ghost sword emitting a faint light floating quietly beside her, like a sword spirit. Lin Haoran's mouth slightly curved upwards as he and the ghost sword immortal slowly walked towards the corpse of the one-eyed giant boss, paying no attention to the players from the Yenwang Palace Guild around him, as if he were in his own backyard. The surrounding casual players looked at Lin Haoran in astonishment and said, Oh no! This kid really doesn't know the severity of the situation. He actually dares to steal the boss of the Yenwang Palace. Stealing a boss is cool. But running away from being chased is truly embarrassing. Ha ha ha. Serves him right. He must be some ignorant fool trying to show off. He's brainless. This kid is finished. Damn. This kid is lucky. The female ghost next to him is so beautiful. I noticed that a long time ago. I really want to lick her. Damn. Are you a dog you see something and you want to lick it? Wait for me to finish licking first. The surrounding casual players showed a mocking smile towards Lin Haoran. Upon seeing the exquisite appearance of the ghost sword immortal, Zaya Kunkin immediately showed respect as a gesture of admiration. On the battlefield, Yen Wang stared at Lin Haoran with his eyes fixed on him, as if he wanted to devour him, and said in a deep voice, Who are you? Who gave you the courage? How dare you steal my boss? The ghosts of the Yen Wang Palace Guild members surrounded Lin Haoran, and he smiled faintly, looking at Yen Wang as if he were looking at a fool, and said calmly, Is this boss yours? In the game, all players have the right to kill monsters. What do you mean by stealing your boss? Yen Wang narrowed his eyes, shimmering with a terrifying killing intent, and said to Lin Haoran, Kid. You've got guts. But. Having guts is based on absolute strength. Without strength, you're just an idiot. Kill him and make the system rewards drop. As Yen Wang's words filled with killing intent fell, the members of the Yen Wang Palace Guild immediately ordered their ghosts to attack. Go. Shit-eating ghost, attack with feces. Go, bear ghost. Smash his head. Snakehead fish ghost. Kill him. The crowd roared madly. This guy stole their boss, so he deserves to die a thousand deaths. He should be cut into a thousand pieces, not worth pitying. A woo. Roar. The surrounding ghosts rushed towards Lin Haoran and the ghost sword immortal, vowing to tear them apart. Overestimating your abilities. Lin Haoran's eyes flashed with a cold light as he calmly said, You fools. Come out and do your job. Destroy them. Buzz. As Lin Haoran's words fell, a black light flickered, and a massive black crow appeared beside him. It was the soul eating crow ghost. Gaga. -ga. The soul eating crow ghost was a bit confused when it first appeared, tilting its head and looking at Lin Haoran. But when it saw the continuous influx of ghosts around, its eyes widened, instantly becoming clear headed. Duck. The soul eating crow demon took a deep breath and let out a terrifying scream. Suddenly, a mysterious and powerful force surged towards the surrounding ghosts and monsters. Buzz. This powerful force instantly swept away the charging ghosts and monsters in the vicinity. The surrounding ghosts only felt their souls being crushed by a mysterious force, as if they were withering away. Crack. Their souls shattered and dissipated into the air. Bang. The remaining 200 or so members of the Yen Wang Temple Guild, who were still running, foamed at the mouth, their eyes rolled back, and they fell to the cold ground. In an instant, with just one quack from the soul-eating crow demon, all of them were killed in one move. The scene fell silent. Not a sound could be heard. Everyone felt as if their necks were being strangled by the ghosts, their eyes widened in shock as they watched the scene unfold before them. They couldn't utter a word for a long time. Hiss. The sound of inhaling air echoed in the silent mountains, sounding particularly clear. 
What the FCK? What's going on? With just one crow's call. Why are all the ghosts from the Yenwang Temple Guild lying on the ground? This is cheating. What kind of monster is this so powerful? This guy is really something, no wonder he dares to steal the Yenwang Temple Guild's boss. It's over. The Yenwang Temple Guild has met its match. They have a hidden boss. They deserve it. It feels great. Did they really think they could dominate the fourth newbie village? This scene caused quite a stir among the surrounding casual players, who were engaged in intense discussions. The members of the Yen Wang Temple Guild were completely dumbfounded. Yen Wang's eyes turned red, his face filled with disbelief as he muttered to himself, impossible. This is absolutely impossible. He couldn't believe that such a monstrous ghost existed, capable of killing over 200 ghosts in one move. Is this scientific as this reasonable Yen Wang's eyes were filled with deep shock, but he was also a well-traveled person. He took a deep breath, his face dark and uncertain, as he re-evaluated Lin Haoran. Then he spoke, brother. We had no grievances before. How about this, I'll give you 500,000, and you sell me your ghost and the rewards from this system event. And I'll let you take over as the vice president of the Yin Wang Temple Guild. What do you think? As soon as these words were spoken, the whole scene erupted in commotion once again. 500,000. That's 500,000 real-world money. Everyone's gaze towards Lin Haoran was filled with envy, jealousy, and hatred, wishing they could take his place. A glimmer of light flashed in Lin Haoran's eyes as he secretly thought to himself, truly a former big shot. His scheming is indeed impressive. He can endure all of this, and even wants to buy me. If it were an ordinary person, they might not be able to resist the temptation of 500,000. Unfortunately. It's me you've encountered. Well, I apologize. Lin Haoran's face showed a slight smile as he looked at Yen Wang and said lightly, I apologize. I'm not interested in money. Then, he slowly walked towards the direction of the boss with the ghost sword immortal. A flash of astonishing killing intent crossed Yen Wang's eyes, and he immediately shouted loudly at his ghostly bullheaded monster, bullheaded ghost. Chop him to death for me. Since negotiation and obtaining are not possible, then let it be destroyed. Roar. The bullheaded ghost roared, its eyes turning red, and a large amount of ghostly energy surged around its pitch black axe, preparing to unleash its ultimate move. Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. But before the bullheaded ghost could release its skill, a sound of breaking through the air suddenly rang out. Only a flash of sword light was seen, chilling the surroundings with a cold wind. Put. A blood hole pierced through the bullheaded ghost's forehead, black blood splattering everywhere. The bullheaded ghost still had a look of intense fear in its eyes. Clang. The axe in its hand fell directly to the ground, and its massive body collapsed onto the cold ground. Dead. A great S monster, the fifth-ranked ghostly bullheaded ghost on the talent ranking list, died under the ghost sword immortal sword art within a week of the server opening. Buzz. The ghost spirit sword emitted a sword hum and returned to the side of the ghost sword immortal, as if it had just killed a chicken. The extreme speed of the ghost spirit sword combined with the ghost sword immortal sword art was simply a perfect match. Faster than a bullet, before the bullheaded ghost and the others could react, the bullheaded ghost was already dead. Bullheaded ghost. Yen Wang's pupils suddenly contracted, emitting a roar of shock and anger. A great S monster that he had contracted at a great cost had actually died now. This made Yen Wang feel unable to accept this reality. Ah. You deserve to die, you really do. I will definitely kill you and chop you up to feed the dogs in the real world. Yen Wang, like a mad dog, viciously roared at Lin Haoran. Enough noise. A cold glint flashed in Lin Haoran's eyes as he said calmly. The killing intent in the ghost sword immortal's pitch black pupils flashed, and the ghost spirit sword floating around him directly broke through the air, cutting open Yen Wang's throat. Blood sprayed out like a fountain, and Yen Wang tightly covered his throat, unable to utter a word. With a resentful expression, he was sent back to the new bee village. Lin Haoran didn't even spare a glance at Yen Wang, and went straight to the one-eyed giant ghost boss, collecting its ghost crystal, the dropped wolf fawn club ghostly item, and the yellow talisman stuck to the giant ghost's body, all into his system backpack. 
As he passed by the bull-headed ghost's corpse, he casually picked up the axe in its hand, as if plucking feathers from a goose, and then left gracefully. All the members of the Yen Wang Palace Guild present dared not even breathe, silently watching Lin Haoren leave. After Lin Haoren left, the surrounding casual players immediately erupted in excitement and commotion. Damn! This guy is ruthless. He doesn't talk much, doesn't give the king of hell a chance to speak, just goes straight for the kill, like slaughtering a chicken. He's so damn cool. That female ghost next to him is so badass and cool, I feel like I'm falling in love with a ghost. You get lost. That's my wife, go find someone else to flirt with, don't touch my wife. Bullshit. When did she become your wife she's my wife. The king of hell must be furious this time, ha ha ha. He he he. The boss got stolen, all the guild members and ghosts were wiped out, even his own s rank ghost was killed. We really lost big this time. We won't rest until we get revenge. Number 4 Newbie Village will be lively from now on. Many of the surrounding casual players were gloating over the misfortune of the King of Hell's Guild. They were definitely severely weakened, even losing half of their strength. It would definitely take some time for them to recover and rebuild. At the Resurrection Stone in the Newbie Village, the King of Hell's eyes turned bloodshot, resembling an evil ghost, and he let out an angry roar damn it. They all deserve to die. I will definitely kill you. The surrounding players pointed and whispered, secretly cursing him as a mad dog. Lin Haoren had no idea that he had been put on the King of Hell's hit list. Even if he knew, he wouldn't care. In this life, he was no longer afraid of anyone. Walking on the road, he took out the spoils he obtained this time Ghost Eye, Boss Ghost Crystal, Wolf Fong Club, Big Axe, and a Yellow Talisman. There were a total of five items, with the first being the System Reward, an A-Rank Ghost Item, Ghost Eye. Name Ghost Eye, Type A-Rank Ghost Item, effect allows the user to have night vision, greatly increasing vision and eyesight. Can see things several kilometers away. Condensing Ghost Energy can activate the ability Dynamic Vision. Dynamic vision in the field of vision, the speed of objects will slow down. Possesses powerful dynamic vision. Maintaining this state consumes ghost energy. Ghost item information the eye of a cyclops, possessing powerful vision, nurtured by ghost energy, transformed into a more powerful ghost item. Name ghost ceiling talisman, type A rank ghost item, effect can be attached to ghosts, immobilizing them and reducing their defense. The stronger the ghost, the weaker the effect. Current usage, 13, Ghost Item Information A Curse Talisman for Cursing People, transformed into a ghost item by ghost energy, possessing powerful abilities. These two items were A-rank ghost items, while the remaining two, Wolf Fong Club and Big Axe, were B-rank ghost items. Lin Haoren was starting to look down on them. If other players knew about his thoughts, they would definitely spray him with saliva. Damn it! Ordinary players are happy to jump with a D-grade ghost, C-grade ghosts become bosses directly, B-grade ghosts are called daddy by others and beg to be taken along. A B-grade ghost can be sold for thousands of dollars at a high price, and it is also in short supply. It can be seen that B-grade ghosts are rare. However, Lin Haoren doesn't care about low-priced goods. Lin Haoren's eyes lit up when he saw this ghost eye and the town ghost talisman. They are both good things. Lin Haoren picked up this round and round ghost eye, like a cat's eye, and planned to put it into his right eye. Suddenly, his left eye, the reincarnation ghost eye, lit up with a black light and swallowed the ghost eye directly. FCK. Spit it out for me. Lin Haoren's pupils suddenly shrank, anxiously patting his left eye, trying to make it spit out the ghost eye. But this guy, like a rogue, didn't react at all. Damn. My dynamic vision. This is a low-grade version of the Sharingan. I've been eaten. I'm really pissed off. Lin Haoren's heart was bleeding, crying in pain. At this moment, the reincarnation ghost eye suddenly appeared in Lin Haoren's mind with a piece of information. Lin Haoren's eyes lit up. At this time, the attribute panel of the reincarnation ghost eye is changed, becoming like this, name reincarnation ghost eye, ghost, aptitude, type mysterious, level infinity, loyalty 100, soul contract, ability, reincarnation, can reincarnate with the contractor. Usage 11, reincarnate, can peek into the past of ghosts and obtain their information. 
Rain Illusion can manipulate enemies through powerful illusions. The greater the difference in strength between the enemy and the host, the weaker the effect, Rain Fruit, the cycle of heaven and earth, cause and effect, allows the enemy to directly reach fruit and be devoured by the heavens. Usable times 3, absorbing the power of reincarnation in cause and effect can replenish the number of uses, current number of ghost eyes that can be swallowed too, 1. Swallowed ghost eye name ghost eye ability has night vision ability, greatly increases vision and field of view, and automatically activates dynamic vision ability, requires the consumption of ghost power. Description This is a mysterious eye dropped by a ghost, it is still looking for you. Lin Haoren's eyes lit up. The ability of the ghost eye was actually directly swallowed by the reincarnation ghost eye, giving it the ability of the ghost eye. What other hidden abilities does this reincarnation ghost eye have it's so mysterious? It can absorb soul power, and now it can also devour eye-type ghost eyes. What kind of existence are you? Lin Haoren thought with some seriousness in his heart. The powerful reincarnation ghost eye made Lin Haoren feel a little shocked. Lin Haoren shook his head, suppressing these thoughts. Anyway, the reincarnation ghost eye has already made a soul contract with him, so at least he can be sure that it won't harm him. Lin Haoren raised his head and looked around. His left eye, the reincarnation ghost eye, turned into a vertical pupil, and his field of vision suddenly became wide. He could even see spiders hundreds of meters away. Both his field of vision and vision have greatly improved. Lin Haoren's mouth curved into a smile. This is a big profit. Yan Wang. You're really a good person. I hope you bring more ghosts next time, otherwise it won't be fun. Lin Haoren smiled faintly. He knew that the king of hell would definitely cause trouble for him again, but he was not worried at all. On the contrary, he was somewhat looking forward to it. What good things would he bring to himself this time? He had already died once, and if he died four more times, he would never be able to log into the apocalyptic online game again. Lin Haoren glanced at the time. It was already eight o'clock in the evening. It seemed that he could only go find the ghost on the parchment tomorrow. Lin Haoren found a place to log off. In the real world, Lin Haoren took off his gaming helmet, put on his clothes, and went to eat. He still ordered three dishes and a soup carrot stir-fried with meat, roasted goose, a vegetable dish, and a stew. Lin Haoren ate two bowls of rice in a row, and his stomach finally felt full. You are so beautiful. Just then, Lin Haoren's phone suddenly rang. Lin Haoren was slightly surprised. Not many people knew his phone number. He answered the call, and a respectful voice came from the other end of the line master. I am Wang Defa. I have followed your instructions and collected a large batch of burial jade and antiques. When do you have time to come and take them away? Upon hearing this, Lin Haoren's mouth curled up slightly, revealing a satisfied smile, and said lightly, not bad, not bad. I am satisfied. You continue to collect. The more you collect, the stronger power you will gain in the future. Immortality is no longer a dream. Wang Defa, upon hearing this, became extremely excited and thanked Lin Haoren profusely over the phone, saying, Thank you, master, thank you, master. I will definitely collect more antiques and burial jade for you, master. Lin Haoren smiled, hung up the phone directly, and simultaneously planned in both the real world and the game world. In a little over a month, when reality and the game merged, he would become the strongest player, the strongest ghost master, without equal. He he he. I'm getting excited. Lin Haoren couldn't help but lick his lips, revealing a twisted smile. Lin Haoren returned to his rental room, still not feeling sleepy. He couldn't help but turn on the computer and log into the official game forum to continue posting information about high-level ghosts, ghost treasures, and ghost swords. As for why he stopped collecting ghost crystals, it was because his own ghost and monster levels were already too high. The ghost crystals that ordinary players obtained were too low level and unnecessary. They couldn't meet the requirements for leveling up, so Lin Haoren simply stopped collecting them. Novice Village No. For by ghost treasures, high level ghosts, ghost swords, hidden quests, etc. For 100,000 gold coins, Lin Haoren entered this eye catching title. 100,000 gold coins, many people couldn't help but click to see. 
In a game, if you could earn 100,000 gold coins, you were already very successful. Lin Haorun left his game ID and then browsed through the information on other official forums, scrolling the mouse. Then he saw a striking title, Novice Village No. For shocking appearances of a strong player, one person, one crow, one woman, annihilating the King of Hell Guild. Lin Haorun was slightly stunned. Wasn't this talking about himself upon clicking on it, I saw that it was indeed myself. Inside, there was a video of me defeating the guild boss in the Yen Wang Palace, using my soul-devouring crow's soul attack to wipe out all the monsters. The scene was truly shocking, making it hard to believe that such powerful monsters were not banned. The players below were discussing what the FCK. This is definitely cheating. I need a pound of SHT. What the hell is this one move and over 200 monsters are gone? Ha ha ha. This is obviously special effects. You idiots got fooled. You're the idiot. It's true, I was there at the time, and many people saw it. Who is this amazing guy? Where did he come from? Now this is a real pro. Low-key and mysterious, but ruthless. A true man. Or maybe you guys didn't notice the female ghost beside him. She's so beautiful, right? Shu, don't make noise. I'm already done. Lin Haoren saw these outrageous comments and his mouth twitched speechlessly. He casually closed the forum and went to sleep. The night passed without any words. Early in the morning, Lin Haoren finished breakfast and logged in. Returning to the game world, Lin Haoren's figure appeared on the village road in the small forest. With a flash of black light, a stunning figure appeared beside Lin Haoren. With a slightly protruding belly, it was the Empress Yan's successor. Husband. I miss you so much, the Empress Yan's successor said as she appeared, immediately pouncing towards Lin Haoren. Her majestic chest pressed against Lin Haoren's, her eyes as captivating as autumn water, and her hands wrapped around Lin Haoren's neck. She coquettishly said, Husband. I miss you so much. Early in the morning, when Lin Haoren was full of energy, he was already aroused by this enchantress. His dragon head was already raised. Gurgle. Lin Haoren couldn't help but swallow a mouthful of saliva, forcefully suppressing the evil fire in his heart. He hugged the Empress Yan's successor's slender waist and smiled, saying, Wife. I miss you too. Then, he kissed her on the forehead. A faint blush appeared on the Empress Yan's successor's face. She leaned against Lin Haoren's ear with a charming demeanor and shyly said, Husband. How about we? Gurgle. Lin Haoren swallowed another mouthful of saliva, finding it difficult to speak. He said with difficulty, wife. You're already pregnant, so it's not a good idea to do that, right? It's all right, husband. I'm a ghost, not as fragile as humans, the Empress Yan's successor stuck out her tongue and licked her red lips, tempting Lin Haoren. At this moment, Lin Haoren couldn't resist anymore. His whole body was burning with desire. He pulled the Empress Yan's successor and entered the small forest. Soon, a beautiful song and the sound of clapping echoed in the small forest, captivating everyone who heard it, unable to break free. Omitted 10,000 words. After an hour, Lin Haoren walked out of the small forest with weak legs. He had to eat several ghost crystals in a row to catch his breath. Only tired cows. No ruined land. The ancients did not deceive me. Lin Haoren thought of Empress Yenho's somewhat unsatisfied expression and couldn't help but sigh. He patted his cheeks and took out the ghost crystal from the one-eyed giant ghost boss. After some consideration, he gave it to the ghost sword immortal to consume. The soul-eating crow ghost had already reached level 10 because it had devoured the soul of the one-eyed giant ghost boss. And after consuming this ghost crystal, the ghost sword immortal also successfully reached level 10 just like Lin Haoren and Empress Yenho. In the future, Empress Yenho's level would also need to be raised, and the demand for these ghost crystals would greatly increase. This made Lin Haoren both pained and happy. There was no other way but to find more bosses to kill or level up in places with high-level ghosts. But for now, let's go find the ghost object made of sheepskin. Hopefully, it's a ghost sword. So that the ghost sword immortal sword formation of annihilation can be activated. Lin Haoren took out the sheepskin from the system backpack and directly ignited it. 
the sheepskin instantly turned into a ghost fire and hovered in the air for a while before flying off in one direction. Lin Haoren quickly followed the ghost fire and walked in its direction. To the north of the village, there was a dark cemetery. At this moment, a player was outside the cemetery, holding a compass and pacing back and forth, muttering to himself, it must be inside here. The compass is pointing to the treasure needle right here in this cemetery. The treasure must be here. This player was about 20 years old, very handsome, with a baby-faced appearance. In the real world, countless rich women were attracted to him. Looking at the compass pointing to the treasure needle, the handsome man said with some regret, this is a good thing. It's a pity it's a disposable item, otherwise, I would have made a fortune. Step, step, step. Just then, footsteps sounded behind him. The handsome man's face changed, and he immediately hid behind a thatched hut, looking towards the direction of the footsteps. He saw a ball of ghost fire burning in the air, flying directly into the cemetery. Following the ghost fire was a man wearing black armor with a blurry face, adorned with an evil ghost pattern. This was Lin Haoren, who had followed the ghost fire. Cemetery Lin Haoren saw a dim and eerie cemetery in front of him and couldn't help but frown. Generally, places like this would have powerful ghosts and monsters. Caw, caw, caw. On the withered trees, many crows stared at Lin Haoren with eerie expressions, making creepy sounds. The ghost fire had already flown into the cemetery, and without hesitation, Lin Haoren followed it into this gloomy cemetery. What Lin Haoren didn't notice was that there was another person sneakingly following him into the cemetery. In the cemetery, there are only graves, each with a strange red candle. Usually, white candles are lit on tombstones. Ghostly lights flew into the cemetery and stopped in midair, proving that the ghostly creature was here. Lin Haoren held the thunder ghost gun and looked around vigilantly. He could feel the thick ghostly aura here. It seemed that a battle was inevitable. Crack, crack. Suddenly, the sound of wooden boards rubbing against each other echoed in this eerie cemetery. Then, from the graves, rotten arms emerged from the soil. He he he. Rotten corpses crawled out of the soil, their faces covered in decaying flesh, their hands with sharp, hard nails. A strong stench filled the entire cemetery as these corpses stumbled to their feet, staring straight at Lin Haoran with greedy eyes. Lin Haoran's left eye, the samsara ghost eye, emitted a faint light, and a piece of information appeared in his mind, name Rotten Corpse Ghost, Aptitude C, Type Physical, Level 8, Ability, Corrosive Claw, Attack Enemies with Corrosive Claws that slowly corrode their flesh. Ghost information after villagers die, they are buried in the ground and nurtured by ghostly energy, turning into ghosts. They become excited when they see living beings and enjoy devouring humans. Being scratched by them leads to slow death as they gradually corrode your flesh. Weakness is light, thunder. Description I'm so hungry. Can you let me take a bite just one bite, I won't deceive you? A level 8 ghost, just as Lin Haoren expected. The Yin energy here was too strong, so the level of the ghost wouldn't be too low. However, isn't this perfect? A level 8 ghost crystal would be great for leveling up. I'm sorry. I happen to have a ghost with the thunder attribute. Lin Haoren saw that the weakness of the rotten corpse ghost was thunder, and a smile appeared on his lips as he casually said, he he he. At this moment, the rotten corpse ghost in the cemetery opened its disgusting mouth and let out an excited cry. It raised its claws and charged towards Lin Haoren. You're seeking death. A hint of killing intent flashed in Lin Haoren's eyes as he lightly spoke to the ghost pattern of little Lei Ming on his body, little Lei Ming. Eliminate these ghostly things for your father. A black light flashed, and a cute little boy appeared in front of Lin Haoren. With a serious tone, he said, yes. Father. Then, a pair of pitch black pupils flickered with a stunning blue electric light. A bunch of disgusting things. All of you can go to hell. Crackle, crackle. Little Lei Ming's chubby face showed a hint of indifference as a powerful blue lightning surged from his body, making crackling sounds. Countless blue lightning forces, like blue snakes, opened their blood-filled mouths and bit into the bodies of these rotten corpses. Boom, boom, boom. Sizzle, sizzle. The terrifying thunder struck the corpse demons, immediately emitting a loud roar. These corpse demons were charred by the lightning, making crackling sounds. 
Before they could even reach halfway, they were directly killed by Xia Laming, their charred bodies collapsing on the ground of the cemetery, emitting black smoke. More and more corpse demons crawled out of the cemetery, only to be met with merciless and violent lightning. Boom boom boom. Xia Laming's body was enveloped in terrifying lightning power, supported by the lightning, his petite body was already floating in the air, like a ghost controlling lightning. His white hair fluttered in the wind, and his eyes sparkled with astonishing lightning. He mercilessly killed one corpse demon after another, easily defeating them. In no time, the entire cemetery was turned into pieces of ghost crystal, lying quietly on the ground, waiting to be collected by Lin Haoran. Father. They're all dead. Xia Laming dissipated the lightning around him, descended from the air, and came in front of Lin Haoran, speaking in an adorable, not very accurate baby voice. Well done. Lin Haoran patted Xia Laming's head and praised him. Xia Laming's eyes flashed with a hint of joy. He really liked being praised by his father. Lin Haoran's left eye, the reincarnation ghost eye, glanced at the tombstone behind him and said lightly, Friend. You've been there for a long time. Isn't it inconvenient to meet people? The handsome man hiding in the dark was suddenly startled by the words, unexpectedly, this terrifying guy had discovered him. Damn. Are you a dog? You can even find me. The handsome man cursed inwardly with a dark expression on his face. Then he wiped the cold sweat on his forehead and squeezed out a brilliant smile, walking out from behind the tombstone, and said to Lin Haoran with a smile, Hey. Friend, I just arrived here. After Lin Haoran's reincarnation ghost eye devoured the ghost eye, he possessed powerful vision and eyesight. He had long noticed someone sneaking around behind him. When Lin Haoran saw the person's face clearly, his pupils suddenly shrank, and he blurted out, Ghost Father. The handsome man was stunned by the words and said in confusion, Madam. Brother, you got it wrong. I said a man, not a madam. The handsome man felt a chill in his heart. Damn, could this kid be a pervert? Lin Haoran looked at the handsome man in front of him, countless images flashed through his mind. This man was the top ghost master who dominated the end of the world in the previous life, with thousands of ghost subordinates, known as the Ghost Father. He was the guy who relied on sweet words to conquer the Empress Yen in the previous life, but in this life, Lin Haoran snatched away the opportunity that belonged to him. Just now, the Empress Yen was still fighting with him in the wilderness. Lin Haoran looked at the man who was his wife's previous life partner, and an inexplicable feeling surged in his heart. It was as if the current partner had encountered the ex. A trace of coldness rose in Lin Haoran's heart, and a cold killing intent flashed in his eyes. Kneel down. Lin Haoran suddenly said coldly to the ghost father. Ah. You want me to kneel down? Are you crazy? Where did I offend you don't think I'm afraid of you just because you're powerful? Damn it. It's just a game, and you're playing it with a sense of superiority. Trash. Fuck your mother. Ghost father listened to Lin Haoran's words and immediately stopped pretending, revealing his true face, mocking and cursing Lin Haoran. Lin Haoran didn't say anything, he just held the thunder ghost gun and walked step by step towards ghost father. Green lightning wrapped around Lin Haoran, and his eyes flickered with a cold light. Ghost father, even in the previous life, was not a good person. Before the apocalypse, he was just a pretty face, relying on his looks to make a living, doing things for money, and being kept by multiple rich women. After the apocalypse, he made a contract with the Empress Yenho by luck, and became a powerful ghost with millions of powerful ghost descendants. He formed a large army of ghost descendants and possessed the powerful SS-level rule-based great ghost, Empress Yenho, becoming one of the top strongmen after the apocalypse. He became the envy of countless survivors in the apocalypse. Ghost Father established his own gathering place called the Ghost Emperor Kingdom. In this gathering place, he is the absolute emperor, and no one can disobey his orders. All the beautiful women become tools for his pleasure. It's unknown how many women he has taken advantage of. Although he has a great reputation, his reputation is very bad. Damn it. I'm not easy to mess with either. Yugui, kill him for me. Ghost Father saw Lin Haoran walking towards him alone with a long spear, his face twisted in a grimace, and he roared at Lin Haoran. A black light flashed, and a female ghost with some beauty and a majestic figure appeared in front of Lin Haoran. 
Lin Haorang glanced at her and found out that she was a C-level talent ghost. It seems that this guy still has some luck. As expected, a leopard can't change its spots. All ghosts are contracted female ghosts. Lin Haorang's face remained calm as he coldly spoke. There's no need to guess, with Ghost Father's lecherous personality, Yugue has already suffered from his abuse. He he he. Yugue extended her long, sexy tongue and licked her lips, emitting a seductive sound. She pounced towards Lin Haoren, like a dissatisfied resentful woman, her eyes filled with intense greed. Annoying. A plain voice slowly sounded. Crackle. A terrifying green lightning suddenly surged out, the long spear like a dragon, lightning flickering. Lin Haoren thrust his spear, directly piercing through Yugue's mouth and coming out the back of her head. This spear is not an ordinary spear, even as a ghost, it's still impressive. Yugue's eyes were filled with intense fear, and then she lost consciousness. She never dreamed that the gun she had in her mouth would pierce through and break her mouth. Big brother. Your long spear is too powerful, I can't handle it. Yugue. Ghost father saw his precious being instantly killed by Lin Haoran, and immediately let out a roar of anger. This demonic mouth was his favorite. Damn it, it's been stabbed to pieces now. Ghost father was filled with anger, his blood red eyes staring at Lin Haoran. Kid. You're dead, I will. But before ghost father could finish speaking, a sharp spear directly pierced his head, turning him into a headless corpse. Do you think I'm still the same ghost father from the previous life? Just an ant. Lin Haoren retracted his thunder ghost spear, looked at ghost father's headless corpse, and coldly said, Don't let me see you again. Otherwise, I'll kill you every time. Ghost father's body turned into a white light and disappeared, leaving behind a compass shaped object. Lin Haoren picked it up and his eyes lit up. Name treasure compass, grade B level ghost object. Effect can point to the direction of treasures within a few kilometers, current usage, 11, absorbing a large amount of ghost crystals can restore usage, or cooldown time of one year. Ghost object information feng shui compass, turned into a ghost object after being nourished by ghost energy, capable of sensing powerful ghost energy fluctuations. Lin Haoren finally understood why Ghost Father came to this high-level map. It must have been guided by this compass, after all, there is a powerful ghost object in this cemetery. The place indicated by the parchment is also here, indicating that this treasure compass still has some value. But the cooldown time is too damn long. One year, that's too much. No wonder it's a B-level ghost object, it absorbs a large amount of ghost crystals. Damn it. Just hearing about a large amount of ghost crystals, I know it definitely requires a lot, and at this stage, the ghost crystals are not enough even for upgrading, let alone feeding this treasure compass. It's indeed a bit disappointing. I still have 100 level 6 ghost crystals. Should I try giving it to it? Lin Haoren remembered that he still had the ghost soldiers summoned by the zombie king general boss, and the ghost crystals obtained after killing them were of little use to him. Even if he ate them all, he wouldn't level up. He could consider giving them to this treasure compass to see if it can restore its usage. For now, let's find this ghost object first. Lin Haoren put the treasure compass into the system backpack and returned to the cemetery. At the same time, at the resurrection stone in Nubi village no. 4. Ghost father resurrected here with a resentful face, his mouth emitting a beast-like growl. Damn guy. Damn damn damn. You dare to kill me, you son of a bitch. Ghost father's eyes were bloodshot, like an angry bull, gritting his teeth and roaring with resentment, wait for me, I won't let it go. Don't even think about getting it. Ghost father immediately flooded the area channel of newbie village now. 4. King of pretty boys everyone, quickly go to the cemetery north of the village. There's an advanced ghost object appearing, at least an S-level ghost object. King of pretty boys everyone, quickly go to the cemetery north of the village. There's an advanced ghost object appearing, at least an S-level ghost object. The nickname of the ghost father is the king of pretty boys, the four-letter S-class ghost, like gold in the sand, instantly caught the attention of many players, sparking heated discussions in the chat channel Kuan Kuan Ghost is it true how could you be willing to tell me about the advanced ghost ah uh, exactly. Why don't you keep it to yourself don't treat us like fools. King of pretty boys if I lie to you, my whole family will die. I was the first to discover the treasure, 
but it was stolen by a beast wearing black ghost armor and killed me. I was angry, so I'm telling you, hurry up and go. I'm so excited damn. It seems a bit real. Let's go and see. Grass days take me with you. Let's go as a team. Ty cool and spicy what a beast, stealing someone's treasure and killing them. We'll make sure justice is served for you. In a moment, teams started appearing in the fourth newbie village, heading towards the cemetery. The ghost father had a smug smile on his face, grinned and said with resentment, just wait. See how you die. You worthless thing, I will make you regret it. Looks like I need to find new ways to please those old women, trick them into giving me money to buy equipment, and then drive this trash out of the game. The ghost father's face was gloomy and he said viciously. In the cemetery to the north of the village, Lin Haoren and Xiao Lei Ming were in the cemetery, unaware that a large group of players were rushing towards them. After Lin Haoren dealt with these rotten corpse ghosts, there was finally some movement on the slope of the largest tombstone in the cemetery. Boom 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 boom. A dull sound came from underground, and Lin Haoren suddenly felt the ground shake. Thud thud thud. The soil on the slope suddenly exploded, and a strong ghostly aura surged out with soil flying everywhere. The ghostly aura was eerie, and the entire cemetery seemed to be shrouded in it. Roar! An angry roar sounded from below, and a huge black figure crawled out from underground. Its massive body was like a one-eyed giant, with black skin emitting black mist, a ferocious face, and a black coffin strapped to its back with chains. Roar! The ghost monster carrying the black coffin let out a huge roar, and the black mist on its body rolled like a violent wind, displaying an astonishing momentum. Lin Haoren's left eye, the reincarnation ghost eye, immediately obtained the information panel of this monster named back carrying giant ghost elite BOSS talent B-type physical level 10 abilities black coffin protection as long as the back carrying giant ghost carries the black coffin, its defense will greatly increase. Coffin unleash the back carrying giant ghost sheds the black coffin, freeing itself from the restraints, gaining powerful strength, and greatly increasing its speed and power. Ghost information The Bat Coffin Clan, accompanied by a coffin in life and in death, the ghost energy brews and transforms into a powerful Bat Coffin giant ghost elite boss. This ghost often brews powerful ghosts in its black coffin. Description You can steal my peaches. But never steal my coffin, or there will be no rest until death. Lin Haoren tightly gripped the thunder ghost gun, a glimmer of light flashed in his eyes. It turned out to be another elite boss, and it was even a level 10 elite boss. Lin Haoren couldn't help but lick his lips, a smile appeared at the corner of his mouth, and he said lightly, boss is good. I like boss the most. The back coffin giant ghost elite boss saw Lin Haoren's perverted smile and couldn't help but feel a tightness in its buttocks, feeling that something bad was about to happen. Roar! The back coffin giant ghost boss shook its head, shaking off the strange thoughts, opened its blood-filled mouth, roared in anger, and charged towards Lin Haoren. Ghost sword immortal! And foolish duck, come out. Lin Haoren didn't hesitate and immediately released his ghosts. Quack! Two black lights flashed, and the ghost sword immortal with an arrogant aura and the soul eating crow ghost with a foolish look suddenly appeared on the scene. A glimmer of light flashed in Lin Haoren's eyes, and he immediately shouted loudly at the ghosts, Foolish duck! Control it for me! Xiao Laming, ghost sword immortal, full force output. Still using the old method, control first and then attack together, simple and effective. Quack! The soul-eating crow ghost raised an eyebrow and glared at Lin Haoren. This damn master always calls me a foolish duck, I'm not stupid, okay? Ha! Huh? Am I a duck? A big question mark appeared in the soul-eating crow ghost's head, but seeing that the boss had already attacked, there was no time to think, it immediately opened its mouth and let out a terrifying soul scream, quack! Immediately, an invisible mysterious force, like a storm, attacked the charging back coffin giant ghost boss. In an instant, the back coffin giant ghost boss felt its soul being cut like a chainsaw, a woof. It howled in pain, holding its head with both hands. Lin Haoren had already moved before the foolish duck launched its attack. Like lightning, he took out an A-grade ghost ceiling talisman that he obtained from the treasure sending boy Yen Wang, leaped up, and directly stuck it on the back coffin giant ghost boss. He knew the ability of this back coffin giant ghost elite boss, back coffin. Its defense power has now greatly increased, and the ghost ceiling talisman happens to weaken the defense of ghosts. 
buzz. The talisman stuck on the back coffin giant ghost boss suddenly emitted a yellow light. The tough muscles all over the back coffin giant ghost boss instantly turned yellow and greasy, becoming soft and weak, roar. The giant ghost boss carrying a coffin let out another painful roar, but the soul trauma inflicted by the soul-eating crow ghost was too terrifying. Coupled with the immobilizing effect of the ghost ceiling talisman, it couldn't regain consciousness and could only instinctively howl. Attack it now. Kill it. Lin Haoren shouted at Xia Laming and the ghost sword immortal. Yes. Father. Xia Laming, at this moment, appeared like a descended thunder god, his body surrounded by raging green lightning. Crackling. It was as if countless thunder snakes were roaring. Judgment Spear. Eat shit, ugly rat. Xia Laming's eyes, filled with lightning, flickered with a chilling coldness as he spoke the harshest words with the cutest face. The raging lightning instantly condensed into a two-meter-long green lightning spear in his hand, which he fiercely projected towards the head of the giant ghost boss carrying a coffin. Crackling. The Judgment Spear was like a thunderclap, in an instant, the green lightning flashed. Boom. The lightning spear had pierced through the head of the giant ghost boss, emitting a violent explosion sound. Half of the giant ghost boss's head had disappeared, and brain matter, marrow, and black blood splattered in the air. Awu! The giant ghost boss let out an angry and painful roar. The intense pain made it slightly regain consciousness, and its remaining single eye flickered with a terrified expression. Roar! The giant ghost boss let out a loud roar and a terrifying ghostly aura surged from its body. Crackling. The chains on its body, as black and cold as wrought iron, suddenly burst, and the black coffin on its back fell abruptly. Boom. The heavy black coffin smashed into the ground, splashing countless debris and soil, creating a terrifying deep pit. At this moment, the giant ghost boss had already erupted with all its strength, using its most powerful ability to break free from the immobilizing effect of the ghost ceiling talisman. Whoosh. Just then, a sword light flashed in the single eye of the giant ghost boss. The sword was like a white snake spitting out its tongue, hissing softly, and like a wandering dragon, its momentum was like a rainbow. Rising on the sword, swift as lightning. A ghost sword, resembling a spirit snake, carried the icy light of the nine provinces. In an instant, it severed the remaining half of the giant ghost boss's head. The giant ghost boss's single eye carried a thick expression of fear as half of its face quietly fell to the ground, rolling like a deflated basketball for a few rounds. The ghost sword immortal finally made a move, the sword writing immortal technique, terrifying indeed. It directly killed an elite boss with a single move. Boom! The massive body of the giant ghost boss fell heavily onto the cold ground, losing its last trace of consciousness. It never dreamed that it would be over before it even had a chance to strike. This game couldn't be played, not even a bit. There's something dirty here. What were the eyes of the giant ghost boss behind the coffin shed a tear of regret? The evil ghost is crying, so pitiful. Hmm. The ghost sword that cut off the head of the giant ghost boss flew back to the side of the ghost sword immortal like a stream of light, floating around the ghost sword immortal, emitting a crisp and pleasant sword sound. Quack quack. The soul-devouring crow ghost saw the death of the giant ghost boss and immediately exclaimed in excitement, wiggling its butt to the side of the giant ghost boss, opening its mouth like a black hole, and suddenly sucking in the soul of the giant ghost boss into its terrifying belly. Ugh! The soul-devouring crow ghost couldn't help but burp. Ding dong! Congratulations, your soul-devouring crow ghost has leveled up. Current level level 10. A black light flashed on the soul-devouring crow ghost, directly leveling up to level 10. Now only the little Thunder Ming is still at level 9, but with the giant ghost boss's ghost crystal, the little Thunder Ming easily reached level 10. But what annoyed Lin Haoren was that there was no system reward for killing the elite boss this time, even though there was a reward for killing the one-eyed giant ghost elite boss before, and he was rewarded with an A-grade ghost item ghost eye. Forget it. Maybe there's a big treasure in this boss's black coffin. Lin Haoren secretly thought, and at this time, the parchment ghost fire in the air flew onto the black coffin on the ground. Obviously, the powerful ghost creature of the parchment paper was inside this black coffin. Lin Haoren couldn't help but feel a little excited. Lin Haoren said to the Little Thunder Ming and other ghosts, Little Thunder Ming, Ghost Sword Immortal, 
pick up all the ghost crystals in the cemetery. The ghost crystal of the just killed rotten corpse ghost has not been collected yet. Lin Howren, who is thrifty, can't afford to waste it. Lin Howren picked up the ghost crystal of the giant ghost boss and came to this heavy black coffin, with a smile on his lips. Just as Lin Howren was about to uncover the black coffin, tap tap tap. A series of hurried footsteps came from behind. The dense and chaotic footsteps made Lin Howren frown, holding the thunder ghost gun, slowly turned around. Only to see a group of players rushing towards him from not far away. When everyone saw Lin Howren in the cemetery, their eyes lit up, and they walked towards Lin Howren. They stopped about 10 meters in front of Lin Howren, looking at the black coffin beside Lin Howren, their eyes showing a greedy look. Kid. What's the black coffin under your feet? Is it an S grade ghost item? Hand it over if you know what's good for you. Otherwise, I'll send you back to the newbie village for free. A burly man with thick beards on both sides of his face, resembling the ancient Zhang Fei, said fiercely to Lin Haoren. Other players also shouted at Lin Haoren Humph. Killing and robbing treasures, even animals are better than you. Now you can experience the feeling of being killed and robbed. Exactly. You found the treasure first, but not only did you rob it, you also killed others. You're really despicable. He he. I love to punish evil and promote goodness, but I have decided to keep this treasure. Why do I feel like I've seen this person somewhere before I also feel a bit familiar? Could this be some big shot? Big shot. Today, even if all the cowards crawl away, the hundreds of us are still afraid of him alone. That's right. Let's kill him and take the treasure. A group of players stood on the moral high ground, launching moral attacks against Lin Haoren. But anyone with clear eyes could see that their support for justice was fake, and their true intention was to snatch the treasure. Human nature is hypocritical. Lin Haoren could already guess what was going on when he heard their words. It was obvious that this was a lie fabricated by the ghost father to lure these people into killing him and taking the treasure. Ha ha. You have a bit of a brain. Lin Haoren's mouth curled up slightly, revealing a smile. But a cold glint flashed in his eyes as he coldly said, unfortunately. You know nothing about my power. Lin Haoren's face was covered in black mist, making it impossible for everyone to see his expression. They only heard a cold voice slowly saying, you are all so hypocritical. It disgusts me. You are willing to be used as pawns for an unknown ghost, how foolish and hypocritical. Lin Haoran's words were like knives, cutting open their bellies and exposing their dark hearts, making everyone's faces turn ugly. The burly man couldn't hold back any longer and released his own ghost. It was a burly and muscular evil spirit, a sea-level monster with the strongest strength among this group of players. The burly man's eyes were filled with anger as he angrily shouted at Lin Haoran, Who do you think you are? What qualifications do you have to speak to me die? Pen to ghost. Kill this kid for me. The burly man immediately commanded his ghost. Roar. The pen to ghost roared, a hint of madness flashing in its pitch black eyes, and it charged towards Lin Haoran. Buzz. Whoosh. Just then, a light sword sound rang in everyone's ears. They saw a dazzling sword light flash by. Put. The Pen 2 ghost, still running, suddenly spewed out a violent jet of black blood, like a fountain. Ha ha ha! The Pen 2 ghost tightly covered its throat, making a wheezing sound. Its eyes were filled with intense fear, and its body fell heavily onto the cold ground, staining the soil with black blood. In an instant, the relatively powerful Pen 2 ghost died before everyone could react. Who dares to take another step forward? Will die. The ghost sword immortal's robe fluttered without wind, and his phoenix eyes flickered with astonishing sword intent. He spoke with unmatched dominance. The decisive killings, formidable strength, exquisite beauty, domineering quotes. For a moment, hundreds of players present were actually suppressed by the domineering presence of the ghost sword immortal, the entire graveyard fell into a strange silence, not a sound could be heard. At this moment, someone finally remembered who Lin Haoran was and couldn't help but exclaim, it's him. The fierce man from the official forum video who snatched the boss of the Underworld Hall Guild and killed over 200 ghost monsters of the guild. Upon hearing this, everyone's pupils suddenly contracted, hiss. 
they couldn't help but gasp in shock. The Underworld Hall Guild is like a tyrant in the fourth beginner village, but it is said that the guild has been low-key recently, being taught a lesson by a player, the guild leader and the ghosts were killed, the ghost creatures were stolen, all 500 plus guild members ghost monsters died, causing severe damage, and they were secretly healing. And the person who caused all this was actually the man in the evil ghost armor in front of them. Some players present were already considering retreating and couldn't help but discuss Gurgle. Should we just forget about it? This is the fierce man who almost wiped out the Underworld Hall Guild, we are far inferior to them, it's a waste. Yeah, yeah. My precious ghost wife just formed a contract, I don't want to be separated from her. What are you afraid of? That's just a video, videos can be faked, did you witness the whole process with your own eyes coward starve, the brave are full, didn't you see the black coffin under his feet, there must be treasures. They're just one person, what's there to be afraid of? I really don't believe he's as fierce as the legends say. Let's all attack together, seize the treasure and sell it for hundreds of thousands, let's all share it. Damn it. Let's do it. The many players were discussing fervently, but in the end, greed overcame reason, the burly man was especially angry, his own unkempt ghost was killed in an instant, this was a C-grade ghost that he had painstakingly formed a contract with, at this moment, the burly man's heart was already filled with anger, and he angrily shouted at everyone let's all attack. Wipe out this trash. Immediately, all the players on the field released their own ghost creatures and rushed towards Lin Haoran with killing intent. A great battle was about to begin. Looking at the players whose minds were clouded by greed, Lin Haoran's eyes flashed with a cold glint, he licked his lips and said lightly since you're seeking death. Then all of you shall die. Kill them. Lin Haoran snorted coldly and shouted at his own ghost monsters. The soul-devouring crow ghost's soul crowing skill was still on cooldown, otherwise a single crow's cry could wipe out this whole group of trash, seeking death. The ghost sword immortal saw these people ignoring his words and still daring to charge over, and his pitch black eyes flickered with astonishing sword intent, buzz buzz buzz. The ghost spirit sword floating beside the ghost sword immortal suddenly emitted a crisp sword sound. It then transformed into a sword light and swiftly approached the ghosts and monsters of these people. Poo pu pu. As the sword light flashed by, one ghost after another was ruthlessly beheaded, blood splattered, and ghost heads fell to the ground. The ghost spirit sword was like the scythe of the Grim Reaper, harvesting the lives of one ghost after another. In an instant, about ten ghosts were instantly killed. A group of ants. Eat shit. Pai Li Pala. Little Lei Ming's body erupted with astonishing blue lightning. Her petite figure floated in the air, her white hair standing on end, just like Si Kongjin from the King of Pesticides. When she was young, her whole body was filled with electric snakes hissing. Little Lei Ming controlled the blue thunder, constantly bombarding the ghosts and monsters of the players. Boom boom boom. A flash of lightning would kill several ghosts, turning them into charred ghost carbon, unable to die any further. Although the skill of the soul-eating crow ghost was still on cooldown, it was after all an S-rank ghost creature, with a level as high as 10. Its pure physical attacks were still very powerful. Quack quack quack. The soul-eating crow ghost let out an angry cry. If my big move wasn't on cooldown, you would be dead, and you wouldn't be able to complain like this. The soul-eating crow ghost flew in mid-air, its sharp claws directly killing two ghosts, as if crushing eggs, easily defeated. With just one encounter, the ghosts on the player's side suffered heavy casualties. About one-third of the ghosts had already died, and the remaining ghosts were like a lone boat on the sea, ready to be swallowed by the waves at any time. Now, these players were finally scared. These ghosts were dead, and there was no resurrection. They had all worked hard to form a contract and level up. If they died, they would have to form a new contract and level up again. That would be a waste and they wouldn't be able to keep up with the main force, becoming low-level players. The players shouted anxiously at Lin Haoran, who was standing on the hillside Big Brother. Please stop killing, we don't want this treasure anymore, please make your ghosts stop attacking. Boss, we were wrong. We can leave now, please don't kill us. Yes, yes, yes. It's all that king of white-faced scoundrels' fault. He deceived us and brought us here. Boss, please spare us. Please. We don't want this treasure anymore, please don't kill our ghosts, woo woo. It's all your fault. 
you damn messy-haired ghost. You're not satisfied because you were killed. You insisted on having our ghosts die with you. Are you satisfied now that's right? Brothers, let's help the boss kill this burly man. Maybe the boss will be happy and spare us. Kill. Kill him to death. Ah. You will have a miserable death. These players saw ghost after ghost being mercilessly slaughtered by Gui Jianxian, Xiao Leiming, and Shi Hunya Gui. They were completely panicked and snapped out of their greed, begging Lin Haoren for mercy. They even killed the initially strong men. It has to be said that human nature is evil. Once it involves their own interests, even brothers turn against each other, let alone these temporary groups of players. Lin Haoren saw this scene and a mocking smile appeared on his lips. He slowly spoke, it's so wonderful. Not bad, not bad. I really like it. When the players saw that Lin Haoren seemed somewhat pleased, a glimmer of hope rose in their hearts. Their eyes flashed with excitement, about to thank Lin Haoren, but Lin Haoren continued, then I shall grant you. Death. Lin Haoren had a sunny smile on his face, but he spoke words that were negative 50 degrees. Suddenly, amidst the wailing of countless ghosts, under the terrifying oppression of Gui Jianxian, Xiao Leiming, and Shi Hunya Gui, all the hundreds of ghosts were completely slaughtered, and the soil in the cemetery had been completely stained black by the dark blood, emitting a strong foul smell, like a purgatory in the underworld, densely packed with corpses. Only the players remained, their faces numb, looking at the cemetery piled up with bodies in shock, unable to come back to their senses for a long time. This guy is not human at all. So cruel. These players had a dead gray color on their faces, with a strong expression of fear and resentment in their eyes. It's over, it's all over. The ghosts are all dead, they have to start searching, forming contracts, and leveling up again. They have become the tail enders among the players, and no one wants them in their leveling teams. Their leveling journey will be extremely difficult, falling behind with every step. You demon. You're not human at all. Do you have any conscience? We've all begged for mercy. And you still want to kill our ghosts. Are you even human even animals are better than you? Brothers. Let's collectively report him on the official forum, expose him on the internet, make him a pariah in the game, everyone calling for his head. Yes, yes, yes. Let's expose him online together. This kind of person is selfish, cruel, and violent. He definitely isn't a good person in the real world either. Trash. Just wait to be doxxed, you brought this upon yourself. Brothers. It's just a game, we're not afraid of him. How can a game give this scum a sense of superiority? At this moment, these players stared at Lin Haoren with resentment, cursing him like mad, completely forgetting who started the killing and looting in the first place. And they all had the same expression, which can be said to vividly portray the evil of human nature. Clap clap clap. Ha ha ha. It's really interesting, really interesting. Lin Haoren stood on the hillside, listening to the curses of these people, unable to help but applaud and burst into laughter. Humans. That's how they are, selfish and self-serving. That's why I hate people so much. People often say that ghosts are scary, but I think ghosts are much cuter than people. Lin Haoren's smile slowly disappeared from his face as he looked at the ghosts protecting him. A strange expression flashed in his eyes, and he calmly said to the players, Are you done talking let's get on the road then? Lin Haoren's eyes revealed a cold killing intent as he held the thunder ghost gun, surrounded by countless green lightning. His figure was like a streak of green light as he charged into the crowd, unleashing a massacre. On the other side, the ghost sword immortal held the ghost spirit sword, killing one person with each step, the sword aura like a rainbow, staining the long sword with blood. Xiao Lei Ming transformed into the thunder king, the thunder serpent roaring, thunder resounding as people died. The soul-eating crow's bird claws were like hooks, its beak like a sword. Ah ah ah. They are demons, they are devils. You won't have a good death. The entire graveyard echoed with miserable screams, filled with sorrow and despair, like the 18 layers of hell. After several minutes, the screams in the graveyard finally stopped. Lin Haoren stood on countless corpses, his thunder ghost gun stained red with blood. Tick tock. Drops of blood dripped from the barrel of the gun. Lin Haoren was like a murderous devil, 
terrifyingly calm, his eyes as still as dead water in a deep pool, without any ripples. These corpses then turned into streaks of light and flew towards the direction of the newbie village, resurrecting. The ground in the graveyard, stained red with blood, was glaringly bright. Quack quack quack. The soul-eating crow let out a proud quack, indicating that its skill had finished cooling down. Lin Haoren's mouth twitched slightly, and he casually flicked a gunflower, flinging the blood away. He slapped the soul-eating crow's head hard and scolded, You only finished cooling down after I killed everyone. What's the use now? Lin Haoren couldn't help but roll his eyes, then walked towards the direction of the black coffin. Quack quack. The soul-eating crow held its head with its wings and angrily let out a quack towards Lin Haoren's back, as if saying, don't hit my head. It will be made into a delicacy. Lin Haoren ignored this foolish duck. To avoid any accidents, he quickly arrived in front of the black coffin and pried it open with the thunder ghost gun. Boo! The heavy black coffin lid was pried open and flew out, falling heavily on the ground, raising countless dust. A dense ghostly aura immediately surged out of the black coffin, like black mist. Woo woo woo! With a ghostly howl, Lin Haoran's left eye had turned into a black and white circle emitting black smoke, eagerly looking into the black coffin. Inside the coffin lay a quiet object, a nine-story black ghost tower. Lin Haoran couldn't help but furrow his brows, reaching out to take out the ghost tower. As his hand touched the tower, he felt a chilling sensation and an unusual heaviness. His left eye, the reincarnated ghost eye, slightly trembled as information appeared in Lin Haoran's mind, named nine-story town ghost tower, type S-class ghost object, effect released the town ghost domain, weakening the strength of ghosts within a certain range by 20%, range 500 meters, with an additional ability hell suppression. Ghost tower suppression within the domain range, designate a target to inflict terrifying damage and immobilize them for one second. The stronger the enemy, the weaker the immobilization effect. Ghost object information Mysterious 9-story town ghost tower, bred from ghost energy within the black coffin, has inherent growth potential, absorbs a large amount of ghost crystals, and can grow into an SS-class or even SSS-class ghost object. S-class ghost object. 9-story town ghost tower. Lin Haoran's pupils contracted as he finished reading the information, exclaiming in shock, it can even absorb ghost crystals to grow into SS-class or SSS-class ghost objects. Could this be the 18-story town ghost tower from the previous King of Hell's life? It just hasn't grown yet. In an instant, memories flooded Lin Haoran's mind. He knew that the previous King of Hell possessed a powerful ghost object called the 18-story town ghost tower. Although he didn't know if it was SS-class or SSS-class, its formidable abilities were something countless ghost masters dreamed of obtaining. The name and abilities of this object seemed similar to his 18-story town ghost tower, and it was even located in the beginner's village where the king of hell resided. Could it be that in the previous life, ghost father obtained it and sold it to the king of hell at a high price? Hmm. There were rumors in the previous life that the king of hell and ghost father had a falling out. Could it be because of this ghost object? Lin Haoran rubbed his chin, silently speculating. He he. No matter who obtained it, it's mine now. King of Hell, O oh King of Hell. I'll accept this opportunity on your behalf. Lin Haoran's lips curved into a sly smile. It must be said that Ghost Father and the King of Hell were truly unfortunate in this life. One had his wife stolen by Lin Haoran, while the other had a potential ghost object snatched away, and even his own Nyo 2 ghost was killed. Whether they can rise in this life is still an unknown. At this moment, Lin Haoran put away the precious S-class nine-story town ghost tower into his system backpack. Then, he took out the ghost crystals from the boss of the back-carrying giant ghost and let Xiao Lei Ming consume them. Xiao Lei Ming successfully reached level 10. Currently, Lin Haoran, Ghost Emperor, Ghost Sword Immortal, Xiao Lei Ming, and Silly Duck have all reached level 10. There are more than 100 level 6 ghost crystals in the backpack, as well as 68 level 8 ghost crystals that were just collected. Lin Haoran thought for a moment and decided to consume the remaining level 8 ghost crystals himself. His leveling progress bar only reached 51, proving that the boss's ghost crystals were indeed effective. The level 8 ghost crystals were not as useful to him anymore. Lin Haoran glanced at the time and realized it was already past 8 o'clock in the evening. He then found a safe place and logged off. In the real world, Lin Haoran took off his gaming helmet and picked up his phone. 
he suddenly noticed a few messages. He opened one and was surprised to see that it was from Shang Wan Waner. His heart skipped a beat as he read the message Haoran. Can we meet up you haven't contacted me for several days? I miss you so much. I know I was wrong. Can you forgive me I promise I won't do it again? I only love you. Upon seeing the messages from Shang Wan Waner, Lin Haoran couldn't believe she had the audacity to ask for his forgiveness. Not only was she involved with someone else, but it was also Teddy. Zhang Lei probably despised her too, which is why he cut off contact with her. A mocking smile appeared on Lin Haoran's face as he picked up his phone and replied you've been fed by a dog. How disgusting. Though his words were few, they were enough to strike a fatal blow to her heart. Upon seeing this message, Shang Wan Waner let out an angry scream ah. Lin Haoran, you deserve to die. Like a madwoman, she tore the sheets apart. With a smirk on his face and in a good mood, Lin Haoran had obtained a powerful ghost creature in the game and disgusted Shang Wan Waner. He hummed a tune, put on his clothes, and went outside to find something to eat. Lin Haoran still ordered a few dishes at his usual spot and enjoyed his meal. This restaurant was always busy, with almost every seat occupied. The reason Lin Haoran liked it here was because many of the people were young. What were young people talking about these days women know? It was still the mysterious post-apocalyptic online game. Can you believe it the damn official still hasn't released the second batch of game helmets? I've been waiting for a week. The official is really something. There are millions of people on the forums demanding the release of the game helmets, but they haven't responded at all. They're really something. Hey! What level are you guys I envy those who managed to get the game helmets. He he. I'm already level 5, and I've even contracted a second ghost creature, a D-rank belt ghost. Not bad. Having an S-rank ghost creature is already impressive. Once I become stronger, I'll go catch a C-rank ghost creature. Did you guys see the official forum today there's an interesting post about a serial killer in the newbie village on the 4th? He specifically hunts down players, brutally kills them, and even violates the bodies of female players. It's absolutely sick. What the FCK? There are people like that. The young people in the restaurant were eating and chatting. When Lin Haoran heard the last sentence, his heart moved slightly. Level 4 Newbie Village A killer demon Lin Haoran's sixth sense told him that this might be related to him. He couldn't help but smirk and think to himself, ha ha ha. You can only resort to such despicable tactics. But I dislike trouble. It's best for you not to encounter me, or else you will regret it. Lin Haoran let out a cold laugh in his heart and continued eating. Then he returned to his rented room, took a shower, and went to sleep. The night passed without any words, and the next morning, Lin Haoran finished breakfast early and couldn't wait to enter the game. In the game world, in the dim newbie village, Lin Haoran's figure quietly appeared here. Ding ding. Just as Lin Haoran was about to go to the hidden task of the village chief, Gileatu, in the newbie village, suddenly a system message sounded, causing Lin Haoran to pause for a moment. He opened it and his eyes lit up. It was a friend request, and the request message read Hello, brother. I heard you are collecting ghost swords. I received a task related to swords, and the reward for the task is likely to be a ghost sword. I wonder if you are interested. Lin Haoran didn't hesitate and directly accepted the friend request, sending him a location and replying come to this location, I'll be waiting for you. It seemed that the other person was also online. As soon as the message was sent, he received a reply from the other person okay. I'll be there soon. Lin Haoran waited in place for a few minutes, and a man with a blurred face walked over. He should have activated the privacy mode, so other players couldn't see his face. You are Lu Dao, right? The man spoke, his voice somewhat deep, indicating that he was a middle-aged man. Lin Haoran nodded and glanced at the man, slowly saying, that's right. It's me. Let me see your task. The man's nickname was Lianpa Lowi, shortened to Lianpa. Lianpa glanced at Lin Haoran and said in a deep voice, I'll show you the task introduction first. Transfer the money to me, and then I'll share this task with you. No problem, Lin Haoran said indifferently. 
Lienpa immediately shared the task he received in the private chat channel. Special Task Forging Ghost Weapons Task Introduction Lao Gui Jiang is a famous ghost weapon blacksmith. Through special forging methods, he can forge ghost weapons, ghost creatures. He has entrusted others to help him find special materials, and as a reward, he will help you forge a powerful ghost weapon. Go to the village to find him to receive the task. Lin Haoren's eyes flashed with a hint of excitement, and he secretly said in his heart, so that's it. He's a ghost blacksmith. Generally speaking, ghost creatures are formed naturally through the incubation of certain items with ghost energy, along with many coincidental opportunities. And the longer the history of this item, the heavier the yin energy, the higher the probability of forming a ghostly object, and the stronger it becomes. However, there is a group of people in this world who, through special forging methods, can forge ghostly artifacts, one type of ghostly object. These people are called ghostsmiths. In the previous world, ghostsmiths were extremely rare talents, and currently, they only exist in games, and their numbers are extremely scarce. After the fusion of the apocalyptic and bizarre online game with the real world, these people are even more sought after in major gathering places, becoming the chief ghostly artifact forgers of their gathering places, helping to create ghostly artifacts and enhance their strength. He didn't expect to encounter a ghostsmith here, which was a pleasant surprise. Lin Haoren looked up and glanced at Lian Pa, opening his mouth and saying, that's enough. You can name your price. A glimmer of light flashed in Lian Po's eyes as he spoke, 5,000. Lin Haoren could sense a hint of uneasiness in his tone, obviously thinking that this price was a bit outrageous. Give me your bank account number. Lin Haoren's mouth slightly curved upwards, without bargaining, he directly spoke. This. You agreed. Lian Pu was slightly stunned, asking in surprise. He thought Lin Haoren would definitely bargain, but he didn't expect him to be so straightforward. Hmm. I don't like beating around the bush. Lin Haoren said calmly. All right. Thank you, I'll give you my account now. Lian Po's voice was filled with surprise as he quickly sent his bank account number to Lin Haoren. Lin Haoren didn't waste any time and immediately transferred 5,000 yuan to Lian Pa after going offline. After receiving the money, Lian Pa felt excited and immediately shared this task with Lin Haoren. Ding dong! Congratulations on receiving the Task Forge Ghostly Artifact! Please go to the old ghostsmith to learn more details. A system prompt suddenly sounded in Lin Haoren's ear, and then on the map, the location of the old ghostsmith was displayed. Thank you. Good luck to you. Lian Pa felt grateful towards Lin Haoren and couldn't help but say. Lin Haoren nodded, waved his hand at Lian Pa, and then headed towards the location on the map. In the south of the village, in the forest, there was a thatched cottage. Inside the cottage, an old man with white hair and an unusually strong physique was pounding a piece of material emitting black energy. Above his head was an NPC nickname Old Ghostsmith. Bang bang bang. Loud and piercing sounds echoed in the forest. Step step step. Just then, the sound of footsteps rang out, and a black figure appeared in front of the old man. It was Lin Haoren. The old man glanced at Lin Haoren took a quick look at the evil ghost armor he was wearing, and his eyes flickered slightly. Looking at Lin Haoren, he said, Human. Are you here to help me find ghostly materials? Lin Haoren looked at the old man, whose left eye was pure black, and his eyes flickered slightly. He knew that the true identity of the ghostsmith was actually a half-human, half-ghost being, born from the combination of humans and ghosts. With the wisdom and creative ability of humans, and the powerful strength of ghosts and monsters, one can become a ghost craftsman. The ghost and monster born from the combination of oneself and the ghost emperor are purebred ghosts and monsters, such as Xia Laming. This should be the ability of the ghost emperor, but it's better this way, after all, purebred ghosts and monsters are stronger than half-ghosts. I just need a powerful ghost offspring. Yes. What materials do you need I can help you find them? but you have to help me forge a powerful ghost sword. Lin Haoran nodded and said directly. Ha ha ha. Interesting human. The old ghost craftsman stopped hammering and laughed, saying, Human. You seem very confident, ha the task is not yet completed. And you're already bargaining. All right. I promise you, as long as you bring back my materials, I will forge a powerful ghost sword for you. 
A glimmer of light flashed in the old ghost craftsman's eyes as he looked at Lin Howran and agreed. Ding! Congratulations on receiving a special mission collecting ghost materials. Required ghost materials Ghost Ice Stone, Ghost Rhino Horn. Ghost Ice Stone can be obtained in the ice cave to the west of the village, and Ghost Rhino Horn can be obtained in the grassland behind the village. Players can complete the mission by bringing back Ghost Ice Stone and Ghost Rhino Horn to the old ghost craftsman. Mission Reward and Unknown Level Ghost Sword Lin Haoran nodded and directly accepted the mission. Young human. I wish you good luck. The old ghost craftsman showed a row of yellow teeth and smiled, then raised his hammer again and started hammering. Thank you. Lin Haoran smiled slightly. This old ghost craftsman is quite easy to talk to. When the game and reality merge, he must make him join his ghost country and forge ghost weapons for himself and his ghost offspring. Lin Haoran showed a mysterious smile to the old ghost craftsman and then turned and left. The old ghost craftsman suddenly felt a gust of cold wind and couldn't help but shiver. He touched his messy white hair and muttered to himself, strange. Why do I feel a bad premonition? Lin Haoran set off alone towards the west of the village. The ice cave, according to the map, is a cave to the west of the village. This mountain is strange because there is an underground ice cave below, and the temperature is extremely cold. In this ice cave, there is a rare material called ghost ice stone. It is a precious material formed by ice blocks contaminated with ghost energy over a long period of time. But the cold and gloomy atmosphere here has also given birth to many ghosts and monsters. After about an hour's journey, Lin Haoran finally arrived at the entrance of the ice cave. It would be great if I had a ghost mount. I wouldn't have to spend so much time walking here. As a master of time management, Lin Haoran was not happy to spend so much time on the road. He secretly thought about contracting a large-bodied ghost that could carry people as a mount. The silly duck is too small to carry people. The ghost sword immortal sword immortal technique can only carry her, and it would be a bit difficult to carry Lin Haoran as well. She needs to become stronger before she can carry two people. Lin Haoran shook his head and sighed repeatedly upon hearing this. If there's a chance, I must form a contract with one, preferably. A ghost dragon. Lin Haoran secretly thought to himself. Then he looked towards the chilling ice cave. Even outside the cave, Lin Haoran could feel a bone-chilling cold. Lin Haoran took out the Thunder Ghost Gun from his system backpack and released the Ghost Sword Immortal. The Ghost Sword Immortal still had an ethereal aura, and the ghostly sword floated obediently by her side. Let's go! Ghost Sword Immortal, you will soon unlock the Immortal Sword Formation skill. Lin Haoran looked at the elegant Sword Immortal in front of him, his mind slightly stirred, and he smiled as he spoke to the Ghost Sword Immortal. Boom! The Ghost Sword Immortal glanced at Lin Haoran and nodded. Then Lin Haoran led the Ghost Sword Immortal into the icy cave. In the passage of the ice cave, Lin Haoran walked alongside the ghostly sword, with one person and one ghost walking closely together. Lin Haoran could even smell a unique fragrance emanating from the Ghost Sword Immortal, a scent reminiscent of pure jasmine. Lin Haoran couldn't help but sniff, then pretended to look around seriously. However, he didn't see the beautiful curve of a smile forming at the corner of the Ghost Sword Immortal's mouth behind him. After about 10 minutes, Lin Haoran and the Ghost Sword Immortal finally passed through the narrow passage and arrived at a relatively spacious glacier cave. The ghostly and chilling aura here was exceptionally strong clearly not a good place. At this moment, Lin Haoran was not in the mood to continue smelling the fragrance of the Ghost Sword Immortal. Holding the Thunder Ghost Gun, he said to the Ghost Sword Immortal, be careful. Prepare for battle. The Ghost Sword Immortal nodded slightly, and the ghostly sword emitted a clear sword cry. Crack, crack. Just then, cracks suddenly appeared in the depths of the glacier, followed by violent explosions. Strange-looking ghostly creatures appeared in front of Lin Haoran one after another. These ghostly creatures were all ice blue, with the upper half of their bodies resembling humans and the lower half being ice crystals. They emitted a cold chill, and their pitch-black eyes with a blue glow stared fiercely at Lin Haoran and the ghost sword immortal. Lin Haoran's left eye, the reincarnation ghost eye, had already displayed the information of these ghostly creatures in his mind, name Ice Crystal Ghost, Talent C, Type Elemental, Level 8, Abilities, Ice Crystal Shot, condense an ice crystal and shoot it at the enemy, causing a large amount of damage. 
Ghost information a special ghost creature born from the ghostly aura in the ice. The temperature on its body can reach minus 50 degrees and it can launch ice crystal attacks. Weakness is fire, heat. Description little brother. Do you want me to help you with my mouth I promise to make you freeze hard? It's actually an elemental type ghost creature. Lin Haoren saw the information about these ghosts and monsters and murmured in surprise. Moreover, the qualifications of these ice crystal ghosts have reached sea level. If one were to form a contract with an ice crystal ghost, they could become a big shot among ordinary players. Woo woo. These ice crystal ghosts let out a ghostly howl, and a burst of ice blue light surged from their bodies. Sharp ice crystals condensed and shot towards Lin Haoren and the ghost sword immortal. Pilai Pala. Suddenly, a series of blue lightning appeared on Lin Haoren's body, his black hair floating in the air. The thunder ghost gun in his hand was accompanied by raging lightning, resembling a thunderous dragon. His left eye had turned into a dark ghost eye with a dynamic field of vision activated. The ice crystals flying towards him seemed to slow down in his eyes. Lin Haoren swung the thunder ghost gun like a master of marksmanship, continuously shattering the ice crystals in the air. Hong Hong Hong. Intense explosions sounded like firecrackers. Lin Haoren's body was surrounded by restless blue lightning. He held the thunder ghost gun, his left eye turned pitch black with a white circle, emitting a strange black aura. He looked very much like a ghost, even more so than the ghost sword immortal. Pai Lai Pala. Hong 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 Hong. The restless lightning crackled, and the thunder ghost gun shattered the ice crystals like a wandering dragon. The ghost sword immortal also made a move, controlling the ghost spirit sword with his mind, like a spirit snake. The sword emitted a cold light like the moon. Wang Wang Wang. A stream of light swiftly passed through, cutting the ice crystals in the air into pieces. In just an instant, Lin Haoren and the ghost sword immortal cooperated seamlessly, simultaneously resolving the skillful attacks of the ice crystal ghosts. It's our turn, right? Ghost sword immortal. Let's go. Lin Haoren's black hair moved without wind, lightning flickered, and he coldly smiled, letting out a low roar. Thunder rumbled beneath his feet, and with the power of the green thunder, Lin Haoren's speed greatly increased, like a streak of green light. He charged into the group of ice crystal ghosts first. One of the ice crystal ghosts hadn't even reacted yet. Hong. It was directly shot in the head by Lin Haoren's thunder ghost gun, its brain bursting into countless ice fragments. It turned into a headless ghost, losing its life. Woo woo. At this moment, the ice crystal ghosts also reacted and were about to launch an attack on Lin Haoren when Xiao Xiao Xiao. A sound of breaking through the air suddenly rang out. A sword light flashed, carrying a sharp sword aura. In an instant, several ice crystal ghosts had their heads pierced by the sharp sword light. The speed was so fast that they didn't even feel any pain before dying. Lin Haoren and the ghost sword immortal were like two butchers, mercilessly slaughtering these ice crystal ghosts. After one minute, all the ice crystal ghosts in the ice cave were lying on the cold glacier. They left behind shining ghost crystals, all of which Lin Haoren picked up. There were more than 50 in total, but it was still somewhat unsatisfactory. Even if he ate them all, it would be difficult to level up. Forget it. Let's look for the ghost ice stone first. Lin Haoren glanced at the glacial cave and didn't find the ghost ice stone. He furrowed his brows, showing a hint of confusion. Could it be that this isn't the deepest part yet is there still a way to go deeper into the ice cave? Lin Haoren squinted his eyes and pondered in his mind. There's still a path here. Just then, the voice of the ghost sword immortal came from behind, causing Lin Haoren to pause for a moment. He walked towards the ghost sword immortal with the thunder ghost gun in his hand. Under the cracked glacier, a cave appeared, leading to the lower part of the ice cave. Let's go. Let's go down and take a look. You go first, I'll cover your back. Lin Haoren said to the ghost sword immortal with a righteous and determined expression. The ghost sword immortal glanced disdainfully at Lin Haoren, then leaped down the hole. Lin Haoren's mouth twitched slightly, suddenly remembering that it seemed like before, he was still a ghost sword immortal or sword ghost. Have you ever despised yourself? Ah. It's difficult to be a good person now. Clearly, I'm helping you out, but I still get looked down upon. 
No conscience. Lin Haoren shook his head and said with some discomfort. Then, closely following the ghost sword immortal, he jumped down this glacier passage. Lin Haoren slid through the narrow glacier passage like a slide. Then a dazzling light appeared ahead. Lin Haoren slid out of the glacier passage and immediately saw Gui Jianxian standing at the entrance of the passage. Pong! Lin Haoren didn't have time to break and crash directly into Gui Jianxian, knocking her down to the ground. Lin Haoren's body pressed tightly against Gui Jianxian's body, and Lin Haoren could feel something soft and large pressing against his chest. A strong and rich scent of jasmine fills the air. One person, one ghost, four eyes meet. Lin Haoren's mouth and Gui Jianxian's mouth are about to touch each other. Gurgle. Lin Haoren looked at the stunning ghost sword immortal in front of him and couldn't help but gulp down a mouthful of saliva. The ghost fairy sword has a pair of phoenix eyes, quietly watching Lin Haoren in front of her. Her ears have turned a faint pink color. The long eyelashes trembled, clearly indicating that Gui Jianxian's inner thoughts were not as calm as they appeared on the surface. One person, one ghost, stuck together like this, looking at each other, feeling each other's breath on their cheeks. Just as Lin Haoren was about to go all out. Roar. Suddenly, a loud roar sounded, directly interrupting Lin Haoren's spellcasting. Make Lin Haoren as black as if he had eaten a dead fly. Pressing down. Feels good, right? The ghost sword immortal's ears have turned as red as apples by now, but their face still remains cold and indifferent. He asked Lin Haoren calmly. The heart of the ghost sword immortal is pounding, and this guy has been sticking to himself, even the bear has been flattened. Refreshing. Ah. Not. Sorry. Lin Haoren awkwardly said to Gui Jianxian. When are you going to stop pressuring me? The ghost sword immortal said coldly. Lin Haoren reluctantly got up from the ghost sword immortal at this moment and reached out his hand towards the ghost sword immortal. Indicate to pull her up. The ghost sword immortal glanced at Lin Haoren, then extended his clean and delicate hand to shake hands with Lin Haoren. Lin Haoren's restless heart trembled slightly. Although the ghost sword immortal has always been using a sword, his hands are surprisingly smooth and tender, making it irresistible to let go. Lin Haoren pulled Gui Jianxian up with one hand and shamelessly refused to let go of Gui Jianxian's hand. Pretending not to know, I turned around and looked at this underground ice cave. A huge ice crystal monster appeared in front of the ice cave, staring menacingly at Lin Haoren and the ghost. This should be the boss. Lin Haoren held Ghost Sword Immortal's hand and spoke as if nothing had happened. The Ghost Sword Immortal's cheeks turned a faint pink, without exposing Lin Haoren's little thoughts. One person, one ghost in this icy glacier, the two fiery hearts seem to slowly blend together. Even the sub-zero temperatures here cannot conceal two restless hearts. At this moment, both the person and the ghost are feeling a bit angry. Because the ambiguity was disturbed. Should you live or die? Lin Haoren's eyes were filled with intense anger as he stared at the massive monster not far away, his face full of murderous intent. This monster has only one giant head, made of ice crystals, with a pair of ice horns on top. A pair of lantern-sized jet black pupils flickered with a hint of confusion. I don't understand why these two humans are looking at me as if they want to gouge out their own eyes. A huge mouth let out a perplexed roar. Roar. It seems to be saying, I didn't provoke you guys, it's you who came to my house. What the hell are you still trying to argue about? Still dare to stare at me, so annoying. At this moment, Lin Haoren also obtained information about this strange-looking ghost with only one head through the cycle reincarnation ghost eye. Name, Ice Guardian Elite Boss. Qualification, B. Type, Element Class. Level, 10. Ability. Ice Crystal Shield, can condense ice attribute ice crystals to create an ice shield, blocking enemy attacks. Frost Breath, blow an extremely cold breath from the mouth, causing massive freezing damage to the enemy and freezing them in place. Ghost Information, a special ghost boss born from the nurturing of ghost energy within the cold ice. It has both offensive and defensive capabilities, as well as control abilities. It is a powerful elemental ghost, with weaknesses to fire and heat. Description, don't underestimate me just because I'm just ahead. I can still bite off your little chicken. Not surprising to Lin Haoren. 
Qualification B, Elite Boss of the Elemental Class. If it was the previous life. Lin Haoren definitely drools when he encounters it, willing to do whatever it takes to make a contract with it. After all, this Ice Guardian boss is excellent in both talent and skills. Have control, have damage, have defense, impeccable. But now. Lin Haoren wishes he could chop it up and feed it to the dogs. Just a little bit more, and we can defeat the Ghost Sword Immortal. This old guy, Potato Sweet Potato Head, is interrupting our good time. You deserve to die. Lin Haoren's eyes flickered with burning anger as he gritted his teeth and said to the Ice Guardian boss. Let's go. Take down this guy. Lin Haoren said coldly to the Ghost Sword Immortal beside him. Can you let go of my hand now? Gui Jianxian glanced at Lin Haoren and couldn't help but speak up. You're holding my hand, how do we go up? Although I can control a sword with my hand, it's not very common to hold hands while controlling a sword, right? Ah. I'm sorry. I didn't notice. Lin Haoren looked surprised and then let go of the Ghost Sword Immortal's hand. He awkwardly said to the Ghost Sword Immortal, There is a slight reluctance in my heart. The Ghost Sword Immortal was speechless, a burst of white energy surged from his body, wrapping around the Ghost Spirit Sword. Buzz buzz buzz. The Ghost Spirit Sword emitted a sharp sword sound. Old thing. It's time for you to hit the road. Lin Haoren did not release Sialaming and the Soul Eating Crow Ghost, this third wheel. He is going to have a sweet double day today. Lin Haoren coldly said to the Ice Guardian boss, and suddenly a mini nine-story ghost tower appeared in his palm. It is the S-Class ghost, the nine-story ghost tower. Go. Suppress it. Lin Haoren directly threw out the nine-story ghost tower, instantly transforming into a two. Five-meter-high ghost tower, appearing in the sky above the glacier. An invisible force swept through the entire glacier cave. The ghost domain is activated, within a radius of 500 meters, it can reduce the strength of enemy ghosts by 20%. Roar! The Ice Guardian boss suddenly felt that his power, speed, and defense had all weakened. Suddenly let out a roar of anger. A strong ghostly aura suddenly surged from the body, and a pair of pitch black, enormous eyes flickered with angry gazes. You're called Nima. Lin Haoren held a reggae gun in his hand, and a violent blue thunder surged from his body, as if possessed by a thunder god. Turn into a blue lightning and swiftly rush towards the Ice Guardian boss. Crackle. The tip of the reggae gun in my hand is filled with dense blue thunder, the long gun is like a thunder dragon, and the thunder snake is roaring. Reggae gun stabbed towards the Ice Guardian boss with a terrifying momentum. It is the skill that comes with the reggae gun, reggae kill. Roar. The icy guardian boss's pupils suddenly contracted when he saw Lin Haoren's astonishing speed and powerful skills. Suddenly, he let out a furious roar, and a surge of icy blue energy burst forth from his body. A solid ice shield instantly forms in front of the ice guardian boss. Boom! Reggae's killing technique carries the power of raging thunder, fiercely crashing into the ice shield of the ice guardian boss. A loud explosion sounded, and the solid ice shield instantly shattered into pieces, revealing a large hole. The ice shield has been pierced. The icy guardian boss's pupils suddenly contracted, revealing a hint of shock in its pitch black eyes. It seemed to be surprised by Lin Haoran's formidable attack power. Whoosh! At this moment, a sharp breaking sound suddenly resounded. A swift sword light pierced through the entrance of the ice shield, directly into the eyes of the ice guardian. The ghost boss couldn't react in time, and one of its eyes was instantly blinded by the ghost spirit sword. Ow. The ice guardian boss let out a miserable cry, and blood of icy blue flowed from its pierced eye. Ow. The ice guardian boss let out a huge and mournful scream, echoing throughout the entire glacier cave. The ice blue blood pressure flows freely in the eye sockets. Lin Haoren and Gui Jianxian's tacit cooperation. One is drilling a hole, one is threading a hole. One in front, one behind, perfect understanding. Just like a pair of cheating lovers, patting their buttocks, you know what it means. But it's tough on the Ice Guardian boss. One glance and my eyes were stabbed blind by these two despicable humans. It's absolutely infuriating. Click, 
Click. At this moment, the Ice Guardian boss became completely enraged. The whole body is emitting an astonishing coldness, and the water molecules in the surrounding air instantly freeze, condensing into clusters of ice flowers. Roar. The Ice Guardian boss let out an angry roar, with its remaining eye flickering with a fierce killing intent. A huge mouth suddenly took a breath, emitting powerful ice elemental energy. Obviously, it is ready to make a big move. Frozen breath. I've been waiting for you for a long time. At this time, Lin Haoran's cold voice slowly resounded. Buzz buzz buzz. The nine-story haunted tower floating in the air suddenly emitted a dull sound. The nine-story ghost tower is spinning rapidly, pressing down towards the Ice Guardian ghost boss in the sky. Boom! Just took a breath of ice and the boss of the Ghost Guardian was instantly smashed and vomited by the nine-layer ghost tower. The enormous body was directly suppressed by the nine-story ghost tower on the glacier ground, emitting a loud rumbling sound. The ground's ice shatters and splashes. Smash out a huge deep pit. Vomit. The Ice Guardian boss spat out a mouthful of 86-year-old blood. The body feels as if it is being crushed by a mountain. Pressed down by the nine-story ghost tower. Can't move. Let it experience the feeling of the Monkey King being suppressed under the Five Finger Mountain for 500 years. This is the inherent skill of the ghost tower in Jiaotzing Town. Ghost Tower Suppression. Not only can it cause massive damage, but it can also forcefully suppress the enemy for one second. And if used well, it can also interrupt the enemy's skills. Just like interrupting the icebound breath skill of the Ice Guardian boss. Ice breath did not come out, a mouthful of old blood poured out. Ghost Sword Immortal. Let's take down this bastard together. Lin Haoran revealed a twisted smile on the frozen face still being suppressed by the nine-layered ghost tower. Then shout at the ghost sword immortal. Lin Haoran's body suddenly surged with blue lightning, and the violent lightning gathered at the tip of the thunder ghost gun. Crackle. Transforming into a blue lightning bolt, wielding the thunder ghost gun, I directly pierce towards the suppressed ice guardian boss. The long spear is like a thunderous dragon. Lightning flashes, unmatched. While on the other hand, the ghost sword immortal emits a white light, holding the ghost spirit sword turn into a white stream of light. Walking side by side with Lin Haoran, the ghost spirit sword flickered with astonishing ghostly aura, emitting a dazzling white light. It is the inherent skill of the ghost spirit sword, ghost spirit stab. One person, one ghost. One shot, one sword. One man, one woman. One blue, one white. The entire glacier cave seemed to have only these two figures. The flowing light of blue and white is like the blue thunder sword immortal. Lin Haoran and Gui Jianxian, with a terrifying momentum, simultaneously stabbed the huge head of the Ice Guardian ghost boss. Boom boom. A loud explosion resounded throughout the glacier cave. The Ice Guardian boss's forehead was directly pierced by a large hole. The remaining one-eyed had a strong expression of fear, and then the eye lost its luster. It died. Being tortured, exploded, and brutally killed by this couple. From the beginning to the end, it didn't even have a chance to fart, and was continuously abused and killed. Absolutely inhumane and miserable. I'm embarrassed to tell the king of hell how I died in such a miserable way. Silly duck. Come out quickly, it's time to eat. Lin Haoran immediately summoned the soul-eating crow ghost upon seeing the disappearing corpse of the ice guardian boss. Devour the soul of the boss. This is a great supplement, can't let it go. Poor Ice Guardian boss, even without a chance to go to hell, both the body and the soul are gone. How can the word miserable be explained clearly? Duck duck. A black light flashed, and the soul-eating raven ghost, this idiot, suddenly appeared in front of the corpse of the Ice Guardian boss. Directly open a mouth like a black hole. Absorbed the soul of the Ice Guardian boss into the stomach. Ding dong. Congratulations on your soul devouring raven successfully devouring the soul of the Ice Guardian elite boss. Ding dong. Congratulations on the upgrade of your soul devouring raven ghost, current level, level 11. After devouring the soul of the Ice Guardian boss, this silly duck, silly duck has silly luck, directly leveled up by one level. 
Become the highest ranking monster among your own monsters. Duck duck duck. The soul-eating crow demon felt its power increase and immediately let out a joyful cry. The eyes are slightly curved, like a funny expression. What are you shouting for? Scared the hell out of me. Lin Haoren slapped the head of the soul-eating crow ghost and said directly. The soul-eating crow demon immediately hugged its duck head in frustration, looking at Lin Haoren with an angry expression. Good gas duck ah. Why do you always hit this duck every time? Is it a mistake for this duck to be handsome? By the way, this man is definitely jealous of how handsome I am. The soul-eating raven demon felt proud in its heart. Lin Haoren didn't know what was on the mind of the soul-eating crow demon, otherwise he would have missed out on a delicious meal of Jue duck neck. Lin Haoren arrived at the place where the ice guardian boss had died, in a deep pit. The body of the boss had already dissipated. Only three things left. One is the ghost crystal of the ice guardian boss, a blue bead, and a piece of crystal. Lin Haoren's reincarnation ghost eye immediately reveals the attribute information of this bead in Lin Haoren's mind. Name, Ice Ghost Bead. Type, Class A Ghost Creature. Effect, Ice Attribute Monsters Can Carry, Enhancing Ice Attribute Power by 50%. Ghost Information, The Ghost Born Within the Ice Guardian, Possessing Beads That Enhance the Power of Ice Attributes. Lin Haoren's Eyes Lit Up. This is a series of ghostly objects, just like the Thunder Ghost Bead on Xiao Leiming's body. Just Xia Leiming is to enhance the power of the Thunder Attribute. This ice ghost bead enhances the power of the ice attribute. Embarrassingly, I currently don't have any ghost monsters with ice attributes, and it seems like they're useless. Wait. It seems that the ghost emperor's wife has the ability to nurture ghost crystals with certain attributes, which increases the likelihood of giving birth to ghost offspring with those attributes. If the ghost crystal of the ice guardian is given to the ghost emperor's wife to consume, there is a high possibility of hatching an ice attribute ghost. Lin Haoren suddenly remembered his ghost emperor wife's ability, and she should also be about to give birth to their second ghost child. I don't know if feeding ghost crystals is still effective now. The last item is the task item for this time. Ghost Ice Stone Forging ghost weapons is a rare material. Lin Haoren's face showed a slight smile as he put this ghost ice stone into the system backpack. Lin Haoren's mind moved, summoning his pregnant ghost queen wife. Husband. Are you looking for me? Does my husband want me, his concubine? A black light flashed, and the stunning figure of the ghost emperor appeared beside Lin Haoren. Shanshan's jade hands were wrapped around Lin Haoren's neck as she spoke softly to him. Lin Haoren glanced at Gui Jianxian without showing any emotion, then smiled and said to Yan Ho Gui. Madam. This ghost crystal is for you to consume. It is a ghost crystal of the ice attribute ghost. I wonder if after consuming it, Madam will be able to conceive a child with the ice attribute. The eyes of the ghost emperor brightened, a hint of joy flashed in his autumn-like eyes, and he said to Lin Haoren. Leave it to me. My husband. With such a high concentration of ghost crystal, our second child can be born tomorrow. The ghost emperor behind him looked at Lin Haoren with a sweet face, wishing to merge into Lin Haoren's body. Great. Lin Haoren was delighted to hear this. He didn't expect that the boss ghost crystal could also shorten the incubation time. This is also considered a pleasant surprise. Madam. Please quickly consume this ghost crystal. Lin Haoren put the ghost crystal into the mouth of Yenho, the ghost emperor, and said. The ghost emperor Yensho directly opens his cherry-like mouth, with sexy red lips, and swallows the ghost crystal in one gulp. Still deliberately holding Lin Haoren's fingers, the snake-like tongue continuously entwined around Lin Haoren's fingers. Xiao Haoren stood up and saluted immediately. Suddenly, a sword aura rose up from his back. The sharp sword aura is like a castrated chicken knife. Lin Haoren's little brother lowered his head directly. Cough cough. Lin Haoren coughed twice, trying to hide his embarrassment. At this moment, Yenho, the ghost emperor, also swallowed the ghost crystal. The body emits a black light. Ding dong. Congratulations on the promotion of your ghost monster's ghost emperor level. Current level, level 11. The sound of the system slowly rang in Lin Haoren's ears. 
The ghost emperor has finally leveled up. Um. The ghost emperor behind him made a seductive sound with his mouth, slowly opening his eyes. A pair of beautiful eyes looked towards the ghost sword immortal beside. She knew that her husband's younger brother was cowardly. Because of her. The eyes of the ghost emperor behind him flashed with a strange light, and he smiled at Lin Haoran and said. Husband. Is this person your younger sister? My younger sister is really beautiful. No wonder she can captivate her husband. The words of the ghost emperor made Lin Haoran's face turn red directly, and he awkwardly forced a smile. The face of the ghost sword immortal couldn't help but blush, feeling like a mistress caught by the main wife. Giggle, giggle, giggle. The ghost emperor saw the shy appearance of the ghost sword immortal. Couldn't help but laugh, walked towards the ghost sword immortal. Coming to the side of the ghost sword immortal, I whispered softly into the ghost sword immortal's ear. The cheeks of the ghost sword immortal became even more rosy, like a peach. Husband, sister. Please communicate well. I, your humble servant, need to go back and take care of my pregnancy. Husband. You should be gentle with your younger sister. After the ghost emperor finished whispering in the ghost sword immortal's ear, he came in front of Lin Haoran. Kissed Lin Haoran on the cheek, gave a little pat to Xiao Haoran, and then smiled and said to both of them. A charming smile appeared on the face and turned into a stream of light, diving into Lin Haoran's body. Lin Haoran's mouth twitched slightly. After becoming a married woman, Yen Ho, she has become bolder and bolder. He missed the shy and pure queen he first met, even a kiss would make her blush. Now the ghost emperor has descended. It's so loud in the small forest. Lin Haoran was terrified. Always pay attention to whether Lao Lu is being recorded. However, it's really exciting. Cough cough. Lin Haoran's face returned to its usual color, holding the thunder ghost gun in his hand, he came to the side of the ghost sword immortal, whose face was still rosy, and said. What did she just say to you? Why is your face so red? Lin Haoran couldn't help but ask curiously. Nothing. It's nothing. You don't worry about it. The ghost sword immortal touched his flushed cheek and stammered, um. Lin Haoran looked at Gui Jianxian with suspicion, then took Gui Jianxian's delicate and smooth hand and said. Let's go. Let's go out. I'm holding your hand, it's too slippery here, I'm afraid you might fall. The ghost sword immortal couldn't help but roll his eyes when he heard Lin Haoran's lame excuse for eating his tofu. But instead of breaking free from Lin Haoran's hand, their hands with Lin Haoran's warm palm tightly held together. Good warm. The ghost sword immortal looked at Lin Haoran's back, a beautiful smile of happiness appeared on his face. Then one person and one ghost walked out of this cold cave. Continue on to the next place. In order to prevent the ghost sword immortal from slipping while walking, Lin Haoran has been very gentlemanly holding ghost sword fairy's hand. The ghost sword immortal is like a little wife, closely following behind Lin Haoran. Feeling the warmth coming from Lin Haoran's hand, the cold heart of the ghost sword immortal felt a moment of warmth. The body temperature of ghosts and monsters is always cold, unlike the body temperature of humans. Of course. Some special ghosts and monsters are different. For example, fire ghost, red refining ghost, and so on, can burn you to death. Lin Haoran and Gui Jianxian were walking on the road. Many players can't help but turn their heads repeatedly when they see the outstanding temperament and beautiful appearance of the ghost sword immortal. Looking at Lin Haoran with envy, jealousy, and hatred on their face. Especially saw Lin Haoran's salty pig hand still holding the jade hand of Gui Jianxian. It further infuriates the surrounding players, who wish they could break Lin Haoran's kuan kuan. Brother. Please stay. Suddenly, a sharp voice sounded behind Lin Haoran. Lin Haoran couldn't help but furrow his brows. Although it is already known that the beauty of the ghost sword immortal will attract the attention of some players. But who told you to want to touch someone else's hand? Lin Haoran stopped in his tracks and turned his head to look. Suddenly, I saw a handsome man with long hair walking towards me with a few players. The long-haired handsome man kept his gaze on the ghost sword immortal, with a hint of fiery passion in his eyes. Coming to Lin Haoran's side, I reluctantly shifted my gaze onto Lin Haoran. 
a sunny smile appeared on the face. Said to Lin Haoran, Hello, brother. I am the leader of the Roaming Ghost Squad. You can call me Captain Roaming. Although Lin Haoran does not know this person, the surrounding players instantly recognize him. Suddenly, a commotion broke out, with everyone discussing fervently. Roaming. He is the captain of the Roaming Ghost Squad, Roaming. Very famous. I don't know. Brother. You are really uninformed. He is the famous Ghost Squad leader in Arno. For Beginner Village. He has more than 50 members in his squad, and every one of them is an elite. Cut it out. There are only a little over 50 people here, while the Yenwang Palace Association has over 2,000 people. What's there to be so proud of? The number of people may not be comparable to the Yenwang Palace Guild, but we are taking the elite route. With over 50 people, every ghost and monster is at least sea level. You tell me, is that strong or not? Sigh. No way, so fierce. Hoof. You know how powerful he is now. He himself possesses a ghost with an A-level qualification in elemental abilities, which is extremely powerful. Oh, I see. Another big shot, can only worship. Lin Haoran heard the discussions of the surrounding players and roughly understood this person's information. The leader of an elite ghost squad. But so what? Lin Haoran's heart was calm and undisturbed. Lin Haoran glanced at Xiaoyu and said lightly. What's the matter with you? Xiaoyu smiled slightly at Lin Haoran and glanced at Gui Jianxian, then spoke. Brother. Is this your ghost? Lin Haoran nodded, a glimmer of brilliance flashed in his eyes, and he said lightly. What? How, do you have feelings for her? Xiaoyao couldn't help but feel a little embarrassed and smiled, saying. Brother. Honestly, I really like your ghostly character. I wonder if you can let go of it, brother? Of course. I guarantee a price that will satisfy you. I'll offer 100,000 yuan, what do you think? Xiaoyao Yu is also very generous, offering 100,000 yuan right off the bat. It seems like they really like the ghost sword immortal. But Lin Haoran couldn't help but laugh. Ha ha ha. What are you laughing at, kid? Our team leader has already given you 100,000 yuan, and you still want more. Don't be too greedy. Be careful not to get a penny, know when to stop. This is the wilderness, once your ghost or monster dies, it's dead and cannot be resurrected. Seeing Lin Haoran laughing, the members behind Xiaoyao Yu immediately became unhappy and started cursing at Lin Haoran one after another. The meaning of threat is already very clear. What are you laughing at, my friend? Do you think I'm funny, or do you think my price is too low? Xiaoyao's eyes narrowed slightly, a glimmer of intelligence flashed, and he said lightly to Lin Haoran. Smart. I just think you're funny. She is a priceless treasure. I will not sell her no matter how much money you offer me. Lin Haoran said lightly to Xiaoyao Yu. Then he glanced at the ghost sword immortal and said affectionately. The cheeks of the ghost sword immortal instantly turned a layer of peach red, and the icy heart felt as if it had been filled with honey, so sweet. The sunny smile on Xiaoyao's face has finally disappeared at this moment, and there is a hint of coldness in his eyes. Softly said. That's not up for discussion, is it? In the eyes of Xiaoyao, there was a terrifying indifference, as he looked lightly at Lin Haoran. And the members behind Xiaoyao Yu also showed a hint of cruel smile towards Lin Haoran. Surrounding players at this point already feel that Lin Haoran is doomed, it's just a pity for such a beautiful monster. Once you're dead, you're gone. This kid is done for. How dare he speak to Xiaoyao Yu like that? Damn idiot, not even selling for 100,000 yuan, it's just a game data, do you really think it's your wife? I think he deserves it. He has to show off this beautiful female ghost, hmph, disgusting. Just do it. Kill me, I'm so damn jealous. Yes, yes, yes. It's more painful for me to see someone else's wife so beautiful than to be killed. Captain Xiaoyao. We support you, kill him, and steal his wife. It's best to be a strong woman in front of him and take his wife. Ha ha ha. 
Brother, you're really perverted. I like it. The surrounding players are also envious, jealous, and hateful towards Lin Haoren when they see that he has such a beautiful female ghost. Breathing is simply painful. Since they don't have it, you can't have it either. This is human nature. Lin Haoren heard the shouts of the players around him, and a bright smile appeared on his lips. Lin Haoren's face showed a brilliant smile, but those who know Lin Haoren understand. He is going to kill someone. Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. Suddenly, a white sword light flashed by, the cold light as icy as the moon, the sword hum like a snake's hiss, the sword shadow like an eel. Ah ah ah. The surrounding players suddenly let out a series of miserable screams. Only a few players who were just cursing Lin Haoren can be seen. Clutching tightly at their throat with both hands, terrifying blood gushed out like a fountain, filled with intense fear in their eyes. Looking at Lin Haoren with an incredulous expression on his face. Then he tilted his head and died. Crackle. At the same time, immediately after. A burst of blue lightning suddenly surged, and a black spear appeared like a thunderbolt. A shot was fired, and a player was instantly headshot, with black, white, and red liquid splattering. Very bloody and brutal. Ah ah ah. Someone has been killed, someone has been killed. The surrounding players immediately let out a terrified scream. The surroundings immediately became chaotic. Lin Haoren and Gui Jianxian made their moves at the same time. A person who is ruthless doesn't speak much, they directly resort to killing. This caught everyone present by surprise. How dare he? Doesn't he fear causing public anger? Suddenly, Jill Wan Xiaoyao's eyes contracted, never in a million years did he expect Lin Haoren to suddenly start killing people. Even the carefree ghost squad dare not kill people at will, for fear of arousing public anger. After all, there are millions of casual players, and this force can be quite terrifying in the game. Kill them all, ghost sword immortal. Just a bunch of animals. Lin Haoren glanced at Xiaoyu and slowly walked towards the player whose head had been blown off. He picked up the thunder ghost gun. He said lightly to the ghost sword immortal. The tone was as if talking about killing a chicken, without any emotional fluctuations. The ghost sword immortal wields the ghost spirit sword, killing one person with each step. Sword light, blood, screams, like Aleppo, playing a murderous sword song. The beautiful swordsmanship of the ghost sword immortal makes people automatically overlook the fact that she is killing people. Her appearance makes people overlook whether she kills humans or not. In just a few seconds, Lin Haoren and Ghost Sword Immortal slaughtered all the surrounding players. One sword, one spear stained with fresh red blood. Drops of water falling on the ground. The surrounding air is filled with a strong and nauseating smell of virtual blood. Tap, tap, tap. Lin Haoren's face was stained with blood, but he wore a sunny smile as he walked step by step towards the remaining members of the Xiaoyao Ghost Squad. The crisp footsteps sounded like the knocking of a demon's door. The backs of several members of the ghost squad are completely soaked. I'm sorry. These people rudely interrupted our conversation. Just now we were talking about that place, right? Lin Haoren smiled and said to Xiao Yao, who had a forehead covered in cold sweat. Gurgle. Xiao Yao you couldn't help but swallow a mouthful of saliva as he looked at Lin Haoren, who seemed like a devil. Brother. Brother, sorry to bother you, but we're just passing by. We'll leave now. Xiaoyu smiled at Lin Haoren and prepared to leave. Kellen Haoren smiled slightly and said, I hate it the most when people threaten me. Do you think you can just leave? Lin Haoren licked the blood at the corner of his mouth and said with a smile to Xiaoyu, What the f asterisk ck? Don't you f asterisk king think you're all that just because you killed a few regular players here? I'll kill you. Come out, Reaper. Kill him for me. A member behind Xiaoyao suddenly shouted loudly and summoned their own ghost. A black light flashed, and this ghostly creature wielding a sickle suddenly appeared in front of everyone. The sharp sickle gleams with a chilling cold light. Xiaoyao's face changed and he shouted angrily. Do not release any ghosts. He is just waiting for us to release the ghosts so he can kill them. Other team members were just about to release their ghosts and monsters but suddenly heard the furious roar of Xiaoyu. 
stopped the summoning action immediately. The newly summoned Scythe Ghost has a sea level aptitude and has reached level 6, making it an absolute elite monster. Just summoned. Suddenly, a sharp sword light flashed by. Puff puff. The head of the sickle ghost was cut off by a sword, and its round and plump head fell down like a basketball. Several pounds of black blood spurted from the neck. Bang. The sickle in the hands of the reaper fell heavily onto the cold ground, making a crisp sound of impact. The newly emerged sickle ghost, its ghost head fell to the ground, losing its life breath. Silence, a complete silence, a fearful silence. He truly deserves to be the leader, he's quite smart. I didn't expect you to be quite smart. Lin Haoren glanced at Xiaoyu with some surprise. He did want them to release the ghosts and monsters so that they could be completely wiped out. After all, a good person will go all the way, even sending the Buddha to the West, right? Killing players and then being able to resurrect them is not fun. It is better to kill those ghosts and monsters, just like the Yenwang Palace Guild, where ghosts and monsters die. These days I dare not go out to dance, my ears have become quiet. I didn't expect this guy to figure it out. But Lin Haoren doesn't mind either. Just a few players, easily killed with a flick of my hand. Brother. In fact, we have no hatred. If business fails, righteousness remains. We don't need to make such a fuss. I apologize to you and will compensate you with 10,000 yuan. Can we settle this? Xiaoyao's face looked unusually ugly, but he still managed to force a smile and said to Lin Haoren. This guy is very cunning and can keep his composure. If one day, I ask you if you would sell your wife for 100,000 yuan, what would you do? Lin Haoren did not answer Xiao Yu's words, but looked at him with a murderous look on his face, and said lightly. And on the other side, the ghost sword immortal heard Lin Haoren calling her his wife, and a blush appeared on her face. Looking at Lin Haoren's gaze, there was a touch of tenderness. Xiao Yao's face changed suddenly. The answer is obviously clear, and Lin Haoren's attitude is also very clear. That means we have to kill. Xiao Yao's complexion returned to normal. He already knows that they are doomed, so there is no need to continue pretending to smile. Today I admit defeat. But fortunes change, and today's grudge will be recorded in my travel journal. A cold gleam flashed in Xiao Yao's eyes as he coldly said to Lin Haoren. Boom. Just after speaking, Lin Haoren shot me in the head, and white and red liquid splattered everywhere. There were also some splashes directly onto the mouths of several members of the Zayoyo Ghost Squad behind, instantly causing them to vomit. Vomit. Lin Haoren frowned and directly extended his long spear, killing all these people. Just now, in a place that was bustling with excitement, there is now only Lin Haoren and the Ghost Sword Immortal, one person and one ghost. The ground is dyed red. A strong smell of blood hits the nose. Let's go. Lin Haoren had an expressionless face as he put away the Thunder Reggae gun into his system backpack, then extended his blood red right hand towards the Ghost Sword Immortal. Aha! The Ghost Sword Immortal, however, did not show any disgust towards Lin Haoren's blood stained right hand. She extended her own pure white jade hand and placed it on top of Lin Haoren's palm. A beautiful smile appeared on her face, a smile that could charm a city. Let Lin Haoren be slightly distracted. Lin Haoren tightly held the jade hand of Gui Jianxian, with a sincere and sunny smile on his face. Walking side by side with the Ghost Sword Immortal, a clear and cheerful voice slowly resonated in the wind. There are ghosts and immortals in the world, accompanying me hand in hand. A smile that captivates the city, my heartstrings entwined. At the same time, in the know. For Beginner Village. The players killed by Lin Haoran are resurrecting at the Resurrection Stone. Everyone's face is filled with intense anger and resentment, as they fiercely curse Lin Haoran. Too despicable. This person is not human at all, he is a beast. Killing people for no reason, it's absolutely outrageous. We just said a few words to him, and he went on a killing spree. What about the rule of law? And the legal system? These kinds of people are definitely orphans in the real world. Scum who have no parents and their whole family is dead. Yes, damn it. He is the cancer of society, the scum of society. 
if reality could find him, I would be the first to kill him. Is this kind of person suitable for playing games? Not worthy. Let's unite and call everyone. Today, let's eliminate all the scum in society. Yes, we solo players unite. We work together to eliminate harm to the people, not only this past, but also create a good gaming environment. The solo players of Resurrection Stone immediately shouted in unison, raising their powerful fists one after another. Already completely in the appearance of a victim. Completely forgot that it was they who first spoke shameless and immoral words, provoking Lin Howren. Just got killed by Lin Howren. But there are many people pretending to be ignorant, that's the reality, they have already automatically ignored the cause. Only thinking about the consequences. They were killed, they were killed. So. Lin Howren is the murderer, he is scum. Xuan Xuan. At this moment, Xiaoyao Yu and several team members also resurrected and appeared pale-faced by the resurrection stone. Everyone was momentarily stunned, then their faces lit up with joy as they turned to ask Xiaoyao Yu. Captain Xiaoyao. Were you also killed by that scum? We are preparing to call for someone to avenge the scum. You are the strongest among us, so why not lead us to eliminate that scum? Everyone started clamoring, asking Xiaoyao Yu to lead them in attacking Lin Haoren. Xiao Yu saw this scene and a glimmer of light flashed in his eyes, then a hint of anger appeared on his face. Speaking to the crowd. Yes. We were also killed. Since everyone is showing love and respect. Then I, Xiao Yu, will obediently follow your command. We are all victims. If this person is not eliminated, everyone in the newbie village will be in danger. One word and they resort to killing, it's absolutely lawless. Let's go and call for help right away. All members of my ghost squad will participate, and we will definitely eliminate this person from the game. Give all of our players a bright and prosperous world. Kill, 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 kill. Suddenly, all the players in the arena shouted loudly. In this way, a mighty campaign was launched in Newbie Village on the 4th to subdue Lin Haoren. Seeing the departing crowd, Xiaoyao Yu's face revealed a sinister smile, muttering to himself. Provoking public anger. No matter how powerful you are, it's useless. Excellence stands out in the forest, and the wind will surely destroy it. If you want to blame, blame yourself. This is the terrifying nature of humanity. Ha ha ha. Still too young. Ghost Sword Immortal ranks second in ghost qualifications? Only I can match up with the carefree wandering. In the eyes of Xiao Yao, there flickered a dazzling light, as he licked his lips and revealed a twisted smile. At the same time, Lin Haoren and Ghost Sword Immortal finally arrived at the last mission location. Ghost Rhino Plane On the plane, one by one, the ghost rhinoceroses with massive bodies and rotting flesh hanging from them wander aimlessly. Lin Haoren looked at these ghost rhinoceroses, and the left eye's reincarnation ghost eye had already revealed its information in Lin Haoren's mind. Name, Ghost Rhino. Qualification, C. Type, Physics. Level, 8. Ability. Rhinoceros Horn Charge, use a sturdy rhinoceros horn to charge towards the enemy, inflicting a significant amount of damage. Ghost information, in life, it was a rhinoceros that was cruelly killed by humans for its horn to be sold for money. Its resentment lingers, and its ghostly aura gives birth to a ghost rhinoceros. It harbors extreme hatred towards humans. Description, my horn. You took my horn, I took your koan, koan and horn complement each other, you are big, I am also big. There are quite a few ghost rhinos, but I haven't seen the boss's figure. Lin Haoren guessed that his mission item was 100% on the boss. Come out. Xiao Laming, you silly duck. Lin Haoren directly summoned all his ghosts and monsters, not to mention his pregnant wife. Lin Haoren is ready for a quick and decisive battle. There is no more double row with the ghost sword immortal. But choose four rows instead. Father Emperor. Duck duck. When the two little guys came out, Xia Laming respectfully greeted Lin Haoren. Very polite, it's better to teach oneself. Lin Haoren couldn't help but pat his son's head. Duck duck. 
The soul eating crow demon saw Lin Haoran patting Xiao Leiming's head, but not patting the head of the Duck Lord. Immediately, it came to Lin Haoran's front. Extend the pitch black head and rub Lin Haoran's hand. Lin Haoran also touched himself as a gesture. His head feels better to touch. Snap. What greeted him was a big slap from Lin Haoran, which landed on the head of Kata Duck. You haven't washed your duck head for a few days, and you still want me to touch it? Take it and be a desperate duck head, even people despise it. Lin Haoran angrily laughed and cursed at the soul eating crow ghost. Duck, duck, duck. The soul eating crow demon angrily holds its duck head and curses at Lin Haoran. It hurts the duck's heart too much. I didn't expect that by taking the initiative, I would receive a slap from the master. The eyes of the soul eating crow demon shed a tear of regret. In the end, it was my own fault. Quack, quack. At this moment, as Lin Haoran and his group approached, the wandering ghost rhinoceros sniffed and caught a whiff of the scent of the humans they despised the most. Suddenly became furious, a pair of pitch black eyes emitted a blood red glow. Roar! Roaring one after another. Coming towards Lin Haoren and others, rushing. Boom boom boom. The entire plane trembled slightly, as if thousands of horses were galloping, with thick smoke billowing. Mighty and imposing. Kill me. Lin Haoran took out the Thunder Ghost Gun, and bursts of blue lightning erupted from his body. He coldly said to the crowd of ghosts and monsters, Kill all the ghost rhinos here, and then add the ghost crystals collected in the glacier cave. I should be able to upgrade myself as well. Just take it as leveling up. Duck Duck Kata Duck transforms all the grievances in its heart into strength, opens its mouth, and lets out a soulful crow. Suddenly, a mysterious force instantly swept away the charging group of ghost rhinos. Buzz buzz buzz. The bloodthirsty ghost rhinoceros suddenly heard a piercing ringing in its ears. Suddenly, the leading group of rhinoceroses in front had their eyes turn white and foamed at the mouth. Boom boom boom. The huge body crashed directly to the ground, still convulsing, but clearly no longer alive. A quack from the drake directly claimed the lives of at least 60 rhinoceros demons. There are also some slow runners who escaped a disaster. The soul duck call of the soul eating crow demon has a distance atmosphere, currently only about 100 meters. There is nothing beyond this range. So called run fast, die fast. This sentence confirms that the ghost rhinoceros, who was originally thought to be the bravest and fastest runner, was complacent. I didn't expect to touch anything, but halfway through, it suddenly broke down. Duck, duck, duck. The soul eating crow demon flaps its wings, arriving in the sky of the lost ghost rhino. It opens its mouth and suddenly inhales. Suddenly, all of these ghost rhino souls were swallowed by the soul eating crow ghost. Even eating shit has to be done while it's hot, let alone a fragrant soul. On the other side, Lin Haoran, Xia Lei Ming, and Gui Jianxian also confronted the remaining ghost rhinoceros. The remaining number of rhinoceroses is also not small. Lin Haoran held a reggae gun in his hand, surrounded by green thunder, the long spear resembling a dragon. With one shot, he exploded the buttocks, and with two shots, he blew off the heads. These ghost rhinos are just ordinary ghosts, far from being a match for the perverted Lin Haoran. And Lin Haoran's combat experience makes him feel right at home. These clumsy ghost rhinos couldn't even touch the hem of his clothes before Lin Haoran shot and killed them. The battle between Xiao Lei Ming and Ghost Sword Immortal. One is fierce, one is glamorous. The fierce thunderstrike from Xiaolei instantly killed a ghost rhino. Thunder and lightning power naturally restrains ghosts and monsters. Xiao Leiming still wears the thunder ghost bead. That injury is simply like a thunderbolt. Boom boom boom. Countless green lightning bolts continuously bombard these clumsy and massive rhinoceros-like creatures, they are the targets, with nowhere to run. The swordsmanship of the ghost sword immortal is also extremely sharp. The ghost spirit sword directly pierces one after another the heads of the ghost rhinoceroses. Like a needle for embroidery, it can penetrate through anything. One in, one out, the liquid flows out. Just over 10 minutes. The ghost rhinos on the rhino plane have all been exterminated. No living creature, over a hundred ghost rhinos died in the hands of Lin Haoran alone. 
All souls were devoured by the soul-eating raven demon, and there were a total of 152 ghost crystals, all of which were collected by Lin Haorin. With the addition of the previous ghost crystal, it should be possible to level up. Lin Haorin did not hesitate and consumed all of the ghost crystal, finally reaching level 11. Ding dong! Congratulations on your level upgrade, current level, level 11. Lin Haorin's face revealed a smile as he casually opened the ranking list. No1, hidden nickname, level 11. No2, Miyamoto Musashi, level 7. No3, King Arthur Asterisk Caesar, level 7. No4, Emperor, level 7. No5, Handsome Dominator, level 6. Still leading the crowd below with an absolute advantage. The higher the level, the slower their upgrade speed becomes. Because money can no longer buy advanced ghost crystals. And the contracted ghosts themselves need ghost crystals to level up, but the required amount of ghost crystals is too high. Slow upgrade is normal. Roar. Just as Lin Haoren resolved all the ghost rhinos on the rhino plane. A loud roar suddenly resounded deep in the rhino plane, echoing throughout the entire rhino plane. Fortunately, the level of ghosts and monsters here is too high, so there are no players coming here for now. Otherwise, it will definitely attract a lot of players to come over. Boom boom boom. A series of loud roars erupted. The ground was shaking slightly, and a thick dust was rising from the nearby plain. Under the solemn gaze of Lin Haoren, a gigantic rhinoceros appeared on the rhino plane. At least two. Five meters tall, four meters long, covered in thick rhinoceros skin, shimmering with brightness. One look and you can tell it has astonishing defensive power, with a pair of large black eyes flashing with a furious and angry expression. There is a huge horn on top of the head, which is long, thick, and black. Too fierce. Lin Haoren's left eye, the reincarnation ghost eye, trembled slightly, and a piece of information instantly appeared in Lin Haoren's mind. Name, Rhino Demon Leader Elite Boss. Qualification, B. Type, Physics. Level, 10. Ability. Tough skin, the leader of the rhino demons is covered in tough skin, increasing their defense by 100%. Savage Horn Charge, the rhino demon leader wraps ghostly energy around its massive horn and charges at enemies, inflicting tremendous damage. Ghost Information Former leader of a rhinoceros population, brutally killed by humans who took its horn. Its resentment soared to the heavens, and after death, it transformed into a powerful boss, harboring extreme hatred towards humans. Weakness, chrysanthemums. Description, did you see that thing above my head? If you're scared, just get lost, otherwise I'll stab you. Damn. This guy is both smelly and tough. Lin Haoren saw the ability of this rhino demon leader boss and immediately exclaimed in frustration. This rhinoceros demon's skin is bulletproof, I have never seen such thick-skinned monster. Lin Haoren glanced at the thunder gun in his hand, a hint of apology flashed in his eyes. Muttered to oneself. Gun, oh gun. Today I have to inconvenience you. If the reggae gun had consciousness, it would definitely stab Lin Haoren a few times to express its apology. Roar. The leader of the rhino demon, boss, has pitch black eyes that flicker with a fierce and hateful light. My own tribe was killed by humans during my lifetime. Killed by humans even after death. This is simply too much to deceive a ghost. The leader of the rhino demon boss roared angrily, with a strong ghostly aura emanating from his entire body, condensed on the thick rhino horn on his head. Facing Lin Haoren is like facing a tank. Rushed forward suddenly. This is the ability of the Rhino Ghost Leader Boss, Savage Horn Charge. The soul of the Silly Duck's quack is still on cooldown. Lin Haoren decisively pulled out from under his crotch. Spit, the nine-story ghost tower, throwing it into the air. Buzz. The ghost tower in Jiuxing Town suddenly emitted a white light and transformed into a floating ghost tower in the air. A mysterious force is sweeping towards the west in all directions. The ghost domain is open. The running ghost rhino leader boss suddenly felt a decrease in speed, defense, and attack power. Roar! The leader of the ghost rhino boss's eyes flashed with a hint of panic, and a roar came out of his mouth. I don't know why my strength suddenly decreased so much, and I feel a wave of uneasiness in my heart. 
Let's attack together. Kill. Lin Haoren's whole body is shimmering with a blue electric glow, and a cold glint flashes in his eyes. He shouts loudly. Rush towards the leader of the ghost rhino, the boss. Yes. Father Emperor. Little Lei Ming cleverly replied, and immediately burst out with powerful blue lightning all over his body. The raging thunder instantly condenses into a thunder spear in the hands of Xia Laiming. Crackle, crackle. Between the thunder and lightning, Xiao Lei's eyes narrowed, and a hint of seriousness appeared on his chubby face. A milky voice came out of the mouth. The spear of judgment. Pierce this bull for me. Whoosh. The terrifying thunderbolt gun is like a thunderbolt, a flash of blue lightning. The thunder spear has fiercely struck the tough rhino hide of the ghost rhino leader boss. Boom. A terrifying explosion sound rang out. The huge body of the ghost rhino leader boss was directly halted by this terrifying energy. Let out a loud roar. Roar. A huge wound instantly appeared on the body of the ghost rhino leader boss where it was struck by the gun of Little Laming's judgment. With charred black skin. Although it has not been breached yet, it is almost there. Xiao Laming's judgment spear is the strongest single target skill. The terror is such that even the thick rhinoceros skin, as well as the elite boss template, is added. Can barely withstand the judgment spear of Xia Laming. Give me death. At this moment, Lin Haoren's attack has also arrived. While the leader of the ghost rhino boss was still buzzing in his head. Lin Haoren has quietly arrived behind the leader of the ghost rhino boss and is looking at the boss's buttocks. A flash of determination flickered in the eyes. The reggae gun in my hand is filled with powerful lightning, and I aim it at the bosses but and unleash the reggae kill. Puff. The long spear is like a thunderous dragon. Reggae gun, carrying terrifying thunder, pierced into the horn of the ghost rhino leader boss. Ow. The leader of the ghost rhino boss immediately let out a heart-wrenching and miserable scream. The hidden dog demon trembled all over as soon as it heard, a hint of fear flashed in its eyes. Left grumbling and complaining. Too cruel, even the dog shook its head when it saw it. The leader of the ghost rhino boss has bloodshot eyes, and his eyeballs are almost popping out. The huge body jumped straight up from its original position, leaping high into the sky, leaving Lin Haoren stunned. I was dumbfounded when I saw it directly. I didn't know rhinos could jump so high. Ow 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 ow. The leader of the ghost rhino boss keeps bouncing, scraping against the ground, with black blood continuously flowing out. Infected with the nearby emerald green grassland. You. So disgusting. The ghost sword immortal looked at Lin Haoren with a disdainful expression and coldly said. Lin Haoren. Lin Haoren's mouth twitched slightly as he helplessly glanced at Gui Jianxian. Can you blame him for this? Blame it on the cycle of reincarnation and the ghostly eyes, saying that the weakness is the Jew flower. Don't hit there, hit there. Roar, roar, roar. The leader of the ghost rhino has now emerged from the cruel reality. It is no longer clean. Although this reality is cruel, it must be accepted. The leader of the ghost rhino, boss, shed a tear of humiliation from his pitch black eyes. Then, with a crazy expression on his face, he became furious, looking at Lin Haoren as if he had violated a strong woman. I wish to tear Lin Haoren's body into 10,000 pieces. Roar! The leader of the ghost rhino boss looked up to the sky and let out a long roar, full of passion and intensity. The entire body was filled with ghostly energy, bursting out. Twisted around its rhinoceros horn, it charged towards Lin Haoren like a mad bull, running for its life. Ghost Tower Suppression Give me suppression! Lin Haoren looked at the fiercely murderous ghost rhino leader boss, without a trace of guilt. Although I did something excessive to it. But how? Real men never care about race. Lin Haoren directly activated the ability of the nine-layer ghost tower. Buzz. The nine-story ghost tower floating in the air suddenly emitted a piercing ear-piercing sound. The heavy ghost tower directly suppresses the boss of the ghost rhino leader below with great force. Boom boom boom. The leader of the ghost rhino boss suddenly felt weak in all four legs, as if a huge mountain was pressing down on its back. Vomit. 
Spitting out a mouthful of old blood, the body was directly suppressed on the ground by the fierce suppression of the nine-layer ghost tower. Created a deep pit. Xiao Lei Ming. Come at me. Attack it from behind with the judgment gun. Lin Haoren seized the opportunity and immediately shouted loudly at Xiao Lei Ming. Xiao Lei was young and ignorant, very innocent. Upon hearing Lin Haoren's words, Without thinking, I unconditionally believe in Lin Haoren. Yes. Father Emperor. Xiao Lei Ming immediately responded, and a violent surge of seven or eight colored lightning powers emanated from his body. In the hands of little Lei Ming, the doll condensed. Crackle. The surroundings of Xiao Lei Ming flickered with flashes of green thunder snakes, hissing and roaring. Give me shit. Xiao Lei aimed at the bleeding buttocks of the ghost rhino leader boss. With a loud shout, the milk-like gas in her hand, the judgment spear, was like a blue piercing spear. With an unbeatable momentum, it was shot towards the boss of the ghost rhino, boss. The boss of the ghost rhino, who was suppressed to death, stared with eyes like lanterns. With a strong color of fear. Wada shout loudly, help, spare me, please. Don't burst my bubble, it's already in a sorry state. Can be pressed tightly by the nine-story ghost tower, it can't say a word at all. Can only do my best to tightly close the door. It seems like this would make me feel a little better. Boom. But its humble checkpoint was as fragile as a piece of paper, easily shattered by the thunderbolt gun. Then, the judgment gun, with a thunderous momentum, fiercely stabbed into the adorable spot of the ghost rhino boss. The two. Five meter long judgment spear directly attacked the body of the ghost rhino boss. Boom boom boom. The terrifying lightning energy exploded inside the body of the ghost rhino leader boss, and the entire body of the ghost rhino leader boss oozed out pitch black blood. The huge body twitched slightly, carrying a strong resentment, frustration, and grievance. Ended its evil with a sound. A pair of pitch black eyes with bloodshot veins stared at Lin Haoren, as if wanting to firmly imprint his appearance on their soul. Duck duck duck. The soul-eating crow demon suddenly appeared here. Suddenly, the mouth opened like a black hole and sucked in. The pitiful ghost rhino leader boss suffers from the torment of both body and soul. Swallowed by the soul-eating crow demon. Ah! Uh. The soul-eating crow demon burped, rubbed its belly, and a hint of joy appeared on its face. So delicious. It tastes like beef. The body of the ghost rhino boss slowly turned into black mist and dissipated, leaving behind a rhino horn a piece of ghost crystal, and an evil ghost mask. Xiao Lei Ming. Well done. Lin Haoren praised Xiao Lei Ming and said. Xiao Lei's face couldn't help but blush slightly, feeling a bit embarrassed. Don't learn bad habits from your father. The ghost sword immortal glanced at Lin Haoren and whispered to Xiao Lei Ming. This ghost rhino leader boss is also pitiful, being cruelly abused by a father and son. I have to say that dying is really suffocating. Right bad. What are you learning to be bad at? Little Lei's small face couldn't help but wrinkle. Doubtfully asked. Xiao Lei Ming. Quickly go and retrieve the spoils. Lin Haoren quickly changed the subject and asked Xiao Lei to go pick up the ghost items dropped by the ghost rhino leader boss. Okay. Father Emperor. Little Lei Ming nodded cutely and was about to go pick up the spoils. At this moment, a pitch black shadow suddenly darted out from a nearby shadow near the leader of the ghost rhino, the boss. Grabbing the three items dropped by the ghost rhino leader boss, he swiftly dashed towards the distance. I dare. Lin Haoren saw this scene, and suddenly his left eye, the reincarnation ghost eye, opened like the eyes of the Grim Reaper. A loud roar of anger came from his mouth. Lin Haoren was furious in his heart. He had never imagined that someone would dare to steal food right under his nose. This is simply provoking his bottom line. I am a penny pincher, I even pick up ordinary ghost crystals. But now all the things dropped by the boss have actually been snatched away. Isn't this trying to take Lin Haoren's life? When the figure darted out of the darkness, Lin Haoren also reacted instinctively, realizing it for the first time. A roar came out of the mouth. Lin Haoren suddenly burst out with a powerful ghostly aura, without any hesitation. 
Lin Haoran activated the evil ghost armor he was wearing and unleashed its power, evil ghost roar. In an instant, black energy surged in front of Lin Haoran, and a black demonic head appeared abruptly. Horns on the head, a fierce and terrifying face, pitch black eyes with a horrifying black glow. The evil spirit opened its bloodthirsty mouth wide and let out a loud roar. Roar. No matter how fast the black shadow is, it cannot match the speed of sound propagation. In an instant, the life-threatening sprint of the dark figure was stunned by this terrifying sound. Ah. Hold your head in both hands and let out a painful scream. Evil ghost roar, condense an evil ghost shadow, emit a tremendous roar, causing damage to enemies and leaving them in a state of ringing in the ears. The roar of the evil ghost's shadow made the dark figure stop in its tracks, and its entire form was revealed in front of everyone. A creature emitting black smoke all over its body, completely black, with only a pair of blood-red eyes. At this moment, the left eye of the samsara ghost eye trembled slightly, and a piece of information emerged in Lin Haoran's mind. Name, Shadow Black Devil. Qualification, A. Type, Element Class. Contract, Equal Contract. Level, 6. Ability. Shadow Lurk, the Shadow Black Demon can lurk in the shadows, greatly reducing its presence and aura, making it difficult to detect its existence. Ghost Information, ghosts born from the breeding of ghostly energy in the shadows, they are formless yet have a shadow. They enjoy staying in darkness and if someone passes by them, they will silently cut your throat without you realizing it. Their weakness is sunlight. Description, you can't see me. But I can see you, I enjoy secretly watching activities between couples. Lin Haoran's pupils slightly contracted. Instantly understand why this guy has been around me all the time, neither myself nor my ghostly companions have noticed. Originally, I had such a sixth sensibility. And it is also an elemental class with qualifications reaching a level. Very good ghost. However, Lin Haoran saw that the contract status displayed an equal contract, which means that this ghost is someone's possession. Players commanded to seize their own spoils. A cold and chilling feeling flashed in Lin Haoran's eyes. Dare to pull out a tooth in the tiger's mouth. I see you have no regard for your own life. Lin Haoran's heart was filled with a chilling intent to kill, and he coldly said to the ghost in front of him. Control it for me. Don't kill me, I still have use. Actually, there's no need for Lin Haoran to say it. The ghost's sword immortal's eyes are already filled with anger, and he attacks with fury. Controlling the ghost spirit's sword like a flowing light, it stabs towards the shadow black ghost with a single sword. Puff. Directly pierced through the thigh of the shadowy black demon, black blood splattered everywhere, resembling black sludge. Ah. The shadowy black ghost, who had just awakened from a state of ringing and dizziness in the brain, let out a miserable cry. Holding onto my own thigh, I am screaming in pain. Lin Haoran, Xiao Lei Ming, Gui Jianxian, and Shi Hun Yagui have all arrived by Yin Ying He Gui's side at this moment. Duck duck duck. The soul-eating crow demon stared with bird-like eyes, continuously pecking at the shadow black ghost with its sharp crow beak. The mouth emits a series of frantic and angry duck calls. I can't believe you dare to steal in front of your uncle duck. I think you're asking for trouble. I peck, I peck, I peck to eat you. The shadowy black demon let out a painful cry, but did not dare to resist at all. Because the aura on Xia Laming and Guixian's body has firmly held it, if it makes any move. Without a doubt. It feels like there are still a few holes in its body, so it chooses to enjoy. Ah ah ah. The shadowy black demon emitted strange sounds under the pecking attack of the soul-devouring crow demon. Lin Haoran's mouth twitched slightly as he picked up the items dropped by the shadowy figure. Finally, the complexion eased slightly. Lin Haoran glanced around at the trees and bushes, then slowly began to speak. If I were you, I would come out now. Otherwise, this A-level qualified monster will have to bid you farewell. After Lin Haoran finished speaking for a while, still no one came out, as if there was no one around. Lin Haoran's eyes flashed with a hint of brilliance. He picked up the Thunder Spirit gun in his hand, and a surge of blue lightning suddenly surged from his body. Coldly said. Since that's the case. Then just die. 
Lin Haoren's thunder gun in his hand is like a thunderous dragon, about to stab at the head of the shadowy black ghost. Wait. At this moment, a somewhat familiar sound came from the forest, making Lin Haoren feel a little nostalgic. Immediately, an ordinary looking woman walked out of the woods. White snow. Lin Haoren saw this woman, his pupils slightly contracted, and he remained silent for a while before slowly speaking. No mistake. This person is none other than Bai Shue, who fought alongside me to kill the elite boss Thunderbird, the headless ghost. At that time, I also added game friends. Lin Haoren had some impression of this woman at that time. Talkative, but knows boundaries and knows how to conduct oneself. But Lin Haoren didn't expect that the person who wanted to steal his spoils would be her. Can only say there was a little surprise, but within reason. The treacherous nature of human hearts. Lin Haoren has already had a deep understanding. The pain of being devoured by countless demons, he dare not forget. Lin Haoren's face showed a hint of mockery as he looked at Bai Shue, who was bowing her head and dare not speak in front of him. Like watching an animal. Yo! Bai Shue, long time no see. Lin Haoren's face showed a faint smile as he smiled at Bai Shue and said. But this smile is colder than the autumn wind. 6. Big Brother Lu Dao. Sorry. White Snow's eyes were filled with a hint of guilt and shame as she apologized to Lin Haoren. The tone carries a slight tremor. Sorry. What are you sorry for? Lin Haoren's smile grew even brighter as he asked in return. I. I shouldn't have been so obsessed and tried to steal the loot dropped by the boss you killed. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. The white snow blushed and turned red, lowered her head and dared not look at Lin Haoren, stammering as she spoke. Ha ha. Isn't this very normal? After all, a high-level ghost creature dropped by an elite boss can easily be sold for tens of thousands. Even tens of thousands, I would be tempted too. Lin Haoren smiled slightly and continued speaking to Bai Shue. Then, the conversation shifted as he looked at the trembling shadow on the ground and said. This ghost. Is the ghost we obtained together by participating in the system announcement, finding the A-level qualified ghost clue diagram, and forming a contract with it, right? Yes. Yes. The white snow lowered its head even lower tightly gripping its own clothes corner, and answered softly. Lin Haoren's mocking smile on his face grew even stronger, and he slowly spoke. You really know how to play. Taking the ghost I gave you to steal my things. It's really so funny. Novels wouldn't dare to write like this, ha ha. Lin Haoren burst into laughter, but his eyes flickered with a chilling and murderous intent. Brother Lu Dao. I beg you, release my ghost and monster, I apologize to you. Don't kill me, ghost, okay? I have now joined a powerful and mysterious ghost group. If there were no shadowy black devils, then my position would definitely be greatly diminished, and I might even be kicked out. Brother Lu Dao. I was wrong, I really was wrong. Please, please spare my ghost, okay? Just consider it as repaying the favor from last time when I took you to kill the boss. If it weren't for me, you wouldn't have been able to find that boss, and you wouldn't have obtained a clue map for an S-level qualified monster. So, please, just let me go this once, okay? Bai Shue saw the killing intent in Lin Haoren's eyes and was immediately shocked. She quickly cried out loudly and said to Lin Haoren, like a humiliated girl. And Lin Haoren is just like a heartless man. Ha 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 ha. Lin Haoren laughed even louder when he heard this. Lin Haoren laughed so hard that his stomach started to ache. And on the other side, the white snow's face instantly turned red and white, like a clown. Lin Haoren stopped smiling, his eyes filled with a strong mockery, looking at Bai Shue, and said seriously. First. Taking me to kill the boss was a win-win situation. You gained fame and an A-level qualified monster, and we are now even. Lin Haoren extended a finger and coldly said to Bai Shue. Then extend a second finger and continue speaking. Second. You join the ghost team, your status decreases, and you get kicked out. What the hell does it have to do with me? Lin Haoren's eyes burst with a stunning killing intent, moving as fast as a rabbit. 
a series of violent blue lightning suddenly surged from the body. Crackle. Thunder roared, suddenly entwining around the pitch-black thunder devil gun. Under the shocked gaze of the white snow, a shot pierced the head of the shadowy black demon. Boom. A dull explosion sounded, and the head of the shadowy black ghost burst open like a watermelon. The black and yellow liquid splashes directly in the air. Splashing on the face of the white snow. A potential giant A-level talent elemental monster was killed by Lin Haoren with just one shot. Ah. Bai Shui opened her mouth and let out a scream of shock and anger. You. You deserve to die. I have already apologized to you. Why do you still want to kill me, you monster? Are you still a man? You trash. You deserve to die. You're dead, the members of my ghost team will definitely avenge me. Do you think you're invincible? You are just a frog at the bottom of a well. There are plenty of players in this game who are much stronger than you. It's just that others hide the ranking information using different methods. You wait. You will die. Boom. The white snow face is hideous. Like a demon in hell, she is completely different from the girl with the sunny smile before. He cursed Lin Haoren with a resentful expression on his face. But before Bai Shui could continue speaking, she was shot in the head by Lin Haoren. Becoming a headless corpse, it fell heavily onto the cold ground, blood pooling around. It's so noisy. You should just die. Last time, I felt that you were too noisy and couldn't stand it. Lin Haoren coldly retracted the thunder gun, his eyes as calm as still water in a deep pool, without any ripples. Coldness is terrifying. Lin Haoren glanced at the ghost crystal left by the shadowy ghost, a glimmer of light flashed in his eyes, and he picked it up. Wait for the ghost empress to give birth to this fetus, and then feed the ghost crystal to the next one. It seems like it would be good to give birth to a shadow-type monster. Lin Haoren secretly thought in his heart. This time it was a close call, if the shadowy black ghost had delivered the item to Bai Shui's side. Put the white snow into the system backpack, even if you kill the white snow, it is difficult to explode out. That really cost me a lot. Tasks cannot be completed. This white snow is really annoying. If given the opportunity, he would kill every time he sees one. Zhang San once said that the human heart is the most malicious thing in this world, and I strongly agree with this statement. Lin Haoren said coldly to himself. Lin Haoren glanced at the time and realized it was already late. He then found a temporary safe place. Went offline. At the same time, in the fourth beginner village, there is an advanced leveling area. Five players wearing black windbreakers, with evil ghost masks on their faces, are commanding the killing of wild monsters in the wilderness. The ground is full of level 8 wild monster corpses. The black blood stained the earth, making it resemble a large slaughterhouse. Boss. Bai Shui was killed, and the shadow black ghost is also dead. One of the players wearing a white demon mask. A man's voice came out of his mouth, saying to the leader of the players wearing a black devil mask. Hmm. Who killed him? With her supernatural abilities, very few people should be able to kill her. The leader of the Black Demon Mask players emitted a hoarse and deep voice. She said she was killed by a player named Ludao, who destroyed the Yanludian guild and killed the player Ziyayayu. This is also the person we are looking for, but it seems that this person's whereabouts are mysterious, and they don't reply to friend requests. I didn't expect to encounter Bai Shui and kill her. The player with the white demon mask continued to speak. Is it him? His strength is not bad. Now that he is killed by Shui, it is enough to prove his strength. He is qualified to join us. You go ahead. Take Bai Shui with you and let him join us if he has any grievances with Bai Shui. Then you personally hand over the white snow to him to kill. As long as he joins us, everything will be fine. The man with the black devil mask pondered for a moment and said in a hoarse voice to the man with the white devil mask. If he doesn't join, then you know what to do. It's. The boss. The man with the white devil mask nodded respectfully and then left. He he he. The boss is really ruthless, treating a little girl so cruelly. 
A player wearing a silver devil mask emitted a charming woman's voice, giggling and saying, However, I like it. The man with the black devil mask, his eyes are like still water, calm and undisturbed. Coldly said, Weak people have no rights. Then continue with the remaining three people to enter a more advanced map. Poor Snow White, at this moment she still doesn't know that she has been abandoned by this mysterious organization. At this moment, she is reviving the stone, looking at the player wearing a white demon mask and saying, wait for him, he'll be here soon. A hint of excitement appeared on by Shue's face, and with a resentful expression, she opened her mouth and said, Lu Dao. You're dead. Ha 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 ha. She laughed happily, and her laughter was infectious. In the real world, Lin Haoren took off his gaming helmet. It was already 8.30 in the evening. Chirp chirp chirp. My stomach has already protested against Lin Haoren. Make a cuckoo sound. Lin Haoren went to the bathroom and then put on his coat to go out for a meal. It's still the same old place. The boss saw Lin Haoren and also smiled and greeted him, saying, Young man. You're here. What do I want to eat today? The boss is an old man with gray hair, but he still refuses to grow old and runs his own restaurant. One serving of tomato scrambled eggs, one serving of boiled beef, one woohoo fish, and another dish of cauliflower with meat. Lin Haoren looked at the menu and said to the boss, Okay. Please wait, it will be ready soon. The old man smiled slightly at Lin Haoren and said with a smile. Then I went into the kitchen to do some work. Ha ha ha. The cold wind was blowing outside the restaurant, and Lin Haoren glanced at the temperature display on his phone. It's already 19 degrees Celsius, which is quite strange. In theory, this season shouldn't be so cold. Lin Haoren couldn't help but furrow his brows, wondering in his heart. I remember in the last two weeks before the bizarre game of the end of the world and the fusion of the earth, it seemed that the global temperature was continuously decreasing. On the day of the fusion, the temperature even reached zero degrees Celsius, and this was in the southern part. It was even lower in the northern part. This is because the bizarre game of the apocalypse is attempting to merge with the earth, which will create temporal and spatial rifts. The eerie atmosphere from the game has already infiltrated the earth, causing a global cooling. But there is still more than a month left now. Lin Haoren's heart sank slightly, his brows furrowed. In his mind, he speculated slightly, thinking. Could it be that because I was reborn, this world has undergone unknown changes? Or is this just a normal unexpected drop in temperature? Lin Haoren was not certain in his heart, but he secretly kept a watchful eye in his heart. If this temperature continues to decrease every day, then Lin Haoren will be able to confirm it. The strange game of the apocalypse may really have fused with the earth for some reason in advance. Food is here. The old man carried the dish and placed it on Lin Haoren's table with a smile. Lin Haoren had various speculations weighing on his mind, but for now, the most important thing was to eat a full meal first. Put the other things at the back. Lin Haoren picked up the chopsticks and started eating with big mouthfuls. It has to be said. One of the reasons I often come to this restaurant is because the boss's cooking skills are really good. Satisfy your own taste, otherwise you wouldn't come to this restaurant often. Lin Haoren finished his meal at 9 o'clock. Due to the sudden drop in temperature, there were very few customers in the restaurant. And there are not many pedestrians on the street. Everyone is wearing jackets and walking hurriedly. On the way back, Lin Haoren overheard the surrounding pedestrians talking in confusion. What kind of weather is this? How did it suddenly get colder? It's supposed to be spring. Yeah. The temperature dropped several degrees overnight. It's so strange. I was still wearing short sleeves yesterday. It's better to be a little colder, otherwise it's hot every day and it's killing me. The reason is such a reason. But I always feel that something is not right, a bit strange. Ha ha ha. Don't tease me. It's just a sudden drop in temperature. You guys got scared. If you didn't know, you would think it's the end of the world. Lin Haoren tightened his coat and glanced at the pitch black sky, a sea of darkness. There are no stars and no moon. 
Lin Haoren's eyes flashed with a strange light, murmuring to himself. The end of the world, ha! Huh? A faint voice slowly resounded. For me. There is no difference. The cold wind blows through the leaves, making a rustling sound. Under the light. A slender figure strides with determined steps. Step by step towards darkness. The shadow of the figure grows longer, seemingly carrying a hint of desolation and solitude. But he walked exceptionally firm and decisive. If the world kisses me with pain, then I will destroy this world. Lin Haoren returned to his rented room, it was already past nine o'clock. Took a hot bath. Lin Haoren, devoid of sleepiness, couldn't help but open his computer and log into the official forum of the game. Browsing through the special things happening in the game. This is also a habit he developed in his previous life. Logging into the forum and eating melon when there's nothing to do is also the reason why we can know so much information in this world. Lin Haoren browsed through the information on the forum, all of which were advertisements for purchasing ghost crystals, ghost monsters, ghost objects, and so on. There are also guilds recruiting people, and now there are already many guilds being established one after another. The guild that is currently popular domestically. It is the Heavenly Court Guild of the Emperor. The powerful and dominant Ba Wang Guild, which is known for its long-standing enemies. Yen Wang's Yen Wang Palace, Guild, etc. Lin Haoren looked at the information recruiting members for the Tyrant Guild, a cold gleam flashing in his eyes. Muttered to oneself. Li Shui. Cherish it well. Your countdown to death is about to begin. Lin Haoren sneered coldly. Then continue scrolling down with the mouse, and suddenly see a post that makes Lin Haoren's mouth curl up. The title of the post is Translation, a highly abnormal player who kills others has appeared in Beginner Village 4, becoming the enemy of all players. Players in Beginner Village 4, enter quickly. Lin Haoren saw this title and instantly felt that it was related to himself. Don't ask why, just ask a man's seventh sense. Lin Haoren's face showed a faint smile as he clicked into this post. Sure, here is the translation, sure enough, the first photo inside is of oneself wearing a demon armor with a blurred face, and holding a thunder gun. A photo of a player getting a headshot with one shot. I have to say. Lin Haoren is quite satisfied with this photo. The head exploded, blood and brain matter splattered everywhere. Lin Haoren is like an evil ghost that has come out of hell, ruthlessly killing and tormenting humans. All the photos below the post are of Lin Haoren mercilessly slaughtering players. The corpses are like mountains, the blood forms rivers like a hell on earth. The text below the photo was written as charges against Lin Haoren. Dear players of Newbie Village No. 4. Today, we are writing this letter to rally all solo players to come together and join forces to defeat this person. This person is inherently violent, quick to draw a gun and stab without any provocation. They are extremely vicious, and countless independent players have already suffered from their persecution. We solo players must unite and together defeat this demon, or else the next victim will be us. Here. We have already gathered 3,000 players together, forming a formidable army to hunt down demons. We hope for more players to join us, together we will go to rid the people of harm and bring light to Newbie Village for. I have to say, this has pictures and words, it looks great, and it has caught the attention and resonance of many players. A particular group of players in the comments section incited others to follow suit, causing the emotions of other casual players to reach their peak. It's this beast. My girlfriend and I were swatting mosquitoes in the woods when he stabbed us with a gun, and this beast even pulled my girlfriend and said let's swat mosquitoes together. What about afterwards? Did you end up fighting mosquitoes together? Brother, stop going off topic. Let's talk about the real issue. I was also killed by this beast. I had no grudges or conflicts with him. I just glanced at him, and he killed me, even cursing me, look at your dad? What the heck? This person is so crazy, it's terrifying, isn't it? Well, this person is indeed hateful. Exactly. This is really frustrating. Maybe they are a murderer in real life too. We should report it to the police immediately. Gather there to take down this person. 
Count me in, this kind of person deserves to die. Yes, yes, yes. Let's kill him out of the game together. This kind of person doesn't deserve to play games. I joined. I also join. The comments section has gone completely crazy, with more and more people joining the army to criticize Lin Howren. Even though some players don't even know Lin Howren, they are still influenced by the comments section's water army and join in. After reading this post, Lin Howren's face revealed a chilling and bone-piercing coldness. Yama's Palace. Still. The Ghost Squad. But no matter who it is. Dare to come, then I dare to kill. Kill once without fear, then kill twice. Kill twice and still not afraid. Then kill five times. Lin Howren muttered coldly, word by word. Do you think I'm afraid just because you've isolated me from the players? Ha ha ha. Unfortunately, you are wrong. I have never considered myself as a human being. Lin Howren's face revealed a hint of a twisted smile, and his left eye, the reincarnated ghost eye, suddenly opened wide. Like the eyes of demons in hell, the white circles, one after another, resemble the wheels of death. Full of strange and mysterious atmosphere. Come on. I will let you experience it. What is the real hell? Lin Howren grinned, revealing a sinister smile. No words for the night. The next day, early in the morning, Lin Howren finished breakfast and couldn't wait to enter the game. Lin Howren's figure quietly appeared on the rhino plane. Lin Howren opened his system backpack for the first time and checked the items dropped by the rhino ghost leader boss yesterday. Just as Lin Howren was about to open the system backpack, a hoarse voice from the system suddenly sounded in Lin Howren's ear. Ding dong. Congratulations to the player for occupying the top spot in all three rankings for one week, unparalleled in the world, the number one in the world. The player has earned a chance to be announced by the world system and will receive a mysterious special reward. Will the player hide their nickname? Lin Haoren heard this voice and immediately showed a trace of excitement on his face, murmuring to himself. Here it comes, finally. In the previous life, those who ranked first in all three exams were rewarded. Each person received an S-Class ghost item. But this time, I alone ranked first in all three exams. The reward surely won't be worse than theirs, right? Lin Haoren couldn't help but anticipate in his heart. Hide nickname. Lin Haoren immediately chose to hide his nickname. As Lin Haoren's words fell, in the void of all players in the gaming world, a deafening system announcement sound rang out. Like a thunderbolt in the daytime. Ding dong. Congratulations to player for occupying the top spot in three rankings for a whole week, unparalleled in the world, renowned throughout the ages. You have received a world system announcement and rewards, 1,000 points of demon extermination prestige, S-class demon, substitute scarecrow, ghost treasure, soul ghost crystal. Congratulations to player for occupying the top spot in three rankings for a whole week, unparalleled in the world, unmatched in history, and renowned for eternity. Three loud sounds suddenly rang out above all the players. Directly shocked players all over the world. Even the players who were still exercising in the morning, Xiao Kuan also lowered his head in shame. Looking up with a shocked expression, I saw the thunderbolt streaking across the void like a flowing light. The game fell into a strange silence at this moment. Hearing the sound of this system announcement. Everyone only just found out that the person who hid their nickname as the first place on all three lists is actually the same person. This completely shocked all the players. In an instant, the world chat channel is like pouring water into hot oil in a pot, it completely exploded. Double 18 Macho Man, F asterisk CK. Guys, the first place in all three rankings is actually the same person. I feel like I've discovered something incredible. Bala Bala Little Fairy, I fucking thought it was a different person hiding their nickname, turns out it's the same person. Basketball Controller, have you played basketball before? What a garbage game, how can you even play like this? Better go back and play basketball. Suspenders Hero, join my Kuan realm. What is this ghost thing? My Kuan Kuan chicken is the strongest. Shintu Shinichi, yo, the players from my great island nation are awesome. We are aiming for China and success is just around the corner. F asterisk asterisk K your mother's little days, little devils. 
Have you gone crazy drinking nuclear wastewater? Go back and drink your nuclear wastewater. Musashi Kojiro, Haga. Is this the level of quality you have as a major country? Flax butterfly, ha ha ha. Sorry, our manners are only for humans. When it comes to animals, we just let it all out. Heavenly war god, player no. 1. Hello. Our heavenly guild sincerely invites you. As long as you join our guild, you will receive an annual salary of 1 million, which can be used to buy cars and houses in the real world. We welcome your joining. If interested, please private message me. Translation, farewell my concubine, hello, I am a member of the Overlord Guild. I sincerely invite you to join us in our quest for dominance. We offer an annual salary of 1 million, including transportation, accommodation, and even a spouse. If interested, please private message me. We will definitely satisfy you. World chat channel, various discussions are happening, the screen is being flooded every second. Some people envy, some people are jealous, and some people curse him for cheating. There is also a guild that has offered Lin Haoran a large sum of money to join them. The whole world chat channel is so lively. As the person involved, Lin Haoran may not have time to open the chat channel. At this moment, Lin Haoran was joyfully examining the two items obtained from the system announcement. S-Class Ghost, as he expected. I didn't expect to be able to obtain a precious ghost treasure. This is something Lin Haoran didn't expect. Lin Haoran was a little excited in his heart, eager to check the information of the first S-Class Ghost item. Name, Substitute Scarecrow. Type, S-Class Ghost. Effect, when carried by a player or a monster, it can block the fatal damage they receive and prevent them from dying. Ghost Information, a straw man filled with resentment, after being impregnated with ghostly energy, transforms into a precious ghost creature with magical abilities. Lin Haoran's pupils suddenly contracted when he saw this S-Class ghost creature, and a hint of joy appeared on his face. This S-Class ghost creature may not be a combat-type ghost creature, but its effect is very good. Can withstand one fatal injury? Lin Haoran's mind immediately conjured up the image of his ghost emperor wife, followed closely by the ghost sword immortal. This ghostly creature carries the ability to maximize profits. Because players can revive five times. But when ghosts and monsters die, they are dead, there is no resurrection. With this substitute dead scarecrow, it is like having an extra life. Significant meaning. Lin Haoran thought for a moment and decided to let his ghost queen wife carry it with her. After all, his wife was considered the main wife. Its ability is also the most core existence of Lin Haoran at present. No mistakes allowed. Lin Haoran continued to scroll down and saw the system announcement rewarding the final item. Also the most precious ghost treasure. Name, Soul Ghost Crystal, Ghost Treasure. Type, Special Ghost Treasure. Effect, can be consumed by ghosts and monsters, enhancing their spiritual power and having a moderate chance of gaining a soul-related skill. However, the effect is even better when consumed by soul-related ghosts and monsters, as it can even improve their aptitude and have a high chance of gaining a soul-related skill. Ghost information, ghost treasures nurtured by heaven and earth, possessing mysterious and powerful forces. Soul-devouring raven demon. Hiss. Lin Haoran took a deep breath after seeing this ghostly treasure, and the surrounding oxygen levels dropped slightly. This. Silly duck is so lucky. Lin Haoran instantly thought of his silly pet duck, soul eating crow ghost, although other ghosts and monsters can also be consumed. But obviously, it is most beneficial to feed the soul eating crow demon, as it not only enhances one's aptitude, but also. There is a high probability of comprehending a soul skill. Lin Haoran's heart beats for a few seconds, without hesitation, he directly released the silly duck. Duck duck duck. A black light flashed, and the soul-eating crow demon tilted its head like a silly duck, just like a college student. Stupidly looking at Lin Haoran, a puzzled sound came out of his mouth. Seems to be saying. Stupid master, why are you calling this great lord out? Lin Haoran has a soul contract with the soul-eating crow demon, so he can vaguely hear and understand the meaning of what the soul-eating crow demon says. This silly duck actually dares to insult me. Lighting a lamp in the toilet. Looking for shit. Lin Haoran's mouth curled up, revealing a slight smile. 
took out this black, crystal clear soul ghost crystal from the system backpack. Its surface emits a strong spiritual power. The soul eating crow demon's eyes widened as soon as it saw the soul crystal. Looking at the soul crystal in Lin Haoran's hand with a burning face, instinct tells it. If you eat this crystal yourself, there will definitely be a qualitative change. Directly transformed from a poor boy to a rich and handsome man. The soul eating raven demon's few remaining brain cells are spinning at high speed at this moment. Ding dong. A beep sounded in the mind of the soul-eating crow demon. The mind seems to have suddenly become clear. Without any hesitation, it spread its wings and directly hugged Lin Haoran's thigh. Tears welled up in his eyes as he pitifully called out to Lin Haoran. Duck duck duck. Dad. Dad, I was wrong. Give it to the duck to eat, I will never scold you again. From now on, I will be your fiercest duck leg. If you make me peck a dog, I absolutely won't peck a chicken. Lin Haoran roughly understood the meaning of the words spoken by the soul-devouring crow ghost in the soul contract. With a slight upward curve of the corner of the mouth, he looked at the pitiful soul-eating raven ghost, who was hugging his own thigh, with a playful expression. Smiling, he opened his mouth and said, Come. And show the master a little but wiggle. That soul ghost crystal is yours as a reward. Upon hearing the words soul-devouring crow demon, a hint of humiliation appeared on his face. However, when he glanced at the soul ghost crystal in Lin Haoran's hand, instantly turned into a firm color. Don't even mention making this duck wiggle its butt. Even if it means sacrificing, it's worth it. The soul-eating crow demon secretly thought in its heart. Without any hesitation, the soul-eating raven demon performed what is called crow-twisting its butt right where it stood. That funny appearance made Lin Haoran burst into laughter. Ha 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 ha. Okay, okay, it's too flashy. Give you, give you. Lin Haoran couldn't take it anymore. He interrupted the tricky maneuver of the soul eating crow ghost and directly threw the soul ghost crystal to it. Duck, duck, duck. The soul eating crow demon's eyes lit up instantly, and it swallowed the soul ghost crystal in one gulp. The pitch black eyes shimmer with excitement. The soul-eating crow demon suddenly emitted a dazzling black light, shining like a black diamond. Buzz buzz buzz. A piercing ringing sound resounded, and a powerful spiritual force emanated from the soul-eating crow demon. The eerie pale green light flickers in the darkness. Duck duck. Immediately, a dark and eerie sound suddenly resounded from the black light, and the black light began to slowly contract. Buzz buzz buzz. A powerful soul fluctuation instantly swept in all directions, and Lin Haoran's left eye, the reincarnation ghost eye, suddenly opened. Just like a guardian, it instantly absorbs and exhausts all the incoming soul power. Can't stir up a single wave. Xuan Xuan. In the black light, a pair of jet black wings suddenly spread open, resembling the wings of a black angel. The head then appeared, and at this time, the head of the soul eating raven demon was emitting a creepy green light or rather, a pale green gas, incredibly eerie. A pair of jet black eyes with light green pupils. Full of mystery and strangeness. Duck duck. The soul-eating raven demon, who had completed its transformation, immediately let out a loud cry towards the sky. Lin Haoran couldn't help but be surprised as he looked at the soul-eating crow ghost in front of him, which resembled a bird with a cannon. This silly duck now looks quite impressive, truly possessing a hint of the powerful aura of a ghost. Lin Haoran is very satisfied. I hope the brain evolves too. Lin Haoran secretly thought in his heart. Duck duck duck. Without waiting for Lin Haoran to finish thinking, the soul-eating crow demon looked at its current appearance and immediately jumped up in joy. The eyes curved and burst into silly laughter. Lin Haoran. Lin Haoran's mouth twitched slightly and he immediately retracted the words he had just said in his heart. Sure. Here's the translation, indeed, the brain. It cannot be cured. Lin Haoran shook his head and casually opened the information panel of the soul-eating crow ghost at this moment. Name, soul-devouring raven ghost. Qualification, SS. Type, rule. Level, 11. Ability. 
Soul Devouring The soul devouring crow demon can enhance its own strength by devouring the souls of enemies. When devouring soul type demons, there is a very low chance of comprehending one of their abilities. Soul Crow's Cry The soul devouring raven ghost attacks the enemy's soul directly through its cry. Those with weak soul strength will have their souls scattered and their bodies weakened, causing dizziness and vomiting. Soul Manipulation The soul devouring raven spirit can control the souls of deceased creatures, making them fight for itself. The souls can be stored freely within the body of the soul devouring raven spirit and can be released during battles. Ghost Information In life, it was a crow, nurtured by mysterious power and ghostly aura, transforming into a soul devouring crow ghost. It devoured the soul ghost crystal of the ghost treasure, gaining even greater power in becoming a soul devouring death crow ghost. It possesses the terrifying ability to manipulate the souls of enemies, enjoying devouring their souls while they are still alive. It has the ability to see enemy souls and attack them. It is a very rare type of rule based monster ghost. Description, with a crow's cry, the good times come to an end, playing with the soul of the good times, kneeling down to feed the pigs. Hiss. Lin Haoren saw the soul-devouring raven demon at this moment, oh no. It should be the soul-devouring wandering raven demon. A trace of astonishment flashed in the eyes. Take a deep breath. This first ability has been enhanced, devouring the souls of ghost-like creatures, with a chance to comprehend one of their abilities. This ability is incredible, but unfortunately the probability is extremely low, which makes Lin Haoren somewhat helpless. But it's not bad either, maybe the silly duck is lucky. Walk the path of great fortune, win in one go, and grasp a skill. That's a big profit. The second ability, Soul Crow's Cry, has not changed. But Lin Haoren knows that the power and attack range of this skill must have greatly increased. Just try it when you have the chance and you'll know. Last ability, Undead Manipulation. Directly let the silly duck transform. Become a soul summoner. In the future, kill the boss and directly control its soul to fight for yourself. But the soul is still the soul. Can only use soul type skills, so ordinary boss soul summoning is also useless. Just scare people. But if it is a soul type ghost boss, after killing it, control its soul to fight for oneself. That's really invincible, worth looking forward to. But the number of soul like ghosts is so rare, we can only rely on fate. Overall, Lin Haoren is very satisfied with the changes in Shaya at this time. Although I can only use the ability of soul crowing now, the potential is enormous and should not be underestimated. Lin Haoren seems to have seen the soul body of Silly Duck controlling countless soul like ghosts and monsters. A crow is a picture of a whole army. Lin Haoren touched the somewhat bald head of the silly duck with satisfaction, feeling a bit puzzled in his heart. Will people who don't use their brains also experience hair loss? Lin Haoren shook his head and touched the eerie pale green mist, feeling a chill. That kind of bone chilling cold, even to the soul. This should be the green mist that reveals the soul power of the silly duck. In order to live through it, the top must be a little green, no problem, bro. Not bad, not bad. Although bald, I have also become stronger. Although it has turned green, it has become stronger. Lin Haoren patted the silly duck on the head, and with a relieved expression, said to the bewildered silly duck. Duck duck duck. The silly duck was startled at these words, and quickly used its wings to touch its somewhat bald head. Tears of regret immediately flowed from the eyes. Duck duck duck. Woo woo. Why is it so bald? This handsome hair of mine, woo woo. Should have known I would go bald. Soul Ghost Crystal, it definitely. Ha! Huh? Let's eat. It's so delicious, Gagaga. Silly duck, eyes curved. Reveal a hint of a foolish smile. Lin Haoren gave this silly duck a disdainful look, then continued to open the system backpack. Yesterday, the boss of the rhino ghost dropped three items. One of them is a quest item, the rhino horn. The second item is the ghost crystal of boss. Myself, silly duck, and ghost emperor's wife have reached level 11. Xiao Lei Ming and ghost sword immortal are still at level 10. This ghost crystal is a level 10 elite boss ghost crystal, which maximizes the effects when consumed by Xiao Lei Ming and ghost sword immortal. 
Lin Haoren thought for a moment and decided to give it to the ghost sword immortal to consume. He swears that he really doesn't prioritize lust over his children. It's just instinctively feeling that it would be better to give it to the ghost sword immortal. Don't ask, asking would be getting confused by ghosts. Lin Haoren summoned the ghost sword immortal and grabbed her smooth and delicate jade hand. Then hand this ghost crystal to the ghost sword immortal and say. Here you go. The ghost crystal from the boss. The ghost sword immortal glanced at Lin Haoren, but did not break free from his grasp. The other hand picked up the ghost crystal and swallowed it in one gulp. Ding dong. Congratulations on your ghost, ghost sword immortal level up, current level, level 11. Lin Haoren heard the sound of the system's notification in his ear. The level of the ghost sword immortal has finally been raised, leaving only little laming at level 10. Lin Haoren decided to find a place to level up later and also raise Xiao Laming's level. Lin Haoren then took out the last item. This is a mask, a ghost mask. There are two pointed horns on the top of the head, covering the forehead, nose, mouth, and half of the face. Looks very handsome. Lin Haoren clicked on its attribute panel. Name, Evil Ghost Mask. Type, Class A Ghost Creature. Effect, protects the player's head, reduces damage to the head from enemies, and allows the use of the ability, Brain Domain Purification. Brain Purification, after using this ability, it can relieve dizziness, blindness, dizziness, vomiting, and other conditions. Cooldown time, 2 hours. Ghost Information, a ghost bred by the Rhino Ghost Boss, it also wanted to show off and make others jealous, but unexpectedly got exposed. Lin Haoren was immediately delighted after seeing this evil ghost mask. It reduces damage and also comes with a skill to remove control effects. Very good. Lin Haoren decisively put on this evil ghost mask. In addition to wearing the demon armor on the body, holding the thunder ghost gun. Like a battle-hardened demon king, majestic and full of dominance. Evil ghost mask protagonist. Even the ghost sword immortal couldn't help but take a few more glances. Looking at Lin Haoren holding his own hand, a faint blush appeared on by Jia's fair cheeks. I don't know what I'm thinking. Lin Haoren looked at his equipment and nodded in satisfaction. Tuachua is a local tyrant, with a body full of A-grade ghostly creatures. In the previous life, just one A-level ghost would make Lin Haoren so happy that he couldn't sleep. With such a body full of A-grade ghosts, and also carrying an S-class item, Ghost 9-layer Ghost Tower, an S-class item, Substitute Dead Scarecrow. One S-class ghost item on the Ghost Sword Immortal, Ghost Spirit Sword. There is no need to say much about the giant ghost sword. Just one sentence, utterly inhumane. Lin Haoren's face lit up with a brilliant smile. Husband. At this moment, a black light flickered. A stunning figure quietly appeared beside Lin Haoren. The ghost sword immortal immediately withdrew his jade hand, his face turning red as if caught in an affair. Looking away with both eyes, hiding the panic in one's heart. Although the ghost empress has told her. Serve one husband with her, but she has thin skin and cannot temporarily let go of her pride. Actually, in their perception. Having three wives and four concubines is quite normal for men. In ancient times, which wealthy man didn't marry several wives? So they are not very resistant, the ghost sword fairy just has thin skin. The ghost emperor appeared in front of Lin Haoren, immediately holding Lin Haoren's neck with both hands. Looking at Lin Haoren with a smile on his face, he said. Husband. Our second child is about to be born. Lin Haoren hugged the waist of Yenho Guowang, and upon hearing the words, he immediately felt happy, looking at Yenho Guowang's belly. At this moment, the abdomen of the ghost emperor Yenho is already emitting black light, and it seems that there is a life about to come out from inside. Great. Madam, please give birth. I will protect you as long as I'm here. Lin Haoren solemnly said to the ghost emperor Yenho. Um, um. The ghost emperor, with a gentle expression, looked at Lin Haoren, and then immediately emitted a powerful ghost aura from his body. A black light instantly enveloped the ghost emperor Yenho. Flashing with dazzling light. Lin Haoren also summoned Xiao Lei Ming. Lin Haoren and Gui Jianxian, along with Silly Duck and Little Lei Ming, stood around the black light source. 
protecting the safety of the ghost emperor's descendants. The ghost emperor during pregnancy is when she is at her weakest, absolutely no accidents can happen. Buzz buzz buzz. A sudden ringing sound came, and a burst of icy blue cold air instantly emanated from the black light cluster. The water vapor in the surrounding air has all frozen and turned into floating snowflakes. Shining brightly under the sunlight. Very good looking. Lin Haoren's heart froze for a moment. It seems that the ghost crystal of the Ice Guardian boss is taking effect. The ghost emperor gave birth to a ghost monster of the ice and snow element. Shua Shua. A strong light flickered, and the black light ball slowly dissipated. Two figures appeared in front of everyone. One is the ghost emperor with a slightly pale complexion. Lin Haoren hurried over to support his wife, and then took out a few ghost crystals for Yenho, the ghost emperor, to consume. The pale face of the ghost emperor Yensho finally became rosy and radiant. Thank you, husband. The ghost emperor, with a gentle expression, looked at Lin Haoren, and a touch of emotion flashed in his eyes. Silly lady. I am your husband, don't say such polite words, this is what I should do. Lin Haoran looked at Yen Ho Gui Huang, whose hair was a bit messy, feeling a bit sorry for him. With a serious expression, he said to Yen Ho Gui Huang. Um um. The ghost emperor behind was so moved that he almost cried, resting his head on Lin Haoran's shoulder, with a sweet expression on his face. That. Father, mother. Did you forget that there is a newborn baby? At this moment, a young and childish voice of a little girl with a hint of innocence could be heard from the side. Lin Haoren was slightly stunned and turned his head to look. Suddenly, I saw a cute little girl looking at me pitifully. That adorable look almost melted Lin Haoren's cold heart. This little girl, her hair is as white as snow. Round chubby face, a pair of teary big eyes. Wearing white ancient girl's clothes, snowflakes are floating on the body. Like a snow elf. A petite and delicate little lowly. Yuki on a ghost when she was a child. Husband. This is our second child. The ghost emperor looked at this little lowly, smiled slightly at Lin Haoran, and said softly. Lin Haoran's left eye, the reincarnated ghost eye, trembled slightly, and a piece of information instantly appeared in Lin Haoran's mind. Name, Snow Ghost. Qualification, S. Type, Element Class. Level, 6. Ability. Snow Ghost, the Snow Ghost possesses the ability to create and control ice and snow, capable of instantly freezing enemies. Ice Arrows Barrage, the Snow Ghost uses powerful ghost energy to condense numerous ice arrows. The more ghost energy consumed, the greater the number of ice arrows, causing terrifying ice damage to enemies within range. Ice arrows that hit enemies will also freeze them. Ghost information, the combination of the ghost emperor and humans gives birth to a ghost monster with the ability to control ice and snow. She is a proficient long-range ice mage who will definitely make you understand what it means to be unable to move an inch. Description, have you thought about it? Imprisonment for more than three years but less than ten years. Ding dong. Because of the ability of the ghost emperor, you randomly acquire one ability of the ghost air, the ability of the Yuki on a ghost. Ding dong. Congratulations, you have obtained the ability of the snow ghost from the snow woman ghost. At this moment, the system's prompt sound suddenly rang in Lin Haoren's ears. Lin Haoren suddenly felt a powerful force surging out from within his body. Click, click. A sudden coldness enveloped Lin Haoren's body, and half of his body was instantly covered in icy snow. Lin Haoren's hair magically turned white. Like white snow, emitting a cold aura, drifting with snowflakes, paired with this evil ghost mask. Just like a true ghost king. Hoo hoo. Lin Haoren slightly opened his mouth. A cold air blew out and instantly vaporized. It can be seen that Lin Haoren's body temperature is very cold at this moment. Snow Ghost. This ability directly turned Lin Haoren into a snow demon. At this point, Lin Haoren is no longer completely human. It can be said to be half human and half ghost. This force is so wonderful. Lin Haoren clenched his fist, emitting a seductive moan from his mouth. Slightly raise your head, feeling the strength flowing through your entire body at this moment. Lin Haoren's face was filled with an intoxicated expression. 
power. Indeed, it can make people addicted. Irresistible force. Father. Please don't indulge yourself. I want a hug. Just as Lin Haoren was indulging in his own world, a pitiful voice of a little girl sounded in his ear. Instantly, Lin Haoren snapped out of his self-indulgence and looked at the adorable little girl in front of him. Lin Haoren's face showed a slight smile. Remove the ability of the snow ghost. Take off the demon mask, reach out and directly lift the Yukiana up, and say to her. My child, welcome to this world. Come. Father Emperor, give me a kiss. Lin Haoren directly kissed the chubby face of the snow girl little lowly. Giggle, giggle, giggle. The Yukiana suddenly burst into laughter, giggling happily. Then I will also give Father Emperor a kiss. Yukiana happily kissed Lin Haoren on the face, leaving a drool. In the future, you will be called Lin Shui. Nickname is called Shui. -er. This is your older brother, Lin Laming. Quickly call brother. Lin Haoren's face showed a smile as he wiped the drool off his face and gave the snow woman a name. Then, holding the Yukiana, he looked towards the little Raimei on the side and softly said to the Yukiana. Brother, hello. The Yukiana looked at Korai with her big eyes and sweetly said to him. Sister. Hello, sister. Xiao Leiming suddenly had a younger sister, and for a moment, he was not used to it and replied somewhat at a loss. Giggle. Little Lei Ming is shy. The ghost emperor laughed on the side and said. Then he stretched out his hands towards Lin Shui, revealing a bright smile and said. Come. Shui, come here and give your mother a hug. The snow woman nodded sweetly and threw herself into the arms of the fully satisfied ghost emperor Yin, happily saying. Mother. Shui misses you so much. Mother also misses you. The ghost queen mother's love overflowed and she immediately pinched Snow's chubby little cheeks, happily saying. Looking at this warm scene, a hint of tenderness appeared on Lin Haoren's face, bringing a slight warmth to his once icy heart. Lin Haoren turned his head and looked at the ghost sword immortal beside him, reaching out his hand to hold the hand of the ghost sword immortal. Then the other hand held the hand of the ghost emperor. On one side, Silly Duck was also next to Lin Haoren. At this moment, one person and several ghosts are looking at each other. All showed brilliant smiles. Under the shining sun, the smile is so sincere and bright. People are hard to understand. But the connection between people and ghosts, the thoughts of ghosts are even more pure and sincere. On the rhinoceros plane, Lin Haoren walks side by side with the ghost sword immortal. The ghost emperor Yensho has returned to rest and recuperate after giving birth. Xiao Lei Ming, Shui Er, and Silly Duck all transformed into ghost patterns and returned to Lin Haoren's body. Now Lin Haoren is about to go back to the old ghost craftsman to complete the mission, and the ghost sword immortal will be able to possess four ghost swords. Unlocked the ability of the Zhu Xian sword formation. Lin Haoren glanced at the ghost sword immortal and spoke up. By the way, I haven't given you a name yet. What kind of nice name do you want? The ghost sword immortal was momentarily stunned upon hearing this, and after a brief contemplation, he said to Lin Haoren. I don't know. Maybe you can help me get it. Lin Haoren looked at the ethereal appearance of the ghost sword immortal and a hint of amusement flashed in his eyes. He spoke. Just call you Siener. Fairy. Okay. Let's call it Siener. The ghost sword immortal muttered to himself, then a bright smile appeared on his face as he looked at Lin Haoren. Lin Haoren smiled slightly, reaching out to hold Siener's jade hand. The two of them were on the rhino plane. Walked towards the old ghost craftsman. At this moment, two figures suddenly appeared ahead. Lin Haoren and Gui Jianxian stopped in their tracks. Lin Haoren looked at one of them, a mocking smile appeared on his face, and he said. What's wrong? Is this someone seeking revenge? The person who came was by Shui and a player wearing a white demon mask. Lu Dao. You trash, you're about to die, and you're still talking tough. Ha ha ha. I must personally kill you, you beast. If I don't kill you in the game, I won't be able to relieve the hatred in my heart. 
Bai Shui looked at Lin Haoran with a resentful expression and cursed at him through gritted teeth. Then, looking at the man next to me wearing a white demon mask, I respectfully said. White devil. It was this trash that killed me and also killed my shadow devil. Please avenge me, sir. The white ghost is a man wearing a white evil ghost mask. At this moment, he was quietly looking at Lin Haoran, a hint of sharpness flashing in his cold eyes. Finally spoke. Hello, Mr. Lu Dao. Let me introduce myself, my name is Bai Gue and I come from the Ghost Face Organization. Perhaps you don't know what the Ghost Face Organization is, but what I can tell you is that if you join us, you will have 20 million at your disposal every year. And in the real world. Any problem our organization can help solve and arrange. Even if you have killed someone or committed acts of violence against women in the real world. Our organization can help you resolve it. Mr. Lu Dao. I formally invite you to join our ghost face organization. The white ghost spoke in a calm tone, uttering words that were extremely shocking. In the real world, even murder can be resolved. The strength of this organization is extraordinary. But when Lin Haoran heard the four words ghost face organization, his pupils suddenly contracted. A thousand waves surge in my heart. Ghost face organization. Previous life. The ghost face organization that annihilates a ghost town with ten people. Lin Haoran's eyes flashed with a strong look of shock, thinking to himself. Ghost face organization. In the previous life, it was the most mysterious organization in the darkness. The organization has few members, only ten people, but each person has terrifying and unparalleled strength. Even the powerful figures like the King of Hell and the Ghost Father in the previous life dare not easily provoke this organization. The most terrifying achievement of the Ghost Face organization was the destruction of one of the ten ghost cities with just ten people. In the mysterious game of the apocalypse, once you leave the beginner village, you will be teleported to one of the ten haunted cities. There are numerous powerful beings in the top ten ghost cities, with a multitude of forces. There are also many ghost monsters at the level of ghost kings. But overnight, the entire ghost town was destroyed. All the ghosts and monsters inside were slaughtered, not a single one left, in order to seize the ghost crystals, it was extremely brutal. The name of the Ghost Face Organization resounds throughout the world, becoming the object of fear for every gathering place. And Lin Haoran had no qualifications to come into contact with this mysterious organization in the previous life. All the information about this organization was obtained either from online forums or from other people's accounts. Lin Haoran woke up from his memories, a hint of curiosity flashed in his eyes as he looked at the white ghost in front of him, who was extending an invitation to him. He did not expect that in this lifetime, he would actually encounter this mysterious organization. And also extended an invitation to oneself. This did indeed surprise and astonish Lin Haoran a little. Invitation Lord Bai Gue Weren't you here to avenge me? Why did you invite the scum into the organization? You're joking, right? Yes, yes, yes. You must be joking. And on the other side, the white snow was completely dumbfounded. What's going on here? Did the white ghost actually invite Rokuto to join their organization? And it seems to be a formal member. She herself is only a reserve member. White Snow's heart is filled with disbelief and jealousy. Wasn't it agreed that they would help her seek revenge? How did it become an invitation? Bai Shui was completely confused and shouted at the white ghost. Shut up. The white ghost glanced at the white snow and said coldly. I don't need you to teach me how to do things. The white ghost stared at the white snow with a cold and indifferent gaze, as if looking at an ant. The white snow instantly felt as if it had been doused with cold water, and the whole body became icy and bone-chilling. A hint of empty terror flashed in the eyes. The white ghost continued to speak to Lin Haoran. I know you have conflicts with her. I can help you solve this matter. Completely erase her from the real world. This is a small token of sincerity from our ghost face organization to you. What do you think? The words of the white ghost instantly plunged white snow into a deep glacier, causing her whole body to break out in a cold sweat. The mouth couldn't help but tremble, with a strong sense of panic and fear in the eyes. 
When she joined the Ghostface organization as a prospective member, she provided all her personal information. Because reporting one's own information, there is money to be received. And it's not a small amount, she simply can't resist this tempting temptation. But now it has become the rope that takes its own life. Cut your own neck with your own hands. White. White Ghost Sama. You can't treat me like this. I am also one of you, you. Can't treat me like this. I can be your dog. Please. Don't kill me, don't kill me. Can also be your s asterisk x slave. Snow White, with a face full of fear, tightly held the arm of the white ghost, like a dog, crying and pleading with the white ghost. Roll. The white ghost still had a cold and indifferent expression. He casually said, and with a swing of his arm, he directly threw Bai Shui out. Quietly watching Lin Haoran, he continued to speak. Mr. Lu Dao. What do you think about it? Will you join us? A glimmer of light flashed in Lin Haoran's eyes as he glanced at the trembling Bai Shui, who had fallen to the ground. The corners of the mouth slightly lifted, and said lightly. Then let me see your strength and sincerity. The light in the white ghost's eyes flashed, understanding Lin Haoran's meaning. Smart people speak to each other. No need for too many words. You know what it means with just one look. The white ghost's gaze became dull for a moment, probably sending a message to someone, and then calmly said. Please wait a few minutes. Soon you will be able to witness our strength and sincerity. The white snow on one side doesn't know what the two people are talking about. She didn't listen, her mind was blank, already filled with fear. For a moment, Bai Shui's pupils suddenly contracted, and the image of her body began to flicker continuously. White Snow's eyes were filled with extreme fear, and then the figure of White Snow suddenly disappeared. It seems as if it never appeared. The cold wind blows, a piercing chill in the air. A life passes away like this with the wind. Lin Haoran watched as the White Snow suddenly disappeared. Opened the friend list and found Bai Shui's profile picture. Clicked in. Ding dong. This player does not exist. A cold beep sounded in Lin Haoran's ear. Lin Haoran's pupils slightly contracted. Shocked by the terrifying power of this organization in reality, just a few minutes have passed. To kill a person is to kill a person. Anyone who joins this organization is constantly monitored by someone, even lurking around them, in order to be able to kill so quickly. Lin Haoran's heart trembled. Guessing silently in my heart. The level of danger posed by this ghost-faced organization has once again increased. The white ghost coldly watched the disappearing figure of the white snow, as if crushing an ant to death. He turned his head and looked at Lin Haoran, saying lightly. All right. Now you see our strength and sincerity, right? I, the representative of the Ghost Face Organization, formally extend another invitation to you. Mr. Lu Dao. Would you like to join us? The White Ghost extended its arm to Lin Haoran, making an elegant invitation gesture. He asked Lin Haoran solemnly. Lin Haoran looked at the hand extended to him by the White Ghost, a bright smile appeared on his face. Softly said, I'm sorry. I refuse. As Lin Haoran's words fell, the rhino plane instantly became quiet. Schwa schwa schwa. Only the sound of the cold wind blowing through the grassland. Squeaking sound. The white ghost's arm stretched out awkwardly in the air, appearing somewhat embarrassed. The pupils under the white ghost mask flickered slightly, and a cold voice sounded again. Mr. Lu Dao. Are you playing with me? You better consider the consequences of rejecting us, I'm afraid you won't be able to handle it. The white ghost's pair of cold, icy eyes stared intensely at Lin Haoran, emitting an inexplicable aura of majesty. I never said I wanted to join you, I just said I wanted to see your sincerity. Now I see. Not bad. Just that. Lin Haoran calmly faced the white ghost and said. Although the ghost face organization is very powerful. But Lin Haoran is not afraid of them, he has enough confidence that he is now definitely the strongest existence. In the previous life, I was always submissive and obedient. 
Living without dignity like a dog, being reborn once, if still unable to live as one pleases. What is the meaning of rebirth? Even if you have ghostly faces, you cannot force me, Lin Howren, to do anything. The white ghost's eyes instantly turned icy and cold upon hearing Lin Howren's words. The gaze towards Lin Howren was as lifeless as a dead person's. Facing Lin Howren, he said coldly. Very good. You are the first person to dare to refuse us, the ghost face. To reward you, please. Die. A black light suddenly lit up on the white ghost's body, and a strong ghostly aura suddenly appeared. In an instant, a hideous-looking monster suddenly appeared in Lin Howren's body. This ghost has a human head and a snake body. Long hair draped over the cheeks. The big mouth is filled with sharp teeth, and a pair of pitch-black eyes resemble snake pupils. Underneath is a massive white snake body, with hard scales resembling iron skin, shimmering with a metallic sheen. Hiss. A human-headed snake-bodied ghost spits out a snake letter from its mouth, emitting a hissing sound. A pair of pitch-black snake-like eyes stared at Lin Howren as if looking at a dead person. Swinging a strong snake tail. Suddenly, he collided with Lin Howren. Pong Lang. At this moment, a sword light flashed, a black and white ghost sword shimmering with icy cold light. Steadily resisted the tail of the snake-headed monster. The ghost sword immortal holds the ghost spirit sword, and the white dress on his body moves automatically without wind. A pair of phoenix eyes shimmer with astonishing sword intent. The ghostly sword in hand collided with the strong serpent body of the snake-headed monster. A metallic collision sound was emitted. Sparks flying. A powerful wave of air is sweeping in all directions. Lin Haoren's eyes remained calm and undisturbed. The left eye of the reincarnated ghost eye trembles slightly. A piece of information instantly appeared in Lin Haoren's mind. Name, Snake Demon Ghost. Qualification, S. Type, Physics. Level, 8. Ability. Snake scale, the whole body is wrapped in tough snake scales, greatly enhancing defense. Snake bite, the snake demon uses its sharp, venomous teeth to bite the enemy, injecting venom into their body. The enemy will be poisoned and their health will decrease every second. Ghost information, in life, they belonged to the snake clan and were brutally slaughtered by humans. Their scales and teeth were removed. Even in death, their resentment lingers, nurtured by ghostly energy, transforming them into snake demon ghosts with highly poisonous teeth. Description, let me help you with my mouth. I'll be very gentle, I promise. This snake demon is unexpectedly an S-class qualified monster. However, on the monster qualification ranking list, Lin Haoren did not see the name of any snake demon or ghost. Could it be the hidden mode? Lin Haoren's mind flashed with inspiration. Think of a possibility. Apocalyptic mysterious game targeting personal privacy. There are three modes in total. The three modes are regular mode, privacy mode, and incognito mode. Normal mode is very simple, just disclose your nickname and appearance. Privacy mode blurs your face and even your nickname is blurred to the other person. The incognito mode is even more mysterious, all information is in a hidden state, even their information is not on the leaderboard. Most players also set privacy mode. Very few players will set the hidden mode, so Lin Haoren almost forgot that this mode exists. Yo he 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 he. It's no wonder that he was able to defeat the Yen Wang Palace Guild and the Xiaoyao Yu. He does have some strength. Is your talent as a ghost also at S level? The white ghost saw the ghost swordsman using his sword to block the attacks from his snake demon. A glimmer of brilliance flashed in his eyes as he said lightly to Lin Haoren. However, what a pity. This good-looking ghost is about to disappear soon. Blame your master for making the wrong decision. Come out. Crimson Inferno Ghost. Give me the power to burn them. The white ghost glanced at the ghost sword immortal, a hint of astonishment flashed in its eyes, and then it revealed a cold smile. A second black light suddenly lit up on the body. Suddenly, another ghost appeared in front of everyone. This ghost is two meters tall. Having a fierce and terrifying appearance, with crimson cheeks, possessing a human body, but engulfed in raging flames. 
Emitting intense heat, the grass on the ground is instantly burned to ashes. Lin Haoran's pupils slightly contracted, and the left eye's reincarnation ghost eye instantly brought up the information of this ghost in Lin Haoran's mind. Name, Red Inferno Ghost. Qualification, S. Type, Element Class. Level, 8. Ability. Fireforge Ghost, the Crimson Forge Ghost possesses the ability to manipulate flames, capable of creating fire to incinerate enemies into ashes. Fireball, the Scarlet Inferno condenses scorching flames into a high-density fireball, which is launched towards the enemy, causing massive explosive damage. Ghost Information, humans who die from being burned by flames are reborn in endless pain and resentment, nurtured by ghostly energy, transforming into Crimson Inferno ghosts with the terrifying ability to manipulate fire. Description, don't act pretentious in front of me, otherwise I'll set your whole body on fire and burn all your hair. Hoo hoo. When the red ghost appears, it opens its big mouth and spits out a blazing spark. A pair of blood black eyes stared at Lin Haoran like copper bells. Boom boom boom. The red demon's eyes glared angrily, and a fierce flame suddenly surged from its body, rushing towards Lin Haoran. It seems as if Lin Haoran is about to be burned to ashes. Lin Haoran's hair automatically moved without wind, watching the rolling flames coming towards him. Eyes flashed with a touch of icy coldness. In an instant, a cold chill surged out from Lin Haoran's body. The jet black hair turned completely snow white, and patches of snowflakes appeared on Lin Haoran's face. Snow Ghost Lin Haoran instantly transformed into a half human, half ghost snow ghost, with his pupils turning ice blue. Click, click. The air around Lin Haoran instantly became extremely cold, and even the water vapor froze into snowflakes. Lin Haoran's ice blue pupils contracted, and the cold air emanating from his body was like a cold tide. Rushing towards the blazing flames of the Crimson Inferno Ghost. Boom! The scorching flames and icy coldness instantly collide in the air. A loud explosion sound was heard. Suddenly, thick water vapor rose, and a dense white mist filled the air. Hmm. What ability is this? Like the boss, possessing special abilities. The white ghost saw the changes in Lin Haoran's body, and his pupils suddenly contracted. He blurted out, saying. At this moment, the ghost sword immortal on the side also made a move. Holding the ghost spirit sword. Eyes flashed with a touch of icy coldness. The ghost spirit sword is like a spiritual snake. A sword rang out and the ghostly sword moved like a flash of light. In an instant, before the snake demon ghost could react. Directly a sword frosty, icy to the bone, a sword seals the throat, wiping off the snake demon's neck. Puff. The blood on the neck of the snake demon suddenly gushed out like a fountain. He he he. The snake demon's snake pupils instantly contracted at high speed, a trace of fear flashed in its eyes, and it made a hissing sound from its mouth. In the end, I was ultimately killed by the terrifying swordsmanship of the Ghost Sword Immortal. Getting close to a Ghost Sword Immortal can be extremely dangerous. And remote, she can wield a sword, just as dangerous. One sentence, she is beautiful, but also dangerous. Just in an instant, the snake demon was killed. The white ghost has now realized the seriousness of the situation. This guy is stronger than imagined, so strong it's terrifying. Red Demon. Run away. The white ghost no longer has the calm and composed expression of just having control over everything at this moment. But instead, it was filled with panic, immediately shouting loudly at the remaining scarlet refining ghost. Roar. The red fiend has a hot temper, blaring angrily, staring fixedly at Lin Haoran, unable to listen to the white ghost's words. Now it just wants to kill the ant in front of it. Boom boom boom. A powerful and blazing flame suddenly surged out from the body of the Red Fiend, condensing in front of it. Quickly condense into a large fireball. It is its ability, fireball. Lin Haoran's mouth slightly curled up, revealing a hint of a sinister smile, and said lightly. You know nothing about my power. Lin Haoran's left eye, the reincarnated ghost eye, suddenly opened. In an instant, the icy blue iris of his left eye turned black. The whites of the eyes also turned pitch black, revealing round white circles, resembling the pupils of a demon's eyes. 
Lin Haoran's mouth emitted a faint sound, like an evil spirit murmuring, and like a demon whispering. With a low whisper from Lin Haoran. A huge black shadow suddenly appeared in the mind of the furious red inferno devil, who was gathering a large fireball. One's self is like a tiny ant. A huge black shadow covers the sky, towering thousands of feet high, with one black eye surrounded by circles, emitting thick black smoke. Looking at the scarlet ghost as if watching ants. Shadow like a ghost, like a god, like a demon. It seems as if it is not within the five elements. Beyond the cycle of reincarnation. The red ghost trembles in its own mental world, with a deep fear in its eyes. Outside, the red refining ghost is like a soulless puppet. Motionless, standing quietly in front of Lin Haoran. The large fireball in front of me quietly dissipated. Tap, tap, tap. Lin Haoran wore a demon mask, with black smoke emanating from his left eye, and his hair as white as snow, resembling a true ghost. Step by step, walking towards the white ghost. With each step, the grass on the ground instantly freezes. The heavy footsteps sounded like iron hammers, pounding on the heart of the white ghost. Yo! White devil, ha! Huh? Go back and tell your boss. I dislike trouble, tell him not to provoke me. Otherwise, I will be very angry. I get so angry that I want to kill someone. So, don't come and bother me. Lin Haoran flashed a bright smile at the white ghost. But in the eyes of the white devil, this smile is scarier than a demon. A cold sweat trickled down the forehead of the white ghost, the current Lin Haoran was putting a lot of psychological pressure on him. Lin Haoran exudes an otherworldly aura. He has only experienced it in front of his boss. That is not a human at all. It's a ghost. Okay. This time I admit defeat. I will bring up the matter. The white ghost couldn't help but swallow a mouthful of saliva and said to Lin Haoran with difficulty. Very good. Lin Haoran smiled faintly, a glimmer of brilliance flashed in his ice blue right eye, and he spoke lightly. I will be a good person to the end, even if it means sending the Buddha to the west. Free transportation back to the village for you. Boom. The white ghost hadn't even reacted yet when Lin Haoran directly grabbed his head with one fist. The white ghost's head was forcefully squeezed and burst. Bursting open like a watermelon, yellow-red liquid splashes everywhere. A headless body fell heavily onto the lawn. The blood stained the lawn red. It's a bit dirty. I should have known better than to show off. Lin Haoran shook his blood-red palm and said uncomfortably, then wiped it on the crimson ghost's body. Kill her. Sienner. Lin Haoran glanced at the crimson ghost, who looked like a puppet, and said lightly. There are still three contract slots available, although this crimson refining ghost is rare, it is not enough to tempt Lin Haoran. Kill and take the ghost crystal directly. Isn't it nice to use it for your own life in the future? Puff. The ghost sword immortal did not hesitate at all upon hearing the words, and directly stabbed the throat, severing the neck of the crimson refining ghost. A round and rolling head falls onto the lawn, rolling on the ground like a basketball. Finally turned into a black gas and dissipated in the air. Only one ghost crystal left. Lin Haoran has released the ability of the snow ghost. Pick up the ghost crystal of the red refining ghost. Glancing at the disappeared body of the white ghost, it should have already returned to the beginner village's resurrection stone. Slowly, I said. Sienner. Let's go. Then he grabbed the jade hand of the ghost sword immortal and left this place. Although Lin Haoran was somewhat surprised to encounter someone with a ghostly face, he was also invited to join this mysterious organization. Most people do feel extremely honored. No one can refuse the conditions offered by the ghost face. Unfortunately, they encountered a reborn person. In Lin Haoran's view, those conditions seem ridiculous, it's better to give yourself a temptation of an SSS level qualified ghost. Beginner Village Resurrection Stone. The white ghost touched his own head, a hint of lingering fear flashed in his eyes. His head was just cruelly crushed by Lin Haoran. A cold killing intent flashed in the white ghost's eyes as they clicked on a friend and initiated a voice call. Drip, drip. Hello? 
boss. The other party is unwilling to join us. And killed both of my ghosts. Let me pass on a message to you, he dislikes trouble, so let's not bother him, or else he'll die. The white ghost did not embellish or suppress the desire to kill Lin Howren in his heart, and truthfully informed his boss. Hmm. Interesting. Really interesting. Ha ha ha. So funny. Don't worry about this matter for now, let me handle it. You go find Purple Ghost yourself, she has acquired many powerful ghosts and monsters, go and choose. On the other end of the phone, a hoarse voice of a black person came through, speaking to a white person. It's the boss. Boss, this person has at least one SS level qualification as a ghost, and just like you, possesses the power of ghosts. Do not underestimate the strength. The white ghost nodded respectfully and continued speaking to the black ghost. Oh. That's even more interesting. When I complete this covert mission, I will personally go and meet him. The voice of the black demon is filled with strong interest. The hoarse voice resounded again, the black ghost's tone was relaxed, as if he didn't take Lin Howren seriously. Just for fun, that's all. Yes. Boss. The white ghost respectfully said to the black ghost on the phone. By the way. There seem to be many people looking for him in the newbie village. Tell Xiaoyu about his whereabouts, and I believe there will be a big show to watch. Ha ha ha. The black ghost seemed to have thought of something and laughed with a hoarse voice, speaking to the white ghost. Okay. I know how to do it now. A glimmer of intelligence flashed in the white ghost's eyes, and it nodded. And the black guy on the other end hung up the phone. Six pats, ha. Huh? You just wait to die. A cold killing intent flashed in the white ghost's eyes, murmuring to oneself. As for the killed monsters, he doesn't feel a bit sorry. In this world, money solves 99% of problems. And coincidentally, what they lack the least is money. At the same time, Lin Haoren was unaware that his whereabouts had been exposed. He has already returned to the old ghost blacksmith's iron shop with the ghost sword immortal. The old ghost blacksmith is still holding a hammer. Pounding the iron block forcefully, sparks flew and a deafening pounding sound echoed. Bang bang bang. Seeing Lin Haoren's arrival, his eyes suddenly lit up, and then his brows furrowed as he said to Lin Haoren. Young man. Why do I feel like you're a bit different, with a strange sense of familiarity? Lin Haoren's heart moved, the old ghost craftsman should have felt that he had turned into a half-ghost at this moment. After all, the old ghost craftsman is also a half-ghost. Of course, I am familiar with this aura. Lin Haoren just smiled and did not answer the old ghost craftsman's words. He also took out two task items. The ghost ice stone of the ice guardian boss. The ghost rhino horn of the rhino demon boss. Lin Haoren handed these two items to the old ghost craftsman and said with a smile. I have completed your task. The old craftsman's eyes lit up as soon as he saw these two items, and he quickly took them over. A bright smile appeared on the face, and happily said. Good. Ah, uh, that's great. You have a bright future, I knew I didn't misjudge you. Lin Haoren smiled slightly, then said to the old ghost craftsman. That mission reward. Oh, by the way. I forgot about that. Come, 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 this ghost sword was once a well-crafted sword by me. Now, I will give it to you. The old ghost craftsman patted his head, and suddenly a pitch-black ghost sword appeared in his hand. Handed it to Lin Haoren. Ding dong. Congratulations to the player for completing a special mission, collecting ghost materials. Congratulations on receiving the mission reward, S-Class Ghost Weapon, Ink Ghost Sword. A crisp and pleasant system notification sound is now ringing in Lin Haoren's ears. Lin Haoren's eyes immediately lit up. The reward is indeed generous. It turned out to be an S-class ghost weapon. Lin Haoren took the ghost sword from the old ghost craftsman and couldn't wait to open its attribute panel. Name, Ink Ghost Sword. Type, S-class. Effect, Ink Ghost Sword, the whole body is like ink, known as the invisible sword in the dark night can hide its traces in the dark night, kill people invisibly, and can use its special skill, ink dyeing the world. 
Ink stained world, with a swing of the sword, ink stains the four corners, obscuring the enemy's vision with ink, and then inflicting massive damage upon them. Ghost information, ghost weapon forged from ink crystal, capable of hiding its blade in the darkness of the night, died in the red dust of the mortal world, capable of killing with a single strike. Lin Haoran's heart was filled with joy. This sword ink ghost sword is indeed impressive, both in terms of its special effects and its. The self-taught skills are all very good. Ghost spirit sword increases speed, the skill is stab. And this ink ghost sword is to enhance concealment, possibly sweeping. Two swords of different styles, yet they do not disturb each other. In the dark night, the ink ghost sword is suitable. During the day, the ghost spirit sword would be suitable. Just watch the mood of the ghost sword immortal. Here you go. My darling. Your ability to unlock the Xuxian sword formation is finally here, and I am very excited to see its power. Lin Haoran smiled and handed the ink ghost sword to the ghost sword fairy, softly saying to her. Thank you. Gui Jianxian took the ink ghost sword with a delighted expression, unable to put it down as he played with it, and said to Lin Haoran. Do we still need to say these two words between you and me? Lin Haoran looked at Gui Jianxian, who was happily playing with his beloved toy like a child. Couldn't help but make a joke about the ghost sword immortal. The ghost sword immortal glanced at Lin Haoran without saying a word, still gently caressing this ink ghost sword. Lin Haoran unexpectedly felt a hint of envy towards the ink ghost sword, as if being a swordsman wouldn't be a bad idea. Swordman equals scum. Lin Haoran quickly shook his head, shaking off this strange idea and sending it flying into outer space. Lin Haoran then left with the ghost sword immortal. As for the old ghost craftsman, let him stay here. Wait until the end of the bizarre game fusion. It's not too late to come and pick him up yourself. Lin Haoran walked alone into the bamboo forest. He now plans to go back and find the old village chief. He still has a hidden mission to collect from him. Lin Haoran plans to complete this mission first. Then you can go and do the trial tasks. Generally speaking, after reaching level 10, players. You can receive trial missions and after completing them, you can teleport out of the beginner's village. Go to the top 10 ghost cities. The bamboo forest where Lin Haoran is located is right next to the rhino plain. By crossing this bamboo forest, one can return to the village. But at this moment, the bamboo forest was quiet. A bird does not make any sound. Ha ha ha! In the bamboo forest, the cold wind whistles, as if resentful ghosts are howling, making a whooshing sound. Brush, brush, brush. The bamboo leaves rustled harshly in the cold wind, making a piercing brushing sound. In the dark and quiet bamboo forest. Extraordinarily clear, as if it were being sandpapered. Lin Haoran's footsteps came to a halt, and his left eye had already transformed into a vertical pupil shape. It is the ghost eye that is devoured by the cycle of reincarnation. Lin Haoran slowly scanned the surroundings. Slowly opened his mouth and said. Hey. Are you playing hide and seek? Lin Haoran's words are particularly loud in the quiet bamboo forest. Step, 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 step. Not long after, a figure slowly emerged from the dark bamboo forest. One person. One hundred people. One thousand people. Five thousand people. Countless, simply countless. The number of people will not be less than ten thousand. All around the bamboo forest, there are players, all of them staring at Lin Haoran with fierce eyes as he is surrounded. Ha 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 ha. Lin Haoran looked at the players around him and couldn't help but burst into laughter. He looked at one of them and said lightly. Captain Xiaoyao. I feel so honored, so many players have actually come to surround me. I'm truly flattered. That's right. The person in charge is none other than Xiaoyu, the leader of the Xiaoyao Ghost Squad. You're mistaken. We're not trying to block you, but rather, your excessive killing and violence have turned the entire level 4 newbie village into chaos, causing widespread panic. We are the army of justice, eliminating harm for the people and bringing prosperity to our no. 4 newbie village. You are so. It's destiny. We are just carrying out justice on behalf of heaven. A glimmer of brilliance flashed in Xiaoyao's eyes, 
but he remained tight-lipped, pointing out Lin Haoren's guilt. The so-called famous teacher, half the effort, double the result. This way, no one will curse them online, but instead, they will support them for acting in the name of justice. Carry out justice for heaven. Carry out justice for heaven. Kill this thief. Carry out justice for heaven. Kill this thief. More than 10,000 players around shouted in unison, emitting deafening cheers, like waves of giant waves. Fierce momentum, chilling killing intent. Ha 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 ha. What a joke, who did I kill? Kill you. It's still you. It's still you. Lin Haoren burst into laughter, then squinted his eyes and pointed at one of the fat guys, asking. The fat guy was momentarily speechless. He didn't know Lin Haoren at all, but he had seen online that this person was notorious for being cruel and murderous. Believing it to be true, I followed the crowd. One sentence is enough, it has nothing to do with him at all. A few more players were pointed out by Lin Haoren. But they couldn't say a word because they were all being misled by a group of internet trolls. Ha ha ha. Did you see that? What a foolish bunch of people. You have no idea. You've all been used as pawns, yet you still shout so loudly. You truly disgust me. Lin Haoren glanced at the surrounding players, his eyes cold and indifferent, as if looking at a group of animals. Don't listen to him. These are all his deceptive words. Kill the demon. Everyone must be avenged. Kill this demon. Xiaoyu noticed that the players around him seemed to hesitate, and a cold light flashed in his eyes. He shouted loudly at everyone. Kill the demon. Everyone must be avenged. Kill the demon. Everyone must be avenged. More than 10,000 people present immediately shouted passionately, their loud voices echoing throughout the bamboo forest. The autumn wind blew, filled with a sense of killing intent. Interesting. Truly interesting. Lin Haoren lowered his head and spoke in a deep voice. Humans. Are truly pitiful. I am ashamed to be the same as you. Today, I, Lu Dao, make a vow here. I, Lu Dao, officially cease to be human. I, Lu Dao, enter the path of ghosts. A surge of ice blue light suddenly burst out from Lin Haoren's body. In an instant, his pitch black hair turned completely white, his face covered in icy snowflakes and frost. His left eye, the reincarnation ghost eye, suddenly opened, surrounded by black mist. His right eye had an icy blue pupil, shimmering with a bone chilling cold light. The surrounding void instantly became extremely cold, with countless snowflakes floating in the wind. Lin Haoren, with his white hair, wore a demonic mask, a demonic armor, and held a thunderous ghost gun. His left eye, the reincarnation ghost eye, was incredibly eerie, emitting black smoke. It was like the eye of a demon. At this moment, he looked like a real monster. He was filled with a terrifying ghostly aura, sweeping towards all directions. Players who were close to Lin Haoren instantly felt it difficult to breathe, their faces filled with fear as they looked at him. Haven't you always wanted to know who I am? Today. I will satisfy you. System. Cancel the hidden nicknames on the leaderboard. Lin Haoren grinned, revealing a terrifying smile, and shouted loudly at everyone. Ding dong. Player nicknames on the leaderboard are no longer hidden. As the system prompt sounded, the player level leaderboard, the demon aptitude leaderboard, and the ghost level leaderboard, which originally had hidden nicknames, instantly became visible. In an instant, the name Ludao dominated all three leaderboards. Lin Haoren's nickname also appeared above his head, Ludao. At this moment, the whole world was in an uproar. In an instant, the three leaderboards became player level leaderboard N01, Ludao, level 11 N02, Miyamoto Musashi, level 8 N03, King Arthur Asterisk Caesar, level 7 N04, Emperor, level 7 N05, Handsome Overlord, level 7 N06, King Yen, level 6. Ghost Ranking List N01, SSS Level Ghost Emperor, Contract Holder, Leodo Notu, SS Level Thunder Ghost Lord, Contract Holder, Leodo N03, SS Level Ghost Sword Immortal, Contract Holder, Leodo N04, SS Level Soul Devouring Crow, Ghost Contract Holder, Leodo N05, S Level Tengu Ghost, Contract Holder, Musashi Miyamoto N06, 
S level evil bone ghost dragon, contract holder, India Asin NO7, S level Dao Jun ghost, contract holder, Emperor NO8, S level snow woman ghost, contract holder. Leodo NO8, S level green giant ghost, contract holder, America. Ghost object ranking list NO1, S level 9 layer town ghost tower, owner, Leodo NO2, S level ghost spirit sword, owner, Leodo NO3, S level link ghost sword, owner, Leodo NO4, S level substitute dead scarecrow, owner, Leodo NO5, A level thunder ghost gun, owner, Leodo NO6, A level thunder ghost bead, owner, Leodo NO7, A level ice ghost bead, owner, Leodo NO8, A level town ghost Dao Ling, owner, Emperor NO9, A level great ghost sword, owner, hidden. In the three major ranking lists, in an instant, the name of Ludo shook the rankings. The ghost qualification ranking list is dominated by one SSS level ghost and three SS level ghosts, occupying the top four positions with overwhelming strength, like Mount Tai pressing down on the top, making it hard for those below the fifth position to catch their breath. What's even more terrifying is that in the ghost object ranking list, Ludo completely dominates the top seven with absolute overwhelming power, shocking and thrilling. At this moment, the world is boiling, and the world chat channel has completely exploded. Bird's Nest Face Mask, Brothers Quickly look at the ranking list, something big is happening. Mediocre life, damn. Who is Lu Dao? So terrifying, a powerful fighter. I'm 18 cm, holy shit. Lu Dao is invincible, damn it, all the hidden nicknames on the ranking list belong to this person. Five Claw Hot Pot 6666. This is how you play games, we are the ones being played by the game. Gentleness of hometown, look at this nickname, it should be someone from our country, I feel relieved. Kawasaki Chu Stone, what the hell? It's not a player from our great island country, let's kill him, trash Ludao. Musashi's three little ones, yo. In the China region, leave the task of assassinating Ludao to me. Your mom is under me, Nationwide wanted, 1,000 yuan for each kill with screenshot. Musashi's three little ones, fuck. At this moment, players from all over the world stopped leveling up and looked at the changes on the world ranking list with shock on their faces. Some arrogant rich second generation players directly announced their retirement from the game, accusing Ludao of cheating, insulting the game as garbage, and not worth playing. For a while, some people actually believed it and many players quit. It is precisely because of this impulsive moment that, when the end of the world erupts, one realizes the regret that is too late, regretting not starting earlier. But in this world, there is an end, but there is no regret medicine. At this time, in the fourth beginner village, in the bamboo forest, at this moment, all the players here are staring at the world rankings, looking at the big nickname above Lin Howren's head, Six Paths. Six Paths. He is Six Paths. Ranked first in three rankings, possessing one SSS level monster, three SS level monsters, dominating the top seven of the monster rankings, is this still a human? Should we still fight? Or should we retreat? Even if he dies, he can still resurrect, and if he doesn't release his monsters, killing him would be useless. That's right. And I have no grudges against him, I don't even know if he's really that despicable. Me too. Let's go, we are all casual players, we shouldn't get involved in this mess. That's right. He's obviously a god, killing us small fries is nothing to him. The players in the bamboo forest looked at Lin Haura not far away with shock on their faces. Many of them were already scared and had a hint of retreat in their hearts. Xiaoyu's pupils trembled fiercely at this moment, obviously he didn't expect Lin Haura to have such terrifying strength. Gulu. Xiaoyu couldn't help but swallow a mouthful of saliva, his brain spinning rapidly. The arrow was on the string and had to be shot. If he couldn't completely destroy the six paths this time, what awaited him would be his merciless pursuit. Xiaoyu's eyes were bloodshot, and he shouted loudly to everyone, Don't panic. I have a monster that can summon all of his monsters. As long as we kill his monsters, he will never be able to turn the tables. Think about it. A player who simultaneously possesses so many high-quality monsters, don't you find it strange? He must have mastered some game bug, such a person is not worthy of playing the game, he must be eliminated. It has to be said that Xiaoyu is indeed worthy of being the leader of a group. With just a few words, he stopped those who wanted to leave. These people's eyes flashed with a hint of jealousy. Yes. 
Why is it that when everyone plays the game, how can you have such high quality monsters and such a powerful monster? If you sell them, you could easily make millions. A strong sense of jealousy rose in the hearts of these players. We don't have them. And you won't have them either. These players' eyes flickered with determination as they shouted at Xiaoyu, Captain Xiaoyu. Quickly use your monster, today we will completely eliminate this cheating player. Yes. It's unfair. Why does he have so many high-quality monsters and a monster? Kill him. And make his monsters drop. Kill him. Make his monsters drop. Kill him. Kill all of his monsters. At this moment, the gazes of everyone towards Lin Haoran were filled with fierce and vicious expressions, like hungry wolves with a shimmering green glow, wishing to devour Lin Haoran's flesh and drink his blood. Xiaoyu's mouth curled up slightly, a fleeting look of mockery in his eyes. Immediately, he took out a round ancient mirror from his system backpack, resembling a demon-revealing mirror, and shouted loudly at Lin Haoran, Reveal all your ghosts and monsters. This is a B-grade ghost item called the demon-revealing mirror. Its function is to reveal the ghosts and monsters inside the player's body and prevent them from returning for five minutes. Xiaoyu had prepared this specifically for the extermination of Lin Haoran, but he didn't expect to catch such a big fish. He he he. I didn't expect you to possess so many high-quality ghosts and monsters. This is perfect, let's kill them all together. It's a pity about that ghost sword immortal. Xiaoyu thought darkly in his heart. At this moment, due to the effect of the demon-revealing mirror, all the ghosts and monsters on Lin Haoran's body appeared. Black lights flashed, revealing the beautiful and enchanting but somewhat pale Empress Yeno, the ethereal and sword-like cold beauty ghost sword immortal, the white-haired and cute thunder abyss ghost lord, the black-haired and green aura emitting soul-devouring dead crow, and finally, the snowflake-adorned little lowly snow girl ghost. The five ghosts instantly appeared beside Lin Haoran, who had his head lowered and white hair. Empress Yenho and Ghost Sword Immortal stood on either side of Lin Haoran, while Little Thunder Abyss and Little Snow stood on each side. The soul-devouring dead crow spread its long black wings behind Lin Haoran, giving the impression that he had a pair of pitch-black wings. When Lin Haoran's ghosts appeared, they immediately attracted the attention of all the players present. They looked at Empress Yenho and Ghost Sword Immortal with a face full of admiration and envy. Some players with special preferences even stared at the little lowly snow girl with a perverted smile. Damn. Two such beautiful ghosts were actually taken by this pig. This is more unbearable than killing me. No. This kid must die. At this moment, the players all had this thought in their hearts, and their jealousy invaded their hearts. Husband. I'm here, I won't let these ugly humans harm you. Empress Yenho's face was slightly pale, but she still exuded a terrifying aura. She held Lin Haoran's cold hand and softly said to him. The attitudes of the other ghosts were also very clear, looking at the surrounding players with a murderous intent. Quack quack quack. Stupid humans, go find shit. Dare to provoke Lord Duck, I'll peck all your hair off. The soul-devouring dead crow let out an angry duck cry. Father. With Snow here, I'll help you fight these bad guys. Snow Girl spoke in a childish voice with a hint of milkiness. At this moment, Lin Haoran finally slowly raised his head and looked at the ghosts that were protecting him. A hint of tenderness flashed in his icy eyes, then he looked at Xiaoyu and the others, remembering them one by one in his mind, and slowly said in a hoarse voice, Remember. Today is your most wrong decision. You will soon regret what you did today. You will. Die. Lin Haoran touched his left eye, which emitted a strange black aura, and a bright smile appeared on his lips. But these words, like a curse, imprinted in the minds of all the players, causing their pupils to suddenly contract, revealing a hint of fear. Don't be scared by him. Quick, all his ghosts have appeared, let's attack. Kill this thief. Kill. Xiaoyu knew that they couldn't delay any longer so he immediately drew a ghost sword and shouted loudly at everyone. Suddenly, more than 10,000 people in the field released their own ghosts. The entire bamboo forest was filled with black light, and a cold wind blew, filled with a chilling aura of killing. Woo-woo. Ah woo Evil spirits appeared all over the bamboo forest, crying and howling, filled with bloodthirsty and killing intent. 
Just as in ancient times when a hundred ghosts roamed the night, now ten thousand ghosts were rampant. The terrifying ghosts, like a black tide, rushed towards Lin Haoran, and the players' faces showed grim smiles. Die. Ha ha ha. Under the moonlight in the bamboo forest, the cold wind blew, the chill intensified, and vengeful ghosts wailed. The killing intent was strong, and the ten thousand ghosts boiled. Woo woo. A woo woo. The ten thousand ghosts rushed towards Lin Haoran, engulfing him with their five ghosts. Lin Haoran slowly opened his mouth, exhaling a cold breath, his eyes flickering with an inexplicable light. A deep voice slowly sounded, in this life, I desire to overlook the mediocrity of the world from the peak of the mountains. I will stand above the sky, despising the insignificance of ants. I, Lu Dao, will become the king of ghosts. My name, Lu Dao, will resound throughout the world. The hair on Lin Haoran's body moved without wind, and his pupils emitted astonishing light. Silly duck. Let me see how much your skills have improved after evolving. Lin Haoran raised his head, his icy and bone-chilling gaze looking at the ghosts rushing from all directions, and said lightly. Quack quack quack. The soul-eating crow immediately flapped its wings and flew above Lin Haoran. Seeing the tide of ghosts surging from all sides, a faint green light flashed in its black eyes. Suddenly, it opened its mouth, resembling a black hole, and a terrifying crow's cry resounded throughout the bamboo forest. Caw caw. This sound was like the whisper of death, and also like the call of the king of hell. A terrifying invisible energy instantly spread in all directions, like a scythe swung by the grim reaper. Buzz. A ringing sound suddenly echoed in the heads of the approaching ghosts. Ah woo. Ah ah ah. In an instant, the surrounding ghosts and monsters felt their souls being struck by a huge hammer, emitting a heart-wrenching scream. Without any surprise, the souls of these ghosts and monsters were torn apart, their ghostly eyes turned white, and their puppet-like bodies fell to the cold ground one by one, like a domino effect. Without any surprise, all the ghosts and monsters within a radius of 300 meters from the soul-devouring raven ghost died. The army of ghosts died instantly and heavily, with at least 5,000 ghosts dying under the soul screech of the soul-devouring raven ghost, terrifying. This scene directly stunned the players behind, their faces filled with shock as they looked at the bodies scattered all over the ground, their mouths involuntarily gaping in disbelief. This. This. How is this possible? Is this an illusion? Gurgle. The sound of swallowing saliva continued to ring out, and everyone seemed to have lost their souls, murmuring in shock. D. Don't be afraid, everyone. With such a powerful move, he definitely won't be able to release a second move in a short time. Let's kill him now. Xiao Yaoyu's forehead was covered in cold sweat, his lips slightly pale, but he forcefully suppressed his inner unease and shouted loudly at everyone. Yes. Yes. Don't panic, we still have countless ghosts. Even if we have to pile up ghosts, we must kill him. Kill him. Such powerful ghosts must die. Kill that bastard. Everyone woke up from their shock, their jealousy towards Lin Haoran becoming even stronger. Die. This person's ghosts must die. Everyone's eyes flickered with a fierce light, filled with resentment. Woo woo. A o woo a o woo. Countless ghosts cruelly trampled on the bodies of the dead ghosts, continuing to charge towards Lin Haoran, relentless. Lin Haoran's hair turned white as snow, his eyes filled with indifference, he turned his head to look at the ghost Empress Yenho, and gently said, Madam. If you're feeling unwell, you can lend me your power. Please watch. As your husband presents you with a play, The Death of Ten Thousand Ghosts. The obedient ghost Empress Yenho nodded gently and softly said to Lin Haoran, Then, my husband. A powerful force suddenly surged from the ghost Empress Yenho's body, instantly transferring to Lin Haoran. It was the ghost Empress Yenho's third ability, which allowed her to transfer her own power to her partner, enabling him to possess all of her power. In an instant, Lin Haoran's aura became terrifying, his white hair slowly growing, his broken hair turning into long hair. His white hair reached his waist, swaying in the wind, as white as snow. His eyes flickered with astonishing ice blue light, and his body was surrounded by green thunderbolts, resembling thunderous dragons. Crackling. Lin Haoran, supported by the terrifying thunder and lightning, slowly floated up, 
emitting a terrifying pressure, like a ghost or a god. Lin Haoren slowly raised his head, his left eye glowing with black ghostly aura, like the eyes of a demon. A cold smile appeared on Lin Haoren's face as he slowly said, Gentlemen. Follow me and kill the enemy. Leave none behind. With Lin Haoren's words, Gui Jianxian, Xiao Leiming, and Xiao Shui immediately took action. Crackling. Xiao Leiming transformed into the Divine Thunder King, his white hair standing on end, holding blue thunder in his hands, like the King of Thunder. Eat shit. Disgusting two-legged beast. Xiao Leiming roared, his eyes flashing with astonishing lightning, countless thunderbolts on his body resembling thunderous snakes, rushing towards the approaching group of ghosts, thunderous thunderclap. Boom boom boom. The terrifying blue thunder, with the power to destroy everything, killed a large number of ghosts. The terrifying blue thunder made these ghosts stick and die. Although this group of ghosts was numerous, their aptitude was low, and their level was only between 4th and 6th grade. How could they withstand the terrifying power of Xiao Leiming's blue thunder? They were directly struck dead in piles. On the other side, Xiao Shue's eyes turned ice blue, her young cheeks covered in ice and snowflakes, seemingly shedding a bit of innocence and gaining a bit of strangeness. Her small body emitted an extremely cold and chilling aura. The ice blue pupils flashed with a touch of anger as she shouted in a childish voice, Since you dare to bully my father. Die. Ice arrows, fire together. Schwa schwa schwa. In an instant, hundreds and thousands of ice arrows appeared in the air. With a wave of Xiao Shui's small hand, these ice arrows shot towards the group of ghosts. Pop pop pop. Ao wu ao wu. The ghosts hit by the ice arrows let out a series of miserable screams, their bodies flying backwards and colliding with the ghosts behind them, causing a series of injuries. Xiao Shui hated these people to the core, condensing round after round of ice arrows causing great damage to these ghosts and even freezing the enemies. The ghost army was in great pain, howling in agony. The most terrifying one was Gui Jianxian. She has now unlocked her ultimate move, the Immortal Slaying Sword Formation. This was also the first time she showed the terrifying aspect of the ghost and immortal class in front of everyone. Xing 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 Xing. A sharp sword aura surged from Gui Jianxian's body, her long hair fluttering without wind. Four ghost swords floated around Gui Jianxian, then rapidly spun, emitting a graceful sword hum. The first sword, Ghost Killing Sword. The second sword, Ghost Giant Sword. The third sword, Ghost Spirit Sword. The fourth sword, Ink Ghost Sword. Buzz buzz buzz. For ghost swords, carrying a terrifying sword aura, like sword spirits, slowly unfolded a white mysterious formation under the feet of the ghost sword immortal. The formation depicted countless sword patterns and demonic creatures. The sword aura was like a rainbow, with sword shadows and demonic traces. In an instant, the formation expanded in all directions, instantly covering the feet of the ghost army. Heavenly Execution Sword Formation Activate The ghost sword immortal's eyes flickered with astonishing sword aura, his clothes floating, and a cold voice came from his mouth. With a wave of his jade hand, the four ghost swords soared into the sky. Under the disbelieving gazes of everyone, the four ghost swords transformed into terrifying energy giant swords and fiercely struck down towards the ghost army below. Boom boom boom. The sound of massive collisions echoed through the bamboo forest and the sky. Ah ah ah. The ghost army instantly became like ants encountering a flood and ferocious beasts, being mercilessly slaughtered. The entire bamboo forest became like a purgatory, filled with the miserable cries of the ghost creatures, wailing and howling incessantly. Hell could be so cruel. In just an instant, more than half of the ghost army had been slaughtered, and many ghost creatures were heavily injured and on the verge of death, barely clinging to life. The morale of the ghost army plummeted, and they stopped their attack one after another. The pitch black ghost eyes looked at the ghost sword immortal and Lin Haoran with a deep sense of fear. For a moment, none of the ghost creatures dared to take a step forward, but instead retreated. This is not a ghost. This is a god. The players behind, with shocked expressions, looked at the heavenly execution sword formation of the ghost sword immortal. Their mouths trembled, and some people dropped their weapons without even realizing it, their faces filled with fear and astonishment, saying, we can't defeat him. He's too strong. He's not human at all. How can he possess such powerful ghost creatures? 
Other people couldn't help but swallow their saliva, their pupils trembling intensely, and they no longer had any fighting spirit. I'm done playing. You guys can continue. These are the ghost creatures I painstakingly contracted, I won't let them go to their deaths. That's right. I'm done playing too, this guy is definitely not human. He's a ghost. He's definitely a ghost. Quick, let's go, or it'll be too late. Come back. My beloved Cohen Cohen ghost. You come back too, you poor ghost. The players now were truly afraid and quickly recalled their ghost creatures. If other people's ghost creatures died, it was none of their business. But their own ghost creatures couldn't die anymore. However, the players whose ghost creatures had already died were not happy. We agreed to exterminate the six paths together, and now that my ghost creatures have died, you're retreating. Are you treating us as cannon fodder? A fierce-looking man suddenly emitted a menacing light from his eyes and cursed at these players, you can't leave. Our ghost creatures have all died, what does it mean for you to desert us now? None of you can leave. If we're going to die, let's die together. Otherwise, fuck it, no one wants to live. As soon as these words were spoken, the players who had killed all the ghosts and monsters immediately surrounded the players who wanted to retreat. Their eyes glowed green as they angrily said, you all agreed to join forces to defeat this demon, but now you want to run away? You deserve to die. You can't leave. Or else we will chase and kill you until you quit the game. Exactly. Where is this fair? Our ghosts and monsters are not just for show. Your ghosts and monsters are so precious, huh? Release them all and attack, or else we will destroy you together. If we're going to die, let all our ghosts and monsters die together. That's the only fair way. Don't even think about running away, we're telling you. Surround them all, don't let a single one escape. A bunch of cowards, all trash. These people stared fiercely at the players who still had living ghosts and monsters, like hungry wolves. The players who were planning to retreat were completely dumbfounded by the players who surrounded them. They never expected that their former comrades would suddenly become enemies. These players were also furious and angrily cursed at the players who surrounded them, damn it. If I want to leave, it's none of your damn business. If you dare to stop me, I'll kill you too. Fuck you. A bunch of animals. You ghosts and monsters deserve to die. Ha ha ha, good riddance. Come on. Fuck you, I dare you to stop us. I'll kill whoever tries to seek revenge on me. Yes, just kill them directly. I want to see who dares to come after me. That's right, kill them all. Die for me. Come out. Kuen Kuen Ghost. Pack their balls for me. This dramatic scene unfolded, with the players who were just united now fighting each other as if they had personal vendettas. Meanwhile, Xiao Yao's face turned even darker than shit. Fuck. A bunch of useless teammates. They're all trash, all useless. They're more of a liability than an asset, these useless teammates. Xiao Yao clenched his teeth, his eyes turning bloodshot like an enraged bull, cursing at these players in his heart. Captain. Should we retreat too? We're already at a disadvantage, we don't have the strength to fight anymore. Yeah, yeah. Let's go back and make a new plan. These six paths have already angered everyone, we won't live much longer. If we don't leave soon, we'll be buried with these idiots. It's not worth it, Captain. At this moment, the members of Xiaoyao Ghost Squad had lost all their fighting spirit. Seeing Lin Haoran's ghost with its godlike combat power, they felt a chill in their hands and feet. Combined with the infighting, the members were afraid and said to Xiao Yaoyu, fuck. Retreat. Xiao Yaoyu bit his lips until they bled, cursing with resentment. However, he still had his wits about him and knew that the situation was lost. If he didn't leave now, he wouldn't be able to leave at all. Xiao Yaoyu took one last look at Lin Haoran, who seemed like a ghostly god in the sky, and a hint of hatred flashed in his eyes. Lu Dao. Just you wait. If I don't avenge this, then I, Xiao Yaoyu, am not worthy of being human. Xiao Yaoyu let out a low roar and prepared to leave with the others. 
Meanwhile, on Lin Haoran's side, he floated in the air, watching the internal strife and killing among the players with a clear view. A strong sense of mockery appeared on his face as he lightly said, it's truly pitiful and lamentable. Such nauseating human nature, it's shocking to see. But. Do you think you can escape? Lin Haoran's mouth curled into a cruel smile, and a burst of murderous intent erupted from his eyes as he slowly said, have you asked me yet? Today. None of you can escape. Lin Haoran let out a low roar and then shouted at his ghostly creatures, Sienner, Chao Leiming, Shui, and Shaya, kill them all. Leave not a single one. Utilizing the power of thunder, Lin Haoran transformed into a green thunderbolt and continued to charge towards the army of players. The ghostly swordsmen followed closely behind. After killing the ghosts, there were still players left to kill. These ugly humans were the ones who deserved to die the most. Lin Haoran's eyes flickered with an excited and cruel smile as he licked his lips and looked in the direction of Xiaoyu, saying in a hoarse voice, the hunting moment has arrived. It has begun. Ha ha ha. You think you can escape? Not a single one of you can. Just as the players were engaged in a fierce battle, a mocking laughter filled their ears. Ha ha ha. What a great show. It's so splendid. Truly worthy of humans. Lin Haoran, with his waist-length white hair, exuded a chilling aura. Thunder surrounded him, and his ghostly eyes were sinister as he floated above everyone's heads, laughing loudly. Then, he narrowed his eyes, revealing an inexplicable expression, and slowly raised his palm, saying in a hoarse voice, selfishness, self-interest, jealousy, greed, lust, lies, betrayal, war, destruction. All of humanity is tainted by them. If humans are guilty. If there is no divine justice in this world, if there is no judgment. Then I, Lu Dao, am willing to become the reincarnation of divine justice and judge humanity. In an instant, an endless coldness surged from Lin Haoran's body. In the void, countless ice arrows shimmering with cold light quietly appeared. Dense and numerous, there were thousands upon thousands of ice arrows, making one's scalp tingle and heart tremble. This was the skill that Lin Haoran unleashed after receiving all the power from the Ghost Emperor and combining it with his own strength. It should no longer be called Ice Arrows Unleashed, but rather 10,000 Arrows Unleashed. Die. You ants. Lin Haoran waved his hand angrily and roared. In an instant, the ice arrows in the void rained down like a storm, shooting towards the bamboo forest at high speed. The players below who were still fighting saw this scene and were directly scared. Their eyes filled with fear as they desperately ran backwards, shouting loudly, run. This guy is not human at all. Ah uh, ah uh, ah. Uh. Help me. Don't step on me. Save me. Get the fuck out of my way, let me run first. Woo woo. Devil, he's a devil. In an instant, the sharp ice arrows pierced through the entire bamboo forest. Swish swish swish. The screams of agony and the sound of the ice arrows piercing through bodies echoed with each other, as if playing a symphony of death. It was both captivating and exquisite. The ghost swordsmen and other ghosts from behind also arrived and joined the slaughter once again, mercilessly harvesting the lives of these terrified players. The ghost swordsmen sealed throats with their swords, while Xiao Lei's judgment gun pierced through ten people in one shot, like a string of candied haws. Xiao Xue's ice arrows were incredibly accurate, hitting heads one after another, causing explosions. The mouth of the soul-eating raven ghost made countless players pee and poop themselves in fear, as it pecked off one head after another, terrifyingly brutal. In an instant, the bamboo forest was filled with rivers of blood, and the bodies piled up like mountains. The strong smell of blood could be smelled for several kilometers, making people nauseous. Some players had severed limbs and couldn't move, so they could only emit pitiful and fearful screams on the ground. Ah uh, ah uh, ah. Uh. Demon, he's a nightmare. You won't have a good death, you definitely won't have a good death. We're all going crazy. Ugh uh, ugh ugh. Some players, smelling the strong smell of blood and seeing the internal organs of the surrounding corpses, directly vomited. At this moment, Xiaoyu and the others were surrounded by Lin Haoran and the other ghosts, like little chickens about to be slaughtered. Step step step. Lin Haoran walked step by step towards Xiaoyu and the others, passing by some players who were still barking and waiting for death. 
Lin Haoren directly stomped on their heads, expressionless, as if crushing an ant. Xiaoyu and the others couldn't help but feel a great fear surging towards Lin Haoren from the bottom of their hearts. The feeling of killing in the game was actually similar to reality. Xiaoyu had also killed people in reality, but he could never do it as casually and indifferently as Lin Haoren, as if killing a chicken. This guy. Deep down, he thinks. He's not human. He's a beast, a beast that can be slaughtered at will. What kind of person have I provoked? Xiaoyu looked at Lin Haoren, who was still stomping on players' heads, unable to help but gulp down saliva, feeling a chill on his back, and streams of cold sweat flowing down. In his heart, he thought fearfully, at this moment, Lin Haoren arrived in front of Xiaoyu and the others. His snow-white hair had already been dyed blood-red. That was blood. A pair of cold and indifferent eyes looked at Xiaoyu, revealing a cruel smile. Ghost Emperor Yenho, Ghost Sword Immortal, Thunder Abyss Ghost Lord, Snow Woman Ghost, and Soul Devouring Crow Ghost all appeared behind Lin Haoren. The terrifying pressure directly caused the members of Xiaoyu's ghost team to weaken in the knees, and some even wet themselves. Lu Dao. You will face retribution. You have killed so many players, you will be condemned by heaven. Xiaoyu knew that he couldn't escape this time, so he forcefully suppressed his fear of Lin Haoren and said to him, Ha! Lin Haoren laughed loudly, his eyes flickering with an inexplicable light, and slowly said, Killing one person is a crime. Killing ten people is evil. Killing thousands of people is heroic. Killing millions of people makes one the king of ghosts. With each word Lin Haoren spoke, his aura grew stronger, and the terrifying pressure was like a thousand pound burden, causing Xiaoyu and the others to kneel on the blood stained ground, looking at Lin Haoren in shock and fear. Remember. I, Lu Dao, will become a taboo existence for you all. Lin Haoren's cold eyes looked at them as if he were a god looking down on insignificant ants. Xiao Yao Yu. Do you think that if you don't release your ghosts, I won't be able to do anything to you? Today, I will let you witness your own ghosts being killed by me. Lin Haoren's left eye, the reincarnation ghost eye, flashed with a strange light as he said to Xiao Yao Yu and the others. A sense of foreboding immediately rose in the hearts of Xiao Yao Yu and the others, and then their minds went blank, as if they were puppets, all falling into the illusion of the reincarnation ghost eye. Release all the ghosts. Lin Haoren said calmly to Xiao Yao Yu and the others. Xuan Xuan Xuan. Without any hesitation, Xiao Yao Yu and the others released the ghosts from the ghost marks on their bodies. These ghosts had decent qualifications, all of them being above sea level qualifications. Xiao Yao Yu's ghosts even had two A level and one B level qualifications. Lin Haoren instantly cancelled his illusion ability, and Xiao Yao Yu and the others regained their consciousness. But when they saw the ghosts around them, their heads buzzed, completely unaware of what had happened. However, at this moment, a voice like a demon sounded in their ears, kill them all. In an instant, a cold sword light appeared in the eyes of everyone, Pu Pu Pu. These ghosts were like little chickens, directly controlled by the ghost sword immortal's sword spirit technique, mercilessly cutting off their necks, a sword sealing their throats. Black blood splattered, spraying onto the faces of Xiao Yao Yu's ghost team. Ah ah ah. Terrified screams suddenly rang out, my ghosts. My ghosts are dead. I clearly didn't release my ghosts, how did they appear here, and how did they die? What's going on? Can someone tell me what's going on? Captain. Captain, my ghosts are dead. The members of the Xiaoyao ghost squad immediately let out screams of fear. These were the powerful ghosts and monsters they had worked so hard to contract, their capital for showing off to other players. And now, they were all gone. It was a hundred times more painful than if they had been killed. At this moment, Xiaoyu looked at the three ghosts that had died before his eyes, his eyes empty and lost. They were his own ghosts, treasures that he had spent countless effort and money to obtain. But now, they lay motionless on the cold ground, like dead dogs. Devil. You devil. Xiaoyu trembled slightly, his body filled with resentment as he looked up at Lin Haoren, gritting his teeth and saying. Lin Haoren grinned, revealing a bright smile like the sun, looking down at Xiaoyu with contempt and saying lightly, you brought this upon yourself. You should hit the road now. Lin Haoren said kindly to everyone, and then, in the horrified eyes of the crowd, thick ice arrows stabbed into their mouths. Poo pew poo. 
The sound of heads exploding filled the air, and the entire Xiaoyao ghost squad was wiped out. All the ghosts were dead. They had become a completely useless ghost squad. Hoo hoo hoo. In the quiet night of the bamboo forest, a cold wind blew, the land was blood red, and piles of bones were stacked like mountains, resembling the depths of hell. Hoo hoo hoo. Lin Haoren slowly released the power of the snow ghost, panting heavily. Although the simultaneous release of 10,000 arrows consumed a lot of his ghost energy and stamina, it wasn't as easy as it seemed on the surface. Husband. Are you okay? Yen Ho Ghost Emperor supported Lin Haoren, her face full of worry. The Ghost Sword Immortal also supported Lin Haoren's other arm, though he didn't say anything, a hint of concern flashed in his eyes. I'm fine. Just a bit exhausted. Lin Haoren shook his head and smiled. Let's go. Let's go back to the village. Lin Haoren said lightly to his ghosts, then turned and left, leaving behind a ground full of corpses and a strong smell of blood. The battle in the bamboo forest today was destined to reverberate throughout the world. The name of the six ghost gods would spread far and wide from this moment on. One person fighting against 10,000 players, one person annihilating them all, with a battle power like a ghost god, unstoppable by anyone. Tonight was destined to be a sleepless night, the name of the six paths boiling in chat channels, official forums, and every corner of the streets. Everyone knew, everyone understood. With mortal bodies, they could rival ghost gods, the six paths as well. Lin Haoren returned to the village and logged off. He was too tired, and it was too late. The hidden quest would have to wait until tomorrow to continue. In the real world, Lin Haoren just got up from bed and suddenly felt a cold breeze. Lin Haoren's pupils contracted slightly, and he immediately picked up his phone. The temperature displayed was already 15 degrees. This is ridiculous, it's spring in the south. It was still 18 or 19 degrees yesterday, and today the temperature continues to drop rapidly. Damn. Could it be that the bizarre doomsday game has really merged with reality ahead of time? Lin Haoren's face changed, and he said gloomily. He thought he still had a long time to improve his strength in the game and play to his advantage, but he didn't expect the bizarre doomsday game to suddenly merge with reality. This was something Lin Haoren never expected. Could it really be the butterfly effect caused by my rebirth? Lin Haoren said with a gloomy face, secretly speculating. Lin Haoren didn't give up. He previewed the information on his phone and indeed, there was a global rapid drop in temperature. This made Lin Haoren's face completely ugly. This was basically confirmed. The bizarre doomsday game was going to merge with reality ahead of time. According to this calculation, there may only be a few more days left, which caught Lin Haoren off guard. I must obtain the Simu Wooding in Shanghai, and when the doomsday merges with reality, it will be the moment for me to seize this tripod. I also need to wrap up Wang Defa's side, as well as the hidden tasks in the game, and go to one of the top 10 ghost cities, Devil City, to collect that hidden task and obtain that ghost treasure. I must make good use of my time. Damn. This is so frustrating. Lin Haoren fiercely punched the wall, causing his fist to be injured. He said gloomily. Who? Don't panic, stay calm. Even so, I still have a great advantage, no need to worry. First, I'll call Wang Defa. And ask him to move all the burial jade and antiques to my place. The rest can wait. No rush. Lin Haoren forced himself to calm down and thought to himself. Lin Haoren didn't hesitate and directly dialed Wang Defa's phone. Ring ring ring. Hello? Master. Are you looking for me? Wang Defa's respectful voice came from the other end of the phone. I'll give you an address, bring all the antiques and burial jade you have to me. Lin Haoren didn't have time to waste with Wang Defa and spoke directly. Yes. Just master. But. Master, I have encountered a problem on my end. Wang Defa respectfully said, then hesitated, and said to Lin Haoren. What? What's the problem? Lin Haoren frowned and said coldly. It's like this. I found another tomb robbing group and wanted to buy their antiques and jade, but they refused to sell. As far as I know, they have quite a lot of them. But they have a lot of people, and they have guns. 
We don't dare to act rashly. What do you think? Should the master personally take action? Wang Defa wiped the cold sweat on his forehead and cautiously said to Lin Haoran. Lin Haoran fell silent for a moment upon hearing this, then said coldly, I'll give you an address. Come pick me up later. Lin Haoran hung up the phone after speaking. Wang Defa was immediately delighted. This group of people had been their old rivals, with constant friction and even gunfights. It would be the greatest joy if they could use Lin Haoran's power to eliminate them. Wang Defa immediately ordered his men to prepare, they were going to cause a big scene tonight. Lin Haoran pulled out a thick coat from the cabinet, put on his clothes, and left. He still went to the old place and ordered a few dishes. At this moment, several young people around were excitedly discussing the mysterious game of the apocalypse. Oh my god! Did you guys see it? Someone posted a video on the official forum, showing six paths single-handedly fighting against a huge army of ghosts. The scene was like a million special effects. I saw it. It's going crazy online. These six paths have been worshipped by online players and called the six paths ghost gods. So cool. They're like my idols. Idols? Didn't you see that people online say he's a murderous demon? He almost killed everyone in the newbie village. I don't care. They're not good people either. So many people ganging up on one person, and the funniest part is that they got counter-killed. Now they have the audacity to go to the forum and play the victim. Yeah. The funniest part is that they accuse him of cheating and demand that the official ban him. That's hilarious. They can't win, so they make a fuss. A bunch of idiots. These young people were obviously gamers. But other players in the newbie village were disgusted by the behavior of the thousands of people attacking Lin Haoran in the fourth newbie village. And there was a teenager who admired Lin Haoran a lot. A real man should be like this, standing alone against all odds, like a hero. But this teenager didn't know that his idol was just a few meters away, leisurely eating his meal. Beep beep beep. Breaking news coming up. At this moment, a siren suddenly sounded on the TV in the restaurant, followed by news appearing on the screen, Longwa, Daizhou City, Longtu Province, a village of over 400 people has disappeared, leaving only bloodstains everywhere. Experts say that there are wild beasts roaming. Tianyu City, Bayern District, in a certain residential area, a black mist suddenly enveloped the area during the day, and after the mist dispersed, everyone in the residential area disappeared, with bloodstains and flesh scattered everywhere. Tianyuan City, Minban Street, the entire street was shrouded in black mist, causing over 2,000 people to disappear. Diming City, Alan County, shrouded in black mist, causing tens of thousands of people to disappear, the streets empty and lifeless, with scattered bones and bloodstains, suspected to be. This sudden announcement made Lin Haoran, who was eating, stunned. His pupils suddenly contracted, a hint of eerie light flashed through, and he muttered to himself, so it finally came? The crack in the ghost realm. The ghost realm refers to the world of the apocalypse strange game. When the ghost realm merges with the real world, random cracks will appear, known as ghost realm fissures. Ghost realm fissures randomly appear in the real world, or ghosts from the game world appear in the real world. It is also possible for real world ghosts, monsters, and even ghost treasures to be born and nurtured. In the ghost realm fissures, game players also possess the power they have in the game. Only game players have the opportunity to survive in these random ghost realm fissures. In these ghost realm fissures, there are great dangers, but it is also possible to come across a powerful ghost or ghost treasure and soar to new heights. In short, ghost realm fissures are high risk, but they may have zero return or high return. The main focus is on the need for great luck to obtain opportunities. Finally, the apocalypse is coming. Lin Haoran licked his lips, revealing a mysterious smile. I'm really looking forward to it. He continued to eat his delicious meal. Even though the apocalypse is happening now, he still has to eat. This is the professional code of conduct for a person who eats for a living. At this time, the customers in the restaurant saw the alarming cases of missing people, and they lost their appetite. They were discussing with a frightened expression, what's going on? How did this sudden news appear? Is it real? It's true. I checked online. 
These mysterious missing cases are being reported all over the country, even worldwide. Wow. It's happening all over the world. Is it the end of the world? Is it fake? How could they not block this news? Isn't the government afraid of causing panic? With so many missing people, can the government really keep it a secret? Especially since these incidents appeared so suddenly. This. Could it really be the end of the world? We're done for, are we going to die? The people in the restaurant were panicking, even the chefs and the owner ran outside to watch the news. They were all in a state of chaos, discussing anxiously. Everyone's face looked grim, slightly pale, clearly filled with fear. Anyone who suddenly sees this kind of news would be afraid and panicked. From this moment on, the world became restless and chaotic. Many theories appeared online, including the apocalypse theory, the parallel world theory, and the ghost theory, and so on. For a while, the real world became chaotic. Cases of violence, murder, arson, and robbery occurred frequently. It became a paradise for the wicked and a hell for the righteous. After finishing his meal, Lin Haoren called Wang Defa and soon two cars came to pick him up. It was Wang Defa. Master. Please get in the car. Wang Defa got out of the car and respectfully said to Lin Haoren, who had just learned about these mysterious missing cases online. Wang Defa immediately thought of Lin Haoren's mysterious and unpredictable power, the intuition of a Tomb Raider, which made him feel that Lin Haoren might have some connection to these cases. This deepened Wang Defa's awe of Lin Haoren. Lin Haoren didn't waste any words and got directly into the car, saying calmly, let's go. Directly to their place. Yes. Master. Wang Defa immediately instructed the driver to start the car and led his men towards the base of another group of Tomb Raiders. Lin Haoren closed his eyes in the car, contemplating his next plan. Boss. Look quickly, why is the sky covered in black mist? At that moment, one of Lin Haoren's men suddenly exclaimed, pointing outside the window. It's really. Strange. How can there be black mist at night? It's eerie. And ominous. The other men in the car discussed. Meanwhile, Lin Haoren suddenly opened his eyes and looked outside. Under the moonlight and streetlights, the sky was filled with eerie black mist, like a gaping mouth of an abyss, ready to devour everything. A crack in the ghost realm. Lin Haoren's eyes flashed with a hint of gloom as he muttered to himself. In the previous life, there was no crack in the ghost realm here. It seems that there are too many variables. Lin Haoren looked at the increasingly dense black mist in the sky, a glimmer of determination flashed in his eyes, and he shouted to Wang Defa, drive faster. Yes, yes, did you hear me? Speed up. Wang Defa immediately shouted to the driver. He had been observing Lin Haoren's expression, and when he saw the black mist outside, his face visibly changed. This made Wang Defa's heart sink, and news from the internet flashed through his mind. Black mist? It seems like there were reports of black mist online too? Could it be? Wang Defa's eyes flickered with a sharp light, and cold sweat trickled down his forehead. Wang Defa was indeed a shrewd person, and he quickly thought of many possibilities. Regardless, he still had Lin Haoren by his side, which gave him a sense of security. The car quickly arrived at its destination, a small pier. Lin Haoren and his men got out of the car. Lin Haoren looked up at the sky, which was completely covered in black mist, blocking out all moonlight. Lin Haoren could clearly sense the presence of ghosts. The crack in the ghost realm was finally coming. Crackling. Suddenly, lightning flashed in the black mist-filled sky. Boom, boom, boom. Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. A gust of cold wind blew, sounding like the wailing of ghosts and howling of wolves. If someone looked down from the sky, they would see the entire town covered in black mist. Terrifying thunder and lightning, along with the mysterious black mist, enveloped the entire town. In the black mist, lightning flashed and thunder roared. Boom, boom, boom. It felt like the end of the world. Everyone in the town looked terrified as they ran outside and looked up at the sky, not knowing what was happening. What is going on? Did a typhoon happen? This seems similar to what the TV news said. We're doomed, the end is coming. 
What do we do? What do we do? Call the police quickly. The phone line is busy. Maybe the police station's phone is overwhelmed. Hurry, let's go to the police station. It's the safest place. Yes, yes, let's go quickly. The people shrouded in black mist were filled with panic, discussing among themselves. Just then, ah. A terrified scream rang out, directly opening the prologue of slaughter. Countless hideous monsters quietly appeared in the town, their pitch black eyes greedily staring at the people. There were pig headed demons with human heads, bloated demons with big bellies, baby demons with fangs, and more. They were the monsters from the eerie game of the apocalypse. At this moment, Due to the influence of the cracks in the ghost realm, they had descended into the real world. The ghostly aura of the ghost realm instantly surged into the real world, catalyzing and giving birth to unknown monsters and creatures. The merciless slaughter began. Ah, help! There are ghosts. What are these, help? Don't bite me. Don't bite me, you bit my boyfriend. Ah! You damn demon, let go of me. Woo woo. Help, don't eat my intestines. The monsters attacked humanity as soon as they arrived. Ordinary humans were no match for these monsters and were instantly bitten and devoured. In an instant, the entire town was filled with continuous cries of misery and the excited screams of the monsters. Moreover, the more humans these monsters devoured, the stronger they became, driving them even more insane. They looked at humans with intense greed devouring them mouthful by mouthful, not leaving a single hair behind, eating them all. The once peaceful town had suddenly turned into a human hell. At this time, on the small pier, Lin Haoren and Wang Defa had already arrived at the hideout of another group of Tomb Raiders. Lin Haoren felt the ghostly aura in the air and the surging power within himself. He already knew that the cracks in the ghost realm had begun and that this town had already been slaughtered and devoured by the monsters. Lin Haoren had an expressionless face as he and Wang Defa entered a warehouse on the pier. Inside, there were over a dozen people packing up antiques, seemingly preparing to transport them away. Ha! Huh? Wang Fatty. What are you guys doing here? The leader was a one-eyed strong man, with a long scar on his face resembling a centipede. He had a fierce and evil appearance, clearly not a good person. The one-eyed strong man looked at Wang Defa and others, immediately put his hand on his waist, and said fiercely to Wang Defa, Hey! One-eyed, I told you, you must give us this batch of goods. Since you don't listen. Then we'll come and get it ourselves. Wang Defa, relying on his henchman, saw Lin Haoran's calm expression and felt confident. He smirked at the one-eyed strong man and said, Wang Fatty. I think you're looking for trouble, huh? A fierce look flashed in the one-eyed strong man's eyes, and he said with a resolute killing intent towards Wang Defa, woo woo woo. At this moment, a creepy and chilling voice suddenly came from outside the warehouse, as if a vengeful ghost was howling. Hmm. Who's playing tricks outside? Wang Fatty. Is this your tactic? To actually pretend to be a ghost to scare us? Ha ha ha. We, in this line of work, are we afraid of ghosts? Ha ha ha. The one-eyed strong man heard the ghostly cries outside and couldn't help but laugh. The rest of his henchmen laughed so hard that they held their stomachs. They never expected Wang Defa to be so childish, pretending to be a ghost to scare them. It was ridiculous. Tomb Raiders afraid of ghosts. On the other side, Wang Defa and the others were dumbfounded. They didn't plan on putting on a ghost show. Only Lin Haoren's mouth slightly curled up, revealing a sinister smile, and he slowly said, they're here. Wang Defa was taken aback and curiously asked, Master. Who's here? Ghosts. Lin Haoren coldly uttered two words from his mouth, causing Wang Defa's pupils to shrink suddenly. He felt a chill run down his spine. If someone else said this, he would have slapped them, but he had no choice but to believe Lin Haoren. Wang Defa instantly tightened his grip on the pistol at his waist, looking around in fear, his hands trembling slightly. Ah! Just then, a miserable scream suddenly sounded behind the one-eyed strong man, completely breaking the tranquility in the warehouse. Ah! A scream suddenly came from behind the one-eyed strong man and his men, shocking everyone. Instinctively, they looked back and witnessed a horrifying scene. 
They saw one of their henchmen with a large hole in his stomach, his intestines spilling out. The henchman desperately clung to his intestines in fear, but it was futile. Behind him, there was a ghostly creature with its mouth stretched to its ears, sharp teeth exposed, and a pair of pitch black eyes with eerie glimmers. It opened its mouth and swallowed the henchman's head in one bite. PLP. Blood splattered instantly, countless blood red droplets scattered on the ground, and the henchman's body continued to tremble violently. The ghostly creature, with a satisfied expression, chewed on the head, blood dripping from its mouth. Ah ah ah. Ghosts. There are ghosts. This terrifying scene immediately scared the people on the side of the one-eyed strong man, causing them to retreat in fear. What? What is this ghost thing? The one-eyed strong man was dumbfounded, looking at the monster devouring his little brother with a terrified expression, and said with a trembling voice. But he was also someone who had seen storms and waves, and a hint of fierceness flashed in his eyes as he let out a roar, I don't care what kind of ghost you are. I'll kill you. He immediately pulled out his gun and shot at the monster. Bang bang bang. Several gunshots in a row, the bullets hit the monster's body, splattering blood. The monster let out a painful cry, gaga. With pitch black eyes filled with anger and resentment, it immediately abandoned the almost eaten body of its little brother and pounced fiercely towards the one-eyed strong man, screaming, ah. Die for me, die for me. Bang bang bang. The one-eyed strong man's remaining eye was filled with fear as he pulled the trigger again, shooting at the monster. But the damage to the monster was limited unless you hit its head. Gaga. The monster, enduring the bullets, lunged at the one-eyed strong man, opening its mouth and biting off his neck. The one-eyed strong man's eyes widened, his body trembling violently as he was mercilessly devoured by the monster. Ah uh, ah uh, ah. Uh. Run, the boss was killed by a ghost. Wait for me. Let's go quickly. The little brothers of the one-eyed strong man were scared out of their wits, running towards the outside. B boss, let's go too. This is definitely a filthy thing. Wang Defa's little brother behind him was also trembling in fear, saying to Wang Defa with a terrified expression. Go. Go, what are you waiting for? Wang Defa was terrified in his heart, his fat body almost sticking to Lin Haoran. If it weren't for Lin Haoran being here, he would definitely be the first one to run away. Hearing his little brother's words, Wang Defa forcefully suppressed the fear in his heart and tremblingly rebuked, with the boss here. What are you afraid of? The little brother's legs went weak, they could only trust Lin Haoran. Ah. Just at this moment, the people who were originally walking at the entrance of the warehouse suddenly let out a scream. They saw a group of rotten corpse ghosts walking in from outside the warehouse. Their whole bodies were rotten, their skin blackened, and their faces revealed creepy white bones. They opened their mouths and pounced on the one-eyed strong man's little brothers. Ah uh, ah uh, ah. Uh. Help! I've been bitten, save me. Fei Mao, you deserve to die, you pushed me. Sorry, brother, I'll take care of your wife for you. Ah uh, ah uh, ah. Uh. Fei Mao. You deserve to die. This group of people was instantly overwhelmed by a horde of rotten corpse demons, crazily biting and chewing, emitting a chilling sound of crunching bones, making people's scalp tingle and throat dry. Only one fat man, covered in sweat, with a terrified expression, came to Wang Defa and shouted, Boss Wang. Let's go quickly. I know there's an exit over there. This person was the ruthless one who pushed his own brother into the horde of rotten corpse demons. At this moment, he also knew that there's a chance of survival in numbers, so he decisively came to Wang Defa's side. Wang Defa glanced at Lin Haoran and noticed that he didn't even look at this person, but instead, his gaze was fixed on the deeper part of the warehouse, where it was dark like a gaping abyss, as if something was attracting him. Wang Defa withdrew his gaze, a hint of ferocity flashed in his eyes, and he scolded the fat cat, get lost. Or I'll shoot you dead. He had personally witnessed this fat man pushing his own brother into the abyss, the kind of person he despised the most. Of course, he didn't have a good expression towards him. If it weren't for his trembling hand at the moment, he would have shot him already. Poof. The fat cat saw that Wang Defa treated him like this and a sinister look flashed in his eyes, but he didn't dare to make a move. There were quite a few people on Wang Defa's side, so he didn't dare to. 
The fat cat snorted coldly and hurriedly fled towards the dark depths of the warehouse. Let you all die. That's fine too, it can buy me some time to escape. A sinister look appeared on the fat cat's face as he secretly thought to himself. Put. Just at this moment, a black shadow flashed in the darkness, and the fat cat's body suddenly disappeared, leaving only a head, still wearing a creepy smile, falling onto the cold ground and rolling. The head with the creepy smile of the fat cat rolled directly in front of Wang Defa and the others. Ah ah ah. Wang Defa's subordinates let out a scream of fear. Shut up. Wang Defa's face turned pale, but he still had some courage. He sternly reprimanded his subordinates behind him. The subordinates immediately covered their mouths tightly, their eyes filled with intense fear. Interesting. An elite ghost creature has actually appeared. My luck isn't bad. Lin Haoran had already opened his left eye, the reincarnation ghost eye. In his ghost eye, in the darkness of the warehouse, a lizard-like monster ghost creature was crazily devouring the fat cat's corpse. The left eye of the reincarnation ghost eye trembled slightly, and the information of this lizard-like monster ghost creature appeared in Lin Haoran's mind. Name, Lizard Man Ghost, Elite, Aptitude, C, Type, Physical, Level, 8, Ability, Toxin Infection, the Lizard Man Ghost's teeth contain a large amount of toxins and bacteria. If bitten, the body will slowly become infected and corrode to death. Ghost Information, when alive, it was a lizard person. After being cruelly killed by humans and made into a specimen, it became a vengeful ghost creature that feeds on humans. Its weakness is the head. Description, Lizard 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 I'll suck you dry, baby, be good, I'll give you a lizard. Level 8, Elite Lizard Man Ghost with C Qualification It seems that the level of the ghosts that have come through the ghost realm crack this time is not low. This Lizard Man Ghost is not something that ordinary players can defeat alone in the game. Of course, it's a different story when encountering those abnormal players. He he he. Just then, the rotten corpse ghost and the one-eyed ghost at the warehouse door had already finished devouring the corpses. They stood up, mouths full of blood and flesh, and rushed towards Wang Defa and the others with their teeth and claws. Ah. Boss, they're here. Boss, run quickly. We're going to be bitten to death. Wang Defa's subordinates were immediately frightened, their faces full of fear as they shouted at Wang Defa and Lin Haoran. M Master, please take action quickly. Wang Defa's mouth trembled in fear as he spoke to Lin Haoran. Just a group of ants. What's there to be afraid of? Pathetic. Lin Haoran glanced lightly at these low-level rotten corpse ghosts and said indifferently. Crackle. Immediately, to the shocked eyes of Wang Defa and the others, a violent green lightning suddenly burst out from Lin Haoran's body. With a wave of his hand, the terrifying green lightning, like a snake, struck the rotten corpse ghosts. The bodies of these ghosts were directly blasted into charcoal, dead beyond death. Boom 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 boom. The green lightning flickered, these low-level rotten corpse ghosts were no match for Lin Haoran at all. The green lightning instantly killed them all effortlessly. The entire warehouse instantly became quiet. Wang Defa and the others stared wide-eyed, their mouths could fit a watermelon, their faces filled with shock as they looked at Lin Haoran, who was surrounded by lightning. In their minds, Lin Haoran's image at this moment was like a god descending to earth. Is this a deity? A thought suddenly popped into the minds of Wang Defa's subordinates. Wang Defa's pupils trembled violently, his eyes filled with intense shock and excitement. This is great. Ha, ah, this is great. Master is indeed extraordinary. We must hold on to Master's thigh at all costs. Wang Defa roared excitedly in his mind, his gaze towards Lin Haoran filled with fervor. At this point, there was only the elite lizard man ghost left in the darkness of the warehouse. But this guy's intelligence was not low. It had been hiding in the darkness, not daring to come out easily. Its lizard-like eyes were fixed on Lin Haoran, sensing the danger he posed. Lizard-like instincts are very accurate. You won't come out, ha? Huh? Then die in the darkness. Lin Haoran looked at the lizard man ghost in the darkness, who refused to come out, and grinned, saying lightly. Suddenly, a black spear appeared in Lin Haoran's hand, the A-rank ghost weapon, Thunder Ghost Spear. Wang Fatty and the others were dumbfounded. 
How did the master suddenly appear with such a long gun? Did he hide it in his crotch? It's ridiculous to bring it out to fight. Lin Haoran's left eye, the reincarnation ghost eye, turned into a vertical pupil, giving him night vision and a broad field of view. The lizard-like ghost in the darkness had no idea that it was completely exposed in Lin Haoran's eyes. Da da da. Lin Haoran held the thunder ghost gun and walked step by step towards the position of the lizard-like ghost. The lizard-like ghost was suddenly startled. Could this guy actually see him? However, the lizard-like ghost still held onto a glimmer of hope and only lowered his breathing and heartbeat, without leaving, preparing to continue lurking and launching a surprise attack when Lin Haoran got closer. He was counting on catching him off guard, not playing fair. A sinister smile appeared on the lizard-like ghost's face as he silently praised himself. Lin Haoran's mouth slightly curved upwards, revealing a mocking smile as he calmly said, So, you're an old sixth ghost. Then please go die. Chapter 113 Harvesting Ghost Jade Soul Jade Urinal Lin Haoran's eyes flickered with a flash of lightning, and countless green thunderbolts surged from his body. They were instantly infused into the thunder ghost spear in his hand. Crackling The thunder ghost spear immediately emitted dazzling lightning, and the spearhead shimmered with astonishing thunder power. Lin Haoran thrust the spear into the darkness, the long spear resembling a thunderous dragon, flashing with electric light, and moving at an extremely fast speed. He executed a move called Thunder Ghost Kill. The thunder spear pierced towards the head of the lizard man ghost in the darkness. The lizard man ghost looked at the long spear that resembled a thunderous dragon approaching him and was completely dumbfounded. This is so realistic, it can actually see me. This thought appeared in the lizard man ghost's mind. Boom. It was already too late for it to dodge. Its head was directly blown off by Lin Haoran's spear. The lizard man ghost's head burst open like a watermelon, and countless black blood splattered out, turning it into a headless corpse. Lin Haoran picked up its ghost crystal and swallowed it in one gulp. Although it was an 8th grade ghost crystal, it was an elite template, containing a considerable amount of ghost energy. After dealing with the lizard man ghost, Lin Haoran went directly to the box containing antique jade stones. At this moment, the box emitted a strong ghost aura. Lin Haoran's face revealed a hint of excitement. Without any hesitation, he opened the box with a single spear strike, revealing pieces of jade stones shimmering with black light. These burial jade stones had already turned into ghost jade after being catalyzed by ghost energy, possessing the same effect as ghost crystals. Lin Haoran waved his hand and collected all these ghost jades into the system backpack. After the integration of the game and reality, the system backpack function could also be used in the real world, which was very convenient. Lin Haoran continued to open several more boxes, and inside were all antiques and jade stones. These jade stones had all turned into ghost jades, and Lin Haoran collected them all into the system backpack. However, these antiques were somewhat disappointing. Several boxes of antiques only catalyzed two ghost creatures. The rest of the antiques did not turn into ghost creatures. I was too greedy. Originally, the probability was extremely low, having two ghost creatures is already good. Lin Haoran sighed slightly. The probability of antiques being catalyzed into ghost creatures was very low, perhaps one in 10,000. Now, out of hundreds of antiques, two ghost creatures were born. It could be said that he was already very lucky. M Master, what is this? Wang Defa and the others saw Lin Haoran wave his hand in the void, and those jade stones disappeared. They were once again shocked. Wang Defa came to Lin Haoran's side and asked with some astonishment, shouldn't ask what shouldn't be asked. Lin Haoran glanced at Wang Defa and said lightly. Why yes, master. Wang Defa was instantly startled and cursed himself for being foolish. How could he ask about such a confidential matter? If it were you, you wouldn't tell others either, right? Lin Haoran picked up two ghost creatures. One was a jade pendant, and the other was a ceramic jar. Lin Haoran's left eye, the reincarnation ghost eye, trembled slightly, and the information of these two ghost creatures appeared in his mind, name, soul jade pendant, type, the great ghost creature, effect, can defend against one soul attack for the wearer, but there is a limit. When the limit is exceeded, it can only partially defend against soul damage. Ghost information, originally a burial jade pendant on earth, it has been catalyzed by ghost energy to become a ghost creature. 
If it is older, its level will be higher. Name, ghost pot type, sea level ghost creature effect, contains a special space, can store liquid, can freely intake and release liquid. Ghost information, a burial urinal on earth, catalyzed by ghost energy to become a ghost creature, capable of holding urine. And all other liquids, it is a good container. Lin Haoren's eyes lit up when he saw a soul jade pendant. Anything related to souls is a good thing. Lin Haoren was very satisfied. He decided to give it to Xiu Xue to wear. She was the youngest and the weakest in strength. She was his daughter, who else would he dote on? Little Lei Ming, so, what about me? When Lin Haoren saw the second ghost creature, the ghost pot, he almost wanted to throw it away. It turned out to be a urinal. Lin Haoren couldn't help but smell it, and there was a faint smell of urine. He directly threw it into a dim corner of the system backpack. Lin Haoren checked again to make sure nothing was missed, then turned to Wang Defa, who was standing respectfully behind him, and said, Let's go. Let me see the antiques and jade in your place. Yes. Master. Wang Defa immediately said respectfully. Lin Haoren was very satisfied with Wang Defa's attitude and his ability to get things done. Most importantly, he was afraid of death and knew his limits. Such a person was easy to manipulate. Moreover, with the illusion seed he left in his mind, Wang Defa couldn't even think of betraying him. He is a useful person. If there is a suitable ghost, I can make a contract with him and make him completely loyal to me. Lin Haoren looked at Wang Defa, who was like a dog in front of him, with a slight smile on his lips. Then he left the warehouse with Wang Defa and others, got in the car, and drove towards Wang Defa's store. Along the way, the streets were filled with blood-red blood in scattered limbs. The men in the car almost vomited. When they encountered reckless ghosts who wanted to cause trouble, Lin Haoren simply extended a finger and released a blue lightning, directly electrocuting them. But Lin Haoren said he had too many children and couldn't afford to raise them, so he killed them. Wang Defa and the others looked at Lin Haoren with even more reverence and admiration, as if he were a god. There were still humans being chased by ghosts on the street. When those few humans saw Lin Haoren and the other's car, they suddenly saw hope and walked to the middle of the road, trying to stop Lin Haoren and the other's car, shouting excitedly, Big brother! Save us! Take us with you! Yes, saving a life is better than building a seven-level pagoda. You will definitely gain merit. Big brother! Please stop the car and save us! The few people looked at the car approaching quickly, waving their hands and shouting excitedly. Run them over. Lin Haoren saw these people running to the middle of the road to stop the car, a hint of indifference flashed in his eyes, and he said calmly. It's. The boss. The driver's little brother, upon hearing this, didn't hesitate for a moment. Lin Haoren is now a god in their hearts. Even if Lin Haoren told him to eat shit, he would feel that he must eat it. Any hesitation, even for a second, would be a sign of disrespect towards Lin Haoren. P.S. My dear readers, I have to go to work tomorrow, sob 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 my mom scolded me for not focusing on my job and said I won't get married if I don't work, so she's forcing me to go to work. I won't be able to write three chapters every day for you anymore, only two chapters. If I have time or if there are more donations, I will give you extra updates. Sigh, finally going to work, feeling miserable. Chapter 114 Ghost Jade Bumper Harvest A Level Instant Teleportation Ghost Ring Boom 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 the younger brother immediately stepped on the accelerator, almost hitting the ground. The car roared loudly, like a mechanical beast, and rushed towards the few people blocking the road. The people blocking the road were dumbfounded. They still held on to the idea of a normal legal society and thought it was impossible to hit someone. But they never expected that there would be someone so brave, accelerating and crashing into them. Pung. The person in the middle of the road was directly hit by the car and turned into a pile of flesh. His whole body burst open, blood splattering everywhere, dead beyond death. The two men on the side of the road narrowly escaped because the car was not wide enough. They looked at the car driving away and their dead friend, angrily and fearfully cursing at Lin Haoren and the others, Devil. You will not have a good death. You will definitely face retribution. He 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 he. But before they could finish speaking, they were attacked by a group of ghosts and monsters. 
A miserable scream immediately sounded, and everything fell into silence. After driving for half an hour, Lin Haoren and the others finally returned to Wang Defa's antique shop. The once crowded and lively antique street had now become a street of blood. The ground was covered in bloodstains and flesh, but there were no ghosts to be seen. They should have gone somewhere else to find food. But this was also good, saving them trouble. These low-level ghosts were not worth their effort, and the ghost crystals were basically useless to them. Wang Defa looked at the familiar street now in this state and couldn't help but break out in a cold sweat. Master. Follow me. Wang Defa wiped the cold sweat from his forehead and led Lin Haoren into his shop, then entered an underground basement. Inside were boxes filled with burial jade and antiques he had recently acquired. As soon as Lin Haoren entered the basement, he immediately felt a strong ghostly aura. Seeing the dozen or so boxes emitting ghostly energy, a hint of satisfaction flashed in his eyes. He said to Wang Defa, not bad. I am satisfied. As a reward, I will help you contract a ghost. Don't disappoint me in the future. A cold light flashed in Lin Haoren's eyes as he said lightly to Wang Defa, smack. Although Wang Defa didn't know what a contracted ghost was, his intuition told him that he was about to rise. Without any hesitation, Wang Defa immediately knelt in front of Lin Haoren and excitedly kowtowed, saying, Master. I, Wang Defa, will be absolutely loyal to you in the future, without any other thoughts. I, Wang Defa, will be the most loyal and fierce dog to the master. Whoever you want me to bite, I will bite. Wang Defa excitedly knocked his head against Lin Haoren's, which was the greatest gesture of respect in his line of work. Lin Haoren glanced at Wang Defa and said, Do well. I won't treat you unfairly. Yes. Master. Wang Defa's jealous hand trembled as he quickly spoke. Lin Haoren waved his hand and directly put the ghost jade back into his system backpack. Lin Haoren glanced at the quantity and saw that he had collected 1,200 pieces of ghost jade from the warehouse. He didn't know how concentrated the ghost energy inside was, as the concentration determined the effectiveness of the ghost jade. Generally, the concentration of ghost energy in the ghost jade is equivalent to a level 5 to 10 ghost crystal. Of course, some larger or more ancient ghost jade may contain higher concentrations of ghost energy, possibly comparable to a level 20, 30, or even 50 ghost crystal, with no upper limit. With this batch of ghost jade, my own and the ghost's levels should increase by one or two levels. It's simply amazing. If there are ghost jade with high concentrations, it might even directly increase by several levels. Lin Haoren secretly thought in his heart, feeling very satisfied. Freeloading is enjoyable. Lin Haoren then looked at the box containing antiques and reached out to open all the wooden boxes. The first box had no ghost objects, neither did the second or third box. Lin Haoren's face became increasingly ugly. The probability is too low. Finally, in the sixth box, Lin Haoren finally noticed an antique emitting ghost energy. It was a golden ring. Lin Haoren picked it up, and the reincarnation ghost eye flickered slightly. The information about this ghost ring instantly appeared in Lin Haoren's mind, name, instant teleportation ghost ring, type, a level ghost object, effect, can infuse ghost energy, allowing the wearer to teleport freely. The more ghost energy infused, the farther the teleportation distance, up to a maximum of 500 meters. Cooldown time, 1 minute. Ghost object information, originally a ring worn by a deceased person on Earth, it was taken off and catalyzed by ghost energy, turning into a ghost object with a magical teleportation ability. Lin Haoren's eyes lit up when he saw this ghost object, like light bulbs. This. This instant teleportation ghost ring is too powerful. It's both offensive and defensive, capable of escaping and attacking. Not bad, not bad at all. Lin Haoren looked at the ring emitting black energy, extremely satisfied in his heart, and immediately put it on his finger. Lin Haoren continued to open the boxes, but unfortunately, his luck was not good. The remaining antiques were not turned into ghost objects. However, Lin Haoren obtained the instant teleportation ghost ring, a small top quality ghost object, and was already content. After all, he didn't lose out, but gained blood. Let's go. I'll take you to contract a ghost. Lin Haoren was in a good mood and turned to Wang Defa, saying, Yes. Master. Wang Defa quickly and respectfully replied. 
What are you doing? Stay away. Or we won't be polite. Just then, a noisy sound came from outside, as if someone had broken in. This was the voice of Wang Defa's subordinates. Wang Defa's face changed, and a glint flashed in Lin Haoren's eyes. Then, he led Wang Defa out of the basement. Chapter 115 Gameplay Her face cat ghost in Wang Defa's antique shop, four young men were holding bags filled with antiques, friendly reminder, fake goods. Behind them was a cold-hearted man, but what caught people's attention the most were the two ghosts beside him. One of them wore a white dress with long hair that reached the waist, revealing a pair of pitch-black eyes between the strands of hair. It stared straight at Wang Defa's subordinates with a two-meter-long tongue that sent chills down their spines. Ghost, long-tongued female ghost, D-level aptitude, level 5. There was also a creature that looked like a cat but had a creepy human face, with a sinister smile on its face. Ghost, face cat ghost, C-level aptitude, level 5. This cold-hearted man was a player of the apocalypse mysterious game. When the cracks in the ghost realm appeared and ghosts ran rampant, he was initially terrified. However, he soon discovered that these ghosts were actually from the apocalypse mysterious game. This shocked him, but even more shocking was the fact that he could summon the game's ghosts and use the game's powers. He was also a level 5 player, possessing enough strength to crush a person's head with a single punch. This discovery filled him with excitement. He and his four friends started killing ghosts and made their way to the antique street. When they saw these invaluable antiques, greed filled their hearts, and they came to take them away. They didn't know what was happening, why the game's ghosts were appearing in reality, but as modern-minded individuals, their first instinct was to find valuable things. After collecting these antiques, they planned to go to the bank. The desires in the cold-hearted man's heart were like a wild beast breaking free, acting recklessly and madly. Stop. These belong to our boss. Our boss is even more powerful than a god. If you don't want to die, get lost. That's right. Our boss is inside. While he hasn't come out yet, you better leave. Otherwise, you won't have a good end. Wang Defa's subordinates, seeing these people greedily taking away their boss's antiques, immediately became furious and scolded them. However, their attention was always on the two ghosts beside the cold-hearted man, and cold sweat dripped down their foreheads. This guy seemed like an ordinary person, yet he could control these filthy things. Who exactly was he? Ha ha ha. A god. Spread the word, let them see what a real god is. The people who were moving the antiques burst into laughter upon hearing this, then turned to the cold-hearted man and said with a smile. The corners of the cold-hearted man's mouth slightly curved up as he calmly said to the long-tongued female ghost, Go. Kill them. On their way, he had already killed several foolish people. A few more wouldn't make much difference. He he he. The long-tongued female ghost's eyes flashed with a cruel light, her mouth twisted into a sinister curve. She extended her sharp claws and her long tongue, then pounced towards Wang Defa's subordinates. Ah ah ah. The little brothers immediately let out a scream of fear. One of them was directly strangled by the long-tongued female ghost, pulled towards her. The long-tongued female ghost immediately opened her blood-filled mouth, revealing sharp teeth, and bit off the little brother's head, breaking his neck. Put. Blood splattered everywhere, and a headless body twitched slightly on the ground. The long-tongued female ghost chewed on the little brother's head, showing an expression of enjoyment, as if she was savoring a delicious human delicacy. Ah. The little brothers became even more terrified, running around the antique shop. Ha ha ha. Did you see that, a bunch of trash? This is the power of a deity. The few people carrying antiques witnessed this scene and immediately showed a crazy smile. This feeling of doing whatever they pleased was amazing. Stop. Just then, Wang Defa and Lin Haoren walked out of the basement. Wang Defa, seeing that one of his little brothers had lost his head, became furious and pulled out a handgun, aiming it at the group of people. Seeing the handgun, they panicked and quickly took a step back. They were only flesh and blood, unable to withstand bullets. Big. Big brother, let's talk slowly, don't act impulsively, otherwise, both sides will suffer. One of them signaled to the cold-hearted man and pretended to surrender, speaking to Wang Defa. 
Wang Defa immediately aimed the handgun at the man speaking and cursed at him, shut up. Otherwise, I'll. Meow. Before Wang Defa could finish speaking, a strange cat's meow suddenly sounded. Ugh. Wang Defa suddenly felt like his head had been hit by a truck, buzzing loudly, and intense pain surged. The handgun in Wang Defa's hand fell to the ground as he tightly held his head, which felt like it was about to explode. This was the skill of the cat-faced ghost, emitting a cat's meow that could cause mental damage to weak enemies, ranging from mental retardation to headaches and dizziness. It was somewhat similar to the skill of the silly duck, but the silly duck's skill targeted the soul, surpassing the cat-faced ghost in multiple aspects. Long-tongued female ghost. Kill him. The cold-hearted man's mouth curved into a cruel smile as he coldly spoke to the long-tongued female ghost. The cold-hearted man was doing well in the game, possessing a C-level qualification and controlling the ghostly creature, the cat-faced ghost. This was also his proudest ghostly creature. With it, he was basically invincible, able to attack or retreat as needed. Who in this world could still be his opponent? Even the six paths that caused a stir on the forum. Six paths of ghosts and gods. Ha ha ha. Laughable. If I encounter them, I will let everyone know that my transmission is the strongest. Ha ha ha. The cold-hearted man's eyes flickered with intense arrogance as he laughed madly in his heart. P.S. Today is my first day at work. I almost couldn't get up, I was so tired, feeling like I was in a daze. The sales data for this book was still very poor yesterday, sob sob sob. I'm really struggling, quack. Chapter 116 If this is a ghost, then it must be a ghost god. But the cold-hearted man never expected that he would actually encounter Lu Dao at this moment. He he. The long-tongued female ghost heard the cold-hearted man's command and immediately let out a scream from her mouth. Her long tongue, like a sharp thorn, quickly stabbed towards Wang Defa's heart. If it hits, it will definitely pierce his heart. Die. You ant. Times have changed, ghosts and monsters are the way to go. The calm man looked at Wang Defa, who was about to be stabbed to death, with a cruel smile on his face. Oh. Someone who dares to bully me in front of me. Do you not respect me? Even dogs have to look at their owners. Just then, a man's voice faintly sounded, smack. A strong hand tightly grabbed the long tongue of the female ghost, causing her to be confused, looking at the man who was pulling her tongue. What the hell are you fighting for? What does pulling my tongue mean? Who are you? The cold-hearted man was suddenly shocked, his eyes flashed with a glimmer of light, and he asked Lin Haoran in a low voice. Yes, the person who grabbed the long tongue of the female ghost was Lin Haoran. Who I am. Doesn't matter. But the person who wants to kill me, did you get my permission? Lin Haoran said expressionlessly. Fuck. Who the fuck are you? I fucking hate it when people pretend to be cool in front of me. Send a message. Kill him quickly. One of the young men on the cold-hearted man's side couldn't help but point at Lin Haoran and curse when he saw how he was acting. But before the cold-hearted man could take action, a flash of green lightning suddenly struck, boom. The man who was speaking was instantly turned into a piece of charcoal by the green lightning, no longer human-shaped. I also hate it when people speak loudly in front of me, so you better die. Lin Haoran retracted his left hand and said coldly. Ah uh, ah uh, ah. Uh. The remaining three young men immediately let out a terrified scream, crawling and rolling to the back of the cold-hearted man, looking at Lin Haoran with fear on their faces. Cold sweat dripped down the cold-hearted man's forehead. He didn't even see how Lin Haoran made his move. Green lightning. But he is a human, how could he possess the power of ghosts and monsters? The cold-hearted man couldn't understand, so he felt extremely uneasy. He 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 he. At this moment, the long-tongued female ghost kept pulling her own tongue, trying to pull it back. You. You better die too. Lin Haoran glanced at the long-tongued female ghost, and a green lightning suddenly burst out from his right hand, following the tongue and directly electrocuting the long-tongued female ghost. Crackling. A thunderous sound rang out, and the long-tongued female ghost's body was instantly surrounded by green lightning, turning into a piece of charcoal. She couldn't be more dead. Gurgle. The entire antique shop instantly fell silent, 
and the cold-hearted men looked at Lin Haoren with disbelief. Is this guy a devil? Wang Fatty and the others looked at Lin Haoren with admiration and reverence. If he is a ghost, he must be a god. They are willing to contribute their faith and follow him for eternity. Who? Who are you? You must also be a player of the Apocalypse Strange game. We are all players. There's no need for this, we can coexist peacefully. Now. We have power, we can obtain everything. The cold-hearted man was sweating profusely, his pupils trembling slightly, staring at Lin Haoren and said, I've said. Who I am doesn't matter. What matters is. You killed my people. So you must. Die. Lin Haoren's eyes were as cold as ice under a glacier, as indifferent as snow. He said coldly to the cold-hearted man, kill the cat-faced ghost. When the cold-hearted man heard the last word from Lin Haoren, he knew that there could be no reconciliation between them. Suppressing the fear in his heart, he shouted loudly at the cat-faced ghost, who was in his body. The cat-faced ghost's eyes immediately flickered with dangerous light, about to open its mouth and launch a psychic attack on Lin Haoren. But when the cat-faced ghost saw Lin Haoren's eyes, it instantly lost consciousness, like a soulless puppet, standing still in place. Ha! Huh? Cat-faced ghost! What are you still doing? Hurry up and kill him, didn't you hear? The cold-hearted man saw that the cat-faced ghost was still standing there foolishly, and his face immediately turned angry as he shouted at it. But the cat-faced ghost remained motionless, as if it hadn't hurt anything. Cat-faced ghost. Kill him. Lin Haoren's left eye, the samsara ghost eye, had already opened at this moment. Its pitch-black pupils, with concentric white circles like the cycle of hell, emitted a strange black mist. The corners of Lin Haoren's mouth slightly curved upwards as he calmly spoke to the cat-faced ghost. Meow. The cat-faced ghost's mouth immediately emitted a low voice, like the sound of a hunting demon beginning. P.S. Thanks to Xiao Chun for the daily unhappiness gift, and thanks to Aunt Huang for the showgirl thanks to the treasure children for the gifts, I stayed up late last night to write a bit, and with some slacking off in the morning, I'll give you an extra chapter. I'll try to give you another chapter tomorrow. Thank you all for your support. Asterisk greater than over equal to omega less than over equal to, translation, asterisk greater than over equal to omega less than over equal to. Chapter 117, Wang Defa's contract with the face cat ghost at this moment, the face cat ghost was already under the control of Lin Haoren. Even if its father didn't recognize it, how would it know that the cold-hearted man was the scallion? The face cat ghost opened its disgusting mouth, revealing sharp fangs and extending its sharp claws, pouncing directly towards the cold-hearted man and the others. Ah ah ah. Save me, don't bite me. Send a message. Please save me. Face cat ghost, you evil spirit. You actually killed your own master. You deserve to die. Meow meow. In no time, the cold-hearted man and the others were all killed by the face cat ghost, their necks marked with bloody claw marks, staining the ground. The eyes of the cold-hearted man's corpse still held a deep sense of confusion and fear, as if he couldn't understand how his own ghost could kill him. With the death of the cold-hearted man, the contract between the face cat ghost and him was also severed. Because the contract between a person and a ghost is an equal one, the face cat ghost did not suffer any backlash. It was still firmly controlled by Lin Haoran, like a puppet without a soul. Its mouth and paws were covered in blood and flesh, and with its eerie face, it resembled an evil ghost crawling up from hell. Wang Pangzi and his men saw that Lin Haoran had actually controlled a ghost and effortlessly killed the enemy. Their admiration for Lin Haoran could no longer be described in words. They felt that even if Lin Haoran asked them to die, they would willingly do so. Wang Defa and his men knelt down in front of Lin Haoran with devout reverence, murmuring to themselves, A god descended to earth. A god descended to earth. Wang Defa. Come here, Lin Haoran said, looking at Wang Defa kneeling on the ground. Yes. Master, Wang Defa replied without hesitation, coming to Lin Haoran's side and looking at him with fervent eyes. Face cat ghost. Open your master servant's soul contract and form a contract with Wang Defa, Lin Haoran said directly to the controlled face cat ghost. Meow meow. Without any hesitation, the face cat ghost's head displayed a mysterious formation and shot towards Wang Defa's mind, forming a soul contract with him. 
Wang Defa. This face cat ghost is good. I will reward you with it. You have also become a ghost tamer, Lin Haoren said to Wang Defa. Instantly, Wang Defa felt an indescribable connection between his soul and the face cat ghost. With just a thought, he could kill the face cat ghost. In other words, he had become a divine being who controlled ghosts. Wang Defa was ecstatic in his heart and immediately knelt in front of Lin Haoren, saying excitedly, Thank you for the bestowed grace, Master. Thank you for the bestowed grace. I will be willing to die for you. Poo Pew Poo. Wang Defa cowed out to Lin Haoren, silently vowing to do everything for him. Hmm. Remember your words, Lin Haoren's voice slowly sounded, as cold as the night wind, chilling to the bone. Yes. I will remember, Wang Defa respectfully and firmly replied. You're too naive. Just then, Lin Haoren's phone suddenly rang, the strange ringtone sounding somewhat comical. Lin Haoren furrowed his brows, took out his phone, and looked at the caller ID on the screen. Instantly, a sinister smile appeared on his face. He answered the call, and a voice filled with crying and fear came from the phone. Haoren. Sob 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 come quickly and save us, there are monsters everywhere near my house, many people have been killed and eaten. Can you come and save me? I'm so scared. Sob sob sob. It was the voice of Shang Wan Waner. You guys? Is Zhang Lei with you? Lin Haoran's mouth slightly curved upwards as he spoke to Shang Wan Waner. Ah. Uh, he, he came to me for. Something, we really didn't have any relationship. Shang Wan Waner on the other end of the line hesitated noticeably, quickly stuttering her words to Lin Haoran. I understand. Wait for me. I will come to save you right away. Lin Haoran interrupted Shang Wan Waner's words, then said to her. Really? Sob 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 Haoran, I love you. You still love me after all. Thank you, Haoran. Hurry up and come, I'm waiting for you. Shang Wan Wana was suddenly overjoyed, excitedly speaking to Lin Haoran. Lin Haoran hung up the phone directly, a mysterious smile appearing on his face. He licked his lips and muttered with a smirk, it's time to end this grudge. Shang Wan Waner, and Zhang Lei too. Lin Haoren turned around and said to Wang Defa, give me the car keys. Find a place to hide or go hunt those monsters yourself. The ghost crystals obtained after the death of the monsters can enhance your strength as a monster. As for how you choose, it's up to you. Chapter 118 Lin Haoren's Suppression, Zhang Lei's Misfortune Lin Haoren picked up the keys and left. He had already helped Wang Defa make a contract with a ghost. Whether they lived or died would depend on their fate, and it had nothing to do with him anymore. Wang Defa watched Lin Haoran leave and fell into silence. Boss. What do we do now? The subordinates gathered around Wang Defa and asked. Let's first dispose of Xiao Lu's body. Cremate it so that these disgusting things won't eat it. Then we'll go hunt down ghosts to increase our strength. Only by becoming stronger can we survive, and only by becoming stronger will we not be abandoned by our master. Wang Defa's eyes flickered with determination as he spoke to his subordinates. Yes. Boss. The subordinates nodded in response and began to handle the body of the subordinate whose head was bitten off by the long-tongued female ghost. In the car, Lin Haoran stepped on the accelerator and sped towards Shang Wan Waner's residence. Shang Wan Waner's place was not far away, only about 10 minutes by car. Along the way, Lin Haoran looked at the bloodstained ground on both sides of the street and knew that the town had already been invaded by ghosts. Only players like the cold-hearted man had a chance to survive, and of course, there were also some people who hid and had a chance to survive. Generally, the time for the appearance of cracks in the ghost realm would not be too long. By tomorrow morning, the cracks would disappear, and the ghosts would return to the game world. As for how many people in the town would survive until tomorrow morning, it would depend on their fate. After more than 10 minutes, Lin Haoran finally arrived at the apartment complex where Shang Wan Waner lived. Shang Wan Waner was in building 13, on the 8th floor. Lin Haoran got out of the car, and there were many ghosts wandering around the residential area. When these ghosts saw Lin Haoran, they immediately showed cruel smiles and rushed towards him, baring their teeth. A woo woo. He he he. 
Lin Haoren's eyes were as cold as snow, and a powerful ghostly aura surged from his body. Snowflakes appeared in the air, and his eyes flickered with an icy blue light as he coldly said, Get lost. Instantly, a strong and terrifying pressure swept towards the ghosts. The previously excited ghosts suddenly showed fear in their eyes, and their running footsteps immediately stopped. They looked at Lin Haoren in terror. Lin Haoren calmly walked past these ghosts, and they didn't even dare to breathe. Only after Lin Haoren walked far away did these ghosts dare to breathe heavily. Oh. So scary, I thought I was going to die. He he he. I almost peed myself, such a terrifying pressure. The ghosts are still trembling with fear, communicating with each other. Some even feel grateful to Lin Haoren for sparing their lives. They know that it wouldn't take much effort for Lin Haoren to kill them. Woo woo. What a good person, may they have a peaceful life. These ghosts bow their hands together in gratitude towards Lin Haoren's back. At this moment, in apartment 801 on the 8th floor of building 13, Shang Wan Wanner and Zhang Lei are trembling in fear, hiding in the house. Zhang Lei feels extremely unlucky. Not only did he encounter a dog earlier, but a few days ago, he was chased by a group of people with knives, claiming that he had stolen two million from them. It's like he's in deep trouble, to the point where he can't even go home. He can only hide here with Shang Wan Wanner and vent his anger. Although he has been through tough times, he can still manage, and it gives Zhang Lei a strange sense of excitement. But the unluckiest thing happened when he and Shang Wan Wanner were in the heat of the moment, they heard various screams from outside. When they looked out the window, they were almost scared to death. They saw many ghosts in the neighborhood, hunting and devouring humans madly. This directly frightened the two of them, and Zhang Lei and Xia Kunkin were both trembling. When they called the police, no one answered. Then Shang Wan Wanner was the first to think of Lin Haoren. This can be said to be ironic. When they were having an affair, they didn't think of Lin Haoren, but when there was a threat, they thought of Lin Haoren. Zhang Lei. Are we going to die? I don't want to be eaten by those disgusting things. I'm scared. Wuo Shang Wan Wanner, with her hair loose, tightly clung to Zhang Lei's arm, crying and asking. Don't be afraid. We will definitely survive. With me here, you won't die. A hint of disgust flashed in Zhang Lei's eyes, but he comforted Shang Wan Wanner. Zhang Lei. You're so good. Shang Wan Wanner looked at Zhang Lei with affection, resting her head on his shoulder. Just as Zhang Lei was about to regain his confidence, he caught a glimpse of a shadow on the windowsill. Zhang Lei's pupils trembled slightly as he slowly turned his head to look. Ah. Suddenly, a scream of terror echoed through the entire neighborhood silence. Chapter 119 Desire Ghost Is this the takeout you ordered? In front of the glass door on the balcony, a disgusting humanoid ghost was looking at him and Shang Wan Wanner with a creepy gaze. It had dry and wrinkled skin, resembling an old man, with its tongue sticking out and dripping disgusting saliva. The most exaggerated thing was the disgusting thing underneath its body, constantly shaking its head, and a row of teeth. This ghost was simply despicable to the extreme. E-level ghost, level 3, desire ghost. At this moment, the desire ghost was looking at Zhang Lei and Shang Wan Wanner with greedy eyes, with drool dripping from its mouth. Ah! Zhang Lei immediately let out a terrified scream, his pupils filled with fear. Bang! The glass door on the windowsill was instantly shattered by the desire ghost, and it immediately pounced towards Zhang Lei and Shang Wan Wanner with an excited and despicable smile. Shang Wan Wanner didn't know what was happening, and suddenly, Zhang Lei pushed her out, and she crashed into something disgusting. Shang Wan Wanner turned her head and saw a despicable old man like smile. Ah! Shang Wan Wanner's eyes widened, and she let out a scream of fear. After Zhang Lei sent Shang Wan Wanner into the arms of the desire ghost, without any hesitation, he ran away. Ah ah ah! Zhang Lei, you're not human! Ah! You deserve to die. You beast. Even if I become a ghost, I won't let you go, Zhang Lei. Shang Wan Wanner let out a heart-wrenching scream, struggling frantically, but the desire ghost showed an even more excited and perverted smile, firmly holding onto Shang Wan Wanner, with drool dripping down. Ah. Let go of me. Please, spare me, don't eat me. I've been through enough. I'm dirty. 
Sob sob sob, don't eat me. Shang Wan Waner screamed frantically, but the desire ghost became even more excited, sticking out its disgusting tongue and licking Shang Wan Waner's body, its yellow teeth making people want to vomit. On the other side, as Zhang Lei was running away in panic, he just opened the door, and a disgusting and perverted face appeared in front of him, another desire ghost. Ah. Zhang Lei let out a terrified scream, but before he could react, he was grabbed by the desire ghost waiting outside the door and dragged into the house. Ha ha ha. Zhang Lei, did you think you could escape? Die. You're going to die too. Shang Wan Waner saw Zhang Lei being dragged back by another desire ghost and suddenly became like an evil spirit, laughing happily. He 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 he. The two desire ghosts glanced at each other, showing a perverted smile, their yellow and dirty teeth not having been brushed for who knows how many years, greedily looking at Shang Wan Waner and Zhang Lei. The reason why it is called a desire ghost is because it refers to some humans who have extreme sexual desires and continue to obsess over them even after death. Their sexual desires are overwhelming and are nurtured by ghostly energy, turning them into desire ghosts. The greatest hobby of desire ghosts is to abuse and violate humans. Their lower parts are the embodiment of desire, constantly erect. Don't come. Please, don't come. I'm dirty, I've been fucked by a dog. Shang Wan Waner saw the lewd and perverted smiles of the two desire ghosts and immediately wet herself, trembling all over with extreme fear in her eyes. Zhang Lei next to her was so scared that he defecated, sweating profusely, his mind filled with fear. Step step step. Just then, footsteps could be heard at the door, causing the two ghosts to pause. How could there still be people at this time? Only to see a figure wearing a black windbreaker appear before everyone's eyes. How? How ran? This person was Lin Haoran. Lin Haoran saw Shang Wan Waner and Zhang Lei being controlled by the two desire ghosts, seemingly about to engage in immoral acts. His mouth slightly curved upwards, revealing a mysterious smile as he said, Oh. Did I interrupt you? Lin Haoran walked directly to the sofa in the living room, as if he were in his own home, crossing his legs and calmly looking at the confused desire ghosts, Shang Wan Waner, and Zhang Lei. The two desire ghosts were somewhat overwhelmed, looking at each other, and could see a big question mark in each other's eyes. Wow wow wow. Who the fuck is this? Did you order takeout? One of the desire ghosts asked the other with a confused expression. Wow wow wow. No. Takeout is unhealthy, I prefer to find fresh humans to do it with, and then eat them. The other desire ghost touched his almost bald head and shook it, saying. Shang Wan Waner and Zhang Lei were also shocked by Lin Haoren's actions. How brave are you? Didn't you see those two monsters? If you're not going to run, why the hell are you sitting on the sofa with your legs crossed? Are you planning to watch a battle between humans and ghosts? Well, that's fine. It's good to die together. Although Shang Wan Waner was puzzled by Lin Haoren's strange behavior, she thought that Lin Haoran was also going to die with them, and a twisted smile appeared on her face. This woman is inherently evil. Or rather, human nature is inherently evil. If one does not receive proper guidance, human nature is evil from birth. P.S. Today, I will continue to add an extra chapter to the gift box that Xiaochen sent when she was unhappy. Thank you for your support, love you all. Asterisk greater than over equal to omega less than over equal to, translation, asterisk greater than over equal to omega less than over equal to. Chapter 120 Settling Grudges, Shang Wan Waner and Zhang Lei's Death How Ran. You came just in time, now we can die together. Ha ha ha. Let's all die, you all deserve to die, all of you. Shang Wan Waner's face revealed a crazy smile, looking at Lin Haoran with a malicious expression, laughing maniacally. He he he. The two lustful ghosts also reacted at this moment, since dinner was served at their doorstep, there was no reason to refuse. One of the lustful ghosts immediately showed its disgusting yellow teeth, grinned at Lin Haoran, and was about to grab him, to enjoy the love of the two brothers. What? Are you doing? A hint of icy blue light flashed in Lin Haoran's eyes, his hair moved without wind, a terrifying aura instantly pressed down on the two lustful ghosts, Lin Haoran's eyes were as cold as ice coldly speaking to the approaching lustful ghost. Boom! The two lustful ghosts instantly felt as if they were being crushed by a mountain, directly kneeling on the ground, 
looking at Lin Haoren with fear, trembling. The aura on Lin Haoren's body was like a ghost king, too terrifying. Husband. I'm here. Just at this moment, a black light flashed, and the beautiful figure of the ghost empress appeared in Lin Haoren's arms, her jade hands holding Lin Haoren's neck, her sexy and hot red lips pressed against Lin Haoren's ear, exhaling a cold breath, emitting a seductive voice. Hmm. Husband. What is this? So lively. Husband, do you have any special hobbies? The ghost empress noticed the two trembling lustful ghosts here, as well as the two humans, and these two humans were looking at her with shocked expressions. The ghost empress smiled charmingly at Lin Haoren, revealing a beautiful smile. Even Zhang Lei on the side was stunned, the ghost empress was too beautiful. Beautiful to the point where it was hard to believe she actually existed. Wife. You came at the right time. Let's watch a great show. Lin Haoren reached out and embraced the ghost empress's slender waist like a water snake, revealing a sinister smile, then said lightly to the two lustful ghosts, Go. Put on a good show for me and my wife, a battle between humans and ghosts for 300 rounds. He he he. The two lustful ghosts immediately nodded in fear, then turned their heads to look at Shang Wan Waner and Zhang Lei on the side. The two lustful ghosts once again revealed their perverted expressions and pounced towards Shang Wan Waner and Zhang Lei. He he he. Their mouths drooled disgustingly, making obscene sounds. Ah. Help me, Haoren, save me. I'm your girlfriend, you can't treat me like this. Sob sob sob. Stay away. Your thing has a mouth, I'm scared. Ah ah ah. Lin Haoren. Ah. I hope you die. Ah. Brother Haoren, I dare not, it was your girlfriend who seduced me. I promise I won't dare again. Please, spare me, sob sob sob. Hmm hmm hmm. But before he could finish speaking, his mouth was blocked by a ghost. Shang Wan Waner and Zhang Lei were directly held by two ghosts. The two of them screamed and struggled frantically, but how could they escape from the two monsters? He he he. For a while, a shocking scene unfolded in the living room, with desperate screams and excited roars intertwining, playing a twisted melody. Husband. I want it too. The ghost queen Yanji's eyes were filled with desire as she reached out and hugged Lin Haoren's neck, her mouth emitting a seductive voice. All right. I will completely satisfy you tonight, my husband. Lin Haoren laughed heartily and directly embraced the ghost queen Yanji's slender waist. Before long, seductive voices once again resounded, contrasting sharply with the violent and crude screams. Over an hour later, the strange sounds in the apartment were coming to an end. The ghost queen Yanji lay in Lin Haoren's arms, her clothes disheveled. Lin Haoren held the ghost queen Yanji with his left hand and, for once, lit a cigarette with his right hand, taking a puff and exhaling a cloud of murky smoke. He looked ahead indifferently, while Shang Wan Waner and Zhang Lei had numb expressions on their faces, resembling walking corpses, covered in injuries. Lin Haoren's gaze was cold and emotionless. Let's completely settle the grudges from the previous life today. Lin Haoren said calmly. Ghosts. Devour them, but don't let them die too quickly. Eat them bite by bite. He he he. The two ghosts immediately nodded repeatedly, then opened their disgusting mouths and bit into the bodies of the two people. Ah ah ah. Kill me, kill me quickly. Ah ah ah. It hurts, it hurts, please kill me quickly. Please, give me a quick death, I beg you. Lin Haoren. You won't have a good death. Shang Wan Waner and Zhang Lei weakly cried out with hoarse voices, and then the living room was filled with the sound of gruesome chewing. The screams grew weaker and weaker, until finally, silence fell, leaving only the horrifying sound of bones being chewed. Lin Haoren burst into laughter and once again fought against the Ghost Queen. Skipping another 10,000 words, after multiple revisions, I give up. Luckily, I was clever enough to review it in advance. P.S. Thank you all for the gifts. I appreciate everyone's support, but please don't send gifts if you're underage. Just reading my sister's books every day is good enough. Chapter 121 Finding the Master of the Ghost Realm Crack Elite Pigman Ghost Chang Wan Waner and Zhang Lei died, their bodies disappeared, and they were tortured, watching their flesh being eaten piece by piece. 
The physical and mental torment made them wish for death, ending their lives in extreme pain. Who? Lin Haoren looked at the bloodstains on the ground, his eyes calm, and exhaled a puff of smoke. He said to the ghost empress in his arms, Madam. Let's go. Follow your lead. Husband, the ghost empress blushed, speaking sweetly to Lin Haoren. Lin Haoren held the ghost empress's jade hand and left. The karma of their past lives had been settled. Lin Haoren felt an unprecedented sense of relief, as if the chains that bound him had fallen off. He felt light. Perhaps this is karma. Husband. Where are we going? Walking on the road, the ghost empress held Lin Haoren's arm sweetly and asked softly. To find the master of the ghost realm crack. Lin Haoren's eyes flashed with a hint of excitement as he said lightly. In each ghost realm crack, a powerful special ghost creature called the master is born. Although the master of the ghost realm crack is formidable, it possesses an irresistible characteristic. Killing the master of the ghost realm crack will definitely drop an incredibly precious ghost treasure. Lin Haoren's eyes flashed with greed. He licked his lips and muttered to himself, the more risks, the greater the rewards. And with my current strength, can't I handle a crack master? The ghost treasure. Must not be missed. Lin Haoren waved his hand, releasing the foolish duck. Quack quack quack. What do you want, Uncle Duck? Foolish duck. Go, fly to the sky and find the place with the densest ghost energy. Lin Haoren spoke to the soul-eating crow ghost. Quack quack quack. The foolish duck tilted its head and flapped its wings, flying into the sky. Boom boom boom. Just as the foolish duck disappeared into the sky, a loud battle cry suddenly sounded not far away. Roar! A huge roar followed. Lin Haoran immediately turned his head and saw a giant monster fighting several other monsters. There were also two young men commanding their own monsters. These two were obviously game players. The giant monster had a huge body, a pig head on a human body, standing at two. Five meters tall and holding a bloody bone cleaver. Sirank Aptitude, Level 7, Elite Monster, Pigman Ghost. Legend has it that when a butcher kills too many pigs, the resentment of the pigs lingers around him. After the butcher dies, catalyzed by the ghost energy, he will turn into a pigman ghost. Roar! The pig-headed ghost opened its blood-filled mouth and let out a roar, wielding its bone-chopping knife with lightning-fast attacks, cutting a player's ghost in half with a single strike. My Kuan Kuan ghost. A player let out a mournful cry. Run. This is an elite ghost, we can't defeat it, hurry and run. At this point, two players were already terrified, screaming frantically as they quickly ran towards the back, coincidentally running into Lin Haoren and Yenho Ghost Emperor who were coming from the opposite direction. The two of them were visibly stunned, especially when they saw the Yenho Ghost Emperor with her stunning beauty, they were even more shocked. Brother. Run quickly. Didn't you see the pig-headed ghost in front? It's an elite ghost, run for your life. One of the young men with a buzz cut reacted first, anxiously saying to Lin Haoren. But the other young man with dyed yellow hair, upon seeing the beautiful Yenho ghost emperor, had a hint of a sinister look in his eyes and showed an inexplicable expression when looking at Lin Haoren. Meanwhile, the pig-headed ghost behind them was excitedly chasing after the two of them with its blood-soaked bone-chopping knife as the pig-headed ghost loved chopping human bones and would get excited when it saw humans. He he. When the young man with yellow hair passed by Lin Haoren and the Yenho ghost emperor, he still grinned at Lin Haoren, suddenly extending his foot, intending to kick Lin Haoren towards the pig-headed ghost. This was pure evil. Put. Ah uh, ah uh, ah. Uh. But the next second, a foot flew through the air, blood splattering everywhere and the young man with yellow hair let out a painful scream, looking at his own foot in horror, which had been cut into two pieces. The Yenho ghost emperor was smiling as she watched the young man with yellow hair, calmly saying, kicking my husband. We'll get you killed. The smile of the Yenho ghost emperor was beautiful, but in the eyes of the young man with yellow hair, it was even scarier than a demon, instantly making him feel as if he had fallen into an icy glacier, his whole body freezing. Ah. You bitch, I'll kill you. Horsetail ghost, kill them for me. The young man with yellow hair angrily shouted at his ghost. Put. 
Before his ghost could make a move, a cold and bone-chilling ice blade directly severed the young man with yellow hair's neck, his head rolling on the ground like a basketball, his eyes still filled with intense fear. He he he. Saying the wrong thing will cost you your head. The Yenho ghost emperor covered her mouth and laughed, as calm as if she had just killed a chicken. The other young man was dumbfounded, he hadn't expected that in the blink of an eye, the young man with yellow hair's head would be gone. Ah woo. At this moment, the pig-headed ghost had already arrived in front of the two of them, its pitch-black pig eyes gleaming with excitement and rage, raising its bone-chopping knife to strike Lin Haorin. Ah la la. A little butcher dares to be so insolent? Chapter 121 Lord of the Ghost Realm, Skeleton Knight Ghost Lin Haorin looked calmly at the bloody bone-chopping knife raised by the pigman ghost in mid-air, as if he hadn't seen it. Ah la la. The little butcher is so arrogant. Suddenly, the laughter of the ghost emperor Yenho rang out, and the temperature around him dropped rapidly. A cold stream blew over the pigman ghost's body. Crack! Immediately after, in the fearful expression of the pigman ghost, its huge body turned into an ice sculpture in an instant, emitting an icy blue light. The pigman ghost's eyes had lost their luster, it was dead. Then its body turned into black smoke and disappeared into the air, leaving only a ghost crystal. Gulu. The short-haired youth on the side looked at Yenho Ghost Emperor in horror, unable to help but swallow his saliva. This is a ghost. This is too terrifying. A level 7 elite ghost was killed in one move? The short-haired youth was incredulous. Lin Haoren picked up the ghost crystal on the ground and summoned Xiaoxue. Father. Kiss kiss. When Xiaoxue's cute figure appeared, she immediately jumped up and threw herself into Lin Haoren's arms. Lin Haoren quickly hugged her, and Xiaoxue kissed him on the face, her watery eyes forming crescents. Xiaoxue, be good. This is for you to eat. Lin Haoren handed the pigman ghost's ghost crystal to Xiaoxue, with a smile on his face. Thank you, father. Xiaoxue sweetly smiled and swallowed it, finally reaching level 7. Lin Haoren originally planned to find a place to distribute the ghost jade to everyone to eat, but after thinking it over, he decided to first find the lord of the ghost realm and hunt it down to seize the ghost treasure. Because he didn't know when the crack in the ghost realm would disappear, it was already 2 o'clock in the morning, and it might disappear soon. Lin Haoren didn't want to let such a good opportunity slip away. Let's go. The concentration of ghost energy here is very strong. If nothing unexpected happens, the Lord of the Ghost Realm should be ahead. Lin Haoren felt the concentration of ghost energy in the air, then looked ahead and said calmly. Husband. I'll follow your lead. Yenho Ghost Emperor came to Lin Haoren's side, and the two soft and fluffy breads pressed against Lin Haoren's arm as she spoke. Mother. I want a hug. No. I want to hug my husband. Woo woo then I want to hug you too, husband. Get away. He is my husband. Lin Haoren. Yenho Ghost Emperor, like a child, argued with Xiaoxue, almost making her cry. A gentle smile appeared on Lin Haoren's face. This is fine. Isn't it? The three of them walked further and further, disappearing at the end of the street, leaving behind the short-haired youth whose sweat soaked his head, still dumbfounded, looking at the departing Lin Haoren and the others, then looking at the headless and footless body of the yellow-haired youth on the ground, falling into silence, muttering to himself, if I hadn't let him escape just now. Maybe I would have died too. Who who who? I've saved a life. Lin Haoren has now brought Ghost Emperor Yenho and Xiaoxue to the other side. Lin Haoren took out his phone, opened the map, and looked towards the direction with dense ghost energy. He discovered that it was actually a cemetery. This made Lin Haoren even more certain that the master of the ghost realm rift was over there. The cemetery was filled with heavy in energy, making it easier for powerful ghosts and monsters to be born. Quack quack quack. Just then, a duck's cry sounded in the sky. The soul-devouring crow ghost flew above Lin Haoren and pointed towards the direction of the cemetery, shouting loudly, quack quack quack. Lin Haoren nodded, indicating that he already knew. Let's go. Let's go meet the master of the ghost realm rift. Lin Haoren flashed a hint of icy blue light and said lightly. I'll listen to my husband. 
Ghost Emperor Yen Ho looked at Lin Haorun with a fascinated expression and sweetly said, Is this what they call a top tier love brain? Okay, okay. Xiao Xue will go too. Xiao Xue happily said while hugging Lin Haorun's neck. Then let's go. At the same time, in the cemetery of a small town, the dense ghost energy here was almost turning into liquid. Black mist enveloped the area, and the atmosphere was eerie and terrifying. The entire cemetery became even more sinister and frightening. Even the monsters that appeared in the game dared not enter here. They looked at the cemetery with fear and then walked away, as if there were terrifying monsters inside. Boom boom boom. Suddenly, the ground surged and emitted terrifying rumbling sounds. It seemed like something was gestating underground and about to be born. Boom boom boom. The sky was filled with dark ghostly mist, and suddenly several strange purple lightning bolts struck the ground in the cemetery. Roar. A loud roar sounded from below. Boom boom boom. The ground in the cemetery suddenly exploded like a bomb. The ground cracked open, revealing a wide fissure, like the gate to the abyss. Tat tat tat. A loud sound of horse hooves came from the huge fissure, as if echoing from the depths of the abyss. The sound went from far to near, from faint to loud. A skeleton knight, wearing armor and wielding a large sword, riding a black and powerful ghost horse, appeared in the cemetery. A terrifying aura emanated from its body, like a demon from the abyss. The master of the ghost realm rift, the skeleton knight ghost. An epic level boss. Chapter 122 Holy Bitch Chen Mengchi, you can't escape, he's here. I finally woke up. The tall and terrifying skeleton knight ghost looked around with its pitch black eyes and unexpectedly let out a hoarse and low voice. The taste of blood. This world still has so much blood. It's like heaven. The skeleton knight ghost took a deep breath, greedily smelling the scent in the air, and said with an intoxicated expression. Let's go. My era has come. The skeleton knight ghost patted the black warhorse under its crotch and shouted in a hoarse and low voice. Fish fish fish. The black warhorse, completely black with black flames emanating from its feet, immediately galloped and ran wildly towards the outside of the cemetery. At this time, Lin Haoran, who was on his way to the cemetery, encountered another group of humans, and there were quite a few of them, more than 30 people in total, which surprised Lin Haoran. The more humans there were, the stronger the smell, and the higher the probability of being discovered by monsters. But soon he understood why, because among this group of humans, there were actually several game players. The leader was a woman who was considered good-looking, and both of her ghost companions were at level 6, one black panda ghost and one white panda ghost, both with B-level aptitude. They were definitely advanced players, even within the top thousand in the game. No wonder they could lead so many people to survive and live until now, most of it should be credited to this woman. Hurry hurry hurry. Run quickly. The woman led the group of people in a frantic run and happened to see Lin Haoran and his family of three. She couldn't help but pause for a moment, but quickly reacted and hurriedly said to Lin Haoran, Sir. Don't go over there, the ghost aura is very strong there, and we even heard terrifying screams. There's a high possibility that strong monsters have appeared. Come with us. The woman anxiously said to Lin Haoran. Meng Chi. Don't mind them. Let's hurry and leave, otherwise I won't be able to escape. The woman, named Chen Mengchi, was temporarily the leader of this group of people. A player behind Chen Mengchi urgently said to her. No. These are our compatriots, how can we ignore them? Chen Mengchi immediately reprimanded the player, and the player's face instantly turned ugly, with a hint of resentment in his eyes. This Chen Mengchi is indeed very strong, but she's just a holy bitch. She wants to save everyone she encounters, and as she saves more and more people, their group has grown to over 30 people. This makes other players both admire and hate her, because they have also discovered a pattern, the more people there are, the easier it is for monsters to find them. Along the way, they have been found by monsters many times, but fortunately, Chen Mengchi's two ghost companions are powerful. Otherwise, they would have died ten times already, which makes the other players love and hate Chen Mengchi even more. Sir. Come with us, trust us, we are strong and can protect you. Chen Mengchi saw the adorable little shui that Lin Haoran was holding, and her eyes overflowed with maternal love, shimmering with joy. 
she quickly said to Lin Haoren. Lin Haoren. Lin Haoren was speechless in his heart. He finally understood that this woman was the legendary holy mother bitch. Sister. You guys go ahead, don't worry, my father is very powerful, you know? Those ugly things can't defeat my father. Little Shue smiled sweetly and said in a childish voice to Chen Mengxi. Oh, wow. So cute. Oh no, oh no. Chen Mengxi saw Little Shue's adorable smile and her heart melted, her eyes filled with stars. Little sister. You're still young and don't understand. Those monsters like to eat people. They love to eat cute little hamsters like you, one bite at a time, hee <laughs> hee, delicious. Chen Mengchi made a face at little Shue, pretending to scare her. Ha ha ha. Sister, you're so funny. Little Shue burst into laughter. Mengchi. We don't have time, if they don't want to, let's not force them. Let's hurry and leave. If we don't leave soon, we might die here. Several players behind them were furious, urging Chen Mengchi again. Damn. You bitch, you saintly whore. If it weren't for your real skills, I would have killed you first, you bitch. Damn it. The players had cursed Chen Mengchi countless times in their hearts, wishing to rape and kill her first, and then whip her corpse, unable to relieve their hatred. Miss. Let's hurry and go, if they want to die, you can't stop them. That's right. Their lives are important, our lives are important too, we have over 30 lives. Yes, yes. Let's not care about whether they live or die, hurry and take us away, otherwise you'll be a murderer. Stop dilly-dallying, if I get killed by those monsters, you'll be a killer, an accomplice. The ordinary people behind them couldn't sit still either, pointing and cursing at Chen Mengchi. The words were as harsh as they could be, completely forgetting that Chen Mengchi had saved them, as if it was only natural for her to save them. Chen Mengchi couldn't believe her eyes when she saw everyone pointing and talking about her. Weren't they grateful to her just now? Why did they suddenly change? How? How can you all be like this? They are also lives. If I didn't save you just now, you would have died in the hands of those monsters. The smile on Chen Mengchi's face had disappeared, her eyes slightly red, angrily shouting at everyone. You can't leave. He's here. At this moment, Lin Haoren, who had been silent all along, opened his left eye, the reincarnation ghost eye, turning into a pitch-black ghost eye, emitting eerie black mist. He looked solemnly into the distance and spoke in a hoarse and deep voice. P.S. My dear readers, please give me a 5-star rating, thank you all. Chapter 124 Skeleton Knight Ghost Attack Sword Waste Cut He's Here Who is he? Who is coming? Chen Mengchi was stunned by the words and couldn't help but ask in confusion. But at this moment, no one answered her question. The usually smiling and joking love brain ghost emperor had a rare serious expression on his face, and the aura of the ghost emperor on his body slowly emanated. Tat-hata. Just then, a dull sound of horse hooves suddenly sounded in the distance. This sound seemed to have a magical power, causing people's souls to tremble. Is this? A ghost of the soul kind. Lin Haoren narrowed his eyes slightly and muttered to himself. What sound? Horse hooves. Why would there be horse hooves here? This sound is too strange. I feel so hot, as if my soul is being burned. I feel the same. This is too evil. Ha! Is something coming, it seems like someone is riding a horse. That's true, there are still people riding horses now. So pretentious. Upon hearing this strange sound of horse hooves, everyone couldn't help but touch their own bodies, furrowing their brows and feeling uncomfortable, discussing among themselves. Suddenly, someone saw a figure riding a horse faintly appearing in the dense fog, walking towards everyone. The sound of horse hooves also grew closer. Tat hata. Finally, that figure walked out of the black mist and came not far from everyone a skeleton knight riding a black ghost horse. Skeleton knight ghost soul bone horse ghost at this moment, he was staring at everyone with a pair of eerie eyes, his mouth showing an inexplicable smile. The people's eyes immediately showed a hint of fear, shouting loudly, ah, ah, ah. A ghost. It's a ghost. Run. No need to run, Chen Mengchi is here. 
That's right. Captain Munchy, hurry up and kill him, go quickly. Don't be afraid. Captain Munchy is here, nothing unexpected will happen. Yes. Captain Munchy has already killed many batches of ghosts, this time it's just one, not a big deal. Seeing the skeleton knight ghost not far away, everyone instinctively wanted to run away, but suddenly remembered that Chen Mengchi was still there, and immediately felt a little relieved. They quickly walked behind Chen Mengchi, forcing a smile on their faces and said to her, ignoring what they had just scolded her for. This made Chen Mengchi's face turn red and white alternately. She had seen the true colors of these people, and they were so despicable. But she was kind-hearted and endured the grievance, saying to her two black and white bear ghosts, Black bear ghost. White bear ghost, prepare for battle. Roar. The two bear ghosts were trembling in fear, looking at the approaching skeleton knight ghost as if they had seen a terrifying monster. Black bear ghost, white bear ghost. Chen Mingqi saw the abnormality of her two ghosts and immediately felt a strong sense of unease. She looked back at the skeleton knight ghost coming towards them, sweat dripping from her forehead, her lips slightly pale, her pupils trembling. She suddenly shouted at everyone, run. Run fast. This ghost is a boss. Run for your lives. Although Chen Mengchi was kind-hearted, she wasn't foolish. Seeing the fearful expression on her ghost's faces and sensing the aura from the skeleton knight ghost, she knew that this ghost was at least a boss level or higher. Without hesitation, she shouted loudly at everyone. Chen Mengchi's sudden shout startled everyone for a moment but they quickly reacted and showed a terrified expression. Ah. Run. Run fast. Wait for me. Pull me up. Screw you. Get out of my way. In an instant, these people scattered like frightened birds, running away in fear. But in the next second, a black figure appeared before Chen Mengchi's disbelieving eyes, passing through like a black streak. Tap. 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 Accompanied by the eerie sound of horse hooves, the figure of the skeleton knight ghost disappeared from its original position. The next moment, it had already appeared behind the fleeing crowd. You ants. Do you think you can escape from me? The skeleton knight ghost raised its ghost sword and uttered a hoarse and deep voice. In the disbelieving gazes of the crowd, the ghost sword swept across, causing blood to splatter and limbs to fly. These people who wanted to escape were directly cut in half. Ah. It hurts. It hurts so much. My leg is gone, my leg. Please. Please spare us. Sob. Sob. I don't want to die. These people, with severed legs and severed waists, didn't die immediately. They crawled on the ground, leaving behind horrifying bloodstains. This. This can't be real. Chen Mengchi stared blankly at the miserable state of the crowd, showing a terrified expression. Tears filled her eyes as she muttered to herself, tap. 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 The skeleton night ghost turned its horse's head and looked at Lin Haoren and the ghost emperor. Its pitch black eyes emitted a faint green light as it spoke in a hoarse voice, clearly, you are a ghost emperor with great potential, yet you submit to a mere human ant. This is truly an insult to the ghost realm. Today, I will wash away this humiliation. Chapter 125 Skeleton Knight Ghost Epic Boss and Soul Bone Horse Ghost Lin Haoran's left eye, the reincarnation ghost eye, had just brought up the information panel of this Skeleton Knight Ghost in his mind. Name, Skeleton Knight Ghost, Epic Boss, Quality, S-Type, Physical Level, 12 Abilities, Ghost Armor, the Skeleton Knight Ghost wears an extremely hard ghost armor, increasing its defense by 100%. Ghost Sword Slash, the Skeleton Knight Ghost wraps ghost energy around its greatsword and slashes at enemies, dealing massive damage. Ghost Chi Release, the Skeleton Knight Ghost releases its own ghost energy, greatly enhancing its combat power for a short period of time. After the time is up, it will enter a weakened state. Ghost Information, the master of the Ghost Realm Rift, born from the fusion of the Ghost Realm and the present world. Naturally born for slaughter, it will kill all humans in the Ghost Realm Rift, possessing extremely strong power. Weakness, Soul. Description, Awakened. Hunting Time. Lin Haoran's eyes flashed with a hint of shock. He didn't expect that the master of the Ghost Realm Rift would actually be an epic boss. In his previous life, 
he had also experienced the Ghost Realm Rift, but he had never encountered the master of the Ghost Realm Rift. However, the information he obtained on the forum stated that because the game had just merged with the real world, the ghosts in the Ghost Realm Rift would not be too strong. The strength of the master of the Ghost Realm Rift would at most be an elite boss, or even just a normal boss if it was a small rift. How did it become an epic boss here? Alright, alright. Is it playing against me? Or did it detect my strength and intentionally enhance the strength of this master of the Ghost Realm Rift? Lin Haoren thought darkly in his heart. What surprised Lin Haoren even more was that the ghost horse under the skeleton night ghost's crotch was actually a soul-type monster. Name, Soul Bone Horse Ghost Quality, S-Type, Physical, Soul Level, 10 Abilities, Soul Body Transformation, the Soul Bone Horse Ghost can transform between physical and soul forms, being immune to physical damage in its soul form. Soul Hoof Charge, using soul power wrapped around its hooves, it can quickly gallop, instantly increasing its speed. The sound of its hooves will make enemies feel anxious and their souls tremble, causing them to fall into a state of fear. Ghost information, the mount of the Skeleton Knight Ghost, it can enhance its own style and possesses a certain amount of soul power. It is a rare and excellent mount. Description, watch my ghost fire young horse. Tread, tread, tread. Lin Haoren's eyes lit up, and his gaze towards the soul bone horse ghost carried a hint of excitement. This ghost horse was handsome, and when it ran, it exuded a strong presence, with its own stunning special effects. It perfectly matched his temperament. This horse. I want it. Lin Haoren's eyes flashed with determination as he muttered to himself. You guys go quickly, take your wife and child and leave. I'll hold him back. At this moment, Chen Mengqi's face was full of tears as she shouted loudly at Lin Haoren. There was a determined look in her eyes as she turned around and shouted at the black and white bear ghosts, Xiao Hei. Xiao Bai, together we must hold him back. The black and white bear ghosts roared angrily, seemingly bolstering their own courage. There was a hint of fierceness in their eyes as they let out a roar towards the skeletal night ghost, staring at him intently. Hoof. Insignificant ants. How dare you speak so arrogantly. Damn it. The skeletal night ghost's eyes flickered with green light as he looked at Chen Mengchi with disdain. The ghost horse beneath him suddenly stepped forward, and his figure instantly appeared in front of Chen Mengchi. His cold, eerie eyes stared indifferently at her. Chen Mengchi's pupils suddenly contracted, feeling as if she had fallen into an icy lake. Her whole body felt cold to the bone. She sensed the breath of death. She saw her great grandmother waving at her. Am I going to die? Chen Mengchi closed her eyes in despair. The large sword in the skeletal night ghost's hand swung down towards Chen Mengchi. Bang! A piercing sound of metal collision rang out, sparks flying everywhere. Oh! Although I dislike saints. But saints are still better than whores. A voice slowly sounded, and the surrounding air instantly became extremely cold. Countless snowflakes floated in the air. Lin Haoren's hair turned white like snow, his left eye emitting a black, eerie ghost eye with black smoke, while his right eye was ice blue. His face was covered in ice crystals, resembling an evil ghost. Snow Ghost Ability Lin Haoren held the Thunder Ghost Gun, blocking the Skeletal Night Ghost's sword, and said coldly to the Skeletal Night Ghost. Chen Mengchi opened her eyes, looking at Lin Haoren in disbelief. Her mouth could fit a large sausage, muttering to herself, he. He's actually this strong. Just a half-ghost. And you dare to stop me. You're seeking death. Ghost fire suddenly surged in the skeletal night ghost's eye sockets as he spoke coldly to Lin Haoren. He exerted force in his arm, swinging his sword towards Lin Haoren. Bang! Lin Haoren suddenly felt a tremendous force, causing the thunder ghost gun to bend and fly several meters away. How dare you! Hurt my man! The Empress Ghost emitted a powerful ghost aura, her face frosty as she coldly snorted at the skeletal night ghost. Crackle. Countless violent green lightning bolts, like thunder dragons, struck down towards the skeletal night ghost. Boom boom boom. Terrifying thunderous roars echoed as the skeletal night ghost and the soul bone horse ghost were relentlessly bombarded by the lightning. The ghost horse beneath the skeletal night ghost let out a miserable scream, its legs weakened, and its body charred black. It was heavily injured. 
The power of the Ghost Emperor with SSS level qualifications is so terrifying. P.S. Keep giving 5 star reviews, my precious ones. Chapter 126 Epic Battle with the Group of Ghosts The basic attributes of an SSS level monster are quite high, while the Soul Bone Horse Ghost does not have a boss template and is only a monster with S level aptitude. Although most of the attacks were directed at the Skeleton Knight Ghost, it was already impressive that the Soul Bone Horse Ghost was not instantly killed by the angry Yenho Ghost Emperor. Crackling The Raging Green Thunder still flickered on the Skeleton Knight Ghost, and the black armor on its body had already been slightly damaged. However, it did not harm the Skeleton Knight's true form, only the armor it wore. Very good. Woman. Your strength has gained my recognition. I can leave you with a complete corpse. The eye sockets of the Skeleton Knight ghost emitted red flames as it looked at Yenho Ghost Emperor with a faint expression. How dare you? A mere ugly skull, dare to speak arrogantly. Seeking death. Yenho Ghost Emperor exuded a ghostly pressure, with a cold expression and a cold snort towards the Skeleton Knight Ghost. Everyone. Come out. At this moment, Lin Haoren waved his hand and released Xiao Lei Ming and the Ghost Sword Immortal directly. Quack quack quack. At this moment, the soul-devouring Raven Ghost heard Lin Haoren's call from its soul and finally flew back. Flapping its wings in the sky, it stared intently at the Skeleton Knight Ghost below. Father. Mother. Xiao Lei Ming, the little cute boy, always remained polite, even when fighting a boss. He first greeted Lin Haoren and Yenho Ghost Emperor. The Ghost Sword Immortal exuded an ethereal aura, with a solemn sword ceremony, like a celestial sword immortal. Her temperament was extraordinary, and no one could tell that she was actually a monster. Yenho Ghost Emperor, Ghost Sword Immortal, Xiao Li Ming, Soul Devouring Raven, Xiao Xue, and Lin Haoren, a total of five ghosts in one person. They all emitted a powerful ghostly aura, and their presence had already locked onto the Skeleton Knight Ghost on one side. The terrifying pressure was like a surging river, sweeping in all directions, causing a wave of energy. Gurgle. On the other hand, Chen Mengchi was already about to wet herself. She looked at the ghost summoned by Lin Haoren in shock feeling like she was dreaming. Him. Him. Could he be the number one on the three rankings, the six paths? Chen Mengchi looked at the ghosts surrounding Lin Haoren, and suddenly this thought came to her mind. Her pupils suddenly contracted, revealing a hint of shock. She muttered to herself, no mistake. With such terrifying strength now, he must be the one. Although Chen Mengchi was a saint, she was not stupid. She instantly guessed Lin Haoren's true identity. Oh my god. I actually told this killing god that I would protect him. I'm such an idiot. When Chen Mengchi thought of what she had just said to Lin Haoren, her face suddenly felt hot and painful. At this moment, the battle on the other side was about to begin. The skeleton knight ghost looked at the five ghosts surrounding him and his face slightly changed. He said, human. You actually have such a large number of powerful ghosts following you. Indeed, it is beyond my expectations. But. Today I will tell you that fighting is not determined by numbers alone. Flames suddenly rose in the eye sockets of the skeleton knight, as if he was preparing to take action. At this moment, Lin Haoren instantly took out a mini ghost tower and threw it above the head of the skeleton knight ghost. Buzz. It was the nine layer town ghost tower. A buzzing sound rang out, and the nine-layer town ghost tower instantly transformed into a several-meter-high pagoda floating in the air. An invisible domain unfolded. The skeleton knight ghost's previous movement suddenly stopped, and he felt that his strength had decreased, and not by a small amount. The effect of this ghost thing is really despicable, human. The skeleton knight ghost glanced at the nine-layer town ghost tower in the air and said coldly, Ants. All of you shall die. The skeleton knight ghost wielded his great sword, took a swift step, and appeared beside Lin Haoren like lightning. He knew that these ghosts were all contracted by Lin Haoren. If he killed Lin Haoren, then these ghosts would self-destruct. Underworld Domain Activate Just then, Xiao Lei Ming took the initiative and activated his own rule-based skill. He he he. A dark domain spread out, and immediately the surrounding ghosts let out screams, entwining the skeleton knight ghost and absorbing his power, 
feeding it back to Xiao Lei Ming. Judgment Spear Ghost Spirit Sword Go! Xiao Lei Ming and Gui Jianxian attacked at the same time. A green thunder spear and a sword light shot towards the skeleton knight ghost at an extremely fast speed. The skeleton knight ghost looked at the two fierce attacks and had no choice but to give up attacking Lin Haoren. He used his great sword to block Xiao Lei Ming's thunder spear and Gui Jianxian's sword art. Boom! Two intense collisions sounded, and the skeleton knight ghost was pushed back a step by this terrifying power, with black smoke emanating from his great sword. Die! Ice arrows, fire! I'll also fire ice arrows. Yenhao Guihuang and Xiao Shui also took action at this moment. Yenhao Guihuang snorted coldly, his eyes turning ice blue, and sharp ice arrows appeared in the void in an instant. Xiao Shui also shouted in a childish voice, and together with Yenhao Guihuang, they condensed ice arrows and shot them at the skeleton night ghost at high speed. Damn ghost! The skeleton night ghost was extremely uncomfortable now. His strength was suppressed his power was being absorbed, and he had to withstand the attacks of several ghosts. Even he was starting to struggle to hold on. Bang bang bang. The skeleton knight ghost swung his great sword, constantly shattering the ice arrows, but there were just too many ice arrows, and he was still hit by some of them. Suddenly, a layer of cold ice and snow appeared on the ghost armor on the skeleton knight's body, quickly freezing him. Crack, crack. Chapter 127, Killing the Lord of the Ghost Realm's Rift, the Skeleton Knight Ghost The Ice Arrow has a freezing effect. When hit by multiple ice arrows, it will create a chain reaction and freeze the enemy. You ants. Die for me. The Ghost Emperor sneered coldly, and blue lightning flickered around him. He quickly condensed a terrifying thunder spear and shot it towards the Skeleton Knight Ghost. At the same time, Xiao Leiming also condensed the Judgment Spear and threw it at the Skeleton Knight Ghost. The Ghost Swordsman emitted a terrifying aura, controlling the Ghost Spirit Sword and using its skill, Ghost Spirit Stab. Like a brilliant stream of light, it swiftly approached the Skeleton Knight Ghost. The three terrifying single-target skills attacked the Skeleton Knight Ghost, who was already frozen. Even though the Skeleton Knight Ghost is an epic-level boss, it would definitely not feel good after taking these three attacks. Boom boom boom. At this moment, a strong ghost aura suddenly surged out from the frozen skeleton night ghost. Its body became surrounded by black mist, and the frost on its body instantly exploded, revealing a skull night ghost that resembled a demon. It emitted an extremely terrifying aura. It used its third ability, ghost aura unsealing. You despicable ants. All of you shall die. The skeleton night ghost, with its entire body covered in black mist, had flames of ghosts boiling in its eye sockets. It let out a loud roar and the large sword in its hand instantly emitted a dense ghost aura, shining with a brilliant black light. It was about to use its ultimate move, ghost sword slash. You fools. Now. Control him for me. Lin Haoran, who had been waiting for a long time, flashed a hint of brilliance in his eyes and immediately shouted loudly at the soul-devouring crow ghost in the air. Quack quack. The foolish duck had been waiting for a long time. Without any hesitation, it opened its mouth, which resembled a black hole, and let out a terrifying soul scream. Instantly, a mysterious power rushed into the skeleton night ghost's soul. Buzz buzz buzz. The flames in the eye sockets of the skeleton night ghost suddenly contracted, revealing a hint of fear. Ah uh, ah uh, ah. Uh. The action of releasing the skill was interrupted. It tightly held its head with both hands, struggling in pain. The weakness of physical type monsters will always be their souls. At this moment, Lin Haoran's hair turned as white as snow, and his left eye, the reincarnation ghost eye, turned into a vertical pupil ghost eye. Dynamic vision was activated. He instantly appeared beside the skeleton knight ghost, took out a cursed ghost talisman from the system backpack, and firmly stuck it on the skeleton knight ghost's body. This was a ghost item he had borrowed from the king of hell. It could lower the defense of ghosts and monsters. It had a total of three uses, and this was the last one. It would disappear after being used. Buzz buzz. The cursed ghost talisman instantly emitted a strange yellow light. In an instant, the black aura on the skeleton knight ghost's sturdy ghost armor became decadent, and its metallic appearance seemed to lose some luster. Boom boom. 
At this moment, the terrifying two judgment spears had already attacked, directly hitting the ghost armor on the skeleton night ghost's body. Two terrifying explosions occurred. Ha ha. The indestructible ghost armor finally couldn't withstand the fierce single-target attack of the judgment spear and was pierced through, creating a large hole. Swoosh. The ghost spirit sword controlled by the ghost sword immortal emitted a sharp sound as it broke through the hole in the ghost armor on the skeleton night ghost's body and directly pierced into its body. Ah. The skeleton night ghost let out another painful scream, tormented by both its soul and body, driving it into a state of madness with its furious roar. Die. Lin Haoren's eyes flashed with a blue electric light as he held the Thunder Ghost Gun. Countless violent thunderbolts surged from his body and instantly condensed on the gun's head. Thunder Ghost Kill Lin Haoren roared, thrusting the sharp and ferocious thunderbolt head of the gun towards the skeleton night ghost's head. Boom! A loud noise rang out as the Thunder Ghost Gun pierced through the skeleton night ghost's head. The violent thunderbolt exploded in its head. Crackle! The skeleton night ghost's head had turned into an explosion of thunder and was emitting thunder and black smoke. The ghost fire in the skeleton night ghost's eye sockets flickered like a candle in the wind. It slightly opened its mouth and uttered a weak voice filled with unwillingness, I am unwilling. That mere humans can command such terrifying ghosts to follow them. I am unwilling. The skeleton night ghost, filled with intense unwillingness, had its ghost fire in its eye sockets extinguished in an instant. It was a terrifying epic level boss. It had just been born not long ago, and it died in such a frustrated manner under the combined attack of Lin Haoren and his ghosts. This, one could say, was fate. Quack! The soul-devouring raven ghost quickly flew to the side of the skeleton night ghost, opened its mouth like a black hole, and sucked in the soul of the skeleton night ghost. Ding dong! Congratulations, your ghost, the soul-devouring raven ghost, has leveled up. Current level, 12. At this moment, Lin Haoren heard the system's notification sound in his ear. The foolish soul-devouring raven ghost was lucky and became the highest level ghost. The body of the skeleton night ghost instantly turned into black mist and dissipated in the wind, leaving behind three items, the skeleton night ghost's greatsword, the skeleton night ghost's ghost crystal, and a final item resembling a heart, pitch black but pulsating like a heart. A hint of joy appeared on Lin Haoren's face as he immediately picked up the two items and put them into his system backpack. If they were stolen again, he might really go crazy. Chapter 129, Controlling the Undead, Taming the Soul Bone Horse Ghost At this moment, Lin Haoren arrived in front of the barely alive, completely blackened Soul Bone Horse Ghost that had been electrocuted. A glimmer of light flashed in his eyes as he directly aimed his Thunder Ghost Spear at its throat and said lightly, death is actually a kind of rebirth. Welcome your new life, horse. The weak eyes of the soul bone horse ghost looked at Lin Haoren without any strength. Although it didn't understand the meaning behind his words, it knew that it was about to die. Whatever this human said was meaningless. The soul bone horse ghost reluctantly closed its eyes. It had just been born and the world was so vast. It wanted to go out and explore, to leave its hoofprints in the human world. But this dream seemed to be destroyed before it even came true. Although it was unwilling, the soul bone horse ghost calmly accepted its own death. Pooh! Lin Haoren's thunder ghost spear pierced through the soul bone horse ghost's neck, and it lost its last trace of life. It died. Lin Haoren turned around and shouted at the soul eating crow ghost, idiot. I leave it to you. Use the undead control on the soul of the soul bone horse ghost. Don't talk back, or I'll use you as a mount. Lin Haoren patted the somewhat bald head of the soul-eating crow ghost and said to it. Quack! What are you barking at? You want this great duck to be your mount? Dream on! Damn it, my thoughts were actually discovered. The soul-eating crow ghost widened its eyes and angrily shouted at Lin Haoren. But when it saw Lin Haoren raising his hand again, it immediately became obedient and quickly sucked the soul out of the soul bone horse ghost's body. Then, it swallowed it in one gulp and forcefully spat it out. Oh, oh you, oh you. Suddenly, the soul body of the soul bone horse ghost appeared in front of everyone. The soul bone horse ghost looked around in astonishment. Wasn't it already dead? How did it come back to life? I said. Death is a new life. 
Soul Bone Horse Ghost, congratulations on gaining a new life. Lin Haoren came to the side of the Soul Bone Horse Ghost, a faint smile on his face as he said to it. You, you, you. The Soul Bone Horse Ghost let out a horse neigh, and a black light suddenly surged from its body. Its transparent soul body instantly became solid, and its body turned into a physical form. This was the ability of the Soul Bone Horse Ghost, Soul Transformation. It could freely transform between a physical form and a soul body, and its soul body was immune to physical damage. After transforming into a physical form, the Soul Bone Horse Ghost walked up to Lin Haoren, lowered its noble head, and offered gratitude and loyalty to him. It knew that this human had saved its life. Very well. Soul Bone Horse Ghost, you won't regret the decision you made today. Lin Haoren's lips curled up slightly, revealing a brilliant smile. He then mounted the majestic and powerful Soul Bone Horse Ghost, with white hair like snow, a left eye emitting black smoke, and a mysterious and eerie ghost eye, while his right eye was as blue as a lake. He looked like a ghost emperor who had conquered all directions, full of mystery and dominance. On the side, the ghost emperor Yenho looked at Lin Haoren with misty eyes, filled with love and admiration. The ghost sword immortal blushed on both cheeks, looking at Lin Haoren in awe, wondering what he was thinking. Father. You look so handsome. Xiaoxue wants to ride a horse too. Xiaoxue's eyes sparkled like stars as she looked at Lin Haoren with admiration, happily saying. Come. Xiaoxue, you can also ride a horse. Lin Haoren bent down and lifted Xiaoxue onto his own horse, sitting on the broad back of the soul bone horse ghost. Giggle. Big horsey. Xiaoxue lay on the back of the soul bone horse ghost, happily patting its neck. You you. The soul bone horse ghost turned its head and licked Xiaoxue's pure white cheek with its tongue. Smack. Lin Haoren slapped the head of the soul bone horse ghost, scolding angrily, you perverted horse. This is your little master, how dare you lick her? I haven't even done that. Ugh. You you. The soul bone horse ghost let out a pitiful cry. Giggle. Big horsey is really good. Xiaoxue looked at the soul bone horse ghost's pitiful expression and immediately comforted it with a smile, saying, Big horsey. My father is just joking with you, don't cry, okay? The soul bone horse ghost looked at Xiaoxue's adorable face and felt its heart melting. It showed a lewd expression and nodded. Lin Haoren's eyes burned with anger. He didn't know if taming this horse was a blessing or a curse. When he put his precious daughter on it later, he might have to find a place to cry. Later, let the silly duck put shoes on it. We can't let it be too comfortable. Lin Haoren thought to himself. Poor soul bone horse ghost didn't know that it had already caught the attention of its master. As a father, Lin Haoren must protect his little cabbage. No matter who the other party is, even if it's a horse, it's not allowed. Um. Are you the six paths great god? Just as Lin Haoren was thinking about protecting his little cabbage, Chen Mengchi walked over with a slightly pale face and respectfully asked Lin Haoren. She had watched the battle between Lin Haoren and the skeleton knight ghost from start to finish. The strength of these ghosts had completely shattered her understanding of their power. What was even more terrifying was Lin Haoren himself. His strength could actually rival that of the ghosts. Chen Mengchi was filled with disbelief. Although a player's strength would increase as their level increased, it was impossible to reach the level of a ghost's power. But Lin Haoren showed her with his actions that humans could be on par with ghosts, and even stronger than most ghosts. Lin Haoren heard the words, riding on the soul bone horse ghost, looking at Chen Mengchi, his icy gaze resembling the glaciers of the North Pole. He watched as Chen Mengchi spoke, saying, It seems like you still have a bit of a brain. Chan Mingqi. I feel offended, thank you for that. Chapter 130 Emperor Ghost King S-Class Dark Sword Lin Haoren was exposed, but he didn't care. With his current strength, he feared no one. Dare to come and die. This is the confidence given to him by his powerful strength. The cracks in the ghost realm have already appeared, and in a few days, the bizarre game of the apocalypse will completely merge with the real world. The apocalypse will erupt completely and even the country cannot resist these unnatural forces. The ten ghost cities have terrifying ghost barriers that even nuclear bombs cannot break through. 
The ghost kings in the ten ghost cities, although they are disasters when they leave the ghost city, only nuclear bombs pose a threat to these ghost kings and monsters at their level. Missiles cannot harm them. But the ghost kings rarely take action and usually stay in the ten ghost cities. As for the reason, Lin Haoran is not very clear. In his previous life, he couldn't access this kind of secret information. However, with the invasion of ghost energy, powerful ghosts will also appear in the real world, such as the Qin Emperor's mausoleum in the previous life, which was heavily filled with yin energy and turned into a dangerous forbidden area. The emperor of all ages became the ghost king, known as the Emperor Ghost King. With powerful ghosts like Bai Qi, Meng Tian, and Wang Jian, there are countless ghost soldiers, and their strength is terrifying. In the later stages of the apocalypse, the Qin Emperor's mausoleum is definitely the top force of ghosts, and what impressed Lin Haoran even more about this Emperor Ghost King is that he seems to have no ill intentions towards the people of China. If you don't provoke him, he won't attack the people of China. He led many ghost generals and soldiers to fight overseas, starting with the island country, making the country that was living a good life tremble and almost be destroyed. He also gained the respect and admiration of many people. It has to be said that the grandeur of this Emperor Ghost King is greatly admired by Lin Haoran. Thank you for saving me, I am very grateful. I will repay you in the future. Chen Mengqi bowed deeply to Lin Haoran and said solemnly. Lin Haoran showed a disdainful smile. Does he need help from others? He never thought that others would help him. Perhaps he has completely seen through human nature. Humans are not worthy of trust. In his heart, there are only two types of people, those who are valuable to him, like Wang Defa, and those who are not valuable to him. Whether to kill or save them depends on his mood. Let's go. Lin Haoran ignored Chen Mengqi and said lightly to the ghosts, then rode on the soul bone horse ghost and left with the ghosts. Brother. Why don't you come up here too? I don't need to, I have feet. Hey, why are you doing this, woo woo? You brat, get out of the way. Husband, carry me. Woo woo. That's so unfair, mother, I don't want to sit in the front, I want father to carry me. No. This is my husband, he he he. On the bloodstained street, there were sounds of fighting, which seemed out of place in the surrounding lifeless environment, but it was filled with warmth. Several figures slowly disappeared into the black mist, leaving only Chen Mengqi standing dumbfounded in place, watching Lin Haoran's departing figure. A hint of inexplicable expression flashed in her eyes, as if her heart was beating fast. Just like Guo Xiang and Yang Wei in ancient times, they met and missed their whole lives. Now, Mengqi met Haoran, and it was the same. Lin Haoran rode on the soul bone horse, swaggering down the street. Some ghosts and monsters saw Lin Haoran and his companions and showed fear, keeping their distance. It seemed like the roles had reversed, with Lin Haoran being the monster, and the monsters being as fragile as humans. It was already four o'clock in the morning, and the black mist in the sky had noticeably thinned. The crack in the ghost realm was about to disappear. Lin Haoran opened the system backpack and checked the items dropped by the skeleton knight ghost. The first was the ghost crystal. Lin Haoran chose to consume it himself and swallowed it in one gulp. Suddenly, a black light shone from Lin Haoran's body, and he felt his power increase. Ding! Congratulations, your level has increased. Current level, level 12. As expected, his level had increased, and the progress bar for level 12 was almost reaching level 13. The milk from this epic boss's ghost crystal was sufficient. Lin Haoran nodded in satisfaction and continued to check the second item, the great sword in the skeleton night ghost's hand. Name, darkening ghost sword, type, S-class ghost item, effect, enhances the user's strength. If used with dark attributes, it can also enhance the user's dark power. It also possesses the ability, Shadow Kill. Shadow Kill, infuse dark power and quickly strike the enemy, causing massive damage. Ghost item information, the ghost sword held by the skeleton knight ghost possesses immense power. It is more effective when used by dark attribute monsters. Lin Haoran's eyes lit up. It turned out to be an S-class ghost item. Dark attribute power. Give it to Xia Laming. A child wielding a big sword. Seeing the information about the ghost sword, Lin Haoran immediately thought of his son, Xia Laming. Xia Laming, woo woo. 
Father, you finally remembered me. Xia Leiming. I'll give you this big sword. Lin Haoran looked at Xia Leiming beside him, smiled slightly, and said to him, then handed the darkening ghost sword to Xia Leiming. Xia Leiming was a bit confused, looking at the sword in front of him that was even taller than himself, his eyes slightly reddened. Father still has me in his heart after all. Xia Leiming quickly and happily accepted it, respectfully saying to Lin Haoran, Thank you for your grace, father. Lin Haoran looked at Xia Leiming, who was happy like a child, and couldn't help but smile. P.S. Bowsy, if you have the ability, please send some free gifts for love. Chapter 131 Ghost Soul Heart, Ghost Treasure Although Xiao Lei Ming is usually very serious and steady, he is still just a child after all. Of course, he would be happy when he meets a player he likes, especially when it's given by his own father. That makes him even happier. Oh, wow. What a beautiful sword. Father is really good to my brother, little Xiu Xiu said with envy, her big watery eyes looking at the dark sword in Xiao Lei Ming's hand. Xiao Lei Ming's mouth, with his boyish face, couldn't help but curl up slightly, seemingly proud. Lin Haoren smiled faintly, ignoring these two little brats, and then looked at the last item, also the most precious thing. If nothing unexpected happens, it should be a rare ghost treasure. Lin Haoren immediately checked its information, name, ghost soul heart, ghost treasure, type, special ghost treasure, effect, a very rare special ghost treasure that can be consumed by humans. After consuming it, humans can transform into ghosts, awakening the power of ghosts. The type and ability of the ghost are related to the human's potential. Ghost information, a ghost treasure nurtured by heaven and earth, possessing mysterious and powerful strength. Lin Haoran Lin Haoran's pupils suddenly contracted after reading this ghost treasure, and his breathing became somewhat rapid. Transform into a ghost tribe. Awaken the power of ghosts. Lin Haoran's eyes flickered with excitement, and then he burst into laughter. Ha ha ha. Become a ghost tribe. Why not? I have long abandoned my human identity. Becoming a ghost tribe is exactly what I want. Even the heavens want me to leave behind this dangerous human race. As long as I can obtain power. What does it matter if I become a ghost? Only with power can I live well. Everything else is just fleeting clouds. Lin Haoran's eyes shimmered with a chilling light. He tightly gripped the heart that was beating strangely in his right hand, without any hesitation. Lin Haoran directly opened his mouth and took a bite. Immediately, a strong smell of blood filled the air, making people nauseous. But Lin Haoran still chewed expressionlessly, like an evil ghost, as if he was gnawing on a human heart, sending shivers down one's spine. However, the ghost monsters like the Ghost Emperor and the Ghost Sword Immortal around Lin Haoran were not afraid at all. Instead, they had a faint smile on their faces, looking at Lin Haoran with affection. Soul contract, accompanying life and death. Not to mention eating a heart, even if it was themselves being eaten, they would offer themselves without hesitation. After devouring the entire ghost soul heart, Lin Haoran's body suddenly emitted a faint black light. The hair on his body moved without wind, and to the astonishment of the surrounding ghosts, his body slowly floated up, emitting a brilliant black light, like a black sun. Buzzing. A ringing sound instantly resounded in the surroundings. Boom 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 boom. Suddenly, in the black mist in the air, there was a sudden rumbling thunder. The thunder was deafening, shaking the ears and startling the deaf. Lightning flashed and thunder roared, crackling. The thunder in the black mist was like a thunderous dragon, emitting a rolling dragon chant, boom. Suddenly, a thunderbolt struck fiercely in Lin Haoran's black light. But the dazzling black light did not weaken or become weaker, it seemed to become even more terrifying, emitting a dazzling black light. There were also thunder and lightning entwined around it. Boom boom boom. The thunder in the black mist seemed to be angry, and immediately several heavenly thunders descended mercilessly on the black light mass. On the side, Xiao Xiuwei was in the arms of the ghost emperor, looking worriedly at the black light mass where Lin Haoran was. She couldn't help but ask the ghost emperor, Mother. Is father okay? This thunder is so bad, why did it strike father? A glimmer of light flashed in the ghost emperor's eyes as he comforted Xiao Xiuwei by patting her head, it's okay. Your father is very strong. How could mere heavenly thunder harm him? Your father. 
will definitely become the ghost emperor in the future. The ghost emperor's eyes flashed with endless tenderness as he softly said to Xiaoshue. And them. I understand, mother. Xiaoshua nodded as if she understood, and said seriously. The ghost sword immortal's face flashed with a trace of worry as she watched the thunder strike Lin Haoran. Her heart couldn't help but tremble, and she tightly gripped the ghost spirit sword. A cold killing intent appeared in her phoenix eyes as she looked at the violent thunder in the sky and muttered to herself, I hope nothing happens to him. Otherwise, even if you are the heavens, I will kill you. The ghost sword immortal doesn't speak many harsh words, but when she gets tough, even the heavens have to be killed. She is truly a ghost monster of the ghost immortal class, going against the heavens. That's what a ghost immortal is. Boom boom boom. In the black mist and dark clouds, thunder and lightning rolled, and violent thunderbolts roared like thunderous dragons, constantly striking the black light mass. It seemed to be preventing the birth of this ominous ghost monster. Get out of here. Just at this moment, from within the black light mass, a majestic voice sounded, and a huge green thunderbolt, like a green thunderous dragon, suddenly burst out of the black light mass, roar. The thunderous dragon let out a huge roar, with a world-destroying momentum, pouncing towards the black mist in the sky, boom boom boom. The terrifying green thunderous dragon instantly rolled and rampaged in the black mist and dark clouds, causing the thunder and lightning in the black mist and dark clouds to flee in all directions like a small chicken encountering an eagle. It was as if they had encountered a natural enemy, and under the tearing and biting of the terrifying green thunderous dragon, they were directly destroyed and annihilated. Chapter 132 Awakening the Power of Ghosts and Reincarnation Ghost Lord, oh, wow. Mother, that's father's voice. He's really okay. That's great. And father is amazing, so powerful, he scared away those despicable thunder. Upon seeing this scene, Xiaoxue's eyes sparkled with stars, and she admiredly followed the ghost Empress Yenho and said. A captivating smile appeared on Yenho's face, like a rose blooming in the dark night, incredibly beautiful. Quack quack quack. I told you that Haoran is not so easily defeated. Although he's a bit silly, he still has some strength. The silly duck pretended to look old-fashioned, but with its head tilted and a silly look, it seemed not very convincing. Fish fish fish. You're right. Future Duck King. The soul bone horse ghost immediately turned his eyes and flattered the soul-eating crow ghost. Future Duck King. Upon hearing this, the soul-eating crow ghost's eyes lit up, and they curved into a comical shape. It couldn't help but spread its wings and pat the soul bone horse ghost, proudly saying, little horse ghost. Not bad, not bad, you have potential. If you follow me in the future, this duck king will definitely make sure you have three meals a day. Soul Bone Horse Ghost A song echoed in the Soul Bone Horse Ghost's mind, thank you for warming the four seasons because of you. At this moment, the floating black light mass in the air finally showed some movement. The black light slowly receded, revealing the figure inside the light mass. A figure covered in black aura, surrounded by green thunder, and snowflakes floating appeared in front of Zongwigi. This is father. Xiaoshua looked at the figure in the air, which was somewhat different, and covered her mouth in surprise, unable to believe it. At this moment, Lin Haoran's appearance had undergone a tremendous change. His hair turned snow white, and a pair of hard horns grew on top of his head. His left eye had a black reincarnation ghost eye, with concentric circles resembling the mysterious six paths of reincarnation. His right eye emitted an icy blue light. His eyes were cold as blood, full of majesty, like a ghost emperor ruling the ghost realm and controlling the six paths. Mysterious runes appeared on his neck, and the shoulder had the skull of an evil ghost. He wore a long black windbreaker that fluttered in the wind. A terrifying pressure emanated from him, sweeping in all directions. The ghosts hiding nearby felt this pressure and immediately fell to the ground, trembling in fear. They looked at the figure in the air with terror, as if they had seen a terrifying monster. Some weaker ghosts even fainted on the spot, their eyes turning white. Who? Lin Haoran slightly opened his mouth and exhaled a breath of icy blue air. His eyes remained calm, like still water in a deep pool. He felt the terrifying power coursing through his body, a power much stronger than his half-ghost abilities. It was simply on a different level. This is the unique power of ghosts and monsters that belongs to me, right? This feeling is so wonderful. 
No wonder in the previous life, countless people were willing to give up everything, even their souls, to obtain the power of ghosts and monsters. Ordinary people can't resist this kind of power at all. The power of ghosts and monsters. Ha ha ha. Lin Haoren opened his hands and burst into laughter. At this moment, Lin Haoren opened his attribute panel, which had undergone a tremendous change, name, six paths, gender, male, race, human slash ghost and monster, age, 24, level, level 12, contracted ghosts, ghost empress Yenho, ghost sword immortal, soul devouring raven ghost, ghost child air not in this category, ghost items, evil ghost armor, thunder ghost gun, evil ghost mask. System backpack, omitted. Special abilities, Lord of Thunder Abyss, Ghost in the Snow. Power of Ghosts and Monsters, Reincarnation Ghost Lord, Name, Reincarnation Ghost Lord, Talent, Unknown, Type, Mystery, Level, 12, Abilities, 6 Paths of Reincarnation, Can use the corpses of ghosts and monsters to create 6 avatars, Hell Path, Hungry Ghost Path, Animal Path, Azura Path, Human Path, Heaven Path. Each avatar possesses different abilities. Reversal of reincarnation can reverse events that occur within a certain area, but it consumes a large amount of ghost power. If there is insufficient ghost power, it will consume lifespan. Heavenly Omen of Reincarnation can release terrifying white flame omens through the reincarnation ghost eye, burning the enemy's physical body and soul. Ghost information, unknown existence, unknown power, unknown fate, unable to call its name. Description, this is impossible. How did it turn out like this? The situation is already beyond my control. This is my current attribute information, so powerful that even I feel afraid. It's as if even the heavens cannot tolerate my immense potential. The entire sky seems to reject me. Reincarnation Ghost Lord. So this is the power of ghosts and monsters that I have awakened. It's too powerful. Lin Haoren opened his hands, looked up at the sky with an intoxicated expression, and murmured to himself. P.S. My dear readers, please support the author of this novel, Xiaopu Jianv. Thank you all. Chapter 133 Before the Curtain Falls, Heading to the Magic City Museum I can now say that I have completely become a ghost, but it seems that I still retain some human qualities, although not significant. I am now a ghost. And my potential is even likely to surpass SSS level, an unknown level of potential. Lin Haoren has seen it in his reincarnation ghost eyes, reincarnation ghost eyes. Reincarnation ghost lord. Are these two somehow related? Or is it just a coincidence? A hint of inexplicable color flashed in Lin Haoren's eyes, silently thinking in his heart. The reincarnation ghost eyes can be said to be his biggest trump card, and also the most mysterious existence. Lin Haoren still holds a trace of awe towards it, because it is too strange and too powerful. Even the Apocalypse Strange game cannot detect its existence, and it even arrives in reality in advance. Mysterious, strange. Now, with my awakened ghostly body, coincidentally called the Reincarnation Ghost Lord. Is this really just a coincidence? Or is there some kind of connection? Lin Haoren doesn't know, but he always feels that there is a special connection here as if a shocking secret is slowly being revealed right under his nose. Lin Haoren suppressed all kinds of thoughts in his heart and looked at his three abilities. Each of his three abilities is more terrifying than the last. First, his first ability, creating six clones. These clones are made from the bodies of ghosts or humans, and they retain the abilities of the original bodies, and even give birth to a new ability. This skill is extremely heaven-defying. If I used the bodies of six god-level bosses to create six clones, who would still be my opponent? Absolutely invincible. Just thinking about it, Lin Haoren felt a wave of terror. The second ability, to some extent, is even more heaven-defying. It can reverse things within a certain area. For example, if I am pierced through the heart by a sword, I can instantly activate the reversal of reincarnation, and the situation will be reversed. This reversal is not a reversal of time, it's not time going backward, but rather a higher level, more mysterious unknown dimension. After the reversal, it becomes as if the sword did not pierce the heart, even though it did in reality. But it is indeed this terrifying. Cause and effect. Or some kind of multiple dimensions. Lin Haoren doesn't know, but he knows that with this ability, as long as I am not instantly killed, instantly losing consciousness, then I am immortal. 
Of course, the cost of using this move is also extremely terrifying, consuming life force when the ghost energy is depleted. As for the third ability, it is a domineering attack method, burning both the physical body and the soul. I can now be considered as a half-spirit type of ghost. Lin Haoren's body slowly landed on the ground, the power of the ghost gradually receding into his body, returning to his human appearance. Father. You look so scary just now, Little Snow felt inexplicably frightened. Little Snow immediately ran over and jumped into Lin Haoren's arms, pitifully saying. Little Snow, no matter what form your father takes, I will always love you, my child. Lin Haoren's face showed a slight smile as he gently touched Shashua's head and softly said, Hmm. Shashua's face revealed a happy smile as she vigorously nodded her head. How do you feel? Goi Jensian walked to Lin Haoren's side, with a hint of worry in his expression, and asked Lin Haoren. I'm fine. Don't worry. Lin Haoren pulled Gui Jianxian's hand, indicating that he was okay. Gui Jianxian smiled slightly at Lin Haoren, revealing a beautiful smile. Lin Haoren couldn't help but be a little stunned. It seemed like he had never seen Gui Jianxian smile before. When he smiled, he looked even more beautiful, like a blooming lily, fresh and pure. Husband. Congratulations on your rebirth, Yen Ho Gui Huang said as she approached Lin Haoren, smiling. Congratulations, Father Emperor. Xiao Lei Ming held a big sword and respectfully said to Lin Haoren. Quack quack quack. Shirhan Wang Giagwei flew to Lin Haoren's side to join in the fun. Thank you. Lin Haoren smiled slightly at the crowd of ghosts and monsters, his eyes flashing with a heroic spirit, and said lightly, let's live in this world together and step by step reach the pinnacle of the world. Yes. My Emperor. Five o'clock in the morning, the black mist disappeared, and the crack in the ghost realm disappeared. The entire town, which was like doomsday, was released, and various ambulances and police appeared at the first moment, surrounding the entire town. Looking at the bloodstains and broken flesh all over the street, everyone fell silent. In the end, it was calculated that the number of missing people in this incident reached 12,000. But there were also people who survived, ordinary humans, and of course, players. These people were taken away by the police at the first moment. Soon, countries around the world would know about the connection between the bizarre end of the world game and the real world. Although it was very unscientific, with the arrival of ghost realm cracks around the world, the number of deaths and missing persons increased day by day, forcing countries to believe that this game had major problems. At this moment, Lin Haoren had already left, wearing his gaming helmet, heading towards the magic city. This place had been completely sealed off so there was no need to stay here. He was now going to the Magic City to keep an eye on the Magic City Museum. Otherwise, if a Ghost Realm crack suddenly appeared there and someone else got hold of the SSS-level ghost weapon Simu Wooding, he would have nowhere to cry. Moreover, he believed that after the invasion of ghost energy, there must be other antiques in the Magic City Museum that would be catalyzed by ghost energy to give birth to new ghosts. He just needed to go there and wait. One of the only two SSS-level ghost weapons in China. He must obtain it. It's a pity that in the previous life, I didn't know the origin of the second SSS-level ghost weapon, otherwise I could have made arrangements in advance, Lin Haoren thought somewhat regretfully. It's okay. If someone else gets it, I'll kill them and it will still be mine. Lin Haoren's eyes flickered with a cold gleam as he softly said. Chapter 134 The Changes in the Game, Hidden Ghost King Part 1, Lin Haoren took a plane and arrived in the Magic City at noon. With a large sum of money, he checked into a hotel near the Magic City Museum. This way, even if the Ghost Realm crack appeared in the Magic City Museum, he would be covered. He had already made arrangements for the ghosts inside the museum. After taking care of these matters, Lin Haoren immediately put on his gaming helmet and entered the game Apocalyptic Mysterious Game. At this time, something was off in the game. Many players had experienced the Ghost Realm crack in the real world and realized that this game was definitely not simple. The game's ghosts were actually appearing in the real world? And their own game ghosts were the same. Ghost Realm cracks were erupting all over the world. This world was not lacking in smart people, and they quickly realized something. They started buying high-quality ghosts, ghost creatures, ghost crystals, and anything else that could enhance their own strength in the game. But can you think of something that others can't? 
Now, in that apocalyptic mysterious game, a ghost with A-level qualifications had already been bid up to 1 million, and an S-level ghost was priced at 5 million, but it was still not available on the market. The chat channel was in chaos. Fantasy Chicken Brother, buying a large amount of ghost crystals. Money is not a problem. PM me if interested. Dumpfire Yahoo, buying an S-level ghost for 5 million. Real-life transaction. Come quickly. I am a dog, buying ghost creatures. Price is up to you, but I won't take it if it's too high. Bobo Kiss, stop buying. No one is going to sell. People on the official forum have said that game ghosts have appeared in the real world, and they can even summon their own ghosts. Everyone is in danger now. Who would sell something that can save their own life? Big Hanging Baby, I have personally experienced it. I have seen the strange things from the game appear in the real world, killing and eating people. It's terrifying. Top notch, he he he. The apocalypse has begun. Ha ha, those of us who have ghosts are the chosen ones. The truth couldn't be hidden because many players had personally experienced the ghost realm crack. The news about the game's power manifesting in reality had already spread in the game. Some large guilds were very courageous and immediately gathered all their guild members in reality. They not only provided food and shelter but also various benefits, and continuously recruited game players. These players also knew the importance of strength in numbers. For the sake of their own lives, they were willing to go to the real-world headquarters of the guild and form groups. Even if the ghost realm crack erupted, with tens of thousands of players, what were they afraid of? They could directly sweep away the ghosts. This was also the embryonic form of the gathering place that would come later. Lin Haoren returned to the game, put on the evil ghost mask, and wore the evil ghost armor, then he went back to the village. On the road, Lin Haoren clearly felt that the players' faces were solemn, walking hurriedly. He faintly heard the words of ghosts appearing in reality. Lin Haoren understood that the players had already guessed some things. Lin Haoren smiled slightly, knowing that the players were starting to panic and trying to improve their gaming skills. Death is terrifying. But what's even more terrifying is the process of waiting for death. Lin Haoren licked his lips and muttered to himself. Then he walked away without looking back, heading towards the village chief's location. Lin Haoren arrived at the village chief's place and directly confronted him, saying, Village chief. I'm here to receive the hidden quest, Hidden Ghost King. This quest was given to him by the system when he reached level 10. Lin Haoren had a feeling that this quest was definitely not ordinary. Young man. It's you. Not bad, not bad. You've actually reached level 12. Your growth speed is indeed abnormal. The village chief's murky eyes looked at Lin Haoren with a glimmer of light, revealing a row of yellow teeth. He smiled at Lin Haoren. All right. I'll give this quest to you. Maybe you really have the ability to complete it. The village chief's wise eyes stared at Lin Haoren, causing him to furrow his brows. He felt a special aura from the village chief, as if he wasn't human. Ding! Congratulations on receiving the special hidden quest, Hidden Ghost King, Part 1. In the northernmost part of the village, within the Black Mist Forest, there was once a sealed ghost king. Now, the ghost energy is reviving, and the seal is loosening. The ghost king is about to break free, and the newbie village may be in danger. Please go to the Black Mist Forest to investigate the situation. Then come back to the village chief to seek a solution. Quest reward, unknown. Before Lin Haoren could think further, a hoarse and deep system notification sounded in his ears. Young man. This is a teleportation talisman. In times of crisis, you can crush this talisman to return to the village. The old ghost man took out a piece of talisman paper from somewhere and handed it to Lin Haoren. Lin Haoren accepted it, glanced at the old ghost man, and then turned and left. The old ghost man's murky eyes flickered with a faint light, like the countless stars in the night sky, crystal clear and unfathomable. An unfathomable destiny. How strange. Seemingly human, yet not human. Seemingly ghost, yet not ghost. Beyond the five elements, transcending the six realms. Truly interesting. P.S. Everyone, give a five-star rating and make some money.
give flowers to others, and the fragrance will linger in your hands. Thank you for the gifts, my family. Thank you all. Chapter 135 Black Mist Forest Devouring Ghost Jade Great Improvement At this moment, Lin Haoran had already followed the map and arrived in the Black Mist Forest. The Black Mist here enveloped everything, giving Lin Haoran the same feeling as when the cracks in the ghost realm appeared. Moreover, within this Black Mist, a sense of foreboding surged in Lin Haoran's heart, causing him to furrow his brows involuntarily. This feeling. The sixth sense of ghosts and monsters. Let's improve our strength first. This mission is not simple. After pondering for a while, Lin Haoran immediately opened the system backpack and took out the ghost jade he obtained from the real world. It was quite magical that things from the real world could be brought into the game. But since ghosts and monsters appeared in the real world, there was nothing strange about it. Everyone, come out. Lin Haoran released all of his ghosts and monsters, including Yanho Gui Huang, Gui Jin Xian, Xia Leiming, Shir Han Wang Gyagu, and Xiao Shui. Husband. Father. Quack. As soon as the ghosts and monsters appeared, they immediately surrounded Lin Haoran. Then, they saw the ghost jade emitting ghostly energy on the ground, and their eyes lit up. Father. What is this thing? It looks so delicious. Can Xiao Xue eat it? Xiao Xue saw the ghost jade and drooled, her little finger pressed against her small mouth, her big eyes looking at Lin Haoran, asking. Of course you can. It's for you to eat. These are called ghost jade, and they have a similar effect to ghost crystals. You can all have some. Lin Haoran looked at the group of ghosts and monsters, smiled slightly, and said. Quack quack quack. When Silly Duck heard that there was something so good, its brain started working, and it immediately pounced, devouring a ghost jade in one mouthful, just like a crow eating a chick. Silly Duck. You're so bad. Xiao Xiuwe wants to eat too. Xiao Xiuwe became anxious and quickly walked to the side of the ghost jade, starting to devour it. Yen Hao Gui Wang, Gui Jin Xian, Xia Leiming, and Lin Haoran also joined the devouring team. Ding. Congratulations, your ghost child Shuen Nu's level has increased. Current level, 8. Ding. Congratulations, your ghost child Lei Ming Guijuan's level has increased. Current level, 11. Ding. Congratulations, your ghost monster Yen Ho Guiwang's level has increased. Current level, 11. Soon, a pile of ghost jade was devoured by Lin Haoren and the five ghosts and monsters. At this point, Lin Haoran's level had already increased to level 13, Yen Ho Gui Huang was level 13, Gui Jian Xian was level 13, Xia Leiming was level 13, Shir Han Wang Gyagu was level 14, and Xiao Xue was level 12. His own strength had experienced a significant improvement, thanks to the absorption of the ghost jade. It's a pity. If I had a few billion more ghost jade, I could directly reach level 90 and become a ghost king. Lin Haoran licked his lips, greedily thinking about swallowing an elephant. Husband. I need to go back and prepare for pregnancy, he said. At this moment, the ghost emperor Yenho came to Lin Haoran's side and reluctantly hugged his neck, saying with grievance. Because they had been intimate in the cracks of the ghost realm, she was now pregnant. My dear, you've worked hard, Lin Haoran said as he embraced Yenho's slender waist and passionately kissed her. Yenho's eyes immediately became misty and shy. Husband. Remember to think of me, Yenho said with a coquettish smile, then turned into a stream of light and entered Lin Haoran's body. Let's go. Let's meet this legendary ghost king, Lin Haoran said with a cold and indifferent expression, and then he walked into the unknown misty forest. Although he temporarily lost the powerful combat strength of Yenho, Lin Haoran was confident that with his current abilities, he could easily dominate the novice village. Meanwhile, deep in the misty forest, on a dilapidated stone altar covered in moss, a huge stone with mysterious patterns emitted a weak white light. The stone was already full of cracks, as if it could shatter at any moment. Underneath the enormous mysterious stone, a terrifying ghostly aura emanated, with black light flickering and constantly impacting the white faint light stone. Ha ha ha. I'm about to come out, after a thousand years. We have been waiting for this moment for a thousand years, and we finally break this damn seal. Humans. All humans must die. After I break the seal. I will surely slaughter all humans. 
Below the altar, a hoarse and mad voice, like an abyssal demon, roared with madness, filled with resentment. This was the great ghost monster. At this time, Lin Haoren had already entered the Misty Forest. Ding dong. Player has entered a dangerous map, Misty Forest. Ding dong. In this map, human life points will continuously decrease. Player will die in 10 minutes. Just then, the system prompt suddenly sounded in Lin Haoren's ears, causing him to pause for a moment, with a hint of surprise and doubt in his eyes. This. This black mist buff is too terrifying, isn't it? Targeting humans? Lin Haoren's eyes flashed with a glimmer of light as he secretly thought, but I. Am no longer human. A strange black mist flashed in Lin Haoren's eyes, and his jet black hair instantly turned snow white. A pair of pitch black horns grew on his head, his left eye opened with a reincarnation ghost eye emitting eerie black mist, mysterious runes appeared on his neck, and the skeleton of an evil ghost appeared on his body, exuding a terrifying ghostly aura. Ghost Monster, Reincarnation Ghost Lord Chapter 136, Diamond Bullhead Ghost Boss Reincarnation Manifestation Woo. At this moment, a cry of ghosts and howls sounded. Around Lin Haoren and the others, ghostly figures covered in black mist appeared. Their blood-red eyes were filled with a violent expression, like unconscious puppets. Lin Haoren's left eye, the reincarnation ghost eye, flickered with a faint black light, and the information of these ghosts appeared in his mind, name, black mist resentful ghost, quality, C, type, elemental, level, 12, ability, mist form, can turn their bodies into mist, immune to some physical damage, unable to immune to elemental damage. Ghost information, humans who have mistakenly entered the black mist forest, lost in the mist, and after death, their resentment does not dissipate. They are nurtured into ghosts by the dense ghostly aura. Their weakness is elemental attacks. Description, die. You will also die and become an evil ghost together. Ha ha ha. Lin Haoren's eyes narrowed slightly. It turned out that all of them were elemental ghosts, and their level was as high as 12. This black mist forest was indeed not simple. Woo woo. The surrounding black mist resentful ghosts let out a resentful cry and rushed towards Lin Haoren and the others. A group of ugly rats. Die for me. Little Lei Ming's eyes flashed with electricity, and countless raging green thunderbolts suddenly appeared on his body. He slashed towards the resentful ghosts from all directions. Crackling. Howling. These black mist resentful ghosts immediately let out a painful scream, emitting thick smoke, and were directly turned into ashes, leaving behind only a ghost crystal. These black mist resentful ghosts didn't even have a chance to appear before they were wiped out, not even a trace of ashes left. Lin Haoren remained expressionless, leading the ghost sword immortal and other ghosts, striding deep into the black mist forest. A voice faintly sounded, Little Lei Ming. Remember to pick up the ghost crystals. Yes. Father. Little Lei Ming nodded earnestly, then continued to use his thunder whip to lash out at the black mist resentful ghosts. The black mist resentful ghosts were beaten, howling and crying, in a pitiful state. Little Lei Ming's green thunder was their natural enemy. The power of thunder was inherently restraining against these Yin creatures, not to mention that Little Lei Ming's green thunder was not ordinary. It was a one-sided slaughter. For a moment, it was unclear who the real demon was. Lin Haoren, with the demeanor of a ghost emperor, followed by the ghost sword immortal, soul-devouring raven ghost, little snow girl, and little Lei Ming. Although there were only a few of them, one could vaguely see the brilliance of the Hundred Ghosts Night Parade. The terrifying ghosts in the Black Mist Forest were easily crushed by Lin Haoren and the others. For a while, these Black Mist resentful ghosts trembled in fear, looking at Lin Haoren and his group with terrified expressions. Roar! Just at this moment, a loud roar sounded. Like a thunderbolt, a powerful aura swept over, blowing countless withered leaves. Boom boom boom! In the black mist, a huge monster appeared in front of everyone. It had the body of an orangutan and the head of a bull. Its whole body was covered in fluffy black fur, resembling a bullheaded demon. Roar! The bullheaded demon opened its blood-filled mouth and let out a huge roar towards Lin Haoren and the others. Its pitch-black eyes flickered with a bloodthirsty and violent gaze, staring fixedly at Lin Haoren. Lin Haoren remained expressionless, his pupils like chaotic abysses, his white hair fluttering. 
His left eye, the reincarnation ghost eye, immediately obtained the information panel of this monster, name, bullheaded demon elite boss, quality, A, type, physical, level, 13, abilities, indestructible body, the bullheaded demon has an indestructible body, increasing its defense by 150%. Raging Bull Demon, the bullheaded demon becomes enraged, greatly increasing its attack power while decreasing its intelligence, lasting for 5 minutes. Ghost Information, a combination of a bull and a demon, possessing the incredible defense and strength of a bull. It can shatter mountains with a single punch. Weaknesses, anus, eyes, soul. Description, brave bull, unafraid of difficulties. Bullheaded demon, one punch will kill you. Lin Haoran looked at the towering figure in front of him, over three meters tall, his eyes calm and undisturbed, like still water in a deep pool. Now, an elite-level boss was no longer worth his surprise. After all, even epic-level bosses had died by his hand, and his strength was simply incomparable to that of an elite boss. Or perhaps, he himself was the boss. Don't interfere. Let me handle it. Lin Haoran calmly said to the group of monsters, then walked towards the bullheaded demon boss. The ghost sword immortal and the other monsters naturally had no objections. They knew of Lin Haoran's terrifying strength and had complete trust in him. Roar! The bullheaded demon boss saw that the ant in front of it dared to remain so calm, as if it didn't regard it as a threat at all. The bullheaded demon boss became furious, its bull eyes flickering with a terrifying killing intent as it raised its fist, the size of a sandbag, ready to crush the ant before it. Reincarnation Heavenly Omen Lin Haoran's left eye, the reincarnation ghost eye, suddenly opened wide, and a white flame instantly rose up on the bullheaded demon's body. This white flame seemed real and illusory at the same time, like a raging fire. It instantly ignited on the bullheaded demon's body. Awu. The bullheaded demon's pupils suddenly contracted, revealing a look of pain. Its mouth let out a miserable cry as it continuously slapped the white flames on its body. But no matter how the bullheaded demon tried, these white flames tightly wrapped around it, seemingly impossible to extinguish. P.S. Thank you for the gifts and positive feedback, my dear friends. Thank you all for your support. Although my performance and data are not good, with your support, I will definitely write well. Intersection underscore intersection. Chapter 137 Bone Valley Epic Boss. Roar. The massive body of the bull demon king rolled on the ground, trying to extinguish these strange white flames, but these white flames burned on the bull demon king as if they couldn't be extinguished, and the bull demon king let out a heart wrenching scream. Pain. So painful. The body aches, the soul aches even more. The bull demon king is simply better off dead. With the fierce burning of the white flames, soon the white flames have covered the bull demon king's entire body, turning it into a roasted bull. The bull demon king's screams become weaker and weaker until it is completely consumed by the white flames, burned to ashes, leaving only a ghost crystal. The bull demon king seems to have never appeared. This cycle of heavenly signs is so domineering, so terrifying. In just a few seconds, it burned an elite boss alive into ashes. Anyone who sees it will be terrified. Father is so amazing. Little Snow looked at Lin Haoran's majestic figure with admiration, her big eyes sparkling like stars. Little Thunder also looked at him with deep admiration. He is the father he respects the most. He feels very honored to be Lin Haoran's son. You're getting stronger and stronger. Gui Jinxian's phoenix eyes were misty as he stared blankly at Lin Haoran's figure, murmuring to himself. Quack! The soul-eating crow ghost saw Lin Haoran's white flames and couldn't help but shrink its duck head. From now on, it must listen obediently, otherwise, it will be burned by this abnormal flame, even if it doesn't die, it will lose a layer of skin. The soul-eating crow ghost secretly thought. Lin Haoran's face showed a hint of satisfaction. This cycle of heavenly signs did not disappoint him. This flame is too terrifying. Even elite bosses cannot resist the devouring of this flame. It's too abnormal. Let's go. Continue deeper. Lin Haoran picked up the ghost crystal of the bull demon king from the ground and said lightly, then led the group of ghosts to continue deeper. The surrounding wandering black mist ghosts were already trembling in fear and dared not appear, watching Lin Haoran and the others as if they were the king of hell. 
Lin Haoran went smoothly all the way, no ghost dared to block him, even if there were some foolish ones, they were instantly killed, and their ghost crystals were taken. Lin Haoran and the three ghosts arrived at a valley in the newbie village, which was like their own backyard, walking calmly, intimidating the ghosts. The ghosts retreated, none dared to obstruct. Finally, Lin Haoran arrived at a valley where there were mountains of bones, all white bones, including animals, ghosts, and even dragon bones. The Yin Chi here was overwhelming, and the ghostly aura was strong, but strangely, so many white bones did not turn into ghosts. This is indeed somewhat unimaginable. Lin Haoran's eyes narrowed slightly. The mountains of bones piled up into a bone valley, which was indeed shocking. There may be some powerful ghosts suppressing the resentment of these white bones, otherwise there wouldn't be no ghosts being born. Lin Haoran looked at the dense piles of white bones and secretly thought in his heart. Just as Lin Haoran was about to step into this white bone valley, boom! A huge black scythe energy ghost emerged from the valley, carrying terrifying power, and suddenly attacked Lin Haoran and the others. A gleam of light flashed in Lin Haoran's eyes, and with a flash of black light, the thunder ghost spear instantly appeared in his hand, with thunderous electricity surging around him, infused into the spearhead of the thunder ghost spear. Crackling. Electric lights flickered, the long spear was like a dragon, thunder ghost kill. Lin Haoran thrust the spear, colliding fiercely with the black side like energy. Boom boom boom. A huge explosion resounded throughout the dark misty forest, stirring up a violent gust of wind, and the leaves on the surrounding withered trees were swept away. Hoo hoo hoo. The fierce wind raged, and a hoarse and deep voice slowly sounded from deep within the valley, forbidden land of the dark mist. Get out of here. The voice was filled with indifference and killing intent, warning Lin Haoran and the others. Quack quack quack. The soul-eating crow ghost suddenly widened its eyes, spread its wings, and cursed towards the valley. How unreasonable, dare to tell this duck to get lost. Lin Haoran, this dog thing, doesn't even dare to talk to me like that, who do you think you are? Lin Haoran glanced lightly at the silly duck, and the silly duck shivered all over, showing a hint of a pleasing smile, looking just like a duck leg. What if I insist on going in? Lin Haoran's left eye, the reincarnation ghost eye, emitted black aura. A cold glint flashed, and he looked at the depths of the white bone valley and said lightly. Then it's death. Boom boom boom. That voice sounded again, followed by a loud rumbling from inside, step step step. In the black mist, a dull footstep slowly sounded, and soon, a tall figure appeared in front of Lin Haoran and the others. Devouring demon bone ghost this ghost, about two. Two meters tall, had a white bone head with double horns, bones crisscrossing its body, wearing a black cloak, and holding a double-bladed scythe in its hand. Its pitch-black eyes flickered with blood-red light, extremely indifferent, like an executioner from hell, without any emotions. The black cloak fluttered in the wind, emitting an extremely terrifying aura, the aura of death rushing towards them, and the surrounding dark mist ghosts trembled on the ground, afraid to lift their heads, as if they saw a demon. Lin Haoran's eyes twitched slightly, revealing a hint of shock, murmuring to himself, epic level boss. Soon, the reincarnation ghost I instantly displayed the information of this ghost in Lin Haoran's mind. Chapter 138, Rule Type, Devouring Demon Bone Ghost, Epic Boss, Name, Devouring Demon Bone Ghost, Epic Boss, Quality, S-Type, Rule Type Level, 14 Abilities, Bone Growth, The Devouring Demon Bone Ghost can absorb the strength of biological bones and heal its own injuries. Bone Command, The Devouring Demon Bone Ghost can control dead bones, forming bone soldiers and even more powerful monsters with terrifying power. Bone Demon Domain, the Devouring Demon Bone Ghost can open a Bone Demon Domain within a certain area, greatly enhancing its own strength and freely controlling the bones of all the deceased within the domain. Ghost Information, the Guardian Ghost at the Final Ghost Altar, faithfully executing its own mission for thousands of years. Anyone who wants to go to the Ghost Altar will be mercilessly killed by it. Description, Death is not terrifying. What's terrifying is a thousand years of loneliness. Lin Haoran couldn't help but narrow his eyes slightly when he saw the attribute panel of the Devouring Demon Bone Ghost. This Devouring Demon Bone Ghost truly lived up to its status as an epic boss. It was strong. Very strong. Too strong. The Skeleton Knight Ghosts were all its younger brothers. This Devouring Demon Bone Ghost was also a rule-type ghost, just like Xiao Laiming, possessing a domain ability and the ability to control bones. 
In this valley filled with mountains of corpses, its combat power was simply too strong. It's a bit troublesome. Lin Haoren furrowed his brows and muttered as he looked at the devouring demon bone ghost not far away. You. Are very strange. At this moment, the devouring demon bone ghost looked at Lin Haoren with its pitch black eyes, and its mouth emitted a hoarse voice. It seemed like it hadn't spoken in a long time, and its voice carried a rusty feeling. I'm strange. How am I strange? Lin Haoren smiled slightly and said calmly as he looked at the devouring demon bone ghost. You have the aura of a human, but the ghost energy on you is the power of a ghost. The devouring demon bone ghost's face was all white bones, and no expression could be seen. Perhaps, in the long passage of time, expressions were also lost. The devouring demon bone ghost continued to speak. Do you want to know? I can tell you. But how about letting me pass? Lin Haoren looked at the devouring demon bone ghost, his mouth curling up as he spoke. Surprisingly, the devouring demon bone ghost fell into silence for a while, seemingly hesitating. But soon, it rejected Lin Haoren's proposal, saying, I'm sorry. This is my duty. I cannot let you pass. The devouring demon bone ghost even showed a bit of politeness and apologized, which surprised Lin Haoren even more. Perhaps I can add another member to my six paths of reincarnation. Lin Haoren looked at the devouring demon bone ghost, a hint of fiery determination flashing in his eyes, and muttered to himself. Then, a trace of battle intent flashed in Lin Haoren's eyes as he gripped the thunder ghost spear, pointed it at the devouring demon bone ghost, and said calmly, then let's fight. As you wish. Shimo bone ghost's eyes flashed with a faint white light. Suddenly, a powerful white light burst from his body, rushing in all directions. This is his ability, the bone demon domain. The aura on Shimo Bone Ghost became even more terrifying, like a demon from hell. Cold white light wrapped around his body, causing the surrounding piles of bones to tremble violently. Crack, crack. Shimo Bone Ghost didn't play fair at all. He directly activated his domain ability, seemingly aware of the strength of Lin Haoren and the other ghosts. So he didn't take it lightly and went all out from the start. Crack, crack. Immediately, these bones combined to form bone soldiers, some riding bone horses, and even some powerful bone dragons. Row after row, like a skeleton army, their numbers were numerous, completely surrounding Lin Haoren and the others. This is Shimo Bone Ghost's second ability, Bone Command. Awu. These bone creatures opened their bone mouths and made strange sounds, all staring at Lin Haoren and the others. Crush them for me. Shimo Bone Ghost's eyes flickered with cold light as he sounded the attack horn towards the bone creatures in his domain. Awu. The bone creatures immediately let out loud roars and launched an attack towards Lin Haoren and the others. It was like a thousand troops charging, with a majestic momentum, giving a feeling of being unbreakable. Shimo Bone Ghost is one ghost that represents countless ghosts. This is the strength of a great ghost. Let's go too. The black aura in Lin Haoren's left eye suddenly surged, while his right eye lit up with a deep blue light. The surrounding air instantly became icy and bone-chilling. Lin Haoren slightly opened his mouth and said lightly, Yes. Father. Watch me fight these bone monsters. Quack, quack, quack. Little Lei Ming and the other ghosts immediately responded. Little Lei Ming took the lead, his eyes flashing with a faint black light. Suddenly, a black light spread out in all directions, and the underworld domain was activated. In an instant, in the valley, white and black coexisted. Countless resentful ghosts entangled Shimo Bone Ghost and the bone creatures, constantly absorbing their power. The more enemies there were, the stronger the power Little Lei Ming absorbed. Little Lei Ming held an S-rank ghost weapon, the Darkening Great Sword. Dark power infused into the sword, causing it to emit a dazzling light. Die for me. A black slash suddenly struck out. This is the inherent ability of the darkening great sword, Shadow Slaughter. Boom. The terrifying energy strike was like crushing dry weeds and smashing rotten wood, instantly devouring countless bone creatures. Chapter 139, Bone Creature Rampage, The Breaking of the Reincarnation Heaven Omen. Crack, crack. Terrifying black slashes, like falling black crescent moons, instantly annihilated countless bone creatures. 
Bones filled the sky, like white sand. Roar! The flying bone dragon in the sky let out angry roars, flapping its bones, ready to charge at Lin Haoran and the others. Little bone dragon sauce. You're naughty. Watch me shoot you down. Little Shua stared with big eyes, pouting her mouth, her eyes shimmering with a deep blue light. In an instant, a terrifying cold emanated from Little Shue, freezing the surrounding air. With a wave of her hand, countless ice arrows, each two meters long, condensed in the void. Go! Ice arrows, fire together! With a wave of Little Shue's small hand, the ice arrows shot towards the bone dragon in the air like released arrows. Whoosh! The sound of breaking through the air, the ice arrows mercilessly pierced the bone dragon's bones and froze it. Ow! The bone dragon creatures were frozen, like frozen birds falling from the sky, crushing a large number of bone soldiers. Boom! Loud rumbling sounds echoed, sending countless debris and bones flying in the air. Step, step, step! But there was still a group of bone cavalry riding bone horses, holding sharp bone knives, charging towards Lin Haoran and the others. Under the galloping bone horses, dust and thick smoke billowed. Ghost Sword Immortal's face turned cold, taking a step forward, two ghost swords spinning around him. Now, Ghost Sword Immortal could control two swords with his Sword Immortal technique, greatly enhancing his strength. I'll take care of them, you go. Ghost Sword Immortal whispered to Lin Haoran, emitting a terrifying aura, his white ghost energy resembling immortal energy. Since ancient times, generals fight generals, kings fight kings. How could these ants be dealt with by Lin Haoran himself? Wouldn't that lower his worth? All right. I leave it to you, my fairy. Lin Haoran softly said to Ghost Sword Immortal, his gaze carrying a hint of warmth. He understood Ghost Sword Immortal's thoughts. Having a woman who always considers your well-being, this is a man's luck, even if this woman is a ghost. Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. Ghost Sword Immortal controlled the two ghost swords at the same time, turning into two white streams of light. In an instant, the white light pierced through the gaps, and one bonehead after another flew into the sky. These bone cavalry were beheaded as if their heads were chopped off while walking. The terrifying sword immortal technique killed from a thousand miles away, sword aura flickering, heads rolling. These bone cavalry didn't even have time to react before their lives were harvested. In a moment, the densely packed bone army had already been defeated by a few ghosts. As for the soul-eating raven ghost, it was staring dumbfounded because it realized that these bone creatures didn't have any soul fluctuations. In other words, they had no souls. Its skills were completely ineffective against them. Quack, quack, quack. Angry Duck Lord, what are you eating? You don't even have a soul, quack, quack, quack. The soul-devouring crow ghost's mouth twisted, standing there foolishly, looking like a waste. It's really embarrassing. The soul-eating bone ghost looked at its decimated army of bones, scattered and defeated. The white ghost fire in its eye socket suddenly surged, clearly showing some anger. You do have some strength. But as long as I'm still standing, you won't get past me. The soul-eating bone ghost said to Lin Haoran with a slightly angry voice. Oh. Then I'll knock you down. Lin Haoran smiled slightly at the words, revealing a brilliant smile, but his eyes were icy cold. The left eye, the reincarnation ghost eye, suddenly emitted a white light. Reincarnation heavenly omen. A deep voice sounded, and in an instant, the soul-eating bone ghost's body inexplicably ignited eerie white flames. What? What is this? The soul-eating bone ghost suddenly felt intense pain, as if its soul was being burned by the flames. It let out a shocked cry and hurriedly tried to pat out the white flames, even using its ghost energy to extinguish the flames but it couldn't put out these strange flames at all. They continued to spread, and the pain in its body grew stronger. What kind of flames are these? Fear flashed in the soul-eating bone ghost's eyes, followed by a firm expression. Crack, crack. Under Lin Haoran's astonished gaze, the soul-eating bone ghost actually tore apart all the bones on its body that were burning with flames, revealing disgusting internal organs, a horrifying sight. Bone Regeneration Immediately after, the soul-eating bone ghost let out a slightly weak cry, and something magical happened. The surrounding bones instantly flew towards the soul-eating bone ghost and became a part of its body. 
the soul-eating bone ghost's body was restored. This was the soul-eating bone ghost's first ability. As long as there were bones present in its domain, it was essentially immortal, able to continuously repair its injuries. Such a troublesome guy. Lin Haoren saw the soul-eating bone ghost's body recover once again and couldn't help but furrow his brows, muttering to himself. Then let's see how many times you can repair yourself. Reincarnation Heavenly Omen Lin Haoren once again used the Reincarnation Heavenly Omen ability on the soul-eating bone ghost. However, this time the soul-eating bone ghost already knew about Lin Haoren's ability and wouldn't be so easily hit. Only a flash of white light appeared in the soul-eating bone ghost's eyes. It raised its hand and said, Bone Shield. In an instant, the surrounding bones instantly condensed into a bone shield in front of the soul-eating bone ghost. Lin Haoren's reincarnation heavenly omen flames burned on the bone shield, resisting his attack. Although your ability is powerful. Its weakness is also obvious. As long as something blocks your line of sight, it becomes ineffective. The bone-eating demon looked at the bones that were burned to ashes, with a flicker of light in its eyes, and said to Lin Haoren, ha ha ha. It's rare to see a monster like you with such a brain, I dislike it. Lin Haoren chuckled softly at the bone-eating demon and a cold gleam flashed in his eyes. He disliked clever people, and he also disliked clever demons. Chapter 140, The Immortal Sword Formation Slays the Skeleton Giant Demon I'm Sorry. For annoying you, the bone-eating ghost said lightly to Lin Haoren. Although he was apologizing, there was no trace of sincerity in his tone. Lin Haoren simply smiled faintly and instantly produced a mini ghost tower in his hand. It was an S-class monster, the nine-layer town ghost tower. Lin Haoren threw it up, and the mini ghost tower immediately transformed into a nine-story high tower floating above the valley. Hum. Suddenly, an invisible domain spread out in the surrounding area. The bone-eating ghost immediately felt his strength being suppressed again, and he was also entangled by the ghosts produced by Xiao Leiming's underworld domain, continuously draining his strength. He felt that his strength had decreased by at least 30%, and it was still decreasing. In a short time, he would become an old ghost without any power. These guys are too strange. If this continues, I will definitely lose. I must finish this quickly. The bone-eating ghost's face became solemn as he secretly thought to himself. A powerful ghost energy surged from his body. The bone-eating ghost let out a low roar and waved his hand. Awaken, mad bone skeleton demon. Crack, crack. As the bone-eating ghost's voice fell, the surrounding bones trembled continuously. Then, they all gathered together, forming a huge skeleton monster. Crack, crack. As the flying bones continued to gather, a gigantic skeleton giant demon appeared before everyone's eyes. The skeleton giant demon reached a terrifying height of 5 meters and was composed entirely of bones. It held a bone shield in its left hand and a huge bone knife in its right hand. Its eye sockets flickered with a faint white light. Roar! The skeleton giant demon let out a loud roar, and immediately a terrifying aura swept in all directions like a surging river, causing a violent gust of wind. The majority of the bones that formed this skeleton giant demon were extremely powerful. Skeleton Demon Kill them for me, the bone-eating ghost coldly ordered the skeleton giant demon. Roar! The skeleton giant demon roared in anger, and its right hand raised the huge bone knife, slashing towards Lin Haoren and the others. Lin Haoren and the others immediately dodged to both sides. Boom! A terrifying collision sound rang out, and a huge trench appeared where Lin Haoren and the others were standing, accompanied by a terrifying gust of wind that destroyed all the surrounding withered trees. Haoren! Leave this big bone to me. You go deal with the bone-eating ghost. The ghost sword immortal looked at the huge skeleton giant demon, a hint of astonishing sword intent flashed in his eyes, and he spoke to Lin Haoren. All right, Siener. I'll leave it to you, Lin Haoren nodded in response. Then, his figure turned into a blue lightning-like streak and swiftly rushed towards the bone-eating ghost. He had great trust in the ghost sword immortal strength. There was no need for many words, this was mutual trust. Roar! The skeleton troll saw Lin Haoren still wanting to leave and immediately roared in anger, about to chase after him. But at this moment, a cold voice slowly sounded, Where do you think you're going? Big Bone! 
Your opponent is me. The skeleton troll turned its head and saw a huge magic array appearing on the ground, depicting mysterious textures, shining brightly like sword patterns. Buzz. A ringing sound echoed in the air, and in an instant, four huge energy swords appeared, emitting a terrifying aura. It seemed as if the air had solidified, becoming unusually heavy. Sword Array of Immortal Slaying Strike! The ghost sword immortal exuded a strong ghostly aura, his face as cold as ice in the Arctic, terrifyingly cold. The icy voice slowly emanated from his mouth. Boom 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 boom. The four huge energy swords, like swords of immortal slaying, fiercely stabbed towards the skeleton troll, emitting deafening vibrations. Roar! Flames of white fire suddenly surged in the eye sockets of the skeleton troll, seemingly flickering with a fearful light. With a roar, it raised the huge bone shield in its left hand and held it above its head. Boom 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 boom. In an instant, the four huge energy swords, like indestructible divine swords, pierced through the skeleton troll's sturdy bone shield. Under the terrified gaze of the skeleton troll, the four swords of immortal slaying directly pierced through its body, creating a shocking scene. It was as if a bone ghost trying to defy the heavens had been struck by divine swords descending from above, piercing through its last hope. Boom boom boom. The huge energy swords instantly exploded within the skeleton troll's body, causing a terrifying shockwave that instantly swept through the entire valley. Strong winds blew, and bones, debris, branches, and withered leaves filled the sky, resembling meteorites crashing into the ground. The skeleton troll was instantly engulfed by this terrifying energy, turning into white powder and disappearing into the wind. P.S. My dear readers, please give me a 5-star rating quickly, sub 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 oh, oh, oh I will be taking a day off tomorrow, my dear readers. I worked late today and didn't have time to write, crying to death. Chapter 141, Devil Bone Ghost, Defeated The magnificent entrance and tragic end of the skeleton troll, it's unfortunate to say that this skeleton troll had a tough life. But encountering a ghost immortal like the Devil Bone Ghost can also be considered lucky, even though this kind of luck represents death. On the other side, Lin Haoren has already started fighting the Devil Bone Ghost. The Thunder Ghost spear in his hand continuously clashes with the Devil Bone Ghost's double-bladed sword in the air. Bang, bang, bang. A series of piercing metal collisions resound, the sound enters the ears but not the heart, and sparks fly. Although the Devil Bone Ghost appears to be a ghost similar to a mage, its melee ability is not weak at all. Lin Haoren's battle with it goes back and forth. After all, this is an ancient creature that has lived for thousands of years, with rich combat experience. Evil Ghost Roar Lin Haoren creates distance and the evil ghost armor on his body instantly forms an evil ghost shadow, emitting a loud roar towards the devil bone ghost. Roar The devil bone ghost instantly feels a slight heaviness in its head, but it only lasts for zero. Five seconds. After all, the level of the evil ghost armor is not high, so its impact on an epic level boss is minimal. However, in battles between experts, even zero. Zero one seconds are crucial. Seizing the opportunity when the Devil Bone Ghost is momentarily stunned, Lin Haoren is unable to gather enough lightning power for a thunder and lightning kill. The Thunder Ghost spear in his hand, like a dragon, stabs towards the Devil Bone Ghost's face. In an instant, the Devil Bone Ghost regains its senses and instinctively tilts its head slightly. Boom! The Thunder Ghost spear instantly pierces through the left cheek of the Devil Bone Ghost, causing its white bone to crack open, revealing a handsome face. You damn. The devil bone ghost's eyes emit flames of anger, and it fiercely swings its double-bladed sword towards Lin Haoren. Swish, swish. Lin Haoren's left eye, the reincarnation ghost eye, has already transformed into a vertical pupil. The power of the ghost eye has been activated, and dynamic vision is initiated. With a swift movement, Lin Haoren dodges the Devil Bone Ghost's attack and instantly appears behind it. A hint of icy blue light flashes in his eyes. With his left hand, he presses against the Devil Bone Ghost's body. Crack, crack. Immediately, a bone-chilling frost freezes the Devil Bone Ghost, turning it into a ghost trapped in ice. Snow Ghost, frozen. Pitter-patter. Following that, Countless raging green lightning suddenly surges out from Lin Haoren's body. It is forcefully infused into the Thunder Ghost Spear in his hand. 
The lightning flashes wildly, and the tip of the thunder ghost spear is filled with astonishing lightning power. He stabs towards the chest of the frozen devil bone ghost. Just at this moment, a bone shield suddenly condenses in front of the devil bone ghost's face. Boom! The terrifying thunder spear directly pierces through the bone shield and continues to stab into the devil bone ghost's body. Crack, crack. At this moment, a large amount of ghost energy suddenly surged from the devil bone ghost, breaking free from the frost's freeze. It reached out and directly grabbed Lin Haoren's thunder ghost spear. However, it underestimated Lin Haoren's strength. Although the devil bone ghost's hand grabbed the thunder ghost spear, the spearhead of the thunder ghost spear still carried a terrifying green thunder, piercing into the devil bone ghost's body. Crackling. Suddenly, horrifying green thunder ran rampant in the devil bone ghost's body, like a thunder snake piercing its heart. Ugh. The devil bone ghost let out a painful groan, with black blood oozing from the corner of its mouth, clearly injured. You have angered me. The devil bone ghost's eyes ignited with ghostly fire, burning with anger, and coldly said to Lin Haoran, Buzz. Suddenly, a dazzling light burst from the double-edged blade in the devil bone ghost's hand, with a chilling ghostly aura. The devil bone ghost tightly held Lin Haoran's thunder ghost spear in its left hand, and the double-edged blade in its right hand was about to fiercely strike at Lin Haoran. He he. But it's too late. Nine-layer ghost tower, suppress. Lin Haoran coldly smiled at the devil bone ghost, let out a cold snort, buzz. Just at this moment, the nine-layer ghost tower that had been floating and rotating in the air seemed to be attracted by gravity, directly smashing down onto the devil bone ghost. Boom! The devil bone ghost, who had just gathered power, suddenly felt as if its body was being suppressed by Mount Wuji, and its feet directly knelt on the ground, creating a deep pit with countless rubble and dust splashing up. The devil bone ghost trembled all over, enduring tremendous pressure, feeling as if a mountain was pressing on its back. The battle is over. Lin Haoren coldly said to the devil bone ghost kneeling on one knee, his eyes cold and calm, like still water in a deep pool, without a ripple. Boom! The thunder ghost spear directly pierced through the devil bone ghost's heart. Ugh! The devil bone ghost suddenly spat out a mouthful of thick black blood and the ghost fire in its eyes became extremely weak, like a candle in the wind, fading away. You are strong. But you cannot contend with the power of the Ghost King. On this lonely island, he is invincible. The devil bone ghost's voice was weak, feeling its life slipping away. The devil bone ghost looked faintly at Lin Haoren and weakly said, You don't need to worry about this anymore. Just go peacefully and become my power. Lin Haoran looked calmly at the devil bone ghost, stirred the thunder ghost spear in his hand, and completely ended its life. A relieved expression flashed through the devil bone ghost's eyes, and the ghost fire in its eye sockets completely dissipated. It finally didn't have to continue guarding here. The loneliness of a thousand years is not something an ordinary ghost can bear. Chapter 142, Six Paths of Reincarnation, Hell's Clone, Hell's Gate Quack Quack Quack. Uncle Duck is here, I'm here. With the death of the devouring demon bone ghost, the devouring soul raven ghost immediately knew that it was its chance to perform. It twisted its butt and eagerly approached the corpse of the devouring demon bone ghost, revealing a sly expression. Just like how dogs eat shit while it's still hot, the same goes for souls. The foolish duck immediately opened its mouth like a black hole and sucked in the soul of the devouring demon bone ghost. The soul of the devouring demon bone ghost was still in a state of confusion, never expecting that it would die and suffer the torment of having its soul eaten by a crow. What a disgrace! Air! The foolish duck burped, sticking out its tongue and licking its beak, showing a satisfied expression. It was so delicious, incredibly delicious. It finally understood why the earth dog ghost loved eating shit so much, it must be because of this taste. Ding dong! Congratulations, your ghost, the devouring soul raven ghost, has leveled up. Current level, 15. Lin Haoran also heard the system notification sound in his ear. The foolish duck's level had once again surpassed everyone else. The ability of the devouring soul raven ghost to absorb souls and increase its strength was truly abnormal. Lin Haoran felt a bit envious. If he had known earlier, he would have made the foolish duck eat shit and let his wife consume its ghost crystal, giving birth to a soul-type ghost offspring. 
If he had this ability and obtained it himself, his leveling speed would have greatly improved. Suddenly, the devouring soul raven ghost felt a chilling wind and its anus tightened. It instinctively sensed a murderous intent. The bald duck head looked around, wanting to see which dog thief dared to plot against it. Truly, it's like lighting a candle in the toilet, Zhao Shur. Lin Haoren reluctantly glanced at the foolish duck, then shifted his gaze back to the devouring demon bone ghost lying on the ground. A mysterious light flashed in his eyes as he muttered to himself, let's use you as a test subject. My ability of the six paths of reincarnation. Lin Haoren reached out and touched the body of the devouring demon bone ghost. Suddenly, a mysterious power surged through Lin Haoren's body. Buzz. This mysterious power flowed through Lin Haoren's hand and onto the body of the devouring demon bone ghost. Then, a miraculous scene occurred. The shattered white bones on the face of the devouring demon bone ghost slowly repaired, and its injuries healed. In an instant, a dazzling light radiated from its body. Buzz buzz buzz. Ding dong. Player's ability of the six paths of reincarnation activated. Target, devouring demon bone ghost. Ding dong. After player's confirmation, the devouring demon bone ghost will become one of the clones of the six paths, hell, hungry ghost, animal, azura, human, heaven, retaining its previous abilities and gaining a unique special ability as a clone of the six paths. The clone of the six paths is connected to its master and can share vision. The master can control the clone, and the clone can also act independently. The master can summon the clone of the six paths anytime, anywhere. At this moment, a series of system prompt sounds rang in Lin Haoren's ears, causing a bright smile to appear on his face. Devouring Demon Bone Ghost. Then I shall bestow upon you the path of hell. Lin Haoren pondered for a moment and bestowed upon the devouring demon bone ghost one of the six avatars, the path of hell. Ding. The avatar of the path of hell has been confirmed, and the generation of the path of hell is in progress. The system prompt sound rang again, and then a black light bloomed from within the radiance enveloping the devouring demon bone ghost, with countless evil spirits roaring inside. In an instant, they all entered the body of the devouring demon bone ghost. Ding. The generation of the avatar of the path of hell is complete. Please check it yourself, player. A loud system prompt sound rang in Lin Haoren's ears, and the black light in front of Lin Haoren finally dissipated, revealing a figure floating in front of Lin Haoren and the others. It was still the original appearance of the devouring demon bone ghost, but the only change was that two words appeared in his eyes, hell. Emitting a dark, hellish aura and surrounded by black mist. Path of Hell. Greetings, Master. The Devouring Demon Bone Ghost, no. Now it should be called the Path of Hell, knelt on one knee and respectfully shouted towards Lin Haoren. Lin Haoren's left eye, revolving through the six avatars, flickered slightly, and at this moment, the information of the Path of Hell instantly appeared in his mind, name, Devouring Demon Bone Ghost Path of Hell, one of the six avatars of the Reincarnation Ghost Lord, Aptitude, S, Type, Rule-Based, Level, 14, the avatar's level is equal to the host's, abilities, bone growth, the Devouring Demon Bone Ghost can absorb the strength of biological bones and heal its own injuries. Bone Command, the Devouring Demon Bone Ghost can manipulate dead bones, forming bone soldiers or even more powerful monsters, possessing terrifying power. Bone Demon Domain, the Devouring Demon Bone Ghost can open the Bone Demon Domain within a certain area, greatly enhancing its own strength and freely manipulating the bones of all the deceased within the domain. Unique Ability of the Path of Hell, Gate of Hell, can open the Gate of Hell and summon hellish creatures for battle. The stronger the Avatar's strength, the more hellish creatures can be summoned, and the stronger their strength. Currently, special creatures that can be summoned, Oxhead and Horseface. Ghost Information, the last ghost guarding the Ghost King's altar, faithfully executing its own duties for a thousand years, but was killed by the reincarnation Ghost Lord and transformed into one of the six avatars, the avatar of the Path of Hell. Its strength has reached a certain level of power, capable of incarnating as hell and imprisoning millions of ghostly souls. Description, he only possesses a little power of hell. P.S. Finally finished typing, so tired, sob resuming updates, my precious ones. Please show your support, everyone thank you all. Chapter 143 S Rank Dual Blade Demon Knife Reaching the Altar to Absorb Demon Chi Gate of Hell. Incarnate Hell, Detain Millions of Ghosts and Lost Souls. 
A glimmer of light flashed in Lin Haoren's eyes, and a hint of enlightenment suddenly flashed through his mind. But it disappeared too quickly, and Lin Haoren didn't grasp that glimmer of light. Regardless, this is equivalent to having an additional S rank qualified monster, and it possesses four terrifying abilities. With the Gate of Hell being able to summon monsters, I am getting closer to having an army of monsters for myself. Lin Haoren looked at the Hell Path kneeling on one knee and felt satisfied. He said to the Hell Path, Get up. From now on, you will be the first reincarnation of the Six Paths. Yes. Master. The Hell Path respectfully said to Lin Haoren, then stood up and quietly stayed by Lin Haoren's side. Lin Haoren's mind now had an additional mysterious white line, connecting to the Hell Path's mind. With a thought, Lin Haoren's consciousness quietly descended upon the Hell Path's body. At this moment, he could completely control the Hell Path's body and share its vision. Lin Haoren's consciousness returned to his own body, nodding in satisfaction. Then he looked at the dual blade weapon in the Hell Path's hand unsurprisingly an S-rank monster. Name, Dual Blade Demon Knife, Type, S-rank monster, Effect, enhances the user's strength and destructive power against enemy ghost weapons. Infusing Demon Chi can activate the ability, Ghost Blade Slash. Ghost Blade Slash, infuse a large amount of Demon Chi to condense a terrifying black energy blade, dealing massive damage to enemies. Monster Information, Ghost Blade held by the devouring Demon Bone Ghost, possesses immense power. There's nothing particularly special about its abilities, but it's still an S-rank monster, not bad. It happens to compensate for the Hellpath's melee and long-range capabilities. The Hellpath's abilities lean towards summoning, so compensating for melee is necessary. Let's go. Let's meet this legendary ghost king and see who exactly this ghost saint is. Lin Haoren whispered to the ghosts, then proceeded to walk towards the deepest part of the Black Mist Forest with the ghosts. After another half an hour of trekking, Lin Haoren and the others finally arrived at their destination, the Ghost King Altar. Master. This is the Ghost King Altar. A thousand years ago, this Ghost King wreaked havoc in the mortal world and was suppressed here by a powerful human ghost tamer. Now, with the turbulent demon Qi, many sealed monsters will be greatly affected, and many powerful ancient monsters may break free from their seals. The Hell Path stood beside Lin Haoran and said expressionlessly. Lin Haoran nodded, looking at the altar ahead, where the demon chi was dense and almost dripping with intensity. The huge stone on the altar was already full of cracks and could collapse at any moment. The Ghost King was about to emerge. With such dense demon chi, it would be a waste if we don't absorb it, wouldn't it? Lin Haoran now moves, thinking that he still has two ghost items on him, both of which absorb ghost energy. One is the growing ghost item, the nine-layer ghost tower, and the other is the B-grade ghost item, the treasure-seeking compass. These were given to him by his ghost father. He has already used up the number of treasure hunts and can only use ghost crystals or ghost energy to recharge them in order to restore the number of uses. Lin Haoren raised his hand, and immediately the nine-layer ghost tower and the treasure-seeking compass appeared in his hand. Looking at the thick ghost energy rolling on the altar, like black mist, a hint of a sinister smile appeared. Ghost King. I also want to take advantage of the Ghost King's wool. Lin Haoren directly threw the two ghost items into the air above the densest ghost energy stone. Buzz. Suddenly, a buzzing sound rang out, and the nine-layer ghost tower and the treasure-seeking compass began to rotate rapidly. They opened their bloodthirsty mouths and greedily swallowed the dense ghost energy around them, like hungry ghosts being reborn, crazily absorbing ghost energy. After all, it doesn't cost anything, so why waste it? Suck, suck, suck. At this time, under the altar, a pitch-black shadow is also greedily absorbing ghost energy. Suddenly, the shadow frowned. It clearly felt that the concentration of ghost energy was rapidly decreasing, as if the ghost energy outside had been absorbed. The Ghost King immediately scanned with his spiritual sense and indeed detected the presence of other ghost creatures outside. Instantly, he was filled with anger. How dare they steal food in front of me! Unbelievable! I will kill you all! The Ghost King let out an angry roar in his mind. Boom, boom, boom! Terrifying collisions sounded from under the altar, and an angry roar echoed like thunder. What the f asterisk ck! You guys are so audacious, actually daring to steal my ghost energy. 
I have already remembered your presence. Wait until I break the seal, I will make you suffer, I will rip out your souls and feed them to pigs. The ghost king's heart-wrenching voice resounded under the altar, with overwhelming ghost energy. A tremendous pressure swept towards Lin Haoren and the others. Lin Haoren heard the ghost king's barking and couldn't help but smile. Ignoring him, he continued to focus on the two ghost items in the air. Quack, quack, quack. What the hell are you barking at? Lin Haoren ignored him, but the soul-devouring crow ghost couldn't sit still. This stupid duck really wasn't afraid of death. It flew directly to the middle of the altar and started cursing at the ghost king below. Quack, quack, quack. You idiot. If you have the guts, come out and bite your duck uncle. Ah, useless thing. The ghost king below exploded with anger, emitting roaring anger, you damn duck. Aleph asterisk CKU, wait until I come out, I will turn you into peeking duck. Just you wait. You're dead. Quack, quack, quack. You little chicken, keep barking, your duck uncle will make you eat sh asterisk t. This silly duck doesn't know how to write the word death. It actually positioned itself with its but sticking out towards the crack under the altar. Poo pew poo. Suddenly, a series of fart sounds echoed, and a disgusting smell filled the area beneath the altar. For a moment, it felt like the whole world became quiet. Chapter 144, A Fart Altered the Mission, Ghost King Breaks the Seal Early at this moment, in the dense ghostly atmosphere high above, the treasure-seeking compass has absorbed enough ghostly energy. It has reached saturation and the number of treasure-seeking attempts has been refreshed. It can be used again. Lin Haoren beckoned and retrieved the treasure-seeking compass. In the dense ghostly sky, only the nine-layer ghost town tower was still greedily absorbing this terrifying ghostly energy. It emitted a dense black light, as if it could undergo a drastic change at any moment. Lin Haoren felt extremely nervous. If he succeeded, he would obtain the first SS-grade ghost item. This mission would be a huge profit. But at this moment. Splutter. A loud series of farts suddenly sounded, causing Lin Haoren to be slightly stunned. He turned his head and saw that this idiotic guy, Shia, had actually stuck his disgusting butt into a crack and farted into it for the Ghost King to smell. Lin Haoren. For a moment, it felt like the world had become quiet. Even the Ghost King under the altar was shocked. He never expected that there would be such a lawless, immoral, and uncivilized monster who would do such morally corrupt things. It was truly intolerable. Roar. The Ghost King, who had finally reacted, let out a earth-shattering roar. Ugh. Immediately after, a vomiting sound followed. The Ghost King smelled the extremely foul fart of the soul-eating crow ghost and vomited out all the ghostly energy he had consumed last night. Damn it. Ugh. Damn it. The Ghost King vomited and roared at the same time. His anger had completely ignited and exploded. Roar. Even if I haven't fully recovered to my peak state today, I will still go out and kill you, you dead duck. I'm furious too. The ghost king let out an extremely angry roar. Boom. 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 Suddenly, the altar resounded with deafening collisions, as if an unparalleled fierce beast was ramming against the seal from below. Crack. Crack. The huge black stone on the altar continuously showed terrifying cracks. The ghost king was about to break free from the seal. Ding dong. Your hidden mission, Hidden Ghost King, Part 1, has been discovered. The mission has changed to Attack of the Ghost King. For certain indescribable reasons, the ghost king is about to break the seal and come out. He will lead millions of ghosts in the Black Mist Forest to attack the beginner village. Please inform the village chief immediately and make preparations in advance. The Ghost King will soon lead the arrival of millions of ghosts. Mission Reward, Unknown Just at this moment, the system prompt suddenly sounded in Lin Haoren's ears, leaving him dumbfounded on the spot. He looked at the idiotic Shia who was still farting, and his face turned black as if he had stepped on dog poop. So, this hidden mission was ruined by the fart of the soul-eating crow ghost. He would like to be called the strongest fart of this era, he can be called the fart king. Stupid duck. Come back to me, damn it. 
Lin Haoran looked at the altar, which had already begun to crack, and the huge stone had been completely destroyed. The ghost king was about to be born, and Lin Haoran wished he could cook the stupid duck. He shouted loudly at the soul-eating crow ghost, duck. The soul-eating crow ghost turned his head, looking at Lin Haoran with a puzzled expression, completely unaware that he had messed up this hidden mission. Come back to me. Lin Haoran was furious, he directly called back the stupid duck, and then shouted at the ghosts, you all come back too, I'll crush the teleportation symbol and leave later. Yes. Father. Little Lei Ming nodded obediently, then turned into a ghost pattern and returned to Lin Haoran's body. Father. Be careful. Little Shue's big eyes showed a hint of worry, and then she also returned to Lin Haoran's body. The ghost sword immortal walked to Lin Haoran's side, quietly looking at him with his phoenix eyes, and said, You. Be careful. Lin Haoran smiled slightly, he directly hugged the ghost sword immortal, feeling the softness and fragrance of the ghost sword immortal, and gently said, Don't worry. I won't die so easily, and you forgot, right? Even if I die, I can still resurrect. The ghost sword immortal's body was initially stiff, but when he heard Lin Haoran's words, his body relaxed, and he reached out and hugged Lin Haoran tightly, smelling the familiar scent on Lin Haoran's body. Be careful in everything. I'll wait for you to come back. The gentle voice of the ghost sword immortal sounded, and it turned into a black light and drilled into Lin Haoran's body. Lin Haoran took a deep breath, his face solemnly looking at the constantly cracking altar, the terrifying aura flowing out from below, even he felt a tremor. These were not the ghosts that should appear in the newbie village, everything changed because of a fart from the stupid duck. Wait a little longer. It's almost there. The nine-layer ghost tower is about to level up. Lin Haoran looked at the nine-layer ghost tower in the sky, constantly flickering with astonishing black light, forcing himself to calm down, murmuring to himself, boom boom boom. Just at this moment, the altar suddenly exploded, and a terrifying black gas suddenly rose up, like a volcanic eruption, rushing into the sky, shrouding the sky in black gas. Ha ha ha. I finally came out. You all deserve to die, all of you. A terrifying voice suddenly sounded from the altar, like an evil ghost crawling out of hell, full of resentment and anger. P.S. Please give me a little flower please give me a 5-star review. Chapter 145, Attack of the 10 Million Ghosts on the Village World System Announcement The altar collapsed as if there was an earthquake. Boom boom boom. The ground shook violently, filled with eerie ghostly energy. Terrifying ghostly energy surged from deep beneath the altar, erupting like a volcano, breaking through the black mist in clouds, soaring into the sky. Boom boom boom. The sky was already covered in dark clouds, with lightning and thunder roaring like giant beasts, emitting deafening roars. The entire sky became completely dark, as if it were the end of the world. Ha ha ha. A thousand years, a whole thousand years. I am finally going to come out. A loud roar echoed from the depths of the altar, as if an evil demon in the abyss had awakened. Lin Haoran's forehead was covered in cold sweat, his face tense as he looked at the pitch black hole of the altar. He then turned his gaze to the nine layer ghost tower in the sky, only one step away. Hmm. Damn ants. How dare you still be here? Die for me. The Ghost King Underground let out an angry roar, and a strong and dense ghostly energy surged out. A huge black hand accompanied by rolling black mist reached out from the hole, fiercely slapping towards Lin Haoran. The terrifying pressure felt like the devil's palm from hell, causing an inexplicable fear. Ding dong! Congratulations on your ghost creature, nine-layer ghost tower absorbing a large amount of ghostly energy, leveling up, automatically advancing to SS-level ghost creature, 12-layer ghost tower. Just at this moment, a melodious voice sounded in Lin Haoran's ears. Lin Haoran's left eye had already transformed into the form of a ghost eye, activating his dynamic vision to the fullest. Ah! Lin Haoran clenched his teeth and let out a roar. His body leaped up, leaving a deep pit on the ground. Flying into the air, he reached out with his big hand and grabbed the upgraded nine-layer ghost tower. At the same time, he crushed the teleportation talisman in his hand. Buzz. Immediately, a yellow light flickered, and Lin Haoran's figure disappeared in an instant in the sky. Boom. The giant demonic hand directly slapped the ground, causing mountains to collapse and the ground to crack. 
the ground trembled like an earthquake and a tsunami. Boom boom boom. A huge crater formed on the ground, like a basin, directly changing the topography. It was terrifying. Damn ants. Go. You can't escape. This is a deserted island, you can't escape. Damn duck. I will kill you. The terrifying voice of the Ghost King came from underground, followed by a massive black mist surging out of the black hole. A pair of blood red eyes flickered with icy and bone chilling coldness, looking towards the direction of the newbie village. The Ghost King roared angrily towards the sky, black mist forest. All ghosts and monsters, obey my command. All attack towards the village. I will slaughter all living beings on this deserted island. With the call of the Ghost King, countless powerful ghosts in the dense black mist forest opened their eyes and let out terrifying howls. Woo woo. A woo woo. For a moment, the entire forbidden area of the black mist forest was like a night march of millions of ghosts, completely boiling. The sky was filled with rolling black mist, and the ground was filled with countless ghosts, including the black mist resentful ghosts, black mist evil ghosts, black mist giant ape ghosts, and even the black mist bone dragon ghosts. There were various types of ghosts, and their numbers were like a black sea, endless and without end, advancing towards the newbie village. At the same time, Lin Haoran crushed the teleportation symbol and had already teleported back to the newbie village, where the village elder, an old ghost, was. Lin Haoran had already returned to his human form at this time and looked at the old ghost in front of him. In a somewhat urgent tone, he said, village elder. The ghost king has broken the seal and is gathering countless ghosts to attack our village. We need to prepare quickly. The old ghost looked at the rolling ghostly black mist in the distance, and even here, he could feel the powerful ghostly aura. This ghost king was very terrifying. A strange expression flashed through the old ghost's murky eyes as he turned to look at Lin Haoran and said, Young man, you've worked hard. Ding dong. Congratulations on completing the mission. You have obtained a reward, S-Class ghost item, Thunderbird's wing. Just at this moment, the system notification sounded in Lin Haoran's ear, unexpectedly rewarding him with an S-class ghost item in the form of wings. This made Lin Haoran extremely happy, as this kind of ghost item was extremely rare. Lin Haoran didn't have time to check it, as the voice of the village elder continued, I will now gather the strength of the entire village to defend against the ghost army on the city wall, but we also need the power of you outsiders to help us resist the attack of the ghost army. I will now issue the mission. Young man, I implore you to help us defend the village, otherwise the entire island will be in chaos. The old ghost looked at Lin Haoran with a heavy expression and said solemnly. Lin Haoran looked into the old ghost's eyes and felt an inexplicable feeling surge within him. It was as if the old ghost knew the secret on his body. Village Elder. I will do my best. Lin Haoran suppressed the strange thoughts in his heart and said seriously to the village elder. Good. Then I'll leave it to you. The old ghost's face revealed a bright smile. Just at this moment, in newbie village number four, within the void of all the players, a deafening system announcement sounded. Ding dong. Attention, players of newbie village number four. Attention, players of newbie village number four. The demon king is leading a massive army of ghosts and monsters towards the village. All players are requested to quickly return to the village and participate in the defense battle. The attacking demon king is a threat to everyone. If the village is breached and the resurrection stone is destroyed, all players will be unable to revive and their game data will be forcibly deleted, preventing them from accessing the game. Chapter 146, Boiling No. For beginner village ghost points ranking Ding Dong. The village guarding mission is starting. Ding Dong. The ghost points ranking is starting. Players can earn relative points by killing ghosts. The higher the level of the ghost, the more points they will earn. After completing the village guarding mission, players can exchange points for precious items from the village chief. The highest exchangeable items include SS level qualified ghosts, SS level ghost creatures, and even precious ghost treasures and special props. Ding dong. Killing the Ghost King will reward players with mysterious special rewards and high points. Players of No. For Beginner Village, please give it your all and resist the attack of the Ghost King and the Ghost Army together with the village. Ding Dong. 
Special hidden mission in the beginner village, the attack of the Ghost King, officially begins. The Ghost King and the Ghost Army will arrive at the village walls in one hour. Players, please be prepared. Wishing all players good luck. A series of system notification sounds rang out above the heads of all players, like thunder. After hearing the entire announcement, silence fell over the entire beginner village. Everyone's faces showed a mix of confusion and shock. Their heads buzzed as if 10,000 grass mud horses were running through their minds. What the hell is going on? I was just grinding monsters peacefully, and now the Ghost King is leading an army to raid our homes. If the beginner village is breached, our data will be permanently deleted. Isn't that just deleting our accounts? Now, the entire no. For beginner village exploded. Whether they were solo players or guild players, they all rushed towards the village. The chat channel of no. For beginner village exploded, causing a fierce commotion. What the f asterisk ck? What's going on? How can the ghost king attack the village? How the hell should I know? I just asked the world chat channel, and other beginner villages don't have this. F asterisk ck. Then why does our beginner village have this mission? If the village is breached and our accounts are deleted, they're basically killing us. Yeah. Now everyone knows that ghosts have appeared in the real world. Without game data, we can only become food for the ghosts like ordinary people. What do we do? I don't want to be eaten by ghosts. What do we do? Of course, we defend the village and quickly go back. There should be powerful ghost tamers and guards in the village. I even saw the Six Paths boss. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And there's the Six Paths, who single-handedly killed tens of thousands of ghosts. At this moment, everyone remembered that there were NPCs in the village, and they also remembered the insane player Six Paths, who single-handedly annihilated tens of thousands of enemies. The tension in everyone's hearts eased slightly, and they desperately rushed towards the village. In a valley, the members of the Yen Wang Palace Guild are leveling up at this time. Yen Wang himself is also among them. After a period of low-key operations, the strength of the Yen Wang Palace Guild has basically recovered. Yen Wang himself is accompanied by three powerful ghosts, two of which are S-class creatures that he acquired at a high price. Now, with three S-class creatures, his strength is formidable, and his level has reached level 8. Of course, these creatures were purchased before the appearance of the cracks in the ghost realm. Otherwise, who would still sell creatures now? High-quality creatures are now valuable assets. No one would foolishly sell them. Guild Leader What's going on? How can the Ghost King attack the village and permanently delete the data? If the village is destroyed, won't our efforts be in vain? One guild member asked Yen Wang in shock and disbelief. In vain. We won't even have our lives. Without game data, if ghosts appear in the real world, we're done for, another guild member exclaimed in panic. As soon as these words were spoken, it caused a panic among the crowd. They were filled with fear. Shut up, all of you. Yen Wang, who already had an unpleasant expression, now looked even more gloomy. He shouted at the crowd, and upon hearing his words, everyone immediately stopped discussing. Yen Wang's prestige was still significant. Why are you all making noise? The village hasn't been breached yet, and you're already thinking about the future. Go back to the village. We must defend it to the death. Yen Wang waved his hand and rushed back to the village. He absolutely would not allow the village to be breached. With his three S-class creatures, even if the creatures invaded Earth, he had absolute strength and was not afraid of anyone, except... Rokudo. Rokudo. Just you wait, one day you will die by my hands. Your creatures will all be mine. Yen Wang's eyes flickered with a cold and icy light as he muttered to himself. This scene frequently plays out in the fourth newbie village. Both other guilds and ghost groups hurriedly rush towards the village. If someone were to look down from the sky, they would see a dense crowd resembling ants, frantically pouring back into the newbie village. On the other side, the ghostly aura is overwhelming, countless ghosts are dancing wildly, also rushing towards the newbie village. The battle between ghosts and humans is about to begin. P.S. Buzzy children, 
please give me a 5 star rating with your little fingers. Little flower can also give a little gift, oh, wow. Chapter 147, Dark Clouds Pressing Down on the City, The Attack Begins. Half an hour later, players had mostly returned to the village and gathered on the city walls. There were many NPC guards on the high walls, all of them at level 10 and capable of summoning ghosts to fight. Among them, the most powerful was the village guard captain, a middle-aged man in armor with an explosive beard, resembling Zhang Fei. His eyes were sharp and he was the most powerful ghost tamer aside from the mysterious village chief, Ghost Old Man. He had a dazzling title above his head, Novice Village Guard Captain, Zhang Li, Level 15. A level 15 powerhouse like him was definitely a boss-like existence in the novice village. At this moment, Zhang Li stood respectfully behind Ghost Old Man, his eyes filled with fanaticism as he looked at him and said respectfully, Village Chief. All 500 guards in the village have assembled. Please give your orders, village chief. Zhang Li continued. Ghost old man stood on the city wall, facing the wind, and looked at the army of ghosts not far away, their ghostly aura overwhelming. His murky eyes flickered with an indescribable expression as he calmly said, Zhang Li. As you know, I cannot take action. The rest is up to you. Yes. Village chief, Zhang Li nodded and said respectfully, then Zhang Li quickly went to arrange the defense line. The guards were easy to arrange, but the most important thing was the player's deployment and arrangement. Because there were too many and it was chaotic, there were currently 20 million players in the Apocalypse Mysterious game, and each novice village had 100,000 players. At this moment, all the players stood densely packed on the long city wall, appearing somewhat congested. Currently, the players' levels were generally between 6 and 8. Among the players on the leaderboard, apart from Lin Haoren, the level 13 abnormality, the highest level for others was around 9. Lin Haoren was far ahead. At this moment on the city wall, the players nervously watched the approaching army of ghosts, a black tide resembling a black wave. The sky was shrouded in black mist, as if it were the end of the world. In the sky, one could vaguely see powerful skeletal dragon ghosts, bird-like ghosts with formidable auras. On the ground, there were huge giant gorilla ghosts, tiger-like ghosts, and so on. Looking from afar, it felt like one's bladder was about to burst. One of the players couldn't help but break out in a cold sweat, his face filled with fear as he looked at the distant army of ghosts. Gulp! This! This is too many, it's like a locust plague. Can we? Really defend the village? He said with a trembling voice. He was so scared that he felt like his legs were shaking. What if he peed himself during the battle? As soon as these words were spoken, it immediately caused a commotion, igniting the emotions in the players' hearts. It feels like it's over. Is this game cursed? Did we start on hell difficulty? This is unfair. We're just beginners. Why is it that our newbie village always gets attacked by the Ghost King? If they want to attack, let's attack together. If we die, let's all die together, that's fair. Ha ha ha. Are you trying to make me laugh to death? Where in this world is there fairness? Some people are born billionaires, while you're born as a cowherd in the mountains. Is that fair? Stop arguing, let's think about how to resist this army of ghosts. I don't want to die. I just logged out and came back to the real world. The news keeps reporting people disappearing and dying in various places. The ghosts from the game must have entered the real world. That's why we can't have our accounts deleted. We can catch the ghosts again if they die, but if our characters are gone, we're done for. Yes, yes, you're right. As long as our accounts are still there, we can rise again. The players were engaged in intense discussions, their expressions nervous and pale. Although they felt little hope in their hearts, they still believed that miracles could happen. At this moment, the army of ghosts, accompanied by the howling of ghosts like waves, had already arrived far from the village walls. The sky was filled with black mist and a chilling ghostly aura. The dark clouds pressed down on the city, as if about to crush it. The gleaming armor shone like gold in the sun. Awu! Awu! Roar! Roar! The terrifying cries sounded like the roar of wild beasts, causing the players on the city walls to look on in fear. 
The ghosts were not only numerous but also incredibly powerful. The lowest level was level 6, and there were even ghosts over level 10. The black mist bone dragon flying in the sky was level 12, and the 4 meter tall black mist golden ape was also level 12. However, for some unknown reason, the levels of these ghosts seem to be relatively lower. After all, the lowest level black mist grudges that Lin Howran encountered in the black mist forest were in their teens. These powerful black mist bone dragons and golden apes should have been of higher level. Roar. A group of ants dares to resist. Ignorant fools. I will slaughter you all and make you a part of my power. In the rolling black mist, a pair of huge blood-red pupils flickered with bloodthirsty light, staring at the people on the city walls, and let out an angry roar. The black mist instantly became restless, rising with a terrifying ghostly aura, like a divine might, extremely frightening. Listen to my command. Attack this city for me. Slaughter all humans. And the ducks. In the black mist, the ghost king let out a thunderous roar, sounding the horn of attack. Woo! Woo! Roar! Roar! The ghosts immediately let out excited howls and launched a fierce charge towards the city walls. Boom! 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 The ground trembled with deafening vibrations. The army of ghosts pressed forward, and the attack began. Chapter 148 Ghost King, Troll Ghost King Fear descends guard Captain Zhang Li stood on the command platform watching the approaching army of ghosts and monsters. He immediately drew his long sword from his waist and shouted loudly to the crowd on the city wall, everyone. Prepare for long-range ghosts. Attack. Attack fiercely. Suddenly, countless black lights flickered, and one by one, ghosts appeared on the city wall. There were ghosts holding basketballs, skeleton archers with bows and arrows, ghosts controlling flames, stone creatures holding stones, and horse-headed god ghosts holding spears. Roar! These ghosts immediately let out a series of ghostly screams, and countless skills were unleashed from the long wall. There were flames, arrows, basketballs, stones, and more, resembling fireworks in the sky. Whoosh! They fiercely attacked the army of ghosts below. Boom boom boom! The army of ghosts was instantly hit by these skills, emitting a series of miserable screams, falling to the ground, and being trampled to death by the following army of ghosts. In this situation, falling meant death. Roar roar. The skills on the city wall continued to attack the army of ghosts, causing considerable damage. However, the effect was not very obvious on the tough-skinned and thick-fleshed diamond ghosts. Roar. The huge diamond ghost let out an angry roar, stomping the ghosts in front of it to death with one foot, charging at the forefront of the army of ghosts. Thousands of giant diamond ghosts lined up in a row with a menacing momentum, like the most terrifying frontline tanks, defending against attacks while charging forward. Boom boom boom. The ground made a violent crashing sound, trembling slightly. However, there were also experts on the player's side, such as the elite members of the Yen Wang Temple Guild. Hundreds of them were ghosts with B and A level qualifications, and the Yen Wang himself had three S level qualified ghosts. Everyone attack. We can't let these diamond ghosts get close to the city wall, otherwise, the wall will be in danger. Yen Wang shouted at the members of the Yen Wang Temple Guild, then turned to look at the two long-range output ghosts beside him. One was a lion with red fur, emitting red flames from its feet, but its mouth had terrifying sharp teeth, like a demon's mouth. S-level qualified ghost, flame lion ghost. The other was a black-purple snake with human arms all over its body, a disgusting sight. S-level qualified monster, human hand poison snake ghost. There was also a melee ghost that Yin Wang did not summon. Flame lion ghost, human hand poison snake ghost. Attack, target the diamond ghosts. Yin Wang stared with his copper bell-like eyes and gave orders to his ghosts. Roar. Hiss. Both ghost monsters immediately let out a roar. The disgusting flame lion ghost opened its nauseating blood-filled mouth and spewed out a scorching flame, fiercely attacking one of the diamond ghost monsters. Boom! Awu! An explosion sounded, and the diamond ghost monster let out a miserable cry. Its massive body was knocked down to the ground, engulfed in raging flames, rolling on the ground, and burned to death. On the other side, the venomous snake ghost in human hands also spat out a foul venom, 
hitting one of the diamond ghost monsters in the face. It made a hissing sound, and the terrifying venom directly corroded the diamond ghost monster's head, turning it into a skull. It perished. In addition, the elite members of the Yen Wang Temple Guild also killed several diamond ghost monsters. Other guilds and elite ghost squads also took action, resolving many diamond ghost monsters. For a while, the players' confidence soared, their fighting spirit was high, and they let out deafening cheers of excitement. We can win! Hold steady, we will definitely be victorious. Many players were full of morale, and their ghost monsters' attacks became more frequent and violent. For a moment, the army of ghost monsters was actually slightly suppressed. The players seemed to have seen hope. We can win! A glimmer of hope lit up in the players' eyes. Damn ants! Seeking death! In the black mist, those huge blood-red eyes flickered with astonishing killing intent, emitting an angry roar. Then, a terrifying giant figure appeared in front of everyone in the black mist, a giant. Standing 50 meters tall, its entire body was dark blue-black, with veins resembling dragon scales, full of a sense of power. Its fiery red hair flew in the air, and its fierce cheeks resembled evil spirits. Its blood-red eyes were filled with a violent expression. Its huge palms were as big as a basketball court. In front of this gigantic monster, a 20-meter-high city wall was like child's play. To him, humans were like ants on the ground, easily crushed underfoot. The Ghost King, Troll Ghost King. Roar. Under the shocked gaze of everyone, the Troll Ghost King let out a roar, emitting rolling black mist and ghostly aura, resembling an abyssal behemoth. Its massive fist struck the 20-meter-high city wall with a punch. Boom 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 boom. In an instant, the city wall collapsed as if it had encountered a meteorite, causing a huge explosion. The players and ghosts on the city wall had no chance to resist, disappearing along with the wall, leaving behind a massive gap in the long wall. The terrifying shockwave swept towards both sides of the wall, sending countless players flying into the sky, emitting terrified screams. Many years later, they still remembered the terror dominated by this giant. The Deep Despair of Powerlessness P.S. Bowsy, please give us a 5-star rating whining. Chapter 149, Total Defeat of the Army, Dark Shadow in the Sky The Demon King Boom 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 With just one punch, thousands of players were instantly killed, turning into streaks of light and flying back to the resurrection stones in the village. The sturdy steel-like city walls were shattered like toys, directly crushed by the Demon King. Countless debris scattered in all directions. Ha ha ha. You ants. All die for me. Boom 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 boom. The Demon King opened its blood-filled mouth, revealing a huge mouth, and laughed loudly. Its two terrifying fists were like meteorites, continuously striking the players on the city walls. Facing this terrifying giant king, the players were like ants on the ground. Despair was the only option. Being smashed flat by the Demon King's punch, blood splattered, staining the city walls, flowing like blood. All over the city walls, there were limbs and remains, both human and monster. It was like the end of the world. A large section of the city wall had already collapsed, turning into flat ground. The number of players killed by the Demon King was countless. The blood flowed like a river, dyeing the city walls and the earth red. Ah ah ah. Help! What kind of monster is this? My god. They're dead, all dead. We're finished, completely finished. How can we possibly defeat such a terrifying monster? Woo woo. We're all going to die. The game data will be deleted. When the monsters appear again in the real world, we will be their food. Woo woo. Damn it, how could such an impossible task suddenly appear? Who triggered this task? Fuck. This is really damn. On the city walls, the players looked at the tens of meters tall demon king with fear on their faces, their pants wet. They cried and screamed like mad, completely losing their will to fight, crying, and begging like a crying child. Even some large guilds and elite ghost squads, such as the Yenwang Temple Guild and the Xiao Ghost Squad, showed deep despair on their faces. Can players at this stage really contend with such a level of monster? What kind of joke is this? It's impossible. This is absolutely impossible. How can it be so powerful? 
is it really over? A look of despair appeared on Yen Wang's face, covered in dust and bloodstains, looking at the rampaging demon king, muttering to himself with a trembling voice. Just now, right in front of his eyes, several guild members were blasted into pieces by the demon king's punch, splattering him with bloodstains. Now, the members of the Yen Wang Temple Guild were also heavily injured and in disarray, defeated and scattered. At this moment, the players on the city walls had already been completely disrupted by the Demon King, with cries and chaos everywhere. There was no longer any opportunity to deal with the army of monsters on the ground. Ow ow. Woo woo woo. The army of ghosts on the ground let out excited howls and ran recklessly. Some fast ghosts had already reached the city walls, climbing up the collapsed walls and launching a massacre against players and player ghosts. Ah uh, ah uh, ah. Uh. Help, save me. My ghosts, don't die. The army of ghosts is coming, everyone quickly pick up weapons and fight. What's the point of fighting? We're done for, completely done for, our accounts will be deleted. Woo woo woo. Don't kill me, I'm just a child. Help. Someone save us. If this world has no gods, then let there be ghost gods, save us, I will worship him for life. The remaining players on the city walls were filled with despair, crying out loud. Some even knelt on the ground, praying for divine salvation. Ha ha ha. You ants, despair. The despair on your faces is the best offering to me. Ha ha ha. The troll demon king's fists were already covered in red, a mixture of human blood and remains. Looking at the desperate humans on the ground, the troll demon king opened his bloodstained mouth and let out a deafeningly insane laughter, speaking to the crowd. Village chief. We can't hold on any longer. This demon king is too powerful. Can't you really intervene? If you don't intervene, everyone on the island will be slaughtered and eaten. The captain of the guards, Zhang Li, came to the side of the village chief, his eyes moist, trembling as he asked the old ghost, village chief, can't you really take action? The old ghost shook his head, his murky eyes like the depths of hell, unfathomable. Shaking his head, he looked towards the sky, where there seemed to be several dark figures, constantly watching this battle. The old ghost looked at the sky and said calmly, no. It's not over yet. There is still one person who can resolve this catastrophe. Zhang Li was stunned by his words, raising his head to look at the old ghost, only to find him gazing at the sky. Suddenly, a strange feeling surged in his heart, following the old ghost's gaze, he looked towards the high sky, where several dark figures were faintly visible. Zhang Li's heart trembled, a look of shock appearing on his face. He rubbed his eyes and stared intently, his pupils suddenly shrinking as he blurted out, what is that in the sky? In the sky. There are people. The old ghost's eyes flickered with an inexplicable light as he said calmly, no. They are not people. What are they? They are ghosts. But different ghosts. Chapter 150 S-Class Thunderbird Wings Legendary Boss The Guards and the old man's strange behavior were noticed by nearby players. They immediately followed their gaze towards the sky. Their pupils suddenly contracted. Gulu. They swallowed hard and showed a hint of shock, shouting loudly to everyone, Look! Look, there are people in the sky. People in the sky. In the chaotic city walls, this shout, filled with astonishment and excitement, attracted a lot of attention. Everyone turned their gaze towards the sky and immediately showed a hint of shock and a hidden expression of surprise. Could it be that a god has descended to save us? A strange thought emerged in everyone's minds as they stared fixedly at the several figures in the sky. At this moment, in the high sky, a handsome man with white hair and two horns, unfolded a pair of black wings shimmering with lightning behind him. He floated quietly in the air. The man's left eye was pitch black with six white circles emitting a strange black aura. It was Lin Haoren in his ghost lord form. These black thunderbird wings were the thunderbird wings obtained by the village chief, the old ghost, after completing a mission. Name, Thunderbird Wings, type, S-Class Ghost Item, effect, allows the wearer to fly, greatly enhances the wearer's speed, and comes with the ability, Rain of Thunder Feathers. Rain of Thunder Feathers, infuses the power of lightning, can launch countless feathers of lightning, causing area damage to enemies. Ghost Item Information, the wings of the Thunderbird Ghost, nurtured by ghost energy, have become a powerful ghost item with eternal magical power. 
It has to be said that whether in terms of practicality or showing off, these Thunderbird wings are top-notch. They made Lin Haoran look like a demon coming from hell, full of mystery and a sense of showing off, with an extremely high level of presence. Standing beside Lin Haoran on the left was the ethereal ghost sword immortal, dressed in white clothes fluttering in the wind, with a stunning face that made the moon feel ashamed and dare not reveal its moonlight. She stepped on a ghost sword, practicing swordsmanship. On the right was the soul-devouring crow ghost, with little Lei Ming and little Shui Er on its back. Father. That big bad guy below is so strong, little Shui can't defeat him. Little Shui looked at the giant troll demon king below with a hint of fear, and said to Lin Haoran, her rosy cheeks making people unable to resist pinching them. What's the use of being afraid? Watch me pierce him with the spear of judgment. Little Lei Ming's eyes flashed with electricity as he coldly said, but his appearance as a little boy was not at all fierce. Quack quack quack. Look, Uncle Duck taught him how to be a ghost. Silly Duck also proudly exclaimed, but everyone knew it was bragging. It was all talk, and when danger came, it would definitely be the first to run. Quack quack. You're so amazing, Uncle Duck. Little Shui looked at Silly Duck with admiration, making Silly Duck's head rise up to the sky. Lin Haoran looked at the troll demon king below, which was like a giant titan. A glimmer of light flashed in his left eye, the reincarnation ghost eye, as he obtained the information panel of this demon king, name, troll demon king, legendary boss, aptitude, SS type, physical class, rule class level, 18 weak state. Abilities, troll's body, the troll demon king possesses the body of a troll, greatly enhancing strength, defense, and recovery abilities. Its body is massive, capable of moving mountains and dominating the world. Troll Fist, the Troll Demon King condenses ghost energy onto its fists, causing terrifying damage to enemies and a chance to directly crush them. Unsealing of the Demon Body, the Troll Demon King unseals its own Demon Body, instantly greatly enhancing its strength and speed. Lasts for 10 minutes, with a cooldown of 1 hour. Domain of Power, the Troll Demon King unleashes its Domain of Power, continuously increasing its strength by 0. 5% per second, up to a maximum of 500%. Ghost Information, formerly a warrior of the Troll Clan, its grudge remained after death, nurtured by dense ghost energy, transforming into a legendary boss ghost king with terrifying power, capable of shattering 10,000 laws with its strength. Description, have you ever been hit by an iron fist? Oh, a fist as big as a basketball court, my dear. Lin Haoran's pupils slightly contracted as a glimmer of light flashed, revealing a cold smile. He muttered to himself, legendary boss. Ha ha ha. I didn't expect to encounter a legendary boss so quickly in this life. It's about time. It's our turn to take action. Lin Haoran opened his mouth and exhaled a cold breath, looking at the players who had been almost slaughtered, and said calmly, let me go first. The ghost sword immortal nodded and said softly, go ahead. As the words of the ghost sword immortal fell, a huge sword formation suddenly appeared in the sky, thousands of meters high. Buzz. The sound of a huge sword resonated in the sky, instantly attracting the attention of the troll demon king, the army of ghosts, and everyone on the ground. Hmm. So it's you. Damn dead ducks and annoying white ghosts. The troll demon king turned his head and instantly recognized Lin Haoran and the soul-eating raven ghost, emitting an angry roar, with eyes burning with fury. At this moment, the immortal sword formation of the ghost sword immortal had already been activated. Under the shocked gazes of everyone, a huge sword formation suddenly unfolded in the sky, covering an area of 200 meters in diameter. Boom 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 boom. Immediately after, four huge energy swords descended from the sky like judgment swords. P.S. Please give me a little flower. Chapter 151, Extermination of 10,000 Ghosts by the Immortal Slaying Sword Formation Boom 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 Boom. Under the astonished gazes of countless people below, for enormous energy swords suddenly appeared in the formation, like dimension swords descending from the Milky Way. The ghost sword immortal made a full force attack. This immortal slaying sword formation was evidently more terrifying and powerful. The terrifying pressure directly caused weaker ghosts below to tremble on the ground, their faces filled with fear as they looked at the giant swords above their heads. Even their breath seemed to be taken away. It was truly terrifying. What? The hell is this? Sword Immortal. 
Players on the city wall looked at the giant swords descending from the sky with shocked expressions. Their eyes almost popped out as they muttered to themselves, it's Lu Dao. In the bamboo forest, one of the ghosts used this move, but this time it's even more powerful. One of the players who had participated in the mass hunting of Lin Haoren suddenly remembered the unforgettable past and shouted with excitement, Lu Dao is here. That terrifying guy is here. Maybe we have a chance to survive. That's great, that's great. The player cried tears of joy and shouted crazily, Lu Dao. You mean that Lu Dao ghost god who's popular online? That's him. The ruthless person who can annihilate tens of thousands of ghosts alone. Damn. Is that thing real? I thought it was just a fabricated video. So, do we have a chance to survive? Ha ha ha. You're killing me with laughter. We, over 10,000 people, were beaten like dogs. Do you think a player can turn the tide and defeat this unbeatable boss? That's right. Lu Dao. Even if the 8th Dao comes now, it's useless. Let's just wait for death. Bullshit Lu Dao. I. Damn it, maybe this boss is his doing. Woo woo. I don't want to die. Whether you're Lu Dao or the 7th or 8th Dao, as long as you can save me, I'll treat you as my true ghost god. Oh ghost god. Please save us. At this moment, the players had different expressions. Some were crying tears of joy, their eyes filled with a glimmer of hope that had been lost. Most of the players were just shocked, nothing more. Lu Dao Ghost God. It was all just a virtual reputation. But the giant demon king before their eyes was a true ghost god. At this stage, he was invincible. What bullshit Lu Dao Ghost God. Coming out would only be embarrassing and a waste. In the eyes of these players, there was only despair. Some extreme players even cursed Lin Haoren to vent their suppressed emotions. On the battlefield, the four terrifying giant swords had already descended, carrying a strong aura. Buzz 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 buzz. The sound of swords resounded throughout the sky, as they were swung down towards the demon king and the surrounding army of monsters. Boom boom boom. Suddenly, a terrifying explosion echoed through the heavens and earth, unleashing a wave of destructive energy that swept in all directions. Awu. Ah. In an instant, the powerful explosion consumed and annihilated the numerous army of monsters, reducing them to ashes and scattering them with the residual energy. Underneath the sword formation, it resembled a hellish battlefield, with monster corpses strewn about. The black blood stained the ground, mixing with the severed limbs and flesh, emitting a nauseatingly strong smell of blood. Amidst the explosion of the sword formation, only the colossal figure remained standing on the ground, while the rest of the monster army near the sword formation was mercilessly devoured and destroyed. With just one move, the ghost sword immortal revealed the terrifying nature of the mysterious ghost monsters. The Immortal Slaying Sword Formation Within the sword formation, there were only a few survivors amidst the countless dead bodies. Even the mighty demon king had hot black-red blood flowing from his body, with four deep sword wounds appearing on him. His blood-red eyes were bleeding, his face twisted and demonic, as if a demon had crawled out from hell. Clearly, he had suffered significant injuries. This. This, how is this possible? The players on the city wall looked at this scene with disbelief, their expressions filled with incredulity. Gurgle. Is this still a human? One player couldn't help but gulp, looking at the countless corpses on the ground, muttering to himself with a trembling voice. At this moment, the world seemed to have become quiet, with only the sound of the cold wind blowing and the nauseating smell of blood. On the city wall, Zhang Li was completely dumbfounded, unable to utter a word. The old ghost's murky eyes were like a vast sea of stars, encompassing everything, as he looked towards the sky and muttered to himself, Ghost Immortal. Ghost Immortal. Defying the heavens and slaying immortals. A thousand years have passed, and I actually encountered a ghost monster of the ghost immortal kind, just like the prophecy. Ghost energy awakens countless ghosts, the two realms merge during the night of a hundred ghosts. In the end, it's the ordinary people who suffer the most. Sigh. A sigh drifted away with the wind, like an elderly person at the end of their life, lamenting the state of the world, but powerless to change it. Roar. 
The demon king let out a thunderous roar towards Lin Haoran and the other ghosts, exuding a strong ghostly aura. The injuries on his body were actually healing at a visible speed, as if they were being repaired. Then, something terrifying happened, all the injuries that had just been inflicted on him completely healed, as if he had never been injured at all. This scene plunged the players, who had just harbored a glimmer of hope, back into despair. Not only did he have high defense and great strength, but he also possessed an abnormal recovery ability. How could they defeat him? It was simply impossible to overcome this demon king. It's over. We're doomed. Ah, die, let's all die together. Heavens. Why do they treat us like this? Everyone just die. Maybe it's better this way, no more worries. Ah. This trash game, why does it have this kind of ghostly boss? Other newbie villages don't have it, why only us? I refuse. I'm not willing to accept it. Chapter 152 Silly Ducks Fury Soul Crows Cry Silence Throughout the arena the players on the city wall looked desperate, emitting waves of wailing and crying. The most desperate thing was to give you a glimmer of hope, only to extinguish it once again. Originally, they thought that the Ghost King was already injured, and a glimmer of hope emerged in their hearts. But suddenly, from heaven to hell, all the injuries on the Ghost King's body healed completely. This could no longer be described as despair. The players on the city wall all had a deathly grey expression, including powerful forces such as the Yen Wang Palace Guild and the Carefree Ghost Squad. Is it really going to end? Everything I have will be in vain. I am so unwilling. Ah ah ah. Damn it. Yen Wang's lips were bitten, blood flowing from the corners of his mouth. His eyes were like an angry bull, roaring low on the city wall. On the other side, the Carefree Ghost Squad also suffered heavy casualties, with only a dozen people left. Xiaoyu looked embarrassed, with two ghosts on his body, one with an S-level aptitude and the other with an A-level aptitude. After his own ghosts were killed by Lin Haoran, he spent a lot of money to acquire two powerful ghosts. He had been heartbroken before, but now he felt extremely fortunate when the ghost incident occurred in the real world. It was money well spent. Xiaoyu almost laughed himself awake from his dream, while the person who sold the ghosts to Xiaoyu directly cried in the bathroom. But now, Xiaoyu felt that he couldn't laugh anymore as he looked at the devastated battlefield and the monstrous ghost king. He felt like crying. So, is all of this just an illusion? In the end, I still have to waste all my efforts in vain. The village will be breached, the data will be deleted, and we will be eaten by ghosts. Is this all fate? Xiaoyu collapsed weakly on the city wall, muttering to himself. A thick despair filled everyone's hearts, like a large net slowly closing in, ultimately trapping them all in a dead end. On the battlefield, the monstrous ghost king exuded a strong ghostly aura. His blood-red eyes, like lanterns, stared fixedly at Lin Haoran and the other ghosts in the air. Especially when he saw the soul-devouring crow, flames seemed to ignite in his eyes, harboring a deep hatred towards Silly Duck. The monstrous ghost king opened his blood-filled mouth and let out an angry roar, damn ants. How dare you hurt me? You will all fly, attack them. Bring down that damn duck, I want to tear it apart alive. The monstrous ghost king looked at the soul-devouring crow in the air with a chilling killing intent, waving his large hand and giving orders to the flying ghosts in the air, such as the black mist bone dragon and the bone bird. Roar! He he he! The bone dragons and other ghosts in the air immediately let out roars of anger, changing direction and swiftly swooping towards Lin Haoran and the others in the air. They were numerous, densely packed, numbering at least several thousand, like locusts, with bloodthirsty mouths and sharp teeth. Lin Haoran lightly flapped the wings of his black thunderbird and looked at the soul-devouring crow ghost, saying to the foolish duck, your chance to redeem yourself has come. Deal with this group of flies for me. Quack quack quack. Ha, ah, leave it to duck lord. The foolish duck looked at the large army of ghosts flying towards them from below, densely packed and approaching at high speed, and immediately revealed a twisted smile, patting his chest to assure them, ho oh. The massive black mist bone dragons, the sharp beaked ancient birds, and other ghosts were about to reach Lin Haoran and the others. The terrifying cries made one's scalp tingle, and their countless numbers were like locusts. Quack quack. Just then, a terrifying duck cry suddenly resounded from the sky. 
Immediately after, something dreadful happened. The entire army of flying ghosts seemed to have been paused at this moment, ceasing their flight. If someone were to see the ghost fire in their eye sockets, they would notice that the ghost fire had extinguished. Boom 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 boom. After this eerie duck cry, under the bewildered gazes of the crowd, the entire army of flying ghosts fell from the sky one by one, falling to the ground and creating deep craters, splashing countless debris and dust. In an instant, the souls of all several thousand flying ghosts were shattered by the foolish duck's soul cawing crow, turning into soulless skeletons. With another move, all several thousand powerful black mist bone dragons and other ghosts were wiped out, all collectively dying, not a single one surviving. This scene completely shocked everyone present, their faces showing a strong expression of disbelief. Even the demon king troll, who had not expected this, had his huge pupils suddenly contract, revealing a hint of astonishment. At this moment, the entire battlefield instantly fell into a strange silence. Not a sound could be heard, as quiet as a pin drop. P.S. Thank you for your support, everyone if you can, please send some small gifts to support the author's sister, Little Pooja. Thank you all for your support. Intersection underscore intersection, intersection underscore intersection. Chapter 153 Unsealing the Demon Body Each fighting on the entire battlefield, everyone looked bewildered as the ghostly creatures such as bone dragons and bone birds kept falling. It wasn't until all the flying monsters had died and fallen to the ground that everyone barely reacted, their faces filled with shock as they looked at the pile of flying monster corpses on the ground. They muttered to themselves, what happened? Another player couldn't help but gulp and said in a dazed manner, gurgle. I heard a duck's quack. The players around them were suddenly intrigued and showed an incredulous expression, saying, you're saying that a duck's quack killed thousands of terrifying monsters in an instant. What kind of joke is this? Another player suddenly remembered something and exclaimed with excitement, right. It was a duck's quack. Lu Dao has a black crow that sounds like a duck. It shouted in the bamboo forest and wiped out thousands of monsters. It must be that crow. It's the duck god. The duck god has come. Lu Dao brought the duck god with him. This player was obviously one of the players who had participated in the campaign against Lin Haoren. At this moment, he looked excited as if he had seen some hope, shouting loudly. The player's despairing eyes flickered with a glimmer of light, as if a spark of hope had ignited once again. On the battlefield, the Demon King Troll's mind was also buzzing. He was also a bit confused. His legion of flying monsters had turned into lifeless corpses in just two seconds. The Demon King Troll's eyes flickered with a chilling light as he stared fiercely at the soul-devouring raven ghost, who was laughing loudly in the sky, wishing he could devour it alive. Roar! Damn duck, I will not coexist with you. I will kill you. The anger in the Demon King Troll's heart was completely ignited. A terrifying aura surged from his body, ghostly energy boiled, and black mist billowed. His massive body flickered with a faint black light. The Demon King Troll directly used his third ability, unsealing the demon body. At this moment, the Demon King Troll's aura instantly became much stronger, as if a ghostly god had descended. The terrifying pressure caused some low-level ordinary monsters to be instantly crushed to the ground, trembling in fear as they looked at the Demon King Troll shrouded in black mist. Die for me! After unsealing his demon body, the Demon King Troll roared towards the sky, letting out a deafening roar. He swung his fists fiercely, and the terrifying ghostly energy directly transformed into a pair of huge black energy fists. Boom, boom! They fiercely struck towards Lin Haoren and the others in the sky. From a distance, it looked like a pair of giant fists were about to shatter the sky. The scene was extremely shocking. Boom, boom, boom. The pair of huge black energy fists broke through the white clouds, shattering the air. With terrifying power, they struck towards Lin Haoren and the others. Each fighting. The Demon King handed it over to me. Lin Haoren's eyes flashed with a hint of brilliance as he flapped the wings of the Thunderbird and spoke to everyone. Then he turned into a stream of light to dodge the giant fist, holding the thunder ghost gun, and swiftly swooped down towards the demon king. Quack quack. Quickly dodge, fly quickly. Xiao Xue saw the huge fist below and immediately looked anxious, patting the feathers of the soul-eating crow and said. Quack quack quack. Don't worry, I'm here, nothing unexpected will happen. 
The soul-eating crow flapped its wings and dodged the giant fist, then swooped down towards the army of demons below. Watch me. Ice arrows, fire together. On the back of the soul-eating crow, Xiaoxiu's eyes flickered with icy blue light. With a raise of her chubby little hand, countless ice arrows appeared in the void. Go! Xiaoxiu shouted with a childish voice, and countless ice arrows flew down towards the army of demons below, like an ice rain. Whoosh whoosh whoosh! In an instant, the army of demons below was hit by the terrifying ice arrows, piercing through their bodies. White arrows went in, black arrows came out. Au! Ah ah ah! The demons in the army let out a series of miserable screams, instantly falling into a large area of death. Corpses were everywhere, frozen in the cold air. Those bodies were all frozen in ice. Xia Laming leaped down from the back of the soul-eating crow and stood steadily in the middle of the army of demons. With a small body and a cute face, he looked like an innocent little boy. But the surrounding demons dared not even breathe, nervously looking at the one. Two-meter-tall Xia Laming, who recently grew a bit taller. You ants. You can all die. Xia Laming's face turned cold, his eyes flashed with a black light, and he coldly spoke to the surrounding demons. Buzz buzz buzz. In an instant, a black domain unfolded, instantly engulfing the surrounding army of demons. Woo woo woo. Invisible vengeful spirits emitted eerie cries, entwining every demon, then opened their bloodthirsty mouths to absorb the power of the demons and feed it back to Xyalaming. The dark abyss domain unfolds. Roar roar roar. These demons felt their power being absorbed, and immediately let out fearful cries, then launched attacks towards Xia Laming one after another. Boom boom boom. Countless demons rushed towards Xia Laming with gnashing teeth, as if they wanted to tear apart this detestable little demon. Disgusting vermin. Xia Laming felt the increasingly powerful power within him, looked at the approaching demons, and revealed a cold smile. Crackle crackle. Terrifying green lightning suddenly erupted from Xia Laming's body, his white hair stood on end without any wind. The violent thunder was like electric snakes, instantly sweeping in all directions. Boom 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 boom. I'm sorry, but there is no text provided for translation. Please provide the text you would like to have translated into English. Chapter 154 Fierce Battle, Opening the Gates of Hell Boom 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 Countless green thunderbolts, like snakes, were harvesting the lives of the surrounding monsters. Little Laming's green thunder was a high-level lightning, coupled with the amplification effect of the lightning bead and the power absorbed from the underworld domain. Little Laming's thunder was terrifying. The monsters encountered this time would die instantly, only slightly stronger ones could withstand it. Little Laming took out the two-meter-long dark twilight great sword from behind and infused it with dark energy. Buzz buzz buzz. The dark twilight great sword immediately emitted an excited sword cry, as if it was exceptionally thrilled. Die, all of you. Little Laming's eyes were as cold as snow. He tightly gripped the great sword with both hands and swung it. Swish swish. In an instant, a panic inducing black sword energy, like a crescent moon, swallowed countless monsters. It decapitated an uncountable number of monster armies. Boom 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 boom. Ow ow ow. The monster army let out incredibly miserable cries, their eyes filled with intense fear, and then they were devoured by the terrifying black sword light, becoming piles of severed bones. With the Dark Twilight Great Sword, Little Laming's melee and long range output abilities were greatly enhanced. Little Laming held the Great Sword and charged into the monster army, swinging the Dark Twilight Great Sword mercilessly, killing these monsters. The power of lightning, darkness, and the Great Sword. The combination of the three powers was unparalleled. The child swung the Great Sword, unstoppable. On the other side, the Ghost Sword Immortal also descended into the midst of the monster army on the ground. Holding the ghost spirit sword, she controlled the two swords with her mind. Using three swords simultaneously, multitasking, the name of Sword Immortal was so terrifying. Ten steps to kill a hundred monsters, no one could stop her. Whoosh whoosh whoosh. The Sword Immortal technique, appearing and disappearing like a ghost, the two swords mercilessly harvested the lives of the surrounding monsters. She also held the ghost spirit sword herself and rushed into the monster army sealing their throats with a single sword. 
The monster army couldn't react in time and had their lives harvested by the ghost sword immortal, like the Grim Reaper. These black mist monster armies were as fragile as tofu, allowing the ghost sword immortal to slaughter them without any resistance. On the other side, Foolish Duck and Little Snow formed a lineup with the little girl riding a crow. The output relied entirely on Little Snow, who would retreat after each wave. They specialized in guerrilla warfare, and Little Snow was having a great time playing in the air, giggling. There was another battle on the battlefield that was particularly eye-catching, that was the Hellpath Doppelganger. The Hellpath held the dual-bladed ghost knife, one man guarding the pass, invincible against 10,000. The skeleton domain unfolded, he possessed a special bone space, inside, he could store a large number of bones, but only bones. During the battle, he could open his bone space, very convenient. Skeletal Troll The hell road let out a low roar, and the bones in the bone space instantly combined in the void, transforming into a huge skeleton troll over 10 meters tall. The eye sockets flickered with ghostly flames, holding a large bone knife in its right hand and a bone shield in its left hand. It exuded an imposing aura, like a skeleton general crawling out of hell. Roar As soon as the skeleton troll appeared, it let out a loud roar, displaying its dominance. It swung the large bone knife, cutting a black mist demon in half, one on the left and one on the right. Blood flowed like a spring, staining the earth black. Roar, roar, roar. The skeleton troll let out an excited cry. The large bone knife continued to slash, sweeping through a large group of ghosts and monsters. None of the monsters could withstand its terrifying blade. The hell road emitted a faint white light, a unique ghostly aura of white bones. The two patterns in its eyes suddenly began to rotate slightly. Suddenly, a pitch black power surged from its body. The hell road slightly opened its mouth, clasped its hands together, and with a hoarse voice, it said, Gate of Hell. Open. Boom, boom, boom. Immediately, above the hell road in the void, a huge black bronze gate suddenly appeared. The bronze gate was engraved with mysterious patterns, including little ghosts, terrifying hell beasts, yaxes, the Naiha Bridge, ox headed horse faced creatures, black and white impermanence, and more. It emitted a mysterious and ancient atmosphere. Crack. At this moment, the bronze gate slowly opened, releasing a cold air, like the nine cold springs of hell. Boom, boom, boom. Chaotic footsteps echoed from the gate, followed by strange and grotesque ghosts walking out of the bronze gate. There were gluttonous ghosts drooling, yaks with meat wings and tridents, headless ghosts, giant ghosts with massive bodies, fierce dog ghosts, and more. The gate of hell revealed a variety of monsters, but the two leading monsters with the strongest aura were three meters tall, strong-bodied creatures. One had a bull's head and a human body, while the other had a horse's head and a human body. They held huge black wolf tooth clubs. They were none other than the bull headed demon and the horse faced demon. Roar, roar. The bull headed demon let out a resounding roar, its blood red eyes flickering with a bloodthirsty light. Behind the bull headed demon, terrifying hell demons continued to emerge, numbering at least 2,000, and the number was still increasing. It was like a great army of hell monsters. For a moment, the collision between the army of hell demons and the army of black mist vengeful ghosts was about to happen. P.S. Thank you for the 5 star reviews, my dear readers. Thank you all. Asterisk Nabla Asterisk Asterisk Nabla Asterisk Chapter 155 Hell Ghost Legion Bullhead Horseface Ghost Counterattack Begins, Name, Bullhead Ghost, Qualification, S, Type, Physical, Level, 14, Linked to the Level of the Lord of Hell, Ability, Bullhead Horseface, When Fighting with Horseface Ghost, the Attack of Bullhead Ghost will be enhanced. With a good buddy, strength is present. Wolf Tooth Club Strike, Bullhead Ghost infuses ghost energy into the Wolf Tooth Club, delivering a powerful blow to the enemy, causing massive damage. Ghost information, long ago, the ghost catchers in hell captured evil ghosts. Due to unknown reasons, hell was sealed off, and ghosts from the mortal world couldn't enter hell, causing chaos among ghosts and monsters. Now it seems that hell has opened a special passage, and hellish creatures have descended into the mortal world. Description, ha ha ha. It's been so long, I finally came out. Kill, kill, kill. The information of the two ghost monsters, Bullhead and Horseface, is basically the same. They are both S-level qualified monsters. 
Although they are not as abnormal as Lin Haoran's monsters, when Bullhead and Horseface work together, they can fight against monsters of the same level with SS level qualification. Roar Bullhead Ghost and Horseface Ghost roared excitedly, greedily absorbing the air of the mortal world. They haven't felt this air for a long time, it's this scent. Kill them for me. At this moment, the low voice of the Hell Road slowly sounded in the ears of the hellish creatures. Bullhead and Horseface turned their heads and looked towards the Hell Road. They sniffed their noses slightly. The two ghosts looked at each other and could see the excitement in each other's eyes. Roar! Bullhead and Horseface immediately let out an excited cry. Then, they swung their huge wolf tooth clubs, and countless hellish evil ghosts let out a cry of ghosts and wolves. Ow! These hellish creatures were extremely excited. Led by Bullhead and Horseface, they launched an attack on the army of Black Mist monsters. The two ghost armies collided on the open ground and fought fiercely. The hellish creatures seemed even more ferocious. After all, the environment in hell is much crueler than the mortal world. Roar, roar, roar. The hellish army was extremely excited and fiercely clashed with the army of Black Mist monsters. They grabbed the bodies of the Black Mist monsters and bit and tore them, displaying extreme cruelty and bloodiness. Even if they were injured, they wouldn't stop attacking, as if they didn't care about their lives. The Black Mist monsters were directly overwhelmed by the brutal attack of the hellish army. For a while, although the number of hellish creatures was far fewer than the army of Black Mist monsters, they were like sharp knives, ruthlessly stabbing into the abdomen of the Black Mist monster army, continuously killing them. The scene was extremely cruel and bloody, with broken flesh and blood everywhere. At this moment, intense battles broke out in several battlefields, and they were overwhelmingly dominant in terms of strength, slaughtering the Black Mist monsters. On the city wall, the remaining tens of thousands of players were completely stunned, watching as Ghost Sword Immortal, Little Thunder Ming, Hell Road, and other monsters slaughtered in all directions. Each monster was like an army, like a killing god. It was terrifying for them to see that these formidable monsters were being cut down like tofu. This scene completely shocked everyone. Is this? Is this still a human? This is the strength possessed by a player. Is he the boss of the newbie village? This is the true power of the six paths. The name of the ghost god is truly well deserved. This completely changes my perception of the monsters in this game. They're so strong. He truly deserves to be the world's number one man. Although I dislike him. I have to admit that he is much stronger than us. It seems like we might have a chance. If things continue like this, we might actually have hope. The players on the city wall witnessed this awe-inspiring scene, and a glimmer of hope flashed in their eyes. The flame of hope in their hearts grew stronger, and a renewed fighting spirit emerged. At this moment, the commander on the command platform, Zhongli, had already gathered the remaining guards and summoned melee monsters. Zhengli drew out a sharp ghost weapon, his expression excited, his veins bulging, and shouted loudly to the crowd, soldiers. It's time for us to counterattack. Draw your weapons and follow me into battle. Defend our homes and build our achievements. Kill them all. Zhang's passionate words were like a spark that ignited the flames in the hearts of all the players. Kill them. Exterminate these damn bastards. Protect the village. Protect the resurrection stone. My fate is in my hands, not in the heavens. Kill the monsters. Earn points, exchange for SS level monsters. Kill the monsters. Earn points, exchange for SS level monsters. Suddenly, numerous players rose up, their hearts filled with fierce determination. They summoned their own melee monsters and followed Zhang Li and the guards, rushing down towards the Black Mist monsters below the city wall. The player monster legion clashed once again with the melee approach against the Black Mist monster legion, creating a cacophony of battle cries, roars, and screams. It was like a chaotic mix, blending together to create a resounding battle song that shook the soul. In order to survive, they were willing to challenge even Mount Tai. The battle outside the city wall of the village had completely entered a state of intense heat. Chapter 156 But I Can Manipulate the Heavenly Tao At this moment, on the chaotic battlefield, the most eye-catching is still the battle between Lin Haoran and the Demon King. 
The outcome of their battle will determine the final result of this war. Roar. Damn ants, have the guts to fight me head on instead of jumping around like fleas. The demon king let out an angry roar, shouting loudly at Lin Haoren who was constantly flying around his body. Lin Haoren flapped the wings of the Thunderbird, greatly increasing his speed, constantly maneuvering around the demon king. The thunder spirit gun in his hand continuously attacked the demon king. However, after the demon king's demonic body was unsealed, his regenerative ability surprisingly improved. The pierced wounds healed in just a second. This made Lin Haoren's expression slightly unpleasant. This regenerative ability is too abnormal. Reincarnation Heavenly Omen Lin Haoren narrowly avoided a punch from the Demon King, let out a low roar, and suddenly his left eye's reincarnation Heavenly Omen began to spin rapidly. A white flame instantly appeared on the Demon King's arm. Ha! Huh? What kind of flame is this? It hurts. Bang bang bang. The Demon King let out a terrified scream, constantly slapping the white flame on his right hand. But no matter how the Demon King slapped, he couldn't extinguish the flame of the heavenly omen. Instead, the white flame became stronger and almost enveloped his entire forearm. The torment of both the physical body and the soul made the demon king howl in pain. Ah ah ah. Damn it, damn it, damn it. The demon king looked at the increasingly powerful flame of the heavenly omen, and a hint of determination flashed through his blood-red eyes. He suddenly raised his left hand, covered in dense ghostly energy, and swung a knife towards his right forearm. Plop plop. Immediately, black blood sprayed in all directions like a fountain. His severed forearm was cut off and devoured by the white flame, turning into nothingness. Roar. The demon king let out a long roar, and then an astonishing scene occurred. His right forearm visibly grew flesh, teeth, and bones at an alarming speed. Then, under Lin Haoren's shocked gaze, a brand new forearm and palm grew out, intact as if it had never been severed. This self-healing ability has reached an extremely abnormal level. It can completely restrain the flame of the heavenly omen. This kind of monster can only be killed with a single strike, otherwise, even if heavily injured, it can recover quickly. It seems. I have to use that move. Lin Haoren's eyes flickered with an inexplicable light, as if he had made some kind of decision. Ha ha ha. Ant, you can't kill me. The body of my demon clan is the strongest. Unless you can kill me with a single strike, I will recover quickly. Ha ha ha. Despair, you ants. The demon king troll saw Lin Haoren's unpleasant expression and burst into laughter, mocking him. His blood-red eyes were filled with disdain as he said, you should feel honored. Lin Haoren flapped the wings of the Thunderbird and flew to a high altitude not far from the Demon King Troll. With his black and blue eyes, he looked at the Demon King Troll and slowly spoke, Hmm. I should feel honored. You think I'm crazy? The Demon King Troll, hearing Lin Haoren's words, couldn't help but show a look of disbelief. He stared at Lin Haoren as if he were looking at a fool and said, You, a mere little monster, dare to speak to me like this? Who do you think you are? The will of heaven. The demon king troll, like a truck's halogen lamp, flickered with a chilling murderous intent and let out a thunderous roar towards Lin Haoren. Lin Haoren's left eye, the revolving ghost eye, emitted a mysterious glow. Lin Haoren slightly opened his mouth and looked coldly at the demon king troll, saying slowly, although I am not the will of heaven. I can control it. Rongwa. Lin Haoren's deep and hoarse voice suddenly resounded. In an instant, the revolving ghost eye in his left eye emitted a dazzling black and white light. The six white circles in his pupils formed a mysterious white pattern. At the same time, the sky suddenly became cloudy, and darkness enveloped the land. Lightning and thunder flashed in the dark clouds, as if it were the end of the world. The sky over the entire level 4 newbie village instantly became dim, with dark clouds blocking the sun. This scene completely dumbfounded the monster players who were still in battle. What? What's going on? It's getting dark. The whole sky is dark. Could it be that another big monster has appeared? No way. How can we survive this? Wait, look. There's a crack in the sky. What is that? Players looked up in horror at the dark sky, causing a panic. 
Suddenly, a huge crack appeared in the sky, as if the sky had been torn open. The sound of grinding sand deafened the ears as the crack slowly widened, releasing a terrifying aura. P.S. Dear readers, if you have the means, you can give some small gifts or other presents. It's also free the price of the book list is so low. Crying face, crying face, crying face. Chapter 157, The Sky Covering Giant Eye, Eye of Heaven Crack. Crack. A massive crack suddenly appeared in the sky. Then, to the astonishment of everyone, the enormous fissure opened up, revealing a gigantic eye in the heavens. This eye was earth-shattering, with six concentric circles forming its iris, resembling the cycles of reincarnation. A terrifying, vast, solemn, and ancient aura emanated from this sky-covering giant eye. The ghosts and monsters on the ground were completely prostrated, trembling, and sweating profusely. Their mouths quivered violently, their minds shattered. They looked at the giant eye in the sky with fear, terror, and despair. Countless emotions surged within the hearts of the ghosts and monsters. They couldn't resist, nor could they fight back because this was the will of heaven. As the sky-covering giant eye opened, the entire level 4 novice village instantly fell into an incomparable silence. At this moment, all the ghosts and monsters in the village were lying on the ground, trembling and unable to move, like lambs being slaughtered at will. A profound silence enveloped the space, and time seemed to stand still. Even the wind ceased to blow, as if it too was afraid. Beneath the sky-covering giant eye, Lin Haoren emitted the same vast aura. The black energy of his reincarnation ghost eye surged madly. Within his reincarnation ghost eye, it seemed as if there were countless stars and ever-changing seas. At this moment, he appeared to be the supreme god who controlled everything. Under the eye of heaven, he could easily crush any life, whether it be a ghost or a god. No. It wasn't crushing. It was seeing the cycle of cause and effect in all things. Life was the cause, death was the effect. There must be a cause for everything that was born in this world, whether it was insignificant or as heavy as Mount Tai. These were all causes. Disappearing from this world was your effect. On the city wall, the old ghost's murky eyes were filled with astonishment as he stared fixedly at the sky-covering giant eye. His mouth trembled slightly as he muttered to himself, How? How is this possible? The Eye of Heaven The old ghost looked in shock at Lin Haoren beneath the Eye of Heaven and slowly spoke, Unbelievable. Unbelievable. To actually be able to manipulate the Eye of Heaven. Who? Who are you? The old ghost's eyes flickered with an inexplicable light as he stared at Lin Haoren in the air. He knew that Lin Haoren possessed formidable ghostly powers, but even the game couldn't detect his reincarnation ghost eye. Naturally, he hadn't discovered it either, which was why he was so shocked and incredulous at this scene. At this moment, the Demon King had long lost his previous arrogance and confidence. His massive body trembled violently, his legs bent, and he looked at the eye of heaven in the sky with a face full of fear. He could sense that this eye contained immense power. This was the might of heaven. The unstoppable will of heaven. This is impossible. Absolutely impossible. How could such power be controlled by a mere ant? I don't believe it. This must be an illusion. The demon king raved like a madman, overwhelmed by this terrifying power, feeling like nothing more than an insignificant ant, easily crushed underfoot. As someone who held himself high above others, he couldn't accept such a drastic difference. Lin Haoren's white hair fluttered in the wind, his left eye glowing with a ghostly aura, exuding a majestic presence that seemed to merge with the eye of heaven. Looking down at the deranged demon king, his voice resonated like the voice of heaven itself, slowly echoing in the void, demon king. I have seen your fate. You are destined to return to the path of heaven today. It's over. You should leave. Lin Haoren looked indifferently at the demon king, his voice devoid of any emotion, as if passing judgment on the life and death of an ant, insignificant and pitiful. Hum. As Lin Haoren's words fell, the giant eye in the sky trembled slightly, observing the terrified demon king on the ground. A heavy aura of heaven descended upon the demon king. Boom. The massive body of the demon king suddenly fell to his knees, as if the entire sky was pressing down on him, rendering him completely immobile, unable to even breathe. Hum. 
Then, the eye of heaven, which covered the sky like an eclipse, released a terrifying suction force. No. No. The enormous body of the demon king was directly sucked up into the sky, emitting a scream of extreme fear. But it was all in vain. Under the astonished gazes of countless people, the invincible demon king was sucked into the eye of heaven like an ant, without causing even the slightest ripple. After severing the demon king's karma, the eye of heaven seemed to glance at Lin Haoran, then quietly disappeared into the sky. The dark clouds dispersed, and rays of sunlight floated down like ethereal veils, gently illuminating the chaotic battlefield. In this cruel battlefield, there was now a hint of warmth, dispelling the cold and darkness. Under the city walls, silence reigned. Not a sound could be heard, not even the chirping of birds or the dropping of a needle. The players stood dumbfounded on the ground, their faces filled with disbelief as they watched the demon king being devoured by the eye of heaven. Even now, they couldn't believe that the invincible demon king had disappeared just like that. Gurgle. In the quiet battlefield, the sound of swallowing saliva was particularly clear. Everyone looked up at the sky, their eyes filled with profound shock. This. Is this really happening? Or is it just an illusion? One player's gaze became unfocused, his throat dry, as he struggled to utter a word. Chapter 158 System Announcement Legendary Treasure Chest, SS Level Ghost Clue Map This scene, resembling a sci-fi blockbuster, left the players in a state of self-doubt and silence. After a while, they rubbed their eyes and realized that the invincible troll demon king had truly disappeared. This confirmed to the players that it was real, the boss was really dead. Suddenly, under the city walls, all the players' eyes showed an incredibly excited expression, and they let out waves of cheers and excitement, yeah. The Ghost King is dead, the Ghost King is dead. We are saved. We have one. Fantastic. The Ghost King is dead, we don't need to delete our accounts anymore. Sob sob sob. Bodhisattva bless us, our account data is finally saved. The Six Paths of the Great God is amazing. From now on, the Six Paths of the Great God is my only belief. Yes, that's right. Without the six paths of the great God, there is no us. Whoever dares to slander the six paths of the great God is our enemy. The six paths of ghost gods. The six paths of ghost gods. The six paths of ghost gods. The players were overjoyed, some were shouting excitedly, some were dancing with their pants off, some were passionately kissing, and they were both big men. There were also some players who knelt in a pious manner towards Lin Haoran, at this moment, Lin Haoran was their only belief, their only god. Even if he was a ghost, he was still a divine being. On the battlefield, deafening shouts resounded, and the players were calling out Lin Haoran's nickname loudly. Among these people, many had participated in the campaign against Lin Haoran, but in the face of real life, these grudges felt ridiculous. The resentment towards Lin Haoran vanished with the wind, and at this moment, they only felt admiration. It was him who stood up and saved everyone, indirectly saving the lives of 100,000 players. If the newbie village was breached and the resurrection stone was destroyed, they would not be able to revive, they could only delete their accounts. When ghosts and monsters invaded the real world, there was only one way to death. Ding! At this moment, a thunderous ding sound suddenly rang out in the sky, followed by a deafening system announcement in the void, ding. Congratulations to the player from, Six Paths, for successfully killing the legendary boss troll Demon King, obtaining a massive amount of points, and receiving a mysterious reward, legendary treasure chest. Ding. Congratulations to the player from, Six Paths, for the first kill of the legendary boss, unparalleled in the world, gaining 5,000 points of ghost-killing reputation, a rare SS-level ghost clue map, and an S-level ghost weapon, Ice Ghost Bow. Ding! Attention to all players in Newbie Village No. 4. The Troll Demon King is dead, the ghost army without a leader, the morale of the Black Mist ghost army is low, and their attack power is reduced by 20%. Players, please work hard to eliminate the ghost army and complete the village defense mission. Several loud system announcements suddenly rang out in the sky, once again bringing the excitement and cheers of the players to a climax. Charge! Kill the monsters! Destroy these damn things! Ha ha ha! Just a moment ago you guys were so amazing, why are you now so weak? Kill, kill, kill! Earn points, exchange for SS-level monsters! 
this is so awesome. Let me die, I just earned 5 points. Everyone, don't steal monsters. I'm a college student, let me kill. What school are you from? Dare to ask today, dare to kill tomorrow, you're asking for trouble. What the f asterisk ck. Players went completely crazy, commanding their own monsters and hunting down the already terrified army of black mist monsters. These black mist monsters had long lost their fighting spirit, scattered like loose sand, desperately trying to escape. But how could the players give up this opportunity to beat a dog when it's down? Like hungry wolves seeing a lamb, they greedily killed the fleeing black mist monsters. The situation on the battlefield underwent a tremendous change with the death of the Demon King. Lin Haoran's white hair floated in the air, his left eye, the reincarnation ghost eye, had returned to its normal appearance. Lin Haoran had also withdrawn from that godly perspective. Who? Who? Lin Haoran slightly opened his mouth and exhaled a cold breath. His eyes flashed with countless stars, unfathomable. He murmured to himself, the power of species is still too insignificant, even the mighty demon king is nothing. In the face of the heavenly Tao. We are still ants. I want to become stronger. I must transcend beyond the heavenly Tao. Not confined to the five elements, become the true master of my own destiny, the supreme god. Lin Haoran's eyes shimmered with intense ambition, roaring madly in his heart. Then, he looked at the chaotic battlefield below a slight smile appeared on his lips. Although I've obtained a large number of points, I can't miss out on the small ones. Lin Haoran immediately flapped the wings of the Thunderbird and swiftly descended towards the battlefield below, preparing to reap the final wave of rookies. P.S. Please, dear readers, give this humble lady a 5-star rating. Chapter 159 The Battle of Harvest comes to an end on the battlefield, the sound of fighting filled the air. The army of black mist demons was almost completely consumed. Especially the skeleton giants and the army of hell demons from the hell path. With their terrifying several meter long swords, the skeleton giants could decapitate dozens of demons with a single swing. The number of demons that came out of the gates of hell had reached 5,000, which was the maximum limit summoned by the hell path clone. As their strength increased, this number would continue to grow. More special demons would also be unleashed such as the Black and White Impermanence, Mangpa, and even the King of Hell. Under the leadership of the Oxhead and Horseface Demons, the terrifying army of 5,000 Hell Demons was no match for the Black Mist Demons. They were ruthlessly torn apart and devoured, constantly growing in strength. Little Lei Ming, Ghost Sword Immortal, and Little Snow Crow had killed countless demons. There were not just thousands, but tens of thousands. They were like merciless killing machines, causing the other demons to tremble in fear. Their eyes were filled with terror, like frightened birds fleeing in all directions. Kill, kill, kill. Ha ha ha. So damn satisfying. My points have been increasing all along. It's so enjoyable. Ha ha ha. I want to exchange for SS grade qualified demons. They're all mine. I want SS grade demons. Don't compete with me. Don't steal my monsters. Damn it. The players were going crazy, and there were even instances of competing for monsters and points. It almost escalated into a fight. Humans were indeed a highly contradictory species. They had great love, but more often, they were ugly and evil. Who the fuck dares to steal my monsters? One of the big guys had an angry expression on his face. He turned around in anger and cursed, but soon his face changed drastically. He saw a terrifying figure floating in the air, with dark wings flickering with lightning, constantly shooting lightning feathers to kill the army of black mist demons below. It was Lin Haoran in his ghost lord form. Lin Haoran glanced coldly at the big guy with indifference in his eyes. The big guy suddenly felt a chill all over his body, and cold sweat dripped down his forehead. He forced a stiff smile on his face and said to Lin Haoran, Senior Six Paths. Please, please. After dealing with the black mist demons in this area, Lin Haoran immediately flapped his thunderbird wings and flew towards other places. He didn't bother with the big guy. After all, would an elephant care about an ant? Lin Haoran was efficient and didn't waste a single point. It had to be said that he was really good at managing his resources. 
There weren't many men, or rather, male ghosts like him. Who? Who? Looking at Lin Haoren who was leaving, the big man finally took a deep breath. Lin Haoren's oppressive feeling was too strong, like a ferocious beast from ancient times, even breathing was difficult. The boss of the Six Paths is so handsome and powerful. The surrounding players couldn't help but sigh with envy. Who does he think he is, stealing our monsters? He's so strong, but has no sense of integrity, yet he has the audacity to steal monsters from us ordinary people. It's such a waste to have such great power. The big man's eyes flickered with jealousy as he spat in the direction of Lin Haoren and cursed at him. Exactly. He's so powerful, why does he still need to steal points from us? He really has no integrity. He doesn't understand the concept of the rich helping the poor. Poof. Don't be naive, he wants others to help him, what a dream. It's good enough that he didn't kill us. He's not a good person. He even steals small monsters. He doesn't deserve to be a god. The stronger the power, the greater the responsibility. He should be helping us become stronger together, right? Exactly. He's so selfish. People like him won't go far, they'll soon fall from their godly pedestal. The big man's words instantly resonated with the players around who were unhappy with Lin Haoren, accusing him from a moral high ground. Even the foolish idea of the rich helping the poor was mentioned. It's unclear if their brains were filled with shit, how could they still be so naive? Is he their father or mother that he must take care of them? A small number of Lin Haoren's fans among the players fell silent, not agreeing with these people's words. If it weren't for the Six Paths God, they might have already had their account data deleted, let alone points. These people don't understand gratitude and even have the audacity to turn against the Six Paths God who saved them, they are beyond redemption. Ding dong. As time passed, a thunderous system announcement suddenly sounded in the sky, congratulations to newbie village now. 4. For completing the village defense mission. Defeating the Ghost King and the army of Black Mist Ghosts. All the ghost monsters in newbie village now. 4. Have leveled up. Players can exchange the points obtained from killing ghost monsters for various ghost monster clue maps and treasures at the village chief's place. Ding dong. Special mission, Attack of the Ghost King, successfully completed. Thank you to all players for your active participation. Wishing everyone a pleasant game. With the last Black Mist ghost killed, the sound of the system announcement finally rang out in the void. In the battlefield below the city walls, the ground was stained with blood and corpses were scattered everywhere, emitting a strong stench of blood. When the players heard the sound of the system announcement, they all looked up, their eyes shining with excitement and their faces showing bright smiles. Chapter 160 level continuously increases, leading by a wide margin yay. We won. We won. Ha ha ha. This is amazing, we have emerged victorious, thank God. Thank God my ass. Thank the six Tao gods, if it weren't for them, we would have definitely deleted our accounts. Yes, yes, thank you, six Tao gods. We made a fortune here, not only did we collect a lot of ghost crystals, but we also earned points that can be exchanged for treasures. Ha ha ha. I also picked up a lot of ghost crystals, it's so satisfying. Everyone, let's go to the village chief and exchange for treasures. The players were all excited shouting loudly. The feeling of going from despair to hope is something that can only be understood by those who have experienced it firsthand. Cheers resounded beneath the city walls, deafening and roaring like surging waves, one after another. This sudden hidden large-scale mission finally came to an end here. The black mist in the sky has completely dissipated, revealing the brilliant sunlight. The sunlight was just right, driving away the cold and illuminating the darkness. In village no. For, all the players were crowded around the old ghost man, exchanging their points for treasures. It was packed with people. At this moment, in a deserted corner, Lin Haoren returned to his human form, along with his ghost companions. Father. These are all the ghost crystals that my brother, Siener, and I collected from level 10 and above. They're all for you. Xiao Shui created a huge box made of ice and snow, filled with high-level ghost crystals. This was what Lin Haoren instructed. 
There were too many ghost crystals, and the low-level ones didn't have much effect on them, nor did they have enough space to store them. It was better to directly collect high-level ones. Quack quack quack. Xiao Shui, you forgot about me, I also contributed, the soul-eating crow ghost became anxious and quickly claimed credit. Yes, yes, and you too, duck duck. Sorry, duck duck, you don't look like a human, so I momentarily forgot about you. Xiao Shui apologized to the soul-eating crow ghost. Silly duck. Xiao Shui, your cute mouth, how could it say such hurtful words to a duck? Silly duck silently shed tears in its heart. Xiao Shui, you're so good. You've all worked hard. Lin Haoren smiled and touched Xiao Shui's smooth white hair, speaking to the ghost sword immortal and the other ghost companions. The ghost sword immortal just smiled faintly. There was no need for many words between her and Lin Haoren. A glance, a smile, and everyone understood. Due to the system rewards, Lin Haoren's ghost companions' levels all increased by one. Lin Haoren's level remained at 13, while the ghost emperor was at level 14, the ghost sword immortal at level 14, little thunder at level 14, the soul-eating crow ghost at level 16, and Xiao Shui at level 13. This silly duck, the soul-eating crow ghost, had already reached a terrifying level of 16, three levels higher than Lin Haoren. This silly duck's level, without any surprises, might be the highest among all the player's ghost companions in the world. Lin Haoren opened the refrigerator, and inside were all ghost crystals emitting a strong ghostly aura. Lin Haoren smiled and said to the ghosts, leave some for my wife, and let's eat the rest. Silly duck. Don't eat. Your level is too high, it would be a waste for you to eat. Lin Haoren saw the silly duck getting restless and immediately slapped its bald head, laughing and scolding it. The silly duck held its head with its wings, walking to the side and secretly shedding tears. Indeed, it was my own mistake. He he. Men. Indeed, not a single good person. The silly duck cursed Lin Haoren in its heart. Lin Haoren ignored the foolish duck and started absorbing the ghost crystals with Xiao Lei Ming, Gui Jianxian, and Xiao Shui. Of course, he remembered his wife, so he took back a portion in advance to put in his system backpack and give it to her after she gave birth. Ding! Congratulations, your ghost child, Xuanu Gue, has leveled up to level 14. Ding! Congratulations, your ghost child, Lei Ming Gui Jun, has leveled up to level 15. Ding! Congratulations, your ghost monster, Gui Jianxian, has leveled up to level 15. Ding! Congratulations, your level has leveled up to level 14. One system notification after another sounded in Lin Haoren's ears. Lin Haoren and the ghosts all emitted a black light, and their aura became stronger. Except for the silly duck and the pregnant Yan Ho Gui Huan, all the other ghosts had leveled up. Lin Haoren was at level 14, while Yan Ho Gui Huan was at level 14, Gui Jin Xian at level 15, Xiao Lei Ming at level 15, Chir Han Wang Ya Gui at level 16 and Xiao Shui at level 14. The levels of these ghost crystals were all between level 10 and 13, so the effects were not particularly significant. They were only enough to raise the level of the ghosts by one. However, it was already quite good. Lin Haoren casually opened the player level ranking list and looked at the current levels of the players. Player level ranking list, NO1, Lu Dao, level 14, NO2, Gong Ben Wuzong, level 10, NO3, Arthur Asterisk Caesar, level 10, NO4, Emperor, level 10, NO5, Shuai Ba Tianxia, level 9, NO6, Yan Wang, level 9, NO7, Jia Jincheng, level 9. There was no doubt that Lin Haoren's level was still far ahead, leading by a whopping four levels. This was such a despair inducing gap that other players couldn't even catch up to his fart. P.S. Thank you all for the positive feedback, I appreciate it oh, greater than over equal to nabble less than over equal to, oh oh, greater than over equal to nabble less than over equal to, oh. Chapter 161 S Rank Ice Ghost Bow Opening the legendary treasure chest Lin Haoren's face showed a satisfied smile, then he looked at his system backpack. Although he didn't get the ghost crystal from killing the demon king, he obtained a legendary treasure chest, an SS Rank monster clue, and an S Rank ghost item, Ice Ghost Bow. This was definitely a profitable deal. Lin Haoren first opened the Ice Ghost Bao, a Bao and Arrow type ghost item, and obtained its attribute panel, name, Ice Ghost Bao, type, S rank ghost item, effect, infusing ice attribute ghost energy can condense ice arrows, increasing the power of ice arrows, and comes with the ability, Frost Arrow. 
Frost arrow, infusing the power of ice and snow, it can condense a powerful frost arrow. The more power of ice and snow infused, the greater the power of the frost arrow, with a 100% chance of freezing the enemy. Ghost item information, the spine of the ice ghost after death is nurtured by ghost energy, turning into a powerful bow and arrow ghost item. Lin Haoran's eyes brightened, and with a thought, a completely white bow and arrow covered in ice and snow appeared in his hand. Under the sunlight, it shimmered with a crystal clear light. It was a beautiful bow and arrow. Oh, wow! Little Shui saw this bow and arrow, her eyes twinkling with stars, and exclaimed, Father! This is such a beautiful bow and arrow. Little Shui couldn't take her eyes off it, as if she was welded to this beautiful ice ghost bow, but she felt embarrassed to ask Lin Haoran for it. Ha ha ha! Silly daughter! Don't look anymore, you're drooling. This is a gift from your father. Lin Haoran saw Little Shui's expression and couldn't help but laugh softly, a hint of doting in his eyes. He then handed the ice ghost bow to Little Shui. Really? Really? Little Shui heard Lin Haoran's words and her eyes brightened. She looked at Lin Haoran with excitement and asked, Father won't lie to Little Shui. Lin Haoran smiled at Little Shui and said, That's right. Father won't lie to Little Shui. That's great. Thank you, Father. I love you, I love Father. Little Shui immediately jumped up happily, hugged Lin Haoran, and kissed his cheek, saying happily. Lin Haoran smiled helplessly. Indeed, his daughter's coquettishness was the most lethal. Then, Lin Haoran looked at the SS rank monster clue. This was the first time he had encountered a clue of this level. The last time he obtained a clue, it was for an S rank monster, and he made a contract with the silly duck. I hope this time it gives me a somewhat normal monster. Lin Haoran silently prayed in his heart. One fool was already enough. He didn't want another one. Name, monster clue, rank, SS rank, description, after using it, you can obtain a clue for an SS rank monster. You can find it based on the route. Lin Haoran's face showed a slight smile, he put it away and went to find this SS level qualified ghost after dealing with things. He still had three positions for contracted ghosts, which were extremely precious. If he wasn't satisfied with their abilities, he might not contract them. Lin Haoran then looked at the shiny exquisite treasure chest in the system backpack. This was the mysterious reward obtained from killing the legendary boss, Demon King Troll. Not only did he gain a large amount of points, but he also obtained this legendary treasure chest. Lin Haoran clicked on the information of the chest, name, legendary treasure chest, level, no level, description, a legendary chest, no one knows what's inside. It could contain something worthless or even an SSS level treasure. Those with great luck may obtain legendary items. This seems a bit deceiving, doesn't it? It's all about luck, right? Lin Haoran's face immediately darkened. It seemed like his luck wasn't that great. Then he looked at Xiao Xue, who was playing with a bow and arrow, and his eyes lit up. Xiao Xue not only had a fair complexion, but her whole body was exceptionally fair. Her luck couldn't be too bad, right? Xiao Xue. Come here and help your father. Lin Haoran waved at Xiao Xue, a smile appearing on his face as he spoke to her. Ha! Huh? Father. What's wrong? Xiao Xue was puzzled by his words and walked over, her little face filled with a questioning look. Help your father open this chest. Lin Haoran took out the legendary treasure chest and placed it in Xiao Xue's hands. Oh, wow! Such a beautiful chest! Xiao Xue saw the shiny and exquisite chest in front of her and immediately exclaimed with excitement. Okay. Father. I'll open it for you right away. Xiaoxue's eyes sparkled with little stars as she nodded her cute head. Xiaoxue's chubby hands opened the legendary treasure chest. Ding dong. Congratulations on obtaining the excrement of an unknown ghost. Ding dong. Congratulations on obtaining the S-level ghost weapon, Dragon Thunder Ghost Spear. Ding dong. Congratulations on obtaining the SS-level special item, Ghost Sakura Tree. Ding dong. Congratulations on obtaining the legendary item, Guardian Ghost Beast. Golden lights flashed, one after another, almost blinding Lin Haoran's eyes. 
The system's notification sound kept ringing in Lin Haoran's ears, and several items appeared in his system backpack. Hiss. Lin Haoran took a sharp breath, excitement flashing in his eyes. Damn. This is going against the heavens. Lin Haoran completely ignored the first item and the second, third, and fourth items made him laugh out loud. An S-level ghost weapon, an SS-level special item, and even a legendary item. Ha ha ha. Xiaoxue, you truly are your father's lucky charm. Lin Haoran happily picked up the somewhat confused Xiaoxue and gave her a big kiss on her chubby cheeks. He burst into laughter and said. Chapter 162 SS Level Ghost Sakura Tree Legendary Territory Ghost Monster Giggle Although Xiaoxue didn't know what had happened, she was happy because Lin Haoran was happy. Xiaoxue's thoughts were that simple. A happy smile appeared on Xiaoxue's face, accompanied by a laughter like wind chimes. Lin Haoran put down Xiaoxue and couldn't wait to check the items that were opened from the system's legendary treasure chest. The first item was the S-level ghost weapon, Thunder Dragon Ghost Spear. Name, Thunder Dragon Ghost Spear, type, S-level ghost weapon, effect, an extremely sharp thunder spear that can enhance the user's thunder attribute power by infusing thunder attribute ghost energy. It also comes with the ability, Thunder Dragon Spear. Thunder Dragon Spear, infuse a large amount of thunder power into the gun, forming a thunder dragon that inflicts massive damage on enemies. Ghost Weapon Information, a ghost tool made by a ghost craftsman using the spine of a Thunder Jiao Dragon Ghost. After being forged 81 times, it has become a powerful ghost weapon with strong thunder energy. Lin Haoran's eyes lit up. This Thunder Dragon Ghost Spear was tailor-made for him. The A-level ghost weapon, Thunder Ghost Spear, was almost unable to keep up with his pace. This S-level Thunder Dragon Ghost Spear came at the right time. With a thought, a two. Five-meter long blue spear appeared in Lin Haoran's hand. The spear body was covered in dragon scales, and the spearhead had a dragon head with an open mouth. A sharp, snow-white spearhead protruded, accompanied by white dragon whiskers floating in the wind. It was domineering and handsome. This was the Thunder Dragon Ghost Spear. Swoosh! Lin Haoran stylishly swung the spear, creating a burst of sound. Boom! The butt of the spear hit the ground, causing several obvious cracks to appear on the stone slab, with debris flying everywhere. A hint of satisfaction flashed in Lin Haoran's eyes. The Thunder Dragon Ghost Spear was heavier and much harder than the Thunder Ghost Spear. In human form, it might be more convenient to use the Thunder Ghost Spear, but in the form of the Reincarnation Ghost Lord, the Thunder Dragon Ghost Spear was even more sharp and practical. Lin Haoran suppressed the slight excitement in his heart and continued to check the second item in the system's backpack, the SS-level special item, Ghost Sakura Tree. Name, Ghost Sakura Tree, Level, SS Level, Description, When planted, it can grow a precious Ghost Sakura Tree, which can bear Ghost Sakura fruits by feeding it Ghost Crystals. Ghost Sakura Fruit, with the same amount of Ghost Energy as a Ghost Crystal, it can produce three times the amount of Ghost Energy. For example, feeding a Level 10 Ghost Crystal can produce three Ghost Sakura Fruits, and each Ghost Sakura Fruit contains the same amount of Ghost Energy as a Level 10 Ghost Crystal. Hiss. When Lin Haoran saw the introduction of the Ghost Sakura Tree, he couldn't help but gasp, his eyes filled with excitement. Damn it! If I had known, I wouldn't have eaten the Ghost Crystals first. If they were all used to feed the Ghost Sakura Tree, I could directly triple the amount of Ghost Crystals. Lin Haoran regretted deeply, almost grinding his teeth to pieces. This was a huge loss. Don't be upset. There will be many more opportunities in the future. Lin Haoran took a deep breath and comforted himself seriously. This ghost cherry tree is simply a treasure trove of ghost crystals, permanently tripling the amount. This is incredible. Especially with more and more ghosts appearing, the ghost crystals are not enough, and the upgrades are too slow. Now, with this ghost cherry tree, after obtaining ghost crystals, feeding the ghost cherry tree will produce three more ghost cherry trees, equivalent to three times the amount of ghost crystals with the same amount of ghost energy. This is a huge profit. The leveling speed of oneself and one's own ghosts will increase dramatically. Lin Haoran's eyes were filled with excitement. With these two items, Lin Haoran felt like he hit the jackpot. Not to mention there is another item, and it's a legendary item, the Guardian Ghost Beast. Lin Haoran looked at the black giant egg in his backpack. 
The surface of the egg emitted a dazzling black light, flickering, as if it was nurturing a terrifying creature inside. Lin Haoran clicked on the attribute panel of this black giant egg, name, Guardian Ghost Beast, level, SSS, legendary, description, it nurtures a terrifying guardian ghost beast inside, which can be bound to the designated territory and become the guardian beast of that territory. It cannot be used without a designated territory. Description, a legendary guardian beast of the territory, living and dying together with the territory. After death, it still wants to protect the territory. It is nurtured by ghost energy and transforms into a ghost beast with extremely terrifying power. Guardian Ghost Beast Territory Ghost Beast It's actually a Territory Ghost Beast. After reading the information panel of the Guardian Ghost Beast, Lin Haoran's pupils suddenly contracted, and he blurted out. In the previous life. The gathering place established by Emperor and the Hell Gathering Place of the Yin King, as well as other top gathering places, all had a territory ghost beast. These territory ghost beasts not only had warning functions in their territories but also had defensive and offensive capabilities. They were simply the strongest and most practical defense system necessary for gathering places. The hell gathering place of the Yen King had the territory ghost beast, Hell Cerberus Ghost. The gathering place established by Emperor had the territory ghost beast, Bipedal Golden Crow Ghost. The gathering place of the Sakura Shrine established by the Japanese warrior Musashi Miyamoto had the territory ghost beast, Orochi Ghost. Wait a minute, these territory ghost beasts have extremely strong attack power in their territories, but the only drawback is that they cannot leave the territory. They live and die together with the bound territory. If the territory is destroyed, the territory ghost beast dies. A blazing light flashed in Lin Haoran's eyes, and he murmured to himself, when I go to the ten great ghost cities and complete that hidden mission, I will obtain that thing. Plus, this territory ghost beast. It's simply invincible. P.S. Sob 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 my precious readers, the data is not so good. Can you please give some support by giving this little flower a like if you have the conditions? Equals Omega smiley face equals Omega smiley face. Chapter 163 SS Level Ghost 12 Layer Town Ghost Tower Now the game is about to merge with reality, and there is not much time left for oneself. Continue to quickly go to the top 10 ghost cities. That thing is something that countless people in the previous life coveted. I must get it. Lin Haoran licked his lips, revealing a greedy look. Then he closed the interface of the Guardian Ghost Monster. He still doesn't have a territory so he can't use the Guardian Ghost Monster temporarily. He can only use it later. The hidden task in the top 10 ghost cities is about the territory, a very special territory. Lin Haoran glanced at the backpack and saw a disgusting lump of feces, which made Lin Haoran frown and casually opened its attribute panel, name, unknown feces, level, unknown, description, unknown feces, effective when placed in the backpack, can attract the attention of a special creature. Lin Haoran it really is shit. Attracting the attention of a special creature, is it a dung beetle? Lin Haoran's mouth twitched slightly, feeling speechless. The legendary treasure chest actually opened up a pile of shit. This is really unbelievable. Lin Haoran forcibly resisted the urge to throw it away, and then looked at the other things in the system backpack. Suddenly, he found a mini tower lying quietly in one of the slots. Damn. I almost forgot. I remember that the nine-layer town ghost tower evolved into an SS-level ghost creature. Lin Haoran slapped his head, almost forgetting about this. He had obtained the ghost hair of the troll ghost king and forcibly evolved the nine-layer town ghost tower into an SS-level ghost creature. He also had the treasure hunting compass, which had also been restored in terms of usage. Name, treasure hunting compass, level, B-level ghost creature, effect, can point to the direction of treasures within a few kilometers, current usage, 1 slash 0, absorbing a large amount of ghost crystals can restore usage, or cooldown time of 1 year. Ghost creature information, Feng Shui compass, becomes a ghost creature after being nourished by ghost energy, possesses the ability to sense the powerful ghost energy fluctuations of other ghost creatures. Although this treasure hunting compass is only a B-level ghost creature, its treasure hunting ability is well known to Lin Haoran. The nine-layer town ghost tower almost fell into the hands of that ghost father guy. Fortunately, he arrived first, otherwise, the nine-layer town ghost tower would have been out of his reach. Lin Haoran opened the attribute panel of the evolved nine-layer town ghost tower, name, 
12 layer town ghost tower, type, SS level ghost creature, effect, release the town ghost domain, can weaken the strength of ghost monsters within a certain range, currently reduced by 35%, range of 5 kilometers, and comes with the ability, hell suppression. Ghost tower suppression, within the domain range, designate a specific area target, causing a terrifying area damage and immobilizing enemies in that area for one second, the stronger the enemy's strength, the weaker the immobilization effect. Ghost Creature Information, Mysterious 12-Layer Town Ghost Tower, bred in the Black Coffin, has its own growth potential, absorbs a large amount of ghost crystals, and can grow into an SSS-level ghost creature. Ha ha ha. That's right. It is indeed the 18th floor ghost tower from the previous life of the King of Hell. If nothing unexpected happens, it will evolve into the 18th floor ghost tower after reaching SSS level. It's too powerful. The range of influence has already reached a terrifying 5 kilometers. And it also reduces strength by 35%. After reaching SSS level, it might even reduce it by 50%. This is simply outrageous, especially since it affects a group. Lin Haoren looked at the current 12th floor ghost tower with a hint of excitement in his eyes. The evolved 12th floor ghost tower is too strong. Even the suppression of the ghost tower has changed from targeting individuals to targeting groups in an area. If placed in his territory, along with the protection of ghost monsters, his territory would be impregnable. Even the ghost king would have a hard time. Lin Haoren was extremely satisfied. He suppressed the excitement in his heart. The rewards from this Ghost King mission have exceeded his imagination. He could be said to have returned with a full load. All right. Now it's my turn to exchange points for things. Lin Haoren glanced at the old ghost over there. At this point, there weren't many people left. Players had already been exchanging things one after another. Lin Haoren collected all the ghosts and headed towards the old ghost. Along the way, surrounding players were discussing the things they could exchange for points. Damn. A ghost with S-class potential actually requires 10,000 points. How many ghosts do I have to kill? I get 10 points for killing a level 6 ghost, which means I have to kill over 1,000 ghosts. I only have 680 points. I only exchanged for some ghost crystals to increase the level of the ghosts. I'm okay. I have 2,000 points. I exchanged for a C-class ghost item. I made a profit, ha ha ha. Damn. 2,000 points, you're awesome. Only 2,000 points. The points of those big shots are terrifying. I heard that the Black Mist King alone has 500 points. Only the big shots can kill it. I just saw it. The King of Hell in the Yenwang Palace exchanged for a ghost with S-class potential, and there are other good things. Damn, my eyes turned red. Indeed, being in a big guild is great. The surrounding players were discussing with each other. Some sighed, some were happy, and some were envious of the members of the big guild and the abundant points of some big shots. Their hearts were filled with envy, jealousy, and hatred. Lin Haoren remained expressionless, calmly walking past these players. At this moment, someone finally recognized Lin Haoren, causing a sudden exclamation. Damn. It's Lu Dao. It's Lu Dao, the great god. As soon as these words were spoken, the lively players instantly quieted down and turned their heads towards Lin Haoren's direction. Everyone in the entire square had their eyes fixed on Lin Haoren. The whole place fell silent, with only the sound of Lin Haoren's footsteps being particularly clear. Step, step, step. Perhaps Lin Haoren's aura was too strong, as he passed by these people, they didn't even dare to breathe, watching Lin Haoren step by step towards the old ghost. After Lin Haoren walked away, everyone finally dared to breathe a sigh of relief, their eyes filled with excitement, envy, admiration, jealousy, and various other expressions. Chapter 164 Exchange List, Heaven Defying Ghost Treasure, Contract Soul Crystal Truly worthy of the six Tao Great Gods. Their aura is too strong, I dare not even breathe heavily. It's terrifying. It feels like the oppressive presence of a giant demon king, it's frightening. How many points do you think the six Tao great gods have? I don't know. But I'm sure it's at least 100,000 points, right? Over 100,000. Ha ha ha. You're dreaming. 
At most, it's a few tens of thousands. With 100,000 points, you can exchange for an SS grade qualified ghost. What a bunch of idiots. Is 6 Dao your father or mother? Exactly. How many points do you think they would give you? Don't dream. Some players who were unhappy with Lin Haoran immediately glared and cursed at those players who were boasting about Lin Haoran. There are always some people who can't stand others shining, they only hope to shine themselves. Lin Haoran didn't have time to pay attention to these people. He had already arrived by the old ghost's side. Ha ha. Young man, you finally came. Thank you for saving the village during the Ghost King's attack. You saved everyone in the village. I thank you on their behalf. When the old ghost saw Lin Haoran's arrival, he didn't seem surprised at all. His cloudy eyes flickered with an inexplicable light as he looked at Lin Haoran and smiled. Then he slightly bent down towards Lin Haoran. Don't. Village chief. Lin Haoran quickly supported the old ghost and hurriedly said to him, Village chief. This is what I should do. I am also a member of the village. This is what I should do. Lin Haoran humbly said to the old ghost. Very well. I admire you, young man. Come. You have quite a few points, right? You can exchange for these things, take a look. The old ghost nodded approvingly, then waved his hand, and a menu interface appeared in front of Lin Haoran. Ghost Monster Points Exchange List, SS Grade Qualified Four-Eyed Ghost, Exchange Points, 100,000 Points, SS Grade Qualified Kunming Ghost, Exchange Points, 100,000 Points, SS Grade Qualified Three-Headed Six-Armed Ghost, Exchange Points, 100,000 Points, SS Grade Qualified Human Snake-Headed Ghost, Exchange Points, 10,000 Points, SS Grade Qualified Flying Knight Yeksha Ghost, Exchange Points, 10,000 Points. Ghost Creature Points Exchange List, SS Grade Ghost Creature Linglong Ghost Tower, Exchange Points, 100,000 Points, SS Grade Ghost Creature Dragon Ghost Pearl, Exchange Points, 100,000 Points, SS Grade Ghost Creature Ghost Immortal Sword, Exchange Points, 100,000 Points, S Grade Ghost Creature Summoning Ghost Flag, Exchange Points, 10,000 Points, S Grade Ghost Creature Thunder Light Bomb, Exchange Points, 10,000 Points. Lin Haoran saw these things, and his mouth watered. He wanted to exchange them all. Lin Haoran checked his monster killing points, and the long number made his eyes shine. 1. 10. 100. 1000. 10,000. 825,000. Lin Haoran counted his points, his eyes filled with excitement. With over 800,000 points, he could exchange them for the SS level ghosts and SS level monsters here. No rush. Let's see more.